Chapter 6 Oh Wen Jian Shi. Jian Lao. I want to see you. After Li Yuan Bao learned the broken void sword intent, he took out the token given by Jian Lao and contacted Jian Lao through the token. After a moment, Jian Lao's figure appeared beside him. Li Yuanba has become accustomed to the way Jian Lao appears. The formations in his cave are just decorations for Jian Lao. Your swordsmanship talent is pretty good. No wonder Wu Wei accepted you as his disciple. Jian Lao looked at Li Yuanba and couldn't help but nod in praise. This glance allowed him to see that Li Yuanba had a hint of sword intent. Although this sword intent was extremely weak, how could he not sense the aura of breaking void sword intent? The time it took for Li Yuanba to realize the broken void sword intent was far shorter than the time Lao Jian had estimated for Li Yuanba. It usually takes one year for Jian's lineage to realize broken void sword intention. Even Jian Lao himself took three months to realize phantom sword intention. This is already the shortest time for Jian's lineage. It's time to realize. But it only took Li Yuanba a month. His talent in swordsmanship surprised even the old swordsman. But he would not say it in front of Li Yuanba. He did not want Li Yuanba to be too proud. The most important thing in sword cultivation was to cultivate the mind. Excessive pride would affect the sword's mind. Only with the guidance of Master Shi Jian can I understand the broken void sword intent. Li Yuanba bowed and thanked him. Do you know the origin of broken void sword intent? Jian Lao waved his hand to help Li Yuanba up and asked calmly. Li Yuanba shook his head. He had never heard Jian Wu Wei mention the matter of breaking the void sword intent. When it comes to broken void sword intent, we must first talk about the Jian family's lineage. The Jian family has existed since the founding of Sword Intent Chengshao Pavilion and has been passed down to the present. Wu Wei is the bloodline of the Jian family. Breaking the Void Sword Intention is the core inherited sword intention of the Jian clan. Of course, the Jian clan is not only passed down by blood, but also accepts some extremely talented sword cultivators to join it. The purpose of these sword cultivators joining is to protect the inheritance of the Jian family's bloodline. Jian Lao explained for Li Yuanba. Only then did Li Yuanba know Jian Wei's identity. He was actually a sword cultivator inherited from the Jian family in Jian Chongshao Pavilion. Jian Lao is Jian Wu's grandfather. So Jian Lao is also a swordsman inherited from the Jian family. Thinking about Jian Lao's strength. We can see how powerful the Jian family is. This is just a bloodline sword cultivator. There are also non-bloodline sword cultivators in the Jian family. What does Jian Lao mean? Li Yuanba actually guessed what Jian Lao wanted to say. So he asked, I formally invite you to join the Jian clan. Mr. Jian also said very directly. Li Yuanba pondered for a moment. And he could tell that the non-bloodline sword cultivator was to protect the Jian family's bloodline. He didn't care about this. Even if he didn't join the Jian clan. If Jian Wuwei was in trouble, he would still go to help. He is Jian Wuwei's disciple. And it is his duty to protect his master. I am willing to join the Jian family. Li Yuanba bowed and expressed his decision. You won't regret it. Jian Lao nodded with great satisfaction when he heard his answer. In fact, Jian Lao had prepared various tests for Li Yuanba before. But after seeing Li Yuanba's talent in swordsmanship, these tests were no longer necessary. If Li Yuanba could not meet the conditions to join the Jian family even if he realized the breaking void sword intent in a record-breaking way, then no sword cultivator would be qualified to join the Jian family. Of course, Mr. Jian's assessment of Li Yuanba's talent in swordsmanship must be discounted. Li Yuanba borrowed the help of Z15 and was able to realize the breaking void sword intent within a month. I will take you to participate in the Jianchur's initiation ceremony in 10 days, Jian Lao said after leaving. After Li Yuanba respectfully sent old Jian off, he couldn't help but look forward to the initiation ceremony 10 days later. 10 days later, Li Yuanba was taken to a main hall by Jian Lao. He once again felt that he had entered another space, which was not in the space where the Sword Peak of Sword in Tenshin Chengshao Pavilion was located. This is the Cave of Swords and the residence of the core monks of Jianyi Chengshao Pavilion. Jian Lao explained to him. Li Yuanba was not surprised that the core monks lived in a separate cave. And the same was true for Li Shiming's 10,000 B sect. He felt the environment here. There was no complicated sword intent of Jianfeng here. And he couldn't even sense the existence of the slightest sword intent. But the energy here has a stronger effect on the sword intention. He can sense that in this environment, the void breaking sword intention, first condensed in the body, is absorbing some special energy in the void. Breaking void sword intent is slowly increasing. He did not actively condense the void breaking sword intent. It was entirely the effect of the environment here. I've seen Mr. Jian. 
A sword cultivator entered from the gate and respectfully performed the sword salute to Mr. Jian. After that, sword cultivators continued to arrive, and every sword cultivator who came would respectfully salute and greet the old swordsman. Sword cultivators are very abiding by time, and all sword cultivators who come here come within the time of a cup of tea. There were 15 sword cultivators standing in the main hall. What shocked Liu Yuanba was that among the 15 sword cultivators, only five were early Yuaning sword cultivators. The remaining seven were mid-nascent soul sword cultivators, and three were great masters. Monks practiced swordsmanship. Among them, Wu Qi, a middle-stage nascent soul sword cultivator, was also there, smiling and nodding at Liu Yuanba. All the members of the Jin family who are free in the pavilion are here. New members have joined the Jin family today. As the sword master of the Jin family, I will preside over today's ceremony. Mr. Jian looked at the people in the hall. The sword cultivator slowly spoke. Except for Wu Qi, a mid-stage nascent soul sword cultivator. The other 14 nascent soul sword cultivators all looked at Li Yuanba with curious eyes. The recruitment of members of the sword clan is extremely strict, and it is rare for a sword cultivator to join within 100 or 200 years. It is extremely rare for sword cultivators to be directly selected by Jian Lao to join the Jian clan lineage. Jian Lao's vision is much higher than that of other sword cultivators. He is Li Yuanba, who studied under Jian Wuwei in the northern Shu continent. The reason why I accepted him into the Jian family lineage is that it took him a month to comprehend the broken void sword intent. Jian Lao continued, As a sword master of the Jian family, he also needs to explain the reason for accepting Li Yuanba. Although with his status, no sword cultivator would object if he spoke. He would not do that. It took me one month to comprehend the void-breaking sword intent. This talent is so powerful. All Yuaning sword cultivators were shocked and looked at Liu Yuanba again with different eyes. Jian Lao waited for all the nascent soul sword cultivators to calm down, then waved his hand, and a scroll appeared in the middle of the hall, and the scroll opened automatically. The hair on Liu Yuanba's body stood up, and his eyes narrowed involuntarily. He sensed a terrifying sword intent. This sword intent did not have strong offensive power, but was extremely peaceful. But the level of this sword intention was really too high. Even if it was peaceful and had no attack power at all, it still greatly stimulated Liu Yuanba. Fortunately, it had no attack power. So he recovered from the stimulating state after a while. And he also saw where the sword intention came from. After the scroll in the middle of the hall was opened, a large character, sword, was revealed inside. Each stroke of the word, sword, is like a sharp sword. The whole word, sword, makes people feel that it is not a word at all, but a mountain of swords and a sea of swords. When a monk stands in front of the scroll, he will feel his own insignificance and humility. Kowtow, Jian Lao said in a deep voice. Li Yuanba knelt in front of the scroll and bowed heavily to it. He felt that he was not worshipping the scroll, but rather worshipping an extremely powerful sword cultivator. After he bowed three times, a short sword flew out from the sword intent of the scroll and fell into his head. He didn't feel the danger, and the old swordsman had told him the precautions in advance. So he didn't dodge. The dagger was made of sword energy. After entering his body, it appeared in the center of his nascent soul's eyebrows. The ceremony is over, Jian Lao said in a deep voice. The ceremony is very simple, but it is a necessary process. Otherwise, the new sword cultivator will not be able to get the blessing of the scroll of the ancestor of the Jian clan. Congratulations on joining the sword clan. The nascent soul sword cultivators, who were watching all around came forward to congratulate. Each of the nascent soul sword cultivators took out a congratulatory gift. It seemed that they had inquired about it. The gifts that all nascent soul sword cultivators took out were fourth grade flying swords, which contained the meaning of the sword. After Li Yu and Ba thanked them one by one, the Yuanying Sword Cultivators exchanged contact information with him. And then the Yuanying Sword Cultivator said goodbye and left. Do you feel that the ritual process is too simple? Jian Lao asked Li Yuanba with a smile. Yes. Li Yuanba replied honestly. This was somewhat different from the ceremony he had imagined. There was no gathering. It was just a worship ceremony. And it was over as soon as the ceremony was over. Just like the Sword Cultivator's approach. There is no Dieter. Direct and decisive. The 15 sword cultivators who participated in the ceremony all tried their best to come and participate. They even interrupted some important activities just for your participation. Jian Lao continued. Li Yuanba was startled. And then he understood somewhat. 
not to mention forces like Jianyi Chou Shao Pavilion. The Middle Yuaning and the Great Monks were the most important combat forces in any force. They were either in retreat or working for the sect. Things are busy. Where will there be any real free time to come and participate in the ceremony? Even if it is a short period of time, it is still time taken out of a busy schedule. The Jian clan sword marks you received just now are not only the mark of the Jian clan's identity, but also the Jian clan's inheritance. It depends on how much you can understand it. Jian Lao pointed again. Only then did Li Yuanba notice the dagger mark between Yuanying's eyebrows, which was the sword mark of the Jian clan. He got some information from Jian's sword marks. And there was more huge information that he didn't accept immediately. He would accept it slowly when he had time. Jianchur's sword mark only needs a Jianchur's unique magic formula to be activated, forming an illusion of the word, sword, in the air. This illusion of the word, sword, is the unique identity mark of the Jian family. Since the illusion of the word, sword, has a hint of the power of the word, sword, in the scroll just now, it is impossible to counterfeit this identity mark. After you join the Jian clan, you automatically have the status of a core monk of the sword in Tent Chongshao Pavilion, and have the right to enter the sword cave to live in. So I have prepared a cave for you in the sword cave. The cave is still reserved for receiving guests. Jian Lao said with a smile. Originally there was no need for him to come forward to talk about these matters. But he paid special attention to Li Yuanba. So he would handle these matters for Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba's swordsmanship talent is so amazing. Coupled with Li Yuanba's age advantage. He is a Yuan Ying early stage swordsman who is less than a hundred years old. These combined have huge potential in the future and it is possible to become a great monk or even go further. Jian Lao has particularly high expectations for Li Yuanba. He believes that Li Yuanba has hope of becoming a Mahayana monk. Even if there is only a glimmer of hope, he will do his best to train Li Yuanba. Jian Lao led Li Yuanba out of the hall, and Li Yuanba found himself in a familiar scenery. Is this a scene from the scroll of sword intent climbing into the sky? Li Yuanba asked in surprise. After he came to Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion, he discovered that Jianfeng was different from the scenery painted in the Jianyi Chongshao picture scroll. Only then did he realize that this was the real sword intent Chongshao Pavilion. This mountain peak is yours. You can arrange it yourself. Sword veteran Li Yuanba said as he led him to a mountain peak. Jian Lao no longer participated in what happened after that. And Jian Lao's figure disappeared on the spot. Li Yuanba's identity, Jade Disc, has the authority to form the formation on this mountain. When he flies into the mountain, the formation automatically opens. The scenery of the mountain peaks is pleasant. The waterfall formed by the spiritual spring water falls into the spiritual spring pool, and various spiritual flowers are dotted among the spiritual trees, creating a natural and peaceful scene. This place is indeed a beautiful place, but he found that it is different from other monk peaks he has seen. There is no spiritual field on the mountain. The spiritual flowers and trees in the mountain are not spiritual objects used for cultivation but are simply nourished by spiritual energy. Forcibly promoted to spirit flower spirit tree. He flew and landed on the top of the mountain. There was a cave on the top of the mountain. After Li Yuanba entered the cave, he was almost shocked by the watery spiritual energy inside. He was 100% sure that this cave had a separate great monk level spiritual vein. In addition, this cave has always been closed and has not been opened and used, causing the spiritual energy in the cave to accumulate continuously resulting in the current phenomenon of water-like spiritual energy. This is such a waste! Li Yuanba sighed. In other sects, the great monk-level spiritual veins would never be idle. Let alone one of the early-stage nascent soul monks would be assigned to him. But this is not difficult to understand in Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion. Li Yuanba himself participated in several missions to destroy the sect and regained a lot of nascent soul-level spiritual veins. Most of these nascent soul-level spiritual veins were invested in Sword Peak. It is thought that if they were great monk spiritual veins, they would be placed in the sword cave. Judging from the existence time of sword in Tent Chongshao Pavilion, after more than 10,000 years of robbery, it is probably not a problem to install a great monk spiritual vein in each cave of sword cave. Li Yuanba continued to observe the cave. The room he entered was the hall. The tables, chairs, tea sets, etc. here were all of fourth grade quality. Luxury, extreme luxury, is what Jenny Chongshao Pavilion allocates to the core monks. It is not accumulated by any monk for a long time. This shows how rich Jenny Chongshao Pavilion is, and how rich it is. Chapter 602 Watching the Battle On a mountain peak far away from the gate of 10,000 beasts sect, Li Shiming built a temporary cave. 
He didn't want to expose some secrets in the mountain gate, so he chose to come here. On his finger, a bit of broken void sword intent appeared. He and his clonely Yuanbao were the same, and his golden thunder nascent soul used a special method to cultivate the sword intent Cheng Shao Ju. So when Li Yuanbao mastered the broken void sword intent, he also mastered the broken void sword intent. Li Shiming is very aware of the special features of breaking void sword intent. This is the inherited sword intent of the sword intent Cheng Shao Pavilion. Sword family. If other monks discover that he is mastered, breaking void sword intent, what if? If he is known by sword intent Cheng Shao Pavilion, he will be in big trouble. Therefore, he chose to stay away from the gate of 10,000 Beasts sect and come here to condense the breaking void sword intent. Ever since Jian Lao could freely enter and exit the cave protected by formations in sword intent Cheng Shao Pavilion, Li Shiming understood that the formations in the cave could not completely keep his secrets. Perhaps some insignificant secrets would not cause any problems even if they were known by the sect. But it was different when the Broken Void Sword Intent was related to the core inheritance of Sword Intent Cheng Shao Pavilion. During the process of condensing the Breaking Void Sword Intention, there will be obvious leakage of the Sword Intention. After the condensation is successful, the Breaking Void Sword Intent can be continuously condensed in the body. Then there will be no need to do this like now. Afraid of being discovered, Li Shiming's mind was constantly synchronized with the clone Li Yuanba's understanding of the Broken Void Sword Intent and the Broken Void Sword Intent in his hand was also constantly strengthening. It wasn't until the Sword Intention climbing into the sky technique, skill and rune dagger in his golden thunder nascent soul sprouted the Breaking Void Sword Intent sprouts that he stopped using the Breaking Void Sword Intent in his hand. According to the judgment of the natal magic weapon Z15, when the Breaking Void Sword Intent reaches the power of the early Yuanying stage, he can suppress the peak monks in the early Yuanying stage with just his sword intention. If the Breaking Void Sword Intent is combined with the 4th grade top level natal flying sword, the Traceless Illusion Sword, and the Immortal Illusion Sword, has 90 million sharp runes and 10 million sharp formations to form the ultimate sharpness. He has the confidence to fight beyond the level with his sword skills alone. Breaking Void Sword Intent is his second sword intent. The enhancement of Heavenly Thunder Sword Intent needs to constantly face heavenly tribulations before it can be improved quickly. While Breaking Void Sword Intent can be achieved through practicing Sword Intent Soaring into the Sky, you can continuously improve your skills. Broken Void Sword Intention is the Orthodox Sword Cultivation Sword Intention. While Tian Lei sword intention is a bit offbeat. Of course, it is really impossible to give an accurate judgment as to whether the Tian Lei sword intent or the Push Yu sword intention is better or worse. Fortunately, Li Shiming has mastered both the Tian Lei sword intent and Puxu sword intent at the same time. There is no need to consider this issue. Li Shiming looked at the time. He had only been here three hours and he had already condensed the Broken Void Sword Intent. In three hours. If this was placed in the Sword Intent Cheng Shao Pavilion, it would definitely be a new record. He smiled and shook his head. He had gained all the Yuan Ba's insights into the Phantom Breaking Sword Intent and was able to condense the Phantom Breaking Sword Intent. In such a short time, he glanced at the cave he was in with some pity. He originally thought that it would take a long time to condense the Breaking Void Sword Intent. So he specially built this cave. Now it seems a bit redundant. This cave only took three hours. So it would be better to just find a place and use the fourth grade formation flag to set up a safe area. He did not stay here longer. He was very busy now. In addition to practicing and refining alchemy in the 10,000 bees sect, there was also a lot of research waiting for him. He walked out of the cave and was about to use South close to the end of the world to return when he suddenly stopped and looked in one direction. There is a familiar aura there. That is the aura of a Lei Xiao who practices the Jade Pure Thunder Cannon. And this Lei Xiao is fighting. This was the first time that Li Shiming found Lei Xiao practicing the Jade Purity Thunder Cannon in Domchi Continent. He was curious and wanted to take a look. He activated the invisibility function of the color changing cloak, set the Golden Thunder Nascent Soul as the main nascent soul, and transformed his breath into the sword cultivating breath. The thunder cultivating breath of the Mu Lei Yuanying was completely hidden. Using South Close to the End of the World, he headed towards the distant battlefield. The battlefield is not in the sky, but in a valley surrounded by mountains. 
He did not get close to the battlefield. And after stopping far away, he observed the battle through his divine vision. That Laishio did not use the nascent soul dharma. There were eight nascent soul cultivators surrounding him, blocking him in all directions. Even the top was blocked. The eight nascent soul cultivators didn't know what kind of magic weapon they were wearing. But they were able to withstand the thunder. Most of Shio's attacks. Lei Shio was very powerful. With one against eight, the eight nascent soul monks all adopted a defensive stance. On the one hand, the eight nascent soul monks did not want to fight. Even if they had magic weapons to defend against thunder, the attack power of Lei Shio was still too strong. Only the eight nascent soul monks who cooperated with each other to form a battle formation to defend together could withstand the thunder. Shio's crazy attack. On the other hand, the eight nascent soul monks used traps to surround Lei Shio. They did not need to fight with all their strength, but continued to consume Lei Shio's spiritual power. If they could defeat Lei Shio, there was no need to fight. Li Shiming could clearly see that Lei Shio had probably suffered a big loss. Although he had been using thunder attacks, Lei Shio's face was pale and sweat was constantly flowing down his face. If the Yuanning monk's control over the body is unable to control sweat, it would be due to serious injuries. What Li Shiming is most concerned about is the magic weapon in Lei Xiu's hand, which is the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer, which further confirms that what Lei Xiu practices is the Jade Pure Thunder Code. His Yu Qing Thunder Code was accidentally obtained from the monks he killed. But after being informed by Brother Hu, he knew that the Yu Qing Thunder Code was the inheritance of the extremely powerful sect. Yu Qing Sect, Kung Fu. He didn't care about this before, because he had made a lot of friends in Dongchi Continent. But he had never met a monk who practiced the Jade Pure Thunder Code. That is to say, his Sky Strike Thunder Hammer is a fourth grade top level calamity magic weapon. Every time he uses it, he is careful and deliberately conceals it. There are countless monks who know that he uses Sky Strike Thunder Hammer. He thought for a while and used the fourth grade formation flag to set up a concealment formation. Then release four fourth grade puppets. And then release the phantom dragon and Xiao Feng. This is just in case. So that when fighting is needed, you can use all your strength to deliver a fatal blow. The phantom dragon flew towards the battlefield. The phantom dragon's invisibility ability was very powerful. At least no monk under the great monk could detect the invisible phantom dragon. Both sides of the battle are in the early stages of nascent soul. And there is absolutely no way they can detect the phantom dragon. As the phantom dragon approached the battlefield, Li Shiming judged the strength of both sides of the battle through the phantom dragon's perception. Although Lei Xiu and the eight nascent soul monks are all early nascent soul monks, they are all monks close to the peak of the early nascent soul. And their aura even exceeds that of monks of the same level from the 10,000 bees sect. This discovery made Li Shiming even more cautious. It was certain that the sect of Lei Xiu and the eight nascent soul monks was a large sect or above. He guessed that Lei Xiu was from the Jade Qing sect. As for the eight Yuanying monks, he did not recognize their origins from their fighting methods. The phantom dragon was close to a certain extent, and Li Shiming was able to hear the conversations on the battlefield by sharing the phantom dragon's perception. Wang Yuan, you can't escape. Hand over the Shishao Thunder Bead. One of the eight nascent soul monks advised. Wang Yuan looked coldly at the Yuanying monk who was speaking with thunder and lightning flowing in his eyes. In his heart, he hated these nascent soul monks from the Baidi sect. If he hadn't accidentally fallen into their trap, how could he have ended up in this situation? He did bring the Chishao Thunder Bead with him when he went out this time. With the blessing of the Chishao Thunder Bead, his combat power was able to fight across levels. However, he was seriously injured in the trap. Even so, he was still able to confront the eight nascent soul monks for so long. I have already released the news. What you are doing is provoking a deadly feud between the Yuching sect and the Baidi sect. Have you considered the consequences? Wang Yuan is not worried about his own life or death. He does not want the Chishao Thunder Bead falling into the hands of Baidi Zong. He said loudly, By the time the Yuching sect receives the news from you, we will have already returned with the Chishao Thunder Bead. With the Chishao Thunder Bead. In hand, will our Baidi sect be afraid of the Yuching sect? The one who spoke the Yuanying monk laughed. The conflict between the Yuching sect and the Baidi sect has existed for thousands of years. The Yuching sect has always suppressed the Baidi sect by relying on the inherent advantage of Thunder Method to restrain the metal element. As long as you get the Chishao Thunder Bead, it will not only damage the strength of Yuking Zong, but also strengthen your own resistance to Thunder. 
especially in the confrontation between top combat forces. The Chishao Thunder Bead plays a decisive role. When the Baiyi Sect made this plan, it could be said that it used a lot of resources to arrange a treasure land in the eastern Qi continent that was particularly suitable for Wang Yuan, and used various means to let Wang Yuan get the information about the treasure land. In fact, the treasure land is real, but it is also a trap. A trap specially created for Wang Yuan. Wang Yuan is a direct bloodline of the Grand Master of Yuching Sect. In order to sharpen him and give him a better future, he did not send other monks to accompany him on this trip. However, the Baiti Sect used a lot of resources through the secrets planted in the Yuching Sect, and invited key monks to advise the Supreme Master and allow him to travel with the Chishao Thunder Bead for the sake of Wang Yuan's safety. Grandmaster Taishang considered that Wang Yuan was carrying enough spiritual objects to save his life. Plus Wang Yuan was hiding his whereabouts. And with the help of the Chishao Thunder Bead, he was able to face various dangers. But the Supreme Master never thought that all Wang Yuan's life-saving spiritual objects would be used in the treasure. After Wang Yuan came out with a full harvest from the treasure, all the life-saving spiritual objects on his body were consumed. He was hit hard by the final trap and fell into siege again through the perception of the phantom spirit dragon. Li Shiming discovered that there seemed to be some kind of strange energy among the eight early Yuanying monks. He even vaguely sensed the aura of magical power. He became even more careful. If any of these eight early stage nascent soul monks were able to use offensive magical powers, the threat would be even greater. Even though Li Shiming rarely uses Nan Ming Li Hua in battle, this does not mean that the fire attribute magical power of Nan Ming Li Hua is not powerful but that he has a variety of equally powerful methods at his disposal. He regarded the offensive magical power of Nan Ming Li Hua more as a flame for refining weapons and elixirs. And the power of Nan Ming Li Hua was also a terrifying flame that could burn everything in battle. He does not underestimate any kind of magical power. Although he encountered very few magical powers in Donchi Continent, this does not affect his awe of magical powers, since his body was a little far away from the battlefield. Although he had the observation of divine eyes and the perception of sharing the phantom dragon, it was not his own perception. So he could not judge what kind of magical power it was. Join hands and let the rocks fall. The leader of the nascent soul early stage monk said in a deep voice when he saw Wang Yuan's thunder method stopped. He didn't want Wang Yuan to have time to rest. The eight early Yuanning monks drew complex spell patterns in front of them at the same time. Since they trapped Wang Yuan in the center and were not worried about Wang Yuan escaping. They had time to cast powerful spells when casting spells. Normally in battle, this kind of powerful spell is difficult to come out. Mainly because the lead time is a bit long. Unless the spell is made into a talisman. Or some special spiritual object is used to solidify the spell in a magic weapon. It can be cast quickly in a short time. Falling rock. A range attack spell. Is a powerful spell among earth spells. The rockfall technique can be used during the chi chain stage. But the most powerful thing about the rockfall technique is that as the realm increases, the power of the rockfall technique will also increase with it. The complex spell patterns drawn by the eight early Yuanning monks did not immediately trigger the falling stone technique. Eight complex spell patterns flew out and gathered together, forming a spell pattern that was several times larger. With the finger of the leader's nascent soul early stage monk, the spell pattern activated the energy inside and in the void. Li Shiming could feel that a space gap seemed to have opened in the void above his head and dozens of huge meteorites flew out from the space gap. These meteorites have long contained a large amount of kinetic energy. After flying out of the space gap, they carry power beyond the peak of the early Yuanying. Each meteorite is equivalent to a full blow from a monk who has exceeded the peak strength of the early Yuanying. Li Shiming put himself in his shoes and judged. When facing such an attack, his only option was to use Shinzu Tong to dodge. All his defenses could not withstand such a powerful attack. Thunder body! Wang Yuan bit the tip of his tongue and used the blood from the tip of his tongue to forcefully perform the secret technique of Jade Pure Thunder Code. This is a secret method that Li Shiming has not been able to master. His understanding of the Jade Pure Thunder Code was completely done alone without any guidance. Without guidance, he was just practicing and groping at the same time. It was already extremely extraordinary to be able to achieve his current achievements. If he hadn't had the natal magic weapon Z15 to constantly analyze and study, his understanding of the Jade Pure Thunder Code would probably be far less than it is now. Chapter 603 Fighting Thunder Body is a secret method recorded in the Jade Pure Thunder Code. 
which can transform the monk's body into an energy body of thunder and lightning. Li Shiming tried many times before, but was unable to transform his own energy into a body of thunder and lightning. He would have thought that the thunder body was wrong. Perhaps just an assumption. And no Lei Xiu could do it. But today, right in front of me, Lei Xiu did it. Wang Yuan used thunder body, and his body turned into a body of thunder and lightning. The energized body made him lose the influence of the entity. Meteorites falling from the void covered the entire area where he was. He didn't dodge, because he couldn't dodge at all. He was trapped in the attack range of the falling stone technique. In order not to be noticed by the Yuching sect, the Baiyu sect did not send any mid to late stage Yuanying monks this time. However, among the eight early stage Yuanying monks sent this time, there was one who had mastered the magical power inherited from the Baiyu sect. Monk. The inherited magical power of the Baiyu sect is the Invisible Yuan Magnetic magical power, and earth-based magical power. This is an extremely comprehensive magical power that can attack trapped enemies and can also be used for defense. Of course, the shortcomings of the magical power of invisible magnetism are also very obvious. As an offensive magical power, the attack power of invisible magnetism is not very strong. As a defensive magical power, it only has a strong defensive effect against metal magic weapons. For example, Wang Yuan's thunder and lightning attack does not have much defensive effect. When used to trap enemies, arrangements must be made in advance and corresponding spiritual objects can be borrowed to trap enemies. This does not mean that the invisible magnetism has weak magical powers. On the contrary, this invisible magnetism is extremely powerful. Most of the magic weapons in the world of immortality contain metal and are affected by invisible magnetism. On the contrary, there are very few magic weapons that are completely non-metallic. And magic weapons without metal properties lose the destructive power of metal. So the power of the magic weapon will be relatively weaker. Even if the magical power of invisible magnetism cannot be defended. It can be defended using normal means. The reason why Wang Yuan was unable to dodge the falling stone spell was because there were spiritual objects that enhanced the enemy trapping effect of invisible magnetism. Once he left the area, he would fall into the magical power of invisible magnetism. In his case, his body is directly affected by the invisible elemental magnetism. His sky strike thunder hammer will be affected. And the invisible elemental magnetism will also affect his speed, slowing down, and one against eight. In this case, he will be killed almost instantly. The meteorite hit Wang Yuan's body. The energy enhanced thunder and lightning body did not really withstand the attack of the meteorite. The meteorite passed through the body of thunder and lightning and hit the ground heavily. A hollow appeared on the ground. And then more meteorites fell, creating more hollows on the ground. Li Shiming's eyes narrowed. And he discovered something was wrong. Based on the analysis of the power of falling rocks by the magic weapon Z-15, each of these meteorites is powerful enough to penetrate the ground. And the meteorites will be deeply embedded tens or hundreds of meters underground. But the ground on the battlefield only had a hollow of several meters which was very unscientific. The ground has been strengthened, Li Shiming quickly concluded. He couldn't help but sigh at the perfection of the trap laid by the eight early Yuanning monks of the Baidi sect. It could be said that there was no possibility for Wang Yuan to escape. Even the ground has been arranged. Needless to say, there should be arrangements in all directions. As a Lei Xiu, he has faster speed than other monks. This is also the reason why Lei Xiu is called the strongest magic cultivator. He has speed and super attack power. As long as he keeps a distance, even if there are many enemies, he can use his speed to eat away at the enemies little by little. Laishio, who lost his speed, was equivalent to breaking a leg. The eight early nascent soul monks were not surprised to see that the falling stone technique was useless. With Wang Yuan's status, it was normal for him to have some life-saving means. They did not intend to use the falling stone technique to kill with one strike. The falling stone technique was just consuming Wang Yuan's limited energy. Wang Yuan used Thunder Body once, and his complexion became worse. After the Falling Stone technique ended, Wang Yuan immediately released the Thunder Body. The consumption of the Thunder Body was somewhat unbearable for him. He mentally contacted the Chishao Thunder Bead and extracted some Thunder Energy from it into his body, and finally managed to maintain his combat power. The Thunder Energy can be replenished, but his injuries have become aggravated. He cannot recover in a short time and the eight early Yuanying monks of the Baidi sect will not let him recover. Come out, Earth Puppet! 
The leader of the early Yuanying monks pointed at the ground beside Wang Yuan and shouted. The ground rose up next to Wang Yuan. And the soil formed a human shape. Special runes flashed on the human-shaped soil. And the human-shaped soil came to life. The fighting power of the earth puppet is not very strong. Probably only that of a new nascent soul. But its defensive power is very strong. As long as it stands on the ground. It can use the power of the earth to transfer attacks underground. In fact, the magic of earth puppetry is rarely used in combat. And is usually used for exploration. Nascent soul monks rarely fight on the ground. And if an earth puppet leaves the ground, its defense will be greatly weakened. Losing the strongest aspect of the earth puppet, Wang Yuan sighed helplessly in his heart. His situation did not allow him to use the Yuanying Dharma. Once the Yuanying Dharma was used, his injuries could no longer be suppressed. Shisha Thunder Bead! Borrow the method! He said softly. An energy surged out from the Shisha Thunder Bead and flowed through his body into the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer in his hand. In the process, his injuries continued to worsen. Shisha Thunder Bead can enhance the power of thunder, but it requires a strong body to withstand this enhancement. Wang Yuan's body was injured, and the enhancement of Shishao Thunder Bead was like a chronic poison. If he didn't use Shishao Thunder Bead, he would die immediately. But if he used Shishao Thunder Bead, he would die later. He still held on to a glimmer of hope, hoping for a miracle to happen. So he kept mobilizing the energy in the Shishao Thunder Bead to delay the coming of death. The Sky Strike Thunder Hammer in his hand sent out a bolt of thunder and lightning which struck the Earth Puppet. The Earth Puppet's defense had no effect and was shattered into pieces. Li Shiming couldn't help but twitching at the corner of his eye when he saw the power of this thunder and lightning. As a Lei Xiao who also practices the Jade Pure Thunder Code, he naturally has an accurate judgment on the power of thunder and lightning. He also understands the defense power of Earth Puppets. The defense power of this kind of extremely limited puppet, when on the ground, can almost exceed the peak of the early nascent soul. But even the Earth Puppet's defense was destroyed by a seemingly ordinary lightning strike. Is this the power of the Shishao Thunder Bead? He thought to himself. Greed flashed in his eyes. How could a lay cultivator not be tempted by such treasures that could greatly enhance the power of thunder? Besides, if the God's Night Thunder Bead appears in front of you, you will be blamed if God doesn't take it. His mind moved, and he started to make preparations. He had done a lot of things that benefited the fishermen. For the first time, the monk in the early stage of nascent soul put a smile on his face. Wang Yuan's situation was seen by him. As long as he worked harder, Wang Yuan could completely lose his ability to fight. Come out the earth puppet! He nodded to the other seven early Yuanying monks, who then summoned the earth puppet together. The seven earth puppets attacked Wang Yuan, and Wang Yuan sent out seven thunderbolts again, destroying the seven earth puppets. It seemed that Wang Yuan had the upper hand, but everyone could see that Wang Yuan was consuming his own life fighting. The earth puppet summoned by the earth monk only consumed some spiritual power, and the rest did not consume anything. An earth puppet is an earth attribute puppet formed by gathering earth spiritual power into the soil. It is more like a spell that can move freely, rather than a true puppet. The energy in the earth puppet's body is constantly being consumed, and it will consume energy as long as it exists, regardless of whether the earth puppet fights or not. Once the energy in its body is consumed to a certain level, it can no longer maintain its existence and will automatically die. The seven earth puppets made Wang Yuan's injuries worse again, and his breathing became a little heavy. His body shook involuntarily, and this movement made the leader of the early Yuanying monks even more happy. Wang Yuan, stop struggling. With the injuries in your body, every time you use the thunder method, you will be worse than dead. Give up! The leader, the early Yuanying monk, persuaded again. Song you, you coward. Even if I am injured like this, you don't dare to fight me one-on-one. -on -one. You are just an insidious villain hiding behind. With your Taoist heart, becoming a demon is your only future. Wang Yuan opened his mouth and laughed. Song Yu's face darkened. He was indeed extremely afraid of Wang Yuan. Wang Yuan's background determined this. But he didn't want to show it. There were seven other disciples beside him. Wang Yuan, your death is imminent and you still speak harshly. Do you think I'm really afraid of you? I'm going to kill you with my own hands. Song Yu judged the situation and said loudly. Wang Yuan was absolutely unable to fight with him in his current state. Even with the blessing of Shisha Thunder Bead. How many times can Wang Yuan's body withstand the blessing process of Shisha Thunder Bead? Once or twice. 
there is a high probability that mobilizing the Jishao Thunder Bead once or twice will destroy all the vitality in Wang Yuan's body. When Song Yu thought about it, it was already the last moment. He killed Wang Yuan with his own hands before he could establish prestige in front of the other seven fellow disciples. Thinking of this, Song Yu moved closer to Wang Yuan. Of course, he was still very cautious and did not get too close to Wang Yuan. He just left the formation with the seven early Yuanying monks. Wang Yuan, I will give you a dignified death, leave you with a complete body, and I will build you a permanent sarcophagus. Song Yu looked at Wang Yuan with a victor's attitude and said, a sarcastic smile appeared on Wang Yuan's lips. He had been waiting for this opportunity. The injuries inside his body were indeed very serious, and he could no longer mobilize the Jishao Thunderbead. This fact could not be deceived by the eight early Yuanying monks. Bai Di Zong knew Yu Qing Zong very well. And even if he wanted to deceive, he couldn't do it. It was true that he was injured. And it was true that he was unable to fight anymore. But the only difference was that he still had one method that he had not used. After seeing Wang Yuan smile, Song Yu immediately felt something was wrong. Song Yu was about to retreat into the formation of the early Yuanying monks. But it was already too late. Wang Yuan's nascent soul opened its mouth and shot a bolt of lightning from Wang Yuan's body. As soon as this thunder and lightning appeared, even the invisible phantom dragon outside the battlefield felt a strong sense of oppression. It was impossible to imagine what kind of thunder and lightning this was. And the power it carried was so terrifying that Li Shiming could not imagine it at all. The thunder and lightning passed through the space and almost hit Song Yu's body when she was still thinking about retreating but failed to do so. The defensive magic weapons and defensive spells on Song Yu's body did not block the thunder and lightning's attack at all. The defensive magic weapon turned into fragments. The defensive magic shield was broken with one blow. And lightning struck Song Yu's body. No! Song Yu wanted the nascent soul to leave the body. But this lightning was fundamentally different from normal lightning attacks. After this lightning hit Song Yu, Song Yu lost control of his body. The paralysis caused by the lightning was far greater than that of other thunder cultivators. The thunder and lightning also carried a force of annihilation. The thunder and lightning spread throughout Song Yu's body, and life disappeared wherever it passed. Song Yu's nascent soul wanted to leave the body, but there was no way to pass through the body covered with thunder and lightning. When the thunder and lightning invaded Yuanying, Yuanying looked frightened and was surrounded by thunder and lightning. This lightning was extremely fast, and the attack was too sudden. Before Song Yu was hit, the seven early Yuanying monks had not yet reacted. They wanted to rescue him after the hit. But when they took action, Song Yu's body lost its vitality and fell towards the ground. Just after Song Yu died, a look of madness flashed in Wang Yuan's eyes. Song Yu was the commander of this trap, and his sudden death created a gap in the trap laid by the Baidi sect. But Wang Yuan didn't want to escape. He knew his physical condition well. Even if he ran away, he would not be able to escape far. And he would be caught up by seven early Yuanying monks due to his physical injuries. By then, he would not even be able to put up a final resistance. So he chose to fight to the death, forgetting the injuries inside his body. The energy in the Chishao Thunder Bead was stimulated by him. The energy mobilized from the Chishao Thunder Bead. This time was far beyond what his body could bear. The solidified thunder body spell on the sky strike thunder hammer in his hand was activated and his body entered the thunder body state of energy enhanced thunder and lightning body the energy in the jishao thunder bead poured into his body and the lightning body reduced most of the damage but a small amount of damage was still borne by his body these injuries were forcibly suppressed by him and he used the thunder cloud technique at the last moment of his life the thunder cloud technique that originally took a period of time to prepare was successfully activated in one breath. At the cost of burning a lot of his lifespan. Anyway, his life is entering a countdown. So what's the use of leaving so much longevity? At the cost of a large amount of lifespan. Just to reduce the lead time of performing. Thunder cloud technique. This price can be said to be extremely huge. Chapter 604 Cleaning. With the fall of Song Yu, gaps appeared in the defense built by the seven early Yuanying monks. Wang Yuan activated the Thunder Cloud Technique at the cost of a large amount of longevity. The power of this Thunder Cloud Technique increased several times with the blessing of the Chishao Thunder Bead. Although the invisible magnetism force field between the seven early Yuanying monks is still maintained, this invisible magnetism cannot withstand the invisible power of thunder and lightning. After the Thunder Cloud Technique was activated, the area was shrouded in thunder clouds. 
and a doomsday image appeared. Without Song Yu's command, the remaining seven early Yuaning monks were without a person in charge for a while. And they were even more horrified by Song Yu's death. Song Yu is not the strongest among them. But he is the one with the highest status among them. Song Yu's death will cause them great trouble when they return to the sect. The seven early Yuaning monks were distracted and did not immediately attack Wang Yuan due to the impact of Song Yu's death. Perhaps in their hearts, Wang Yuan is already destined to die. And how to deal with Song Yu's death is more important. It was precisely this mentality that caused these early Yuaning monks to face experiences that they would regret for the rest of their lives. When they sensed that Wang Yuan had launched the Thunder Cloud technique, it was already too late, and the entire area was covered by thunder clouds. They had some trouble trying to escape, regardless of whether they had enough time. The attack speed of the lightning spell was the fastest. Once activated, it was difficult to dodge. Even if they had the ability to dodge, they were under the power of invisible magnetism in the field, leaving as much slower than normal. The magical power of invisible yuan magnetic creates a force field through multiple spiritual objects. Except for the monk among them who has mastered the magical power of invisible yuan magnetic. The rest of the early yuaning monks are also affected by the invisible yuan magnetic and the speed slows down. Thunder and lightning fell accurately on the seven early yuaning monks. The power of the thunder and lightning was extremely terrifying. Even if they used defensive magic weapons to resist, it would only last half a breath longer. Li Shiming stared blankly at the battlefield. He was prepared to take advantage of the situation and take advantage of the enemy. However, the battle in front of him was too thorough. It was basically a battle of mutual destruction. This kind of good thing can also happen, which makes him feel that he is in good luck recently. At this time, the thunder cloud technique ended, and when he was about to clean the battlefield, he suddenly found a figure standing up from the ground shakingly on the battlefield. That was one of the seven early Yuaning monks from Baidi sect. His condition at this time was extremely miserable. The flesh on his body was charred black, and almost no intact parts could be seen. If it were a gene and cultivator, the injuries on his body alone would be enough to kill the cultivator on the spot. This early Yuaning monk might have some kind of treasure on him. So he saved his life. Ha ha ha. I had the last laugh. Song you. You piece of trash. You stand over me based on your background. Now the Shishao Thunder Bead. Is mine. And all the spiritual objects in your body are mine. So I am he is the winner with the last laugh. The monk in the early stage of nascent soul laughed loudly and said. Even Li Shiming can clearly feel his pride and resentment through the perception of the phantom dragon. Li Shiming couldn't bear to see others being complacent. His heart moved slightly as four fourth grade puppets launched electromagnetic cannons in unison and four top grade fourth grade cone shaped magic weapons flew away. He knew the power of the electromagnetic gun and even a mid stage nascent soul monk had to be careful when dealing with it. However, this early stage nascent soul monk was seriously injured. If he hadn't wanted to resolve the battle early, he wouldn't have let the four fourth level puppets attack at the same time. The four top grade cone shaped magic weapons of the fourth grade were extremely fast. They arrived near the early Yuaning monks instantly after being launched. But something horrifyingly shimming happened. The four top grade cone shaped magic weapons of the fourth grade began to slow down when they were close to the early Yuaning monks. Even with the terrifying kinetic energy launched by the electromagnetic gun, they did not allow the four top grade cone shaped magic weapons of the fourth grade to fly very far. The deceleration process was only two seconds. The rise stopped in midair. Li Shiming stared blankly at the four fourth grade top cone shaped magic weapons stagnating in midair. He looked at the injured early Yuaning monk in disbelief. He almost wanted to turn around and run away. He strongly suspected that this early Yuaning monk was a great monk who had hidden his strength. He quickly realized that the abilities of the early Yuaning monks were extremely weird and good. But if the early Yuaning monks were really great monks, how could they be so severely injured by the previous Wang Yuan? The injuries sustained by the Thunder cloud technique. On the monk in the early stage of nascent soul are not deceiving. He should have some kind of ability. Li Shiming thought that Wang Yuan's thunder method had not been affected before. As his mind moved slightly, the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer appeared in his hand. The monk in the early stage of nascent soul was also numb. He never thought that there were monks watching the battle and taking action against him. If he hadn't had the magical power of Invisible Yuan Magnetic, he would have been killed right now. His reaction was extremely fast. At this time, he no longer had any thoughts of Jishao Thunder Beads, and his nascent soul flew out from above his head. 
he gave up his severely injured body. Although it was a difficult road to rebuild the nascent soul, it was better than staying here and waiting to die. He is very clear about his situation. Although he has resisted the attack of the unknown enemy, it is the effect of the invisible magnetism, magical power. The unknown enemy can kill him with just a spell. Invisible magnetic can defend against metallic attacks. But attacks with other attributes have little effect. So he decisively left his body with his nascent soul and wanted to use the speed of his nascent soul to escape. If he met other Yuanying monks, perhaps it would be feasible for Yuanying to leave the body and escape. Because the Yuanying monk's Yuanying escape speed is the fastest flight speed. But Li Shiming had supernatural powers. When he discovered that Yuanying, a monk in the early stage of Yuanying, was leaving his body and trying to escape, he immediately used South close to the end of the world and came to the side of Yuanying in one step. The Heaven Strike Thunder Hammer in his hand fired a bolt of thunder and lightning, hitting Nascent Soul. Just as the monk in the early stage of Nascent Soul had judged by himself, any spell could solve his injury. But this lightning strike would kill him. The nascent soul struggled for a moment in the thunder and lightning, and the nascent soul exploded from the inside. A small mustard seed ring and mountain magic weapon appeared at the location where the Yuanying exploded. This was the last remnant of the monks in the early stage of the Yuanying. Li Shiming put away the things with a wave of his hand, and his figure flashed to the previous battlefield. His consciousness swept through every place. At this time, the Mule nascent soul in his body was transformed into the main nascent soul, causing his breath to become Latio and the Heaven Strike Thunder Hammer in his hand surged even more. The breath of thunder and lightning. He first put away all the corpses because he guessed that the background of these early Yuanying monks was not simple. He was worried about getting into trouble. So he put all the corpses into the computer room space. Only the computer room space was the safest place. He found 12 more jade tokens in 12 places on the ground. The jade tokens carried the aura of Earth's spiritual power. He looked at them and put them into the computer room together. His consciousness found nothing more. And just when he was about to leave, he discovered a strange phenomenon. He maintains the Jade Pure Thunder Code, which causes a thunder and electric field around his body. This lightning electric field has no practical effect. At least for now. He cannot use the lightning electric field. Within the range of the lightning field, tiny electric lights emitted from his body flew around irregularly from time to time. He found that the tiny electric lights around his body flew to the same location uniformly. Li Shiming came to that location with curiosity, stretched out his hand and touched it. But he touched a small bead. When he touched the little bead, the little bead seemed to sense the aura of Jade Clear Thunder Code on his body. The little bead emerged from invisibility and fell into his hand. Could this be the Shishao Thunder Bead? Li Shiming looked at the small bead in his hand and had a guess in his mind. But this is not the time to check. A war has broken out here. There are many monks who can sense the atmosphere of the war here. There will be monks coming soon. He put the bead into the machine room space. Activated the invisibility function of the color changing cloak. Activated. South close to the end. And he disappeared from the battlefield. Not long after Li Shiming left. A monk arrived. When the monk saw the remaining aura here. A look of pity flashed in his eyes. The monk thought he had arrived too late. The fierce fighting atmosphere here showed that many nascent soul monks had died. Just as the monk was about to leave. Another monk arrived. Leave the things behind. The monk who arrived also sensed the aura of the battlefield. And he looked at the previous monk with a look of greed in his eyes. The fighting broke out again. And as more monks arrived, the fighting here continued to increase. Li Shiming didn't know what happened after he left. He did not return to the 10,000 beasts sect at this time. But went to his other cave. The one under the water pool. He regarded this cave as a place for cultivating and refining corpses. He didn't want to come here on weekdays mainly because he didn't like the cold atmosphere here. Only the clonely Yuan Ba would like to stay in this cave when he is in the corpse refining state. However, this cave is extremely safe, and it is the best among wild caves in terms of concealment and defense. After entering the cave, he took out the fourth grade formation flag and drove away the cold energy in a room. He did not want to stay in the cold energy for a long time. The harvest this time was huge, and he couldn't wait to see the harvest. But he also understood that the greater the harvest, the greater the trouble. So he was not going to take things out of the computer room this time. But just check them in the computer room. The first thing he wanted to check was naturally the small bead that he thought was the Chishao Thunder Bead. The eight early Yuanying monks worked hard to set up a killer trap just for the Chishao Thunder Bead. He also saw the power of Wang Yuan, 
when he used the thunder method. It was definitely abnormal power. And it was several times more powerful than the thunder method used by normal Latio. His consciousness was in the computer room space. Holding the small beat in the air. The 5 nanometer level of control combined with the particularity of the computer room space allows him to penetrate the surface of the beads and enter the interior for exploration. When he put his perception into the inside of the bead, he was stunned. Inside the bead was a world of thunder and lightning. Inside the small bead, the thunderclouds in the sky were one layer after another, making the sky dark and dense. Thunder and lightning are constantly striking down from the thunder clouds. The lightning strikes in the air and on the ground. The ground is covered with strange runes. Every time a thunder and lightning strikes the ground, the runes in that area will emit a dazzling light. It can be said that there is a small world inside the bead, a world of pure thunder and lightning. This is somewhat similar to Dantian. But Li Shiming, who has seen Dantian, is very sure that the inside of this small bead is not Dantian. He has an inexplicable affinity for the world inside the bead, as if the world is related to him. The spiritual power of the Jade Pure Thunder Code. In Yuanying and the small world of thunder and lightning in the small bead were connected through his perception. And he had a feeling in his heart that he could recognize this small bead as its owner. Because Xiaoyu has a connection with him. It means that Xiaoyu recognizes him. This is normal. This small bead is the Chishao Thunder Bead. The Chishao Thunder Bead is the most precious treasure of the Yuching sect. It is complementary to the Yuching Thunder Code. There are many ways to recognize the master of the Shishao Thunder Bead, among which the most convenient and quickest is to practice the Jade Clear Thunder Code. Li Shiming was about to recognize the owner of the Shishao Thunder Bead, but he stopped. He found a spiritual mark in the Shishao Thunder Bead. Fortunately, he was in the computer room space. When he explored the inside of Jin Shao Lei Bead, he used his special control over the computer room space. He was like a dominant presence in the computer room space. Although the spiritual imprint made him feel like he was looking up from a high mountain. And even made him feel like he was facing Jin Lao. It was the use of special control power to explore in the computer room space that made him not affected by the spiritual imprint. The suppression of imprints. To be honest, he was a little disappointed. It was obvious that this Chishao Thunder Bead was definitely an extraordinary treasure. But with this spiritual imprint, he couldn't truly identify the owner of the Chishao Thunder Bead. Judging from the performance of Chishao Thunder Bead, he can recognize Chishao Thunder Bead as its master as long as he plays the master recognition method. But this kind of recognition only becomes the secondary master of Chishao Thunder Bead. The one who truly masters the Chishao Thunder Bead is the being who left the spiritual imprint. If that being wants to, he can take back the Chishao Thunder Bead at any time. Of course, he had kept the Chishao Thunder Bead in the computer room space. No matter how powerful the opponent was, he could not take back the Chishao Thunder Bead. But in this way, the Chishao Thunder Bead loses its function and becomes a collection in the computer room space. This is what he doesn't want. He can covet the effect of Chishao Thunder Beads. Just talking about the effect of Chishao Thunder Beads on Thunder Spells makes him excited. If he gets the blessing effect of Chishao Thunder Bead, he can fight against the mid-stage nascent soul monks with his thunder method. And Chishao Thunder Bead is definitely more than that. It is only a blessing for the thunder cultivator in the early stage of Yuanying. After reaching the middle stage of Yuanying, the blessing effect of Chishao Thunder Bead may be able to make the thunder cultivator in the middle stage of Yuanying have a great monk. It's definitely a fighting force. Chapter 605 Inventory Li Shiming once again since the spiritual mark in the Chishao Thunder Bead. The spiritual mark was suspended in the Chishao Thunder Bead. It seemed that even if 10,000 years passed, it would not be able to eliminate it on its own. He tried to use his control over the computer room space to forcibly remove the spiritual imprint from the Chishao Thunder Bead. When his control power came into contact with the spiritual imprint, his control power was bounced away in an instant. He felt that if it weren't for the special control power he used over the computer room space, the counterattack of the spiritual imprint alone would be enough to destroy the soul of the early Yuanying monk. It would not be surprising if it was damaged or even died on the spot. The being who left the spiritual mark left a lot of spirit in the spiritual mark. Perhaps these spirits were nothing to that being. But they were fatal to Li Shiming in the early stage of nascent soul. The natal magic weapon Z15 started to analyze. And within a short time, multiple solutions were given. 
These solutions are all formulated based on his existing abilities, and each one has the potential to remove the mental imprint. The reason why it is possible, but not certain, is because Z15 cannot give an accurate positioning of the level of the spiritual imprint. Li Shiming shook his head. A huge Yuanning Dharma image arm suddenly appeared in front of his arm. The Yuanning Dharma image arm also held the Heaven Strike Thunder Hammer. He fired a bolt of thunder and lightning into the void in front of him. And with a slight movement of his mind, he sent the bolt of thunder and lightning into the spiritual imprint of the Chishou Thunder Bead in the computer room space. The thunder and lightning struck the mental mark, but the mental mark was not even affected. As if the thunder and lightning were fake, it seemed that the lightning attack was ineffective. So he condensed another Sky Thunder Sword intent and sent it into the spiritual imprint of Chishou Thunder Bead. Thunder Sword intent is the nemesis of the spirit. But this also depends on the level of the spirit. The Thunder Sword Intent came into contact with the spiritual mark. And the Thunder Sword Intent struck the spiritual mark. The mental mark remained motionless. But the Tian Thunder Sword Intent was reduced by half. He was still a little unconvinced and continued to attack the spiritual mark with Thunder Sword Intent. This time, Thunder Sword Intent disappeared directly. Li Shiming looked at the spiritual imprint in the Chishou Thunder Bead. He felt like a mortal facing a mountain. The idea of shaking the spiritual imprint was shaken after hitting the wall again and again. He had not thought about the Broken Void Sword intention before, because the Broken Void Sword intent was too weak, even after a period of time of condensation. The newly generated Broken Void Sword intent could not compete with the Tian Lei, compared with Sword intent. After trying most of the solutions given by Z15, there is another solution. And it is the one with the lowest success rate. That is to use Breaking Void Sword Intent to attack the spiritual mark. Neither the Thunder Method nor the Thunder Sword Intent attack had any effect before. Li Shiming did not believe that the immature Breaking Void Sword Intent could do it. Arrive. Li Shiming's fingers flashed with light. And a Void Breaking Sword Intent was generated. As his mind moved slightly, Breaking Void Sword Intent disappeared from his finger and appeared in the machine room space at the spiritual imprint of Chishou Thunder Bead. The Broken Void Sword Intent struck at the spiritual mark of Chishou Thunder Bead and the Broken Void Sword Intent rebounded, but it did not weaken much. It seems that the spiritual imprint has not changed at all. Just like the previous attempts, it was all in vain. But under Li Shiming's 5 nanometer control perception, he discovered differences. After the spiritual imprint of Chishou Thunder Bead was chopped off by Broken Void Sword Intent, a gap of about 18 nanometers appeared. In fact, if it weren't for his control over 5 nanometers, the 18 nanometer gap would have been impossible to discover, no matter how we tried before, let alone the 18 nanometers notch. Even the smallest notch had never appeared. It works! But the efficiency is too low. Although Li Shiming complained, his movements did not stop. He separated a brain and only did one thing, which was to control the mental imprint of Broken Void Sword Intent to continuously attack Chishou Thunder Bead. No matter how small the destructive power of Broken Void Sword Intent is to the mental mark of Chishou Thunder Bead, as long as it can cause damage, it will only be a matter of time before the mental mark is broken. He is a Yuaning monk and has a long time at his disposal. Just when Li Shiming used Broken Void Sword Intent to strike the spiritual mark of Chishou Thunder Bead, Luo Yuan, who was far away in a cave of Yuching sect in Xi'an continent, opened his eyes. Something happened to Wang Yuan, and the Chishou Thunder Bead fell into the hands of others. Luo Yuan muttered to himself. He was slightly annoyed in his heart. Any monk who dared to snatch the Chishou Thunder Bead was not taking Yuching Zong seriously. The message Wang Yuan sent when the accident took some time to be sent back to the Xi'an continent. Liu Yuan has not received any news from Wang Yuan yet. The reason why he knew what happened to the Chishou Thunder Bead was because Li Shiming used Broken Void Sword Intent to attack the spiritual imprint he left in the Chishou Thunder Bead. Take it! Liu Yuan shouted as he played a complicated magic formula. No matter how far away the Chishou Thunder Bead is from him. As the owner of the Chishou Thunder Bead. He can take back the Chishou Thunder Bead. The Chishou Thunder Bead is not an ordinary magic weapon, but a rare treasure. After countless years of investment by the Yuching sect, it became the most precious treasure of the Yuching sect today. 
Under normal circumstances, Luo Yuan used the magic formula to retrieve the Jishao Thunder Bead. No matter how far away the Jishao Thunder Bead was from him, even if they were separated by a continent, he could still retrieve the Jishao Thunder Bead. This is also the reason why he dared to lend the Jishao Thunder Bead to Wang Yuan, which could give Wang Yuan more experience and protect Wang Yuan's safety. But he never expected that Wang Yuan would be targeted by the Baidi sect and they would use some means to make Wang Yuan fall into a trap. In fact, even if those early Yuanying monks from the Baidi sect obtained the Jishao Thunder Beads, Liu Yuan could immediately take back the Jishao Thunder Beads, as long as he sensed anything wrong. The Jishao Thunder Bead also has the ability to protect itself, just like Wang Yuan did. In desperation, Wang Yuan placed the Jishao Thunder Bead in the void and activated the Jishao Thunder Bead. The self-hiding function of beads. The Jishao Thunder Bead is hidden and cannot be discovered even by divine consciousness. Liu Yuan waited for a moment. His expression changed slightly. This time he was more serious. He took out the formation flag and arranged a formation to enhance the effect of his spell casting. Once again, he used the magic formula to recover the Jishao Thunder Bead. As soon as he finished using the magic formula, he knew that it had no effect. Because even with the blessing of the formation, he still couldn't sense the existence of the Jishao Thunder Bead. Either the Jishao Thunder Bead was destroyed, or his spiritual imprint was expelled. What kind of existence is the Jishao Thunder Bead? It is not easy to destroy the Jishao Thunder Bead. Even an existence in the same realm as Luo Yuan cannot destroy the Jishao Thunder Bead. There is only one possibility. That is, the spiritual imprint he left in the Jishao Thunder Bead has been cleared. There are only a few old guys who can remove the spiritual mark in the Jishao Thunder Bead. Wang He, come here! Luo Yuan commanded as he played a spell. Soon a great monk who looked somewhat similar to Wang Yuan came in and bowed to Luo Yuan. Something happened to Wang Yuan. Go and investigate what happened and find the Jishao Thunder Bead. Luo Yuan ordered in a deep voice. Yes, I will investigate immediately. Wang He responded. Wang Yi's body was full of murderous intent. Wang Yuan was from the same clan as him and his sect. They worshipped under Luo Yuan's sect together. It was also a good story in the Yuching sect. He is very fond of Wang Yuan. The relationship between the two is usually the best. And he takes great care of Wang Yuan. Although Luo Yuan did not explain clearly what happened to Wang Yuan. But when he heard that the Chishao Thunder Bead was missing, Wang Yuan was probably in danger. Li Shiming didn't know at this time what impact he would have if he used Broken Void Sword Intent to attack the spiritual mark of Jishao Thunder Bead. He was currently checking the spiritual objects left behind by Wang Yuan. The robes Wang Yuan wore were a set of top-level 4th grade robes. According to Li Shiming's judgment, the defensive power of this top-grade 4th grade robe is probably no less than that of the 4th grade Water Dragon robe. Unfortunately, he sensed that the defensive spells in this top-grade 4th grade robe were consumed. Wang Yuan had many ways to save his life, but most of them were consumed in treasures, which were specially arranged for him. The defensive spells in this top-level 4th grade robe were consumed in the treasure to resist formation attacks. Li Shiming had a smile on his face. The first spiritual object he checked was the best. It seemed that the harvest this time would be extremely huge. He also took the Heaven Strike Thunder Hammer, used by Wang Yuan, which was also of the top quality of the 4th grade. Unfortunately, the magic weapon that matched the Jade Clear Thunder Code was Wang Yuan's natal magic weapon. This greatly reduced the value of this Sky Strike Thunder Hammer. Of course, even if he could exert 100% of the power of this Sky Strike Thunder Hammer, he would not choose to use this Sky Strike Thunder Hammer. The Sky Strike Thunder Hammer, he refined himself, is a 4th grade top level calamity magic weapon. And it is also a natal magic weapon. Its quality is superior to this. Sky Strike Thunder Hammer, not to mention its power in actual combat. He put the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer aside and then took out the highlight, Wang Yuan's Mustard Seed Ring. Wang Yuan's Mustard Ring was found in his body. This Mustard Ring is a Mustard Ring that can be transformed into energy. Since the Mustard Seed Ring was worn on Yuan Ying's body in an energy form, when Yuan Ying died, the Mustard Seed Ring lost its owner and changed from energy to entity and it appeared in Wang Yuan's body. No matter where this mustard ring is, it cannot escape as long as it is in the computer room space. Li Shiming played a magic trick to recognize the master. 
the mustard seed ring was recognized as its master, and his spiritual consciousness successfully entered the mustard seed ring. His consciousness scanned the inside of the mustard seed ring. And to be honest, he was a little disappointed. The quality of the spiritual objects in the mustard ring was indeed very high, but not many of them really attracted him. A top grade fourth grade flying boat. This is a single person flying boat. And it is the highest quality fourth grade flying boat that Lee Shimming has ever seen. But the obvious. Jade Sheen sect. Mark on the fourth grade top flying boat still gave him a bit of a toothache. Even without the mark of the Jade Sheen sect. He didn't want to use this top level fourth grade flying boat. After discovering that Wang Yuan, a monk in the early stage of Yuan Ying, used the magic weapons of the fourth grade top quality. He knew that Wang Yuan's status in the Jade Qin sect was probably extremely high. If he uses this top level fourth grade flying boat, he may be targeted by the Yuching sect. Then the murder of Wang Yuan will fall on him and he will need to face the wrath of the Yuching sect. He also discovered some fourth grade spiritual fruits that he had never seen before. These spiritual fruits were of very high quality and could be eaten, which would increase his cultivation progress. The fourth grade spiritual fruit has the best effect only the first time you eat it. If you eat it after that, the effect will be greatly reduced. It's just that for monks who have reached the nascent soul stage, it is almost difficult to see spiritual fruits that they have not eaten. Normally, there are not many varieties of spiritual fruits grown by monks. Li Shiming's consciousness stopped on a jade box. This jade box looked very simple. And the runes on it were ancient runes. He took the jade box out of the mustard ring and opened it in the computer room. Suddenly a burst of thunder and lightning energy spread around. And he quickly used his control power to suppress the spread of energy back into the jade box. It's purple thunder plasma. It's actually purple thunder plasma. He exclaimed. He recognized the spiritual object in the jade box, which was an auxiliary spiritual object recorded in the Jade Clear Thunder Code. Being able to be recorded in the Jade Clear Thunder Code shows that Purple Thunder Serum is very important to the Jade Clear Thunder Code. This is also true. Purple Thunder Plasma is the top auxiliary spiritual object for practicing Jade Clear Thunder Code. In particular, it can greatly increase Lei Xiao's understanding of Jade Clear Thunder Code, and it can also improve Lei Xiao's body. It is more in line with the Jade Clear Thunder Code. Purple Thunder Plasma is extremely rare and is a rare resource that can only be encountered in a thousand years. The White Emperor Sek used Purple Thunder Plasma as bait to deceive Wang Yuan into entering the treasure. Wang Yuan did get the Purple Thunder Plasma, but he was not blessed with the Purple Thunder Plasma and finally fell into the hands of Li Shiming. With so much purple thunder plasma, it can speed up the practice of Jade Clear Thunder Code and advance to the middle stage of nascent soul as soon as possible. Li Shiming put away the purple thunder plasma and murmured to himself. The White Emperor sect is willing to give it up. The purple thunder plasma in this jade box is not only enough for him to advance to the middle stage of Yuanying. It can also be used for a long time in the middle stage of Yuanying, compared with other spiritual objects. Purple Thunder Plasma is his biggest gain. The Purple Thunder Plasma was highly praised in the Jade Purple Thunder Code, and he couldn't wait to try the effect of Purple Thunder Plasma. After putting away the Purple Thunder Serum, he found the last useful spiritual object from the Jade Clear Thunder Code. This was Wang Yuan's cultivation experience. Wang Yuan is a careful monk. He has recorded all his cultivation experiences. This is probably for the sect. He has very high expectations for himself. He is confident that his cultivation experience will be included in the sex inheritance. Middle. This is an honor. Except for the Lei Xiao who has successfully practiced the Jade Pure Thunder Cannon. In the sect, it is impossible for other Lei Xiao to incorporate their cultivation experience into the sex inheritance. Chapter 606 Investigation. Li Shiming began to check the mustard seed rings of the other eight early Yuanying monks. He really gained insight. Two of the eight mustard seed rings of the early Yuanying monks could be energized. He knew how precious this kind of mustard ring that could be turned into energy was. In the 10,000 Beasts sect, even the disciples of great monks might not be able to use this kind of mustard ring. The eight early Yuanying monks were born in the Baidi sect, a sect with the earth element as its main discipline. Therefore, the magic weapons of these eight early Yuanying monks are all earth-based magic weapons. Among them, there are six mountain-type magic weapons alone including two of the 4th grade top level mountain type magic weapons. And the rest are of 4th grade high level quality. 
he discovered from the eight early Yuanying monks that they were all wearing the same jade plaque. He could sense that the jade plaque had a certain resistance to thunder. It's a pity that all eight jade tokens have cracks and have lost their effect. Fortunately, the eight jade tokens have the effect of self-repair. When he discovered it, he was slowly absorbing spiritual energy to repair the cracks. It would take almost a hundred days to completely repair it on its own. He took one of the jade tablets and played a method of identifying the master. Lighting Protection Jade Token This is the name of the jade token. It is a spiritual object specially made to fight against thunder cultivators. The Lighting Protection Jade Order is not a magic weapon. After recognizing its owner, it only needs to be worn on the body to exert its effect. However, it will be damaged after a lightning attack beyond the endurance range. That is to say, Wang Yuan was injured before and could not fully exert his combat power. With the blessing of Chishao Thunder Bead, it only caused cracks in the Lighting Protection Jade Order, but was not able to completely destroy the Lighting Protection Jade Order. If Wang Yuan was at his peak, he would be able to kill a group of monks of the same level instantly if he used the nascent soul method and the effect of the Chishao Thunder Bead. Li Shiming looked at the Lighting Protection Jade Order and warned himself not to underestimate any monk. Any powerful profession will have methods of restraint. And the same is true for sword cultivators like Lei Xiao. Speaking of sword cultivators, he thought of four fourth grade puppets activating the electromagnetic cannon. But they were not even able to touch the body of the early nascent soul cultivator. He paid special attention to the mustard seed ring of the early Yuanying monk. And he found a stone ring inside the mustard seed ring. The reason why he pays special attention to the stone ring is because the stone ring has the aura of supernatural power. What Li Shiming didn't know was that this stone ring was the inheritance of the Invisible Yuan Magnetic Magical Power, which was the unique magical power of the Baidi sect. Baidi Zong Zheng Chan became one of the top forces in Xi'an continent because of his magical power of Invisible Yuan Magnetic, which can restrain magic weapons containing metal. In the world of immortality, not to mention that most monks like to use flying swords as their magic weapons. Even if they are not flying sword magic weapons. Many of them are made of metallic materials or mixed with metallic materials. The proportion of magic weapons that are truly pure and non-metallic among magic weapons is very small. Which means that the Baidi sex, invisible magnetism, magical power restrains a large part of the magic weapons in the world of immortality. The stone ring, an inherited object of the invisible magnetism, magical power should not have been taken out of the Baidi sect. However, this time in order to enhance the effect of the invisible magnetism, magical power, this inherited object was taken away from the Baidi sect, allowed to be taken out. The early Yuanning monk relied on the stone ring's blessing effect on the invisible Yuan magnetic magical power to strengthen the blockade of Wang Yuan. Of course, in addition to the stone rings, there are many good things in the mustard rings of the eight early Yuanning monks such as eight small airships of the fourth grade and upper level, and each of them as one. There is also a top-level fourth grade medium-sized flying boat. But this medium-sized flying boat cannot be used outside at all. The medium-sized flying boat has a unique shape, and its entire body is white, showing the appearance of the Baidi sex mark. If Li Shiming dares to take out this fourth grade top-level medium-sized flying boat, he will be discovered by the Baidi sect immediately. The Baidi sect is a sect that can compete with the Yuching sect. As far as he knows, the Yuching sect is much stronger than the 10,000 Beasts sect. Even if he is master who is his master and has the background of the 10,000 Beasts sect, he can't compete with him. The Yuching sect and the Baidi sect confront each other. Fortunately, he had something he could use. Among the eight mustard rings, he found a large number of fourth grade mid to upper grade earth element refining materials, as well as a fourth grade top grade earth element refining material. These refining materials can be taken out and used without any hidden dangers. Li Shiming withdrew his mind from the computer room space, leaving only a brain controlling the broken void sword intent to continuously attack the mental mark in the Shishao Thunder Bead. He asked the magic weapon Z15 to analyze whether he had left any traces. He was really relieved when the magic weapon Z15 sent the pictures of the previous battlefield from the drone satellite system. He saw chaos on the other side of the battlefield, with many nascent soul monks fighting there. In fact, it doesn't take much. As long as two nascent soul monks fight out the real fire and use the nascent soul dharma to completely destroy the remaining aura on the scene. You must know that he has practiced the body refining technique. And the breath leaking out of the body is very weak. 
and the breath that can remain at the scene is much less than that of a normal nascent soul cultivator. At first, he was worried that if powerful monks from Baidi sect or Yuching sect came to inspect the battlefield, there would be some means to discover the remaining aura of him from the battlefield. Now that there are many nascent soul cultivators on the battlefield there, it is impossible to find his aura. Li Shiming returned to the sect. He did not have the gains in the engine room space. Even the purple thunder plasma that was most helpful to him was not used. Nor did he accept the inheritance of the invisible yuan magnetic magical power. Everything must be done with caution. And he was prepared to wait for a while to see how things changed. More than three months later, a fourth grade top notch small airship appeared above that battlefield. The fourth grade top grade small airship went from extreme speed to stillness without any physical inertia. Wang Yi flew out from the fourth grade top small airship. He waved his hand and put away the fourth grade top small airship. In more than three months, he came from the Xi'an continent to the East Xi continent, relying on the extreme speed of his fourth grade top notch small flying boat. The connection between the Xi'an continent and the East Qi continent needs to pass through the Zhongzhou continent. And a normal long distance voyage from the Zhongzhou continent to the East Qi continent takes almost nine months. However, the journey from Xi'an continent to East Qi continent was twice as long as that from Zhongzhou continent to East Qi continent. But Wang He arrived in just over three months. More than three months of sailing at full speed did not make Wang He, who was in the realm of a great monk, even the slightest bit tired. His silhouette appeared on the battlefield in a flash. After more than three months, the battlefield had been destroyed many times, and even the soil on the ground was not much left intact. His consciousness spread like a spider web, and he could see every detail of the battlefield. He first discovered the weirdness of the soil. Although after more than three months, the spells cast by the early Yuanning monks of the Baidi sect on the ground had long since dissipated. The ground had been strengthened by spells, and would leave traces even if it recovered. Turn mud into stone. This is the method of earth monks. Wang Yi muttered to himself. He almost instantly judged the most likely attacker. The force that could be an enemy of the Yuching sect, and was famous for its earth element, was the Baidi sect. Of course, he didn't just point the finger at Baidi sect based on this little clue. Although he had been rushing to the eastern Qi continent during this period, Yuching Zong's investigation work did not stop. But all the intelligence resources that could be mobilized were mobilized. He has a special contact method that allows him to contact Yuking Zong every once in a while. So he will receive investigation reports from Yuking Zong every once in a while. Although what the Baidi sect does is secretive. It will leave traces once it is done. After investigation, the intelligence department of the Yuching sect discovered the clues left by the Baidi sect around Wang Yuan. After careful investigation, the Baidi sect was listed as the biggest suspect. Invisible magnetic energy! Wang He gritted his teeth and said, after he found strange patterns on the ground under a rock. The force field formed after the magical power of invisible magnetism is activated, will be affected by the force field when the dust falls. Originally, such traces could not be preserved. But after the dust here fell and formed the unique patterns of the invisible magnetism, magical force field, a rock happened to fall on it during the battle. And the patterns here were preserved. With ordinary viewing methods, it is impossible to find the patterns under the rocks. But under the spiritual consciousness of the great monk, all traces are invisible. Needless to say, the magical power of Invisible Yuan Magnetic appeared on the battlefield. Wang Yuan was attacked. And the Chishao Thunder Bead was lost. It was the work of the Baidi sect. His consciousness has been shrouded in this area. He did not leave immediately, but analyzed every clue bit by bit. Although he knew it was the Baidi sect, there were still many doubts that puzzled him. According to the intelligence from the Yuching sect, there were no mid-stage nascent soul monks from the Baidi sect who came to the eastern Qi continent at the time of the incident. And there were traces of attacks on the battlefield caused by Wang Yuan's thunder cloud technique. According to Wang Yi's judgment, if Wang Yuan's own strength and the blessing of the Chishao thunder bead were used, it would be impossible for a monk in the early stage of nascent soul to resist Wang Yuan. It seems like we need to track down the monks who have been here. Wang Yi thought to himself. He took out a tracking magic weapon and collected all the auras that could be found here. In the days that followed, multiple forces in this area were invaded, and many nascent soul monks were forcibly taken away. On this day, Wang Yi frowned even more when he saw that there was still an aura in the tracking magic weapon. During these days of investigation, all the monks he found who had been to the battlefield found nothing. These monks all suspected that other monks had gained something. But in fact, 
None of the monks he found found any spiritual objects at the scene. Only this Yuanying monk is left. If there are no clues, he will attack the monks of Baidi sect. He also understood that he had made some big moves recently, and he was afraid that he would soon be discovered by the major forces in the eastern Qi continent. When a great monk like him comes to the eastern Qi continent, he will definitely be targeted by the local forces, and it will not be so easy to move around later. After flying for a period of time, he came to a mountain peak, where the last nascent soul monk was located. Although a long time has passed, the monk can still be accurately found through the tracking magic weapon of Yuching sect and the aura remaining for more than three months. Of course, the premise is that the monk has not gone too far, and it will be impossible to track it beyond a certain range. Those who can rush to the battlefield in a short time and want to pick up some bargains are naturally the monks nearby. Wang he was about to break through the formation, but his expression changed slightly, and the aura on his body suddenly exploded. The terrifying aura of the great monk enveloped the mountain peak, and the same terrifying aura of the great monk rose from the mountain peak. The two auras of the great monk came into contact, causing a slight explosion in the void. Yen Gao! It is indeed Wang Yuan, who was attacked and killed by the Baidi sect. Wang He's eyes were filled with murderous intent, and he recognized the owner of this aura. Wang He! If I, the Baidi sect, really attacked and killed Wang Yuan, I would still be here. Do you think I would be willing to come? Yin Gao's voice came out from the mountain peak, with a hint of helplessness in his voice. Yin Gao was in a cave, and next to him was the fallen Yuanying monk. This Yuanying monk was the owner of this place, and one of the people who went to that battlefield to pick up bargains. The body of the nascent soul cultivator showed a strange stiffness, and there were traces of stone formation under the skin. These are traces left after being tortured by earth-type monks. It seems that this nascent soul monk was not feeling well before his death. Yin Gao was also very annoyed. It was originally a group of brainiacs from the Baidi sect who made this plan and invested a lot of manpower and material resources into it. But things went wrong at the end of the network. The eight early stage nascent soul monks sent by the Baidi sect all lost contact. The first suspicion of the Baidi sect was that among the eight early stage Yuanying monks, some of them took advantage of others and escaped with them. Chishou Thunderbead! This is speculation, but it is also very possible. The value of the Chishou Thunder Bead is so high that not to mention the early Yuanying monks. Even the great monks will be tempted by it. Although the Chishou Thunder Bead is a treasure aimed at Lei Xiao, if a suitable force can be found to take action, the benefits it will bring will be enough to increase the cultivation resources of nascent soul monks from the early stage to the great monks many times. In addition, the reason why the Baidi sect immediately sent Yin Gao when they discovered something was wrong was that not only did they lose eight early stage nascent soul monks this time, but one of them also had an inheritance of magical power called Invisible Yuan Magnetic. Although the chance of obtaining magical power inheritance from the Invisible Yuan Magnetic magical power inheritance is very small. Even within the Baidi sect, only one person who can accept the Invisible Yuan Magnetic magical power inheritance will appear every few hundred years. Monk, however, the Invisible Yuan Magnetic. Magical inheritance is one of the most important heritages of the Baidi sect. It cannot be left outside and must be found and brought back no matter what. The magical power of invisible magnetism is almost the symbol of the Baidi sect and is generally recognized by the world of immortality. If any monks from other sects use the magical power of invisible magnetism, its impact will cause the Baidi sect to lose face. Chapter 607 Union Yin Gaofei flew out of the mountain and came to the air to face Wang He, looking at each other from a distance. Yen Gao and Wang He have been enemies for many years. They know each other's strength very well. Even if they fight here, they will not be able to decide the winner. Yen Gao's earth element defense power, coupled with the magical power of invisible magnetism, ranks very high among the great monks in terms of combat power. Wang He's thunder cultivator's power is also the top of the great monks' combat power. The two great monks fought for thousands of years. But there was no winner. How is Wang Yuan alive or dead? Even though he guessed that Wang Yuan was dead, Wang Yi still asked in a deep voice, hoping that something unexpected would happen. He knew Yen Gao very well, just as Yen Gao knew him well. I don't know, Yen Gao replied, shaking his head. How could you not know that you used the magical power of Invisible Yuan Magnetic to set down the trap? And didn't you just attack and kill Wang Yuan? Wang Hachiang resisted the urge to take action and asked again. Wang Yuan had a very close relationship with him, 
and Wang Yuan's death made him feel extremely uncomfortable. Indeed, it was Song Yu who led seven fellow disciples to ambush Wang Yuan. But Song Yu died. The remaining five fellow disciples who left the Soul Lantern were confirmed to have also died. Only two fellow disciples who did not leave the Soul Lantern behind have not been confirmed. Life or death. But most likely they died together. Yin Gao replied without any intention of hiding anything. He also came from the battlefield. He was only one step slower than Wang He and also found many clues. But when he tracked the nascent soul cultivator who had been at the scene, he found that someone was fighting with him and was always one step ahead of him. So he chose the nascent soul cultivator who was farthest away. He also understood that as long as the traces left on the battlefield were passed, the battlefield traces left by the Yuanying monks of the Baidi sect could not be denied. The most important thing is that the Baidi sect did not obtain them. Chishao Thunderbead. Although they had thoughts and actions, the final result was not what they thought. The Chishao Thunderbead did not fall into the hands of the Baidi sect. He could not let the Yuching sect completely target the Baidi sect. Well done. They should have died due to Wang Yuan's counterattack. Wang Yuan was such a talented person. But he felt like this. Wang He believed Yin Gao's statement. The fact that Yin Gao can appear here speaks volumes. If everything went well, how could Yin Gao travel thousands of miles from the Xi'an continent to the eastern Qi continent and start an investigation like him? After being a rival for many years, Wang He was still able to tell whether Yin Gao was lying. You also know Song Yu's identity. This matter has nothing to do with me at all. But I was sent here to investigate. Yin Gao spread his hands and said, Yin Gao is different from Wang He. Wang He and Wang Yuan have a deep relationship. Even without the instructions of his master Luo Yuan, Wang He will take the initiative to participate in the investigation. But Yin Gao was forced to come here. If he does this kind of thing well, he will only get one or two praises. If he does it badly, he will offend the terrifying existence of Baidi sect. The terrifying existence lost his direct descendant and was in anger. Yin Gao could only do his best to investigate, hoping to find out the truth of the matter. He talked so much with Wang He just to be able to live in peace with Wang He. Fighting with Wang He at this time was not the best choice. Yen Gao, what clues did you find? Wang He was also a smart man. And this was not a time of conflict. He looked at the cave behind Yen Gao and asked. Nothing was found. This monk didn't find any spiritual objects at the scene. He was completely involved in the conflict. Yen Gao shook his head and replied. He then asked. Did you gain anything here? It's all the same. I found the first two people who arrived. Their confessions were the same. There was nothing found there. Wang He replied in a deep voice. The two old enemies had inexplicably formed an alliance. And they reached the goal of joint investigation without any discussion during the conversation. Both Wang He and Yin Gao are trying to find out the truth. We must have missed something. It seems that it will be difficult to gain anything just by relying on us. It is better to find some helpers in Dongchi continent. Yin Gao thought for a while and suggested. Even though the Yuching sect and Baidi sect have not extended their influence to the East Qi continent, if they want to help in the East Qi continent, there will still be many forces willing to help. Okay, we need to exchange information later. Wang He nodded in agreement. After Wang He knew that it was not the Baidi sect who had obtained the Chishao Thunderbead, he was thinking about which force the Chishao Thunderbead had fallen into. According to his judgment, it was at least a force from the cave. Otherwise, how could the Chishao Thunderbead not be summoned back by Liu Yuan? It is most likely due to the space isolation effect of the cave. And the forces that can possess the cave's sky are at least large sects. If clues cannot be found from the battlefield, the subsequent investigation will not be completed in a short while. The two great monks turned around in two directions and left. They went to find the forces they were familiar with. Li Shiming kept his magic weapon Z-15 focused on the battlefield. When two figures with extremely blurred ranges appeared on the battlefield, he understood that trouble was really coming. Having used the drone satellite system for a long time, he had an accurate judgment on the strength of the nascent soul cultivator on the screen returned by the drone satellite. The energy around the body of the nascent soul cultivator has an impact on the monitoring picture of the drone satellite system, which will produce a certain range of blur. The larger the blurred range, the higher the realm of the Yuanying monk. The scope of the blur that appeared this time was far larger than that of the mid-nascent soul monks. So he could be sure that these were two great monks. After he returned to the sect, he did not go to inquire about the situation of Yuching sect and Baidi sect himself, but asked his clone Li Yuanba to inquire about the situation of Yuching sect and Baidi sect at Dordan Tent Chongxiao Pavilion. After this inquiry, 
he realized the terror of these two sects. Needless to say, Yuching sect is a rare Laishio sect. The three levels of monks in the sect are all Laishio. Even the other monks in the sect all serve Laishio. Who is the leading force of the Yuching sect? The combat power of the Yuching sect was extremely terrifying. And even the sword intent Chong Shao Pavilion was unwilling to be an enemy of such a force. Li Yunba also found out that the Yuching sect was also a super force. Which meant that the Yuching sect at least had an existence beyond that of the great monks. The Baidi sect is no weaker than the Yuching sect. Especially against the Jinshio sect. It restrains the Jinshio sect firmly. The person that sword intent Chong Shao Pavilion is least willing to make enemies with is not the Lei Shio of the Yuching sect. But the monks of the Baidi sect who have mastered the magical power of Invisible Yuan Magnetic. If it weren't for the limited number of monks in the Baidi sect who mastered the magical power of Invisible Yuan Magnetic. I'm afraid that the Baidi sect could really become the nemesis of Jinny Chong Shao Pavilion. Of course, sword cultivators are not completely incapable of dealing with the magical power of Invisible Magnetism. During battle, they only use their sword intention and not the flying sword. Perhaps refining a non-metallic flying sword can reduce the influence of the invisible magnetism power. Unfortunately, not using the flying sword and only using the sword intention will greatly reduce the power of the sword intention. The non-metallic flying sword is also unable to exert the power of the sword cultivator. Sword cultivators, especially the sword cultivators of Sword Intent Chong Shao Pavilion, their main skill, Sword Intention Chong Shao Pavilion, is a metallic sword cultivating technique. Most of the sword cultivating techniques are metallic techniques. Although wooden flying swords can also be used to achieve the blessing of sword intent. Due to the repulsive attributes, their attack power will be reduced by several percent. The Baidi sect is also a superpower. A force that the 10,000 beasts sect cannot afford to offend. Li Shiming was even more afraid to move. Anyway, when he acted outside, he usually activated the invisibility function of the color-changing cloak which would not reveal his whereabouts. A few days later, Li Shiming was summoned by Brother Hu. Brother Hu is not in his own cave, but in a temporary cave in the sect specially designed to entertain distinguished guests. Monk Hu's cave is in the Four Elephants Cave, although it is not a particularly secret place of the 10,000 Beasts sect. It is not a place where monks from other sects can come and go at will. Therefore, when entertaining distinguished guests from other sects, he would often choose to stay in this kind of temporary cave. Li Shiming was confused as to why he could see him here. When he entered the hall of the temporary cave, he saw that his second senior brother Yushan and his registered disciple Lu Hung had already arrived. Next to Master Hu, a big monk, sat a strange big monk sitting side by side. Fellow Daoist Yin, these two are my direct disciples. These are my registered disciples. I will let them handle your affairs. They can use all the intelligence resources of the 10,000 B sect. Brother Hu smiled at Yin beside him. Gao said, Yen Gao and brother who got to know each other hundreds of years ago. At that time, brother who and Yen Gao met in Zhongzhou continent and fought against the enemy together. So they had some friendship. This time when Yen Gao suddenly visited, brother who thought something big had happened. Monk who knew that behind Yen Gao was the Baidi sect. Although the Baidi sect was far away in Xi'an continent, the Baidi sect was not as powerful as the 10,000 Beasts sect. Fortunately, Yen Gao's request was only a trivial matter. In order to show his sincerity, brother who called all his disciples, even the registered disciples, the purpose of being so solemn was to let Yin Gao understand that he was doing his best. Some information is recorded here. As long as you find new clues, I will give you corresponding rewards. In addition, this is compensation for you. Helping in the investigation will affect your practice. Yin Gao placed a jade slip with a he through the space ring to Yushan and said, Yushan is the second senior brother and can accept it on his behalf. Yushan did not look at what was inside the space ring. He used his spiritual consciousness to enter the jade slip, scanned it once, and handed the jade slip to Li Shiming. Li Shiming's consciousness entered the jade slip. After scanning it, he was slightly shocked, but nothing appeared on his face, and even his breath showed no abnormality at all. What is recorded in the jade slips is the battle between Wang Yuan of the Yuching sect and Song Yu of the Baidi sect. What needs to be investigated by the 10,000 Beasts sect is whether any nascent soul monks have been to that area during this period of time. With the energy of the 10,000 Beasts sect, it will naturally not be a problem if you want to investigate. In particular, that area is not too far from the 10,000 Beasts sect. Although it is not within the sphere of influence, it is also very close to it. 
Li Shiming handed the jade slip to Lu Hung. And Lu Hung took it and looked at it. Fellow Daoist who? I'm troublesome for your sect this time. Yin Gao had no intention of staying long. He wanted to find more help. So he stood up and said goodbye. It's not troublesome. It's just a piece of cake. I'll see you off. Brother who stood up and said with a smile. The two great monks left this temporary cave. Leaving only Yushan. Li Shiming and Lu Hung. The Yuching sect and the Baiyi sect can't stay well in Xi'an continent. So why did they come to fight with us? Lu Hung said, as he handed the jade slip back to Li Shiming. You don't care why. We just need to let the sect's intelligence department investigate and give an explanation. Yushan waved his hand and said. Yushan's consciousness entered the space ring. And his expression was slightly startled. Then he took out three jade bottles from the space ring. And gave two of them to Li Shiming and Lu Hung respectively. The Baiyi sect is really rich. And the compensation they gave me was 24th grade intermediate elixirs. Yushan shook his head inside. The more Yen Gao showed his great family and business. The more Li Shiming felt that he had to be cautious. However, Yen Gao always found it funny to ask the parties involved to investigate this matter. Senior brother Yu. Junior brother Lu. Just divide this bottle of elixir between you. I will not participate. I will be practicing in seclusion for a period of time recently. Li Shiming said as he threw the jade bottle in his hand to Yushan again. Junior Brother Li, you are the one who truly has a strong family. Yushan was not polite at all. He took the jade bottle and divided the fourth grade intermediate elixir into two, took ten fourth grade intermediate elixirs and gave them to Lu. Hung, he said. Lu Hung wanted to refuse, but Yushan forced him to do so. Don't be polite to Junior Brother Li. He is a master of alchemy. He has many fourth grade elixirs in his hands and the quality of the fourth great elixirs he refines is much better than this. Yushan said with a smile. Thank you, senior brother Li. Lu Hung did not dare to be as supportive as Yushan. So he bowed and thankfully Shiming. I'm not prepared to do anything, so I can't accept the elixir. Li Shiming waved his hand and said. In fact, the reason why he was not prepared to participate in the investigation was because of the techniques he practiced. The thunder cultivation method he practices is. Yu Qing Lei Code which is the inheritance method of Yuqing sect. If he participates in the investigation, he is likely to meet a monk from the Yuqing sect, and his practice of the Yuqing Thunder Cannon may be discovered. Shurjin is right. He will not participate in the investigation work. Just you two go investigate. At this time, brother who came back and heard Li Shiming's words, and he made a decision. Brother who was one of the few monks who knew that Li Shiming had practiced the Yuqing Thunder Code he also did not want the Yuching sect to find out that Li Shiming had practiced the Jade Pure Thunder Code. Originally, the Yuching sect was far away in the Xi'an continent and had very little contact with the Eastern Qi continent. The monks in the Eastern Qi continent might rarely see Lei Xiao of the Yuching sect in their lifetime. However, this investigation involves the Yuching sect, and it is expected that the Yuching sect will also send monks to participate in the investigation especially the information that had just been sent back that a great monk was visiting the Taichu sect, presumably from the Yuching sect. This would not allow Li Shiming to leave the sect during this period. Chapter 608 Muddy Waters Li Shiming did not return to the cave immediately, but came to the outside of the mountain gate. He released the phantom dragon and handed a spiritual object to the phantom dragon. The phantom dragon has its own storage space and a mustard ring given by Li Shiming. This spiritual object is contained in an isolation jade box to prevent the breath from leaking. Li Shiming then returned to the cave, and at the same time, one of his brains controlled the phantom dragon and headed into the distance. There is a contractual connection between the phantom dragon and him. If he had not joined the 10,000 beast sect, he could only let the phantom dragon go not too far away. Otherwise, he would not be able to control the phantom dragon. But after acquiring the secret method of beast control from the 10,000 beast sect, he could control his spiritual pets within a continent. The phantom dragon is invisible and flies in the air. The five-clawed dragon has super fast flight speed. The phantom dragon's invisibility ability is an innate ability and will not affect the flight speed. Although the phantom dragon's flight distance was a bit far this time, the phantom dragon did not encounter any trouble along the way. Even if they meet monks, no monks can discover the existence of the phantom dragon. The current level of the phantom dragon is a bit low. There may be a secret method among the great monks that can discover the phantom dragon. But the rest of the nascent soul stage monks cannot discover the phantom dragon. When the realm of the phantom dragon rises, even great monks with special secret techniques 
will not be able to discover the phantom dragon. Li Shiming was sitting in the cave. When the phantom dragon in the distance came to a place, he controlled the phantom dragon to stop. The phantom spirit dragon flew to the ground. Open the jade box. And the spiritual object inside fell to the ground. After doing this, the phantom dragon turned around and left without stopping at all. The spiritual object that fell to the ground was a jade tablet with a few cracks on it. It was one of the lightning protection jade orders that Li Shiming found from the early Yuaning monks of the Baidi sect. The lightning protection jade order is recovering. This spiritual object is a very precious treasure in the world of immortality. Although it has a single function, both its production difficulty and the materials used make this lightning protection jade order extremely rare. That is to say, in order to fight against the Yuching sect, the Baidi sect devoted all its efforts to collecting materials in the world of immortality and refine them by the sect's quasi Mahayana masters. Li Shiming got eight lightning protection jade tokens. In order to muddy the water, he chose to take out a lightning protection jade token to blame others. Mu Jing flew slowly. He flew at an extremely low altitude and seemed a bit sneaky. There is no way who told him to lose a left leg, and he has been working hard to treat this left leg. Unfortunately, there is still some gap between wanting to buy a fourth grade high level healing elixir in the early stage of Yuanying. With the current rate of earning resources, it will take decades to exchange for a high grade healing elixir in the early stage of Yuanying. Because he lacked his left leg. When he went out, he always felt that other monks looked at him with something wrong. That kind of mocking look made him meet as few other monks as possible. Flying close to the ground is something very few nascent soul cultivators do. It is really uncomfortable. The most comfortable flying height is a few hundred meters. This height is almost higher than the average mountain peak. There is no influence of clouds, and there is not much difference from the climate on the ground. Mu Jing cursely shimming in his heart for causing him to be like this. But when he thought of his uncle Duanjin's death in the hands of Li Shiming, his hatred turned into fear. There are spiritual power fluctuations. What kind of treasure is it? Although Mu Jing is having a hard time now, he is also from a good background. It's just that he was no longer taken seriously by his master after being injured. He felt the spiritual power fluctuations while flying close to the ground. He immediately judged that this was the aura emanating from the treasure. He first sacrificed the magic weapon. Treasures do not appear for nothing and are usually accompanied by danger. He let go of his consciousness. And soon he laughed happily. His spiritual consciousness grabbed the Lighting Protection Jade Token on the ground, felt the aura on the Lighting Protection Jade Token, and at the same time cast a method to recognize the owner. After recognizing the Lighting Protection Jade Token as its owner, he obtained the Lighting Protection Jade Token. Yu Ling's information. My opportunity has come! With the lightning protection jade order in hand. If I meet Li Shurjin again, do I still have to worry about his lightning skills? Mu Jing laughed and said to herself. But soon he thought of his left leg. Because it was the reason for performing the life-saving secret method. His left leg was sacrificed by him. The left leg could only be restored with a fourth grade advanced healing elixir. If you sell the lightning protection jade order in your hand, you will not only have enough resources to exchange for the fourth grade high level healing elixir, but you will also have a certain amount of resources left. Mu Jing felt that he was trapped in the troubles of happiness. How should he deal with the Lightning Jade Order? In the end, he chose to sell the Lightning Protection Jade Token in order to maximize the value of the Lightning Protection Jade Token and to make it safer. He chose to sell it to his uncle Zwishun. As far as he knew, Zwishun, who was in the middle stage of nascent soul, had always had a sworn enemy of Lei Xiao. Selling the Lighting Protection Jade Order to Zwishun would maximize his profits. Of course, before discussing with Zwishun, he also released the news of the Lighting Protection Jade Order, mainly because he wanted Zwishun to take the initiative to come to him instead of him going to Zwishun. If he goes to Zwishun, it will make Zwishun feel like he is begging Zwishun to buy. Otherwise, it will make him take the initiative in the transaction. The transaction went very smoothly. It only took three days for Zwishun to find him and purchase the Lighting Protection Jade Order with enough resources to satisfy Mu Jing. Not long after, the intelligence departments of the 10,000 B sect and the Taichu sect mastered this information. The 10,000 B sect was entrusted by the great monk Yin Gao of the Baidi sect. And the Taichu sect was entrusted by the great monk Wang He of the Yuching sect. The intelligence systems of both sides are very strong. Spiritual objects of the level of 
Lightning Protection Jade Token are extremely rare in the Eastern Chi Continent. Among the spiritual objects in the hands of the Death Nascent Soul Cultivator, there is the Lightning Protection Jade Order. News of the appearance of the Lightning Protection Jade Order will naturally be known to the intelligent systems of the two major sects. Swishun carries the Lightning Protection Jade Order with him. He goes to find trouble for his enemy Lei Xiao in the middle stage of Nascent Soul. This time, he is full of confidence. With the power of thunder spells weakened, he was sure to severely injure or even kill the opponent. Not long after Zwishun left the Hidden Sun sect, he was locked by two auras. My master is the great monk Pan Shao. Please let me go for my master's sake. Zwishun begged for mercy without any resistance. The reason for this was because he couldn't even move his body. The two breaths were not only locked, but also suppressed him. Only great monks can do this. He is a middle stage Yuanying monk. And he is considered very powerful among the middle stage Yuanying monks of the 10,000 Beasts sect. Pan Shao, I'll look for him later, Monk Yan Gao said coldly. He came to Zwishun and roughly reached out his hand to take off the Lighting Protection Jade Order from Zwishun's waist. Looking at the Lighting Protection Jade Order in his hand, especially the secret mark of the Baidi sect on it, he looked at Zwishun as if he was looking at a dead person. Fellow Daoist Yin, does this Lighting Protection Jade Order come from your sect? Great Monk Wang Yi came to the side and asked aloud. Yes. It has the sex mark on it. Besides, although the refining method of the Lighting Protection Jade Order is not secret, its materials are extremely difficult to obtain. All the materials that have appeared in the world of immortality in the past 3,000 years have been collected by the sect. Where is the outside world? There is a possibility of a Lighting Protection Jade Order. Senior Monk Yang Gao nodded and said in a deep voice. Monk Wang Yi twitched the corner of his mouth. He naturally knew why the Baidi sect wanted to refine the Lighting Protection Jade Order. It was not to deal with the Yuching sect. If the Lighting Protection Jade Order hadn't only been effective on monks in the early and middle stages of nascent soul, it might have had a serious impact on the Jade Qin sect. Although the Lighting Protection Jade Token can increase the resistance to lightning, the attack of the Great Monk Lei Xiao Far exceeds the attack limit of the Lighting Protection Jade Token. There is not much difference between having it and not having it. Tell me, where does this Lightning Protection Jade Order come from? Senior Monkey and Gao asked in a deep voice. Zwishan was frightened at this time. The two great monks came for the Lightning Protection Jade Order. Especially the undisguised murderous intention of the great Monkey and Gao made his mind confused. Under normal circumstances, Zwishan, who was in the middle stage of nascent soul, definitely had the ability to think clearly. But when facing the two great monks and being suppressed by their auras, his brain was no longer clear. This was also an effect intentionally caused by the great monk Yin Gao. Only in this state, Zwishun would answer questions without thinking much about gains and losses. The desire for survival in Zwishun's heart made him instinctively want to rely on his master, the great monk Pan Shao. He believed that only the great monk Pan Shao could save his life. As long as the other party takes him to find his master, the great monk Pan Shao, then everything will be easy with the great monk Pan Shao by his side. Ask my master? He still didn't know the consequences of saying this. He was just thinking about saving his life. After meeting the great monk Pan Shao, he saved his life before thinking about telling the story about Mu Jing. Hiding the sun sect. Brother Yan Gao was furious. He was sent to the eastern Qi continent and was in a very bad mood after being delayed for so long. It also cost a lot of favors to ask the 10,000 B sect to help with the investigation. Don't underestimate this favor. The 10,000 B sect's investigation favor will cause great trouble if the 10,000 B sect comes to visit you in the future. But this kind of favor must be repaid. Otherwise his reputation will be ruined. No monk will be willing to cooperate with a monk without credibility. All of this was done by the Hidden Sun sect. Or in other words, by the great monk Pan Shao of the Hidden Sun sect. As the great monk Yin Gao was unable to restrain his anger, the terrifying suppression force suddenly increased to a dangerous level. Zwishun who had no ability to resist, instantly collapsed under this suppression. The soul in Zwishun's nascent soul collapsed, and his nascent soul was scattered in the body. The death of the nascent soul brought about the death of the body. When Monk and Gao found out, Zwishun was already a corpse. In fact, if the great monk Wang Yi on the side wanted to save Zwishun, he could still save him in time. But the great monk Wang Yi did not do this. In his eyes, Zwishun's life and death was nothing. Swishun has already told the origin of the Lighting Protection Jade Order, and he has no value anymore. 
Fellow Daoist Yin, what should we do with the Hidden Sun sect? Monk Wang he was also unhappy. He was sent here just like Monk Yin Gao. And he had more hatred from Wang Yuan than Monk Yin Gao. He asked aloud. It seems that the world of immortality has forgotten the prestige of the Baiyu sect and Yuching sect. So we will use the Hidden Sun sect to tell the world of immortality that we are not juniors who can be provoked. Senior Monk Yin Gao said with murderous intent rising in his body. Ha ha. We have a day to fight together. That's all. I will start a fight with you. But before that, we still say H, low to the 10,000 B sect, Tai Chu sect and Lianhua temple to prevent them from saying that we bullied them. The door is closed. Great monk Wang He was also aroused and said with a big smile. They were not far from the Hidden Sun sect. Zuishan was blocked by two great monks just after they left the thousand mile range of Hidden Sun sect. They sent news to the 10,000 B sect, the Tai Chu sect, and the Lianhua temple. They didn't have to worry about these three major sects tipping off the Hidden Sun sect because they were near the Hidden Sun sect. Brother who received the news from Brother Yin Gao. And he immediately notified the available monks and several senior sect officials. In fact, he thought of this possibility when he investigated and found out that the Lightning Protection Jade Order appeared in the Hidden Sun sect. But this was the worst possibility. When he thought about it, it was impossible for the Baidi sect and the Yuching sect to attack the hidden sect without the two great monks. What the two great monks were most likely to do was to force the hidden sect to make peace go out to the master and make people. If brother who knew that among the Yuanying monks who died last time, there were core monks from the Baidi sect and the Yuching sect, he would not think this way. If any core monk of any sect is killed, he will take revenge with all his strength. Not to mention that the sect that attacked is not very powerful in the eyes of the two great monks. The 10,000 beast sect was still discussing. After receiving the news, the Tai Chu sect reacted the same way as the 10,000 Beast sect and immediately held high-level negotiations. Only Lianhua Temple was a little confused about what happened after receiving the news from Baidi sect and Yuching sect. But for Lianhua Temple, it is an unforgivable act for Baidi sect and Yuching sect to attack the Hidden Sun sect. The four major sects have a close relationship. The two great sages of Lianhua Temple immediately headed towards the Hidden Sun sect. They wanted to prevent the conflict between the two sides. At the same time, Lianhua Temple is also in contact with the 10,000 Beast sect and the Taichu sect. Hoping to reach a common opinion, it is hoped that the 10,000 Beast sect and the Taichu sect will also send great monks to the Hidden Sun sect for rescue. As a direct disciple of Brother Hu, Li Shiming also received this important news. After hearing the news, he didn't close his mouth for a long time. He really didn't expect that just a little trick would make things develop to this point. At first, he really just wanted to cause some trouble for the Hidden Sun sect. So that the Yuching sect and the Baiyu sect would turn their attention to the Hidden Sun sect, muddy the water, and put himself in the safest situation. In fact, the origin of the Lightning Protection Jade Order is very easy to investigate. After several investigations, it will naturally be found that the original source was obtained by someone who concealed himself from outside the Suenri sect. In his opinion, the only thing that could cause trouble to the Hidden Sun sect was the appearance of the Lightning Protection Jade Order outside the Sun Hidden Sect, which might cause the Yuching Sect and Baidi Sect to target Hidden Sun Sect. Chapter 609, Attacking the Sect Li Shiming was a little regretful that he didn't have the opportunity to watch such a big scene. He possesses the Yuching Lake Cannon, and he will not appear in front of Lei Xiao of Yuching Sect unless necessary especially if he is a great monk of Leishio. He could only stay in the sex cave and get first-hand information by contacting Yushan and Lu Hung. The Hidden Sun sect, a sect that has been standing for more than 10,000 years, has a bad visitor today. Fellow Daoist Yin, did you take action or did I? Great monk Wang Yi asked senior monk Yin Gao from a thousand miles away from the Hidden Sun sect. The sect is protected by the cave sky for thousands of miles, forming a space barrier. Without the sex jade plate, one needs the sex approval to enter. It's just a broken mirror image of the cave. I'll break it, Monk Yin Gao said proudly. Although he said it lightly, his actions were extremely serious. As long as it involves cave heaven, nothing is simple. His consciousness drew wonderful lines in the air, and these lines formed complex runes. It is a spell that requires a great monk to draw runes before it can be cast. And it also takes ten breaths of time to prepare the spell. Its power is beyond the imagination of ordinary nascent soul monks. Even the great monk Wang He on the side looked cautious. He wanted to prevent the great monk Yin Gao from suddenly turning his head and throwing this spell on his head. 
although this possibility is extremely low. It is not impossible. After all, he and the great monkey and gal still have a hostile relationship. But now it is just a temporary alliance. Brother Yan Gao did not do what Brother Wang he imagined. After drawing the complex runes, he pointed at the void in front of him. And a large amount of spiritual power in his body poured into the runes in front of him. Landslide! He shouted in a deep voice. At the space barrier that covered the sun set thousands of miles away. A mountain peak between the space barriers suddenly exploded. The terrifying explosion power. Mixed with earth and stone fragments blessed by earth's spiritual power. Flew in all directions. The ground cracks. Brother Yen Gao's spell was not over yet. He continued to shout. A crack appeared in the ground below the mountain peak. And magma spewed out from the ground. The explosion on the mountain peak and the crack on the ground instantly caused great destructive power to the space barrier. The space barrier only lasted for more than two breaths before it was forcibly broken. The cracks caused by the ground cracks immediately spread towards the direction of the hiding sun sect at an extremely fast speed. And the cracks continued to split. Magma spewed out wherever they passed. Forming a H. Lish scene. The great monkey and Gao hated the hidden sun sect so much that he would ruthlessly destroy all attacks. You must know that after using the landslide spell, this area will not be able to recover even after the war. Not even for thousands of years. This is the foundation of hiding the sun sect. And a thousand miles away is considered the range of hiding sun sect's mountain gate. Not only are the ground cracks spreading, but landslides are also occurring. As long as the ground cracks encounter mountain peaks, they will explode immediately. Senior Monk Wang Yi shook his head. Senior Monk Yin Gao's actions were more cruel and ruthless than he imagined. But this way, there is no need to talk. And it will be a fight to the death. Inside the mountain gate of the Hidden Sun sect, the Great Monks Baran and Pan Shao flew out of their respective caves together. They flew into the sky and looked at each other with a look of horror in their eyes. How many years have passed since then? And the mountain gate of Ziri's sect was attacked by monks. Hurry up and send a signal to wake them up! Quickly! Great Monk Baran ordered loudly. He was giving orders to the senior leaders of the Hidden Sun sect. There were five great monks in the Hidden Sun sect. But currently only two of them were not in retreat. The rest of the great monks are in seclusion. Even if they had previous conflicts with the 10,000 Beast sect, they did not affect the great monk's seclusion. Between the major sects, wars between major monks rarely occur. The great monk is the foundation of a large sect. Once a great monk dies, it will directly affect the safety of the sect. No great monk would fight with all his strength unless absolutely necessary. Looking at the Gu Feng sect, it was the death of the great monk Xiao Qi Feng, which caused the Gu Feng sect's strength to suddenly drop. Due to this impact, even the survival of the Gu Feng sect was in question. Great monk Baran couldn't care less at this time. He judged from the feedback from the sect's formation that this time a super powerful monk launched an attack on the mountain gate. The strength of great monks is also divided into three, six or nine levels. Ordinary great monks refer to the monks who have just entered the late nascent soul stage. Most of the great monks are in this realm. There are very few great monks who are truly at the peak of the late nascent soul. The main reason is that great monks have too few resources. It is very difficult to improve their strength in the realm of great monks. The resources obtained by the great monks can only improve the practice of the great monks at an extremely slow speed. It is even good for some great monks to be able to maintain their realm without declining. Great Monk Baran sensed that the one who attacked the mountain gate of hiding the sun sect was a great monk who was close to the peak of the late nascent soul. He didn't have the confidence to resist the invading monks with the great monk Pan Shao. So he urgently needed to wake up the other great monks. What should we do? Great Monk Baran asked Great Monk Pan Shao again. He didn't have the courage to go out to meet the enemy. But he couldn't say at first. The incoming enemy is too strong. We can still rely on the large formation to resist in the mountain gate. If we leave the large formation, we may not be able to wait for them to wake up. Great Monk Pan Shao shook his head and said. He is not a fool. He knew that the enemy was extremely powerful, and yet he went out to die. The mountain gate of the Hidden Sun sect has been managed for more than 10,000 years. The large formation can greatly improve their defense and attack power. If they don't use it with this advantage, but go out to fight the enemy, that is not the best choice. Ask for help from Lianhua Temple and Tai Chu sect. Great Monk Baran reacted at this time and shouted loudly. Master Pan Shao immediately contacted the Great Master of Lianhua Temple. And he soon received a reply. Good news! If you hold on for another hour, the two great sages from Lianhua Temple will arrive. In addition, 
Lianhua Temple has contacted Tai Chu sect and Wancho sect. And it is expected that the great monks from Tai Chu sect and Wancho sect will soon arrive. They will come too. Great monk Pan Shao said excitedly. This good news made the tension in Brother Baran's heart relax a little. But what happened outside made him nervous again. The terrifying explosions and the smoke rising from the magma are advancing towards the Sunrise Sex Mountain Gate as the ground cracks and the mountain peaks crumble. This scene came into the view of the Great Monk Baran. The ruthless means used to offend the Great Monk made him understand that what happened today was definitely not good. All Yuaning monks enter the formation node. And all Jean and monks follow the command of the formation master and enter the formation. He once again issued an order to the sect senior officials. The Yuaning monks were alerted. And under the command of the great monk Baran, they entered the nodes of the formation one after another. This was a rehearsal made by the Hidden Sun sect to deal with a powerful enemy. This rehearsal was never taken seriously by the Hidden Sun sect monks. They never thought that one day, they would actually use the rehearsal. The nascent soul cultivator entered the node of the great formation and the Great Formation was fully activated. A large amount of spiritual power was drawn out and moved around in the Great Formation. The blessing effect of the Golden Elixir monks on the Formation is much lower than that of the nascent soul monks. But the advantage lies in the extremely large number. The reaction speed of the Golden Elixir monks is much slower than that of the nascent soul monks. And they are still entering various parts of the Formation. As for the monks with lower realms, they have no role in this kind of battle. Their lives depend on the outcome between the monks and they have no ability to control their lives. Why are you attacking the gate of my hidden sun sect? Great Monk Baran asked loudly when he saw the two figures appearing. In fact, when he saw the two great monks, his heart sank. The auras of the two great monks were almost equally powerful, but one of them was not something that the two great monks of the hidden sun sect could handle together. Not to mention that there was another great monk with similar strength. This discovery shocked the great Monk Baran. Who is Pan Shao? Senior Monk Wangi glanced at the two senior monks and asked in a deep voice. He did not answer what Senior Monk Baran said, but asked directly, I am Pan Shao. Have I ever offended you too? Senior Monk Pan Shao was startled. Although he was worried, his pride as a senior monk did not allow him to escape. So he replied loudly, Fight first and then talk. Brother Wangi's eyes flashed with a stern look. It was Brother Yin Gao who took action before. And now it was his turn to take action. After knowing that the great monk Pan Shao was in front of him, he thought of Wang Yuan. It was very likely that Wang Yuan was killed by the great monk. Even if a monk in the middle stage of nascent soul wanted to kill Wang Yuan, it would be difficult for him to do so. According to the information currently available, the enemy is right in front of him. So how can he let go of the great monk Pan Shao? Monk Wang Yi pointed towards the sky. And the sky was filled with dark clouds. He had been preparing this spell even before he approached the gate of Hidden Sun sect. The Thunder Cloud Technique cast by the Great Monk is incomparable to the power of the same spell cast by Lei Xiao in the early stage of Nascent Soul. It doesn't even seem to be the same spell. Dark clouds have enveloped the mountain gate of Hidden Sun sect. Thunder Falls Great Monk Wang Yi said with a cruel murderous intent in his eyes. Covering the Rizong mountain gate with one finger. Lightning flashed in the dark clouds. And the thunder and lightning that had been accumulating for some time struck towards the ground at his command. When Senior Monk Baran and Senior Monk Pan Shao sensed the dark clouds in the sky, they understood the horror of this blow. Although the Great Monk does not use the nascent soul dharma and has extremely strong combat power, when he encounters a powerful opponent, the nascent soul dharma can still strengthen part of the Great Monk's combat power. They all perform the nascent soul dharma form, and the two nascent soul dharma appearances were like two giants standing in a large formation. Nearly a hundred nascent soul cultivators and tens of thousands of golden core cultivators, under the control of the formation master, gathered their spiritual power towards the two nascent soul cultivators. Defense! The nascent soul Darmaxiangs of Great Monk Baran and Great Monk Pan Shao shouted loudly. On the dome of the hidden sun sex mountain gate formation facing the sky, dense formation runes appeared, and each formation rune was filled with a massive amount of spiritual power. Thunder and lightning fell on the main formation of the hidden sun sex mountain gate. Under the bombardment of thunder and lightning, the formation runes appeared dim in large areas. The heart of the great monk Baran was bleeding. The large dim formation runes indicated that the formation materials in the mountain gate formation were being damaged in large quantities. The formation materials of these large formations alone are extremely valuable. They have been accumulated by the Hidden Sun sect for countless years. Repairing the formations afterwards cannot be done in a short time and requires a lot of manpower 
and material resources. Pan Shao, what did you do? Senior Monk Baron had doubts in his mind. He used the Mountain Gate formation to resist the attack for a moment and asked Senior Monk Pan Shao. Senior Monk Pan Shao looked confused as he tried to recall the bad things he had done. There were so many bad things that he didn't even know what the big monks Wang He and Yen Gao were here for. As a great monk of the demon sect and the most top demon cultivator, many of the things that great monk Pan Shao did were outrageous to both humans and gods. But none of these things could be related to such a powerful monk. I don't know. Great monk Pan Shao shook his head and replied. Senior brother Baran felt angry for a while. If senior monk Wang He and senior monk Yen Gao had not wanted to talk, he would have handed over senior monk Pan Shao to the other party to vent his anger during the negotiation. For the sake of a great monk Pan Shao, it would be better to hand over the great monk Pan Shao to let the Jinni sect's 10,000 years of foundation be destroyed in one fell swoop. You too. Why do you want to let us know? Monk Baran asked loudly to monk Wang He and monk Yen Gao. Wang He of the Jade Qin sect. This is Yen Gao of the White Emperor sect. Do you remember? The great monk Wang He did not stop while controlling the dark clouds to bring down thunder and lightning. He introduced this place to the other party. Yuching sect and Baidi sect. Great monk Baran was almost shot from the state of Yuanying Dharma to the state of Yuanying. Yuching sect and Baidi sect. Neither of these sects can be provoked by the hidden sun sect. The two superpowers are really in trouble. The Mahayana monks can easily wipe out the hidden sun sect when they come over. Pan Shao, think about it again. What issues did you have with the Yuching sect and the Baidi sect? Senior Monk Baran asked Senior Monk Pan Shao again. No, how could I have a problem with him? Great Monk Pan Shao replied without thinking. Senior Brother Baran gave Senior Monk Pan Shao a look of helplessness. There must be no internal conflicts at this time. Otherwise, he really wanted to beat Senior Monk Pan Shao severely. The other party obviously came here for the Great Monk Pan Shao. Until now, the Great Monk Pan Shao did not understand why the other party came. The Great Monk Wang Yi felt his face was dull. And the Thunder Method, he used did not break through the mountain gate formation of Jiri sect. Just now, the great monkey and Gao easily broke through the space barrier thousands of miles away from the mountain gate. In this comparison, he lost. Although the mountain gate formation was much stronger than the spatial barrier, he still felt embarrassed. If the Shishao Thunder Beat is still there, one round of thunder cloud technique can turn the hidden sun sect into powder. Great monk Wang he thought. The more he thought about the Shishao Thunder Beat, the angrier he became. He continued to increase the spiritual power output of Thunder Cloud Technique and the power of Thunder Cloud Technique was also constantly increasing. The Mountain Gate Formation of Kashiri Sect, not to mention the two great monks who were in the state of Yuanying Dharma, were present. Even the numerous Yuanying monks and Golden Core cultivators enhanced the Mountain Gate Formation a lot. Chapter 610 Stop Fellow Daoist Wang, I'm here to help you. Senior Monk Yen Gao shouted loudly when he saw that the formation of the Hidden Sun sect was so difficult that Senior Monk Wang He could not break through it for a while. The Great Monk Wang He did not speak, which was his acquiescence. Being in the Eastern Qi continent, he and the Great Monk Yen Gao are both foreign monks. If they really want to attack the Hidden Sun sect, they must do it as soon as possible and not delay it for too long. Otherwise, there will be some reaction from the Eastern Qi continent. They need to break down the mountain gate of Hidden Sun sect before all the forces in the Eastern Qi continent come to a consensus. What the Great Monk Wang He is looking for is the Chishao Thunder Bead. And the Great Monk Yin Gao is also looking for the Invisible Yuan Magnetic Magical Inheritance Item. These two spiritual objects cannot fall into the hands of other monks. And they must retrieve them. In addition, they also need to let the immortal world know the consequences of provoking the Yuching sect and the Baidi sect. Otherwise, such attacks will happen in the future. Senior Monk Yin Gao performed the Falling Stone Technique, and pieces of meteorites appeared in the void, falling towards the mountain gate formation of the Hidden Sun sect. The Falling Stone Technique he performed seemed to be endless, and the meteorites in the void continued to fall. Every meteorite carries a terrifying power, and when it hits the mountain gate formation, it will create a spiritual light. The Great Monk Baran looked ugly. His spirit was closely connected with the mountain gate formation. He could sense all the situations in the entire mountain gate formation. The sudden attack of the two powerful monks was testing the mountain gate formation. Every thunder and lightning and every meteorite will reduce the defense of the mountain gate formation. Moreover, some of the golden core cultivators are already struggling to bear it. If this attack continues for a while, the golden core cultivators may not be able to bear it and fall down. 
after losing the largest number of Jindan monks. Only nascent soul monks and two great monks are left to support the mountain gate formation. The pressure on them will increase a lot. It will be a matter of time before the mountain gate formation is broken. A light flashed in the eyes of the great monk Baran. He knew that he could not go on like this and had to fight back. If he continued to defend passively, failure would be a matter of time. Pan Shao, join me in using the power of the large formation to launch an attack, he said to the great monk Pan Shao. Master Pan Shao also knew that something was not good and nodded in agreement after hearing his words. The two great monks were blessed by the mountain gate formation and their strength was much stronger than usual. They each drove a fourth grade top level flying sword and then injected the spiritual power into the mountain gate formation. When the two fourth grade top level flying swords were shot out, they were powerful enough for any great monk to deal with them carefully. The two top level fourth grade flying swords were extremely fast and flew to the side of the monkey and Gao in an instant. Brother Baran and Brother Pan Shao did not disperse their attacks, but chose Brother Yin Gao to attack alone. They knew very well that their strength was very different from that of the two great monks Yin Gao and Wang Yi. Even with the blessing of the mountain gate formation, it was best to fight two against one. But they didn't know that their choice was wrong. Perhaps no matter whether they choose Monk Wang Yi or Monk Yin Gao, it will not have much effect. But it is more difficult to use the fourth grade top flying sword to attack Monk Yin Gao. Senior Monk Yin Gao saw two top grade fourth grade flying swords flying towards him. He didn't even think about dodging and allowed the two top grade fourth grade flying swords to shoot towards him. Brother Baran and Brother Pan Shao were overjoyed. They felt the support of Brother Yin Gao. As long as Brother Yin Gao was injured, they could delay for a longer time. Before they could be happy for a moment. What happened in front of them made them stunned. The two top grade fourth grade flying swords seemed to have entered a muddy swamp a hundred meters away from the great monk Yin Gao. They first slowed down suddenly. Then stopped completely after decelerating for almost ten meters. Monk Yin Gao waved his hand casually. And two top level fourth grade flying swords flew towards his hand. No matter how much Monk Baran and Monk Pan shall control them. They are unable to control their respective fourth grade top flying swords. The magical power of invisible magnetism. Great Monk Baran exclaimed. He finally understood which sect the great Monk Yin Gao was. From the previous earth spells to the current, invisible magnetism, magical power. This was the great monk of the Baiti sect. If he had known that the other party was a great monk from the Baiti sect, how could he use a flying sword to attack? There was no time to feel sorry for his fourth grade top level flying sword. He and the great monk Pan Shao began to check their magic weapons together, trying to find a non-metallic magic weapon. But they soon gave up this idea. Even if they found a magic weapon without metal properties, how could such a weak magic weapon hurt the monk Yin Gao, who was already stronger than them? Senior monkey and Gao grabbed two top level fourth grade flying swords. And the horror of the invisible Yuan magnetic magical power was fully revealed. His consciousness entered the two top grade fourth grade flying swords and used his powerful spirit to annihilate the spiritual imprints inside. Great monk Baran and great monk Pan Shao both turned slightly pale. Although the two top level fourth grade flying swords were not their natal magic weapons, they were among the magic weapons they refined the most. As demonic cultivators, they actually still have many methods. But there is also a great thunder cultivator on the other side. So most of the demonic cultivating methods have been restrained. The magic cultivator's methods will be strongly suppressed when facing the thunder method. Just when the great monk Baran felt a little desperate, a figure appeared next to him. I'm here to help you. This was another monk Chow from the Hidden Sun sect. When he woke up and found that the sect was being attacked, he immediately inspired Yuaning Darmaxing to join the battlefield. Brother Chow, don't attack them. We will defend with all our strength and delay. Great Monk Baran reminded them quickly. I know. Brother Chow responded with a solemn expression. Although he had not woken up for a long time, he had already seen the battle clearly. The two top grade fourth grade flying swords of his two great monks had been taken away, and the mountain gate formation was on the verge of collapse under attack. With his joining, the shaman formation can last longer but it still couldn't be completely defended. The attacks of monks Yin Gao and Wang He were too fierce. Moreover, the great monks Yin Gao and Wang He have not attacked with all their strength, and they have not displayed the nascent soul dharma, which shows that they still have some remaining strength. We have to work harder. It won't be a problem if we continue to waste it like this, senior monk Yin Gao said in a deep voice. Then let's see who can break open this turtle sh. L first, great monk Wang He said with a smile. It's a competition. Senior Monkey and Gao nodded in response. 
the two of them have always been hostile. Although they are now in an alliance, they still have a competitive spirit. The Sky Strike Thunder Hammer appeared in the hands of the great monk Wang He, and at the same time, lightning flashed on his body, and his body was covered with lightning, making him look like a thunder god. He was still maintaining the Thunder Cloud technique in the sky, and the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer in his hand continued to shoot out streaks of thunder and lightning, hitting the main gate formation of the Hidden Sun sect. Even with the obstruction of the mountain gate formation, the three great monks of the Hidden Sun sect were still able to sense the will of destruction in the thunder and lightning attack by the great monk Wang He. The great monk Yan Gao also launched an attack. With a wave of his hand, the landslide and earth splitting, he had previously used turn the area outside the Sunrise sect's mountain gate into a magma H. L. At this time, the magma in the magma H. L turned into balls of magma, attacking towards the main gate formation of Hidden Sun sect. These magma balls will explode immediately when they hit the energy shield of the mountain gate formation. The power of the explosion causes the energy shield to shake continuously. At the same time, the magma after the explosion is still attached to the energy shield, constantly eroding the energy shield. The three great monks of the Hidden Sun sect are also constantly casting defensive spells with the continuous spiritual power in the mountain gate formation. The power of the defensive spells they cast has been greatly improved. But when their defensive spells established a line of defense in front of the mountain gate, it would be broken by the attacks of monks Yin Gao and Wang Yin less than a breath. This confrontational situation did not last long. The first person who could not hold on was the Golden Pill monks. To be honest, in a battle of this level, if it were not for the existence of the mountain gate formation, the Golden Core Cultivator would not be qualified to participate at all, even with the protection of the Mountain Gate Formation. The strong attacks caused the Jean Dan monks to suffer backlash from the Mountain Gate Formation again and again. Finally, some of the Golden Elixir monks could not bear the backlash of the Mountain Gate Formation and fell. When the first Golden Elixir monk fell, it was like a chain reaction. First, a small number of Golden Elixir monks fell, and then more and more Golden Elixir monks are falling. The more golden elixir monks fall, the more serious the backlash the remaining golden elixir monks will suffer, and more golden elixir monks will fall. This was a vicious cycle, and it didn't take long for all the golden elixir monks to fall. The Jean Dan monks were wailing continuously, and the damage caused by the backlash made them unable to even move. However, not many Jean Dan monks actually died. After all, the mountain gate formation was not broken. After losing the support of the golden core cultivators, the pressure on the nascent soul cultivators in the mountain gate formation suddenly increased. Seeing that the mountain gate formation was about to be broken, another great monk from the Hidden Sun sect woke up and joined the defense. However, the situation did not change much because of the addition of a great monk. Great monks Yen Gao and Wang He were still suppressing the Hidden Sun sect. This kind of gap in cultivation cannot be made up by the number of people. At least four ordinary monks cannot resist two top monks. Break! Break it for me! Senior Monk Yin Gao was also angry. He did not expect that the mountain gate of a large sect was so difficult to chew. So he kept shouting and increasing the intensity of his attack. Although the great monk Wang He did not scream. His hands almost turned into afterimages. Every time he waved his hands, he would emit a powerful thunder and lightning. The great monk Baran sensed the extensive damage in the mountain gate array, which was the result of enduring a powerful attack. Even if their four great monks and nearly a hundred nascent soul monks could still support it, the mountain gate array could no longer support it. Once the mountain gate formation is broken, with the combat power of the two great monks on the opposite side, it is feared that no monk in the entire Hidden Sun sect will survive. Just when he was desperate, he sensed a great monk approaching quickly from the distance. Amit Ba! In the sound of the Buddha's cry, the two great sages appeared next to the formation at the mountain gate of the Hidden Sun sect. It's so lively! Great Monk Chi from the Tai Chu sect, and another Great Monk followed, and said, after seeing the situation on the battlefield, Brother Hu and Brother Ding from the 10,000 Bees sect also arrived. The six monks arrived almost immediately, as if they had made an appointment. In fact, this is also the case. It turns out that the two great sages from Lianhua Temple could have come earlier. However, when the two great sages knew that it was the two great monks from Yuching sect and Baidi sect who came to seek revenge, they deliberately waited. The great monks of Tai Chu sect and 10,000 Bees sect, they knew very well that with the strength of their two great sages, they could not influence the two super powerful monks. Senior monks Yen Gao and Wang Yi stopped their attack. 
after they saw the senior monks from the other three major local sects in the eastern Chi continent coming over. They knew that they could no longer attack forcefully this time. Even though the four major local sects in the Dong Chi continent are all large sects. There is a big gap between them and the superpowers. However, relying on the local advantages and the relationship network established in the Dong Chi continent, they are really in danger of being destroyed. The energy of the four major local sects is not small. This time, the great monks Yen Gao and Wang He made a surprise attack, catching the Ziraizong by surprise. Fellow Daoist Wang, fellow Daoist Yen, the matter has not been investigated clearly. So there is no need to be so impulsive. Brother Qi from the Tai Chu sect stepped forward and said, This is the lightning protection jade order found on Zwishun's body. It has the mark of our body sect on it. And Zwishun's confession was given by his master Pan Shao. Eight members of the Baiyi sect were missing in the eastern Qi continent. Among the early infant monks, there is also a core monk. And this, lightning protection jade token, is what the Yuaning monks of the sect carry with them. Senior monk Yin Gao took out the lightning protection jade token and said in a deep voice, the reason why he and the great monk Wang Yi dared to directly attack the mountain gate of Ziri sect was because they were here for reasons. Otherwise, they would not want to risk the possibility of forging a big feud with the eastern Qi continent to attack the mountain gate of the Ziri sect. Despite the constant friction between the four major local sects, the four major local sects have the same attitude towards the outside world. When encountering foreign enemies, the four major local sects will unite to resist powerful enemies. This is also the reason why the four major local sects can occupy most of the resources of the eastern Qi continent. The four major local sects unite together and add to their network of relationships to form a powerful force that cannot be ignored. Even a superpower needs to be cautious about the alliance of the four major local sects. When all the great monks present heard what senior monk Yin Gao said, they all looked at senior monk Pan Shao. Great monk Pan Shao cursed his disciples with Shun in his heart. Isn't this digging a big hole for himself? This was the first time he had seen this. Lighting protection jade order. So how could he say that he got it from him? At the same time, he had the intention to pull Zwishun over and kill him. Just because of Zwishun's words, which caused the Jiri sect to suffer such a big loss. Chapter 6 11 Investigation Fellow Daoist Yin, I can swear to my Taoist heart that the lighting protection jade order was not given to Zwishun by me. Senior Monk Pan Shao pointed to the sky and said to Senior Monk Yin Gao, he swears by heaven. If it were applied to the great monks of other sects, it would still be very convincing. For monks, the Taoist heart is the foundation of cultivation. Once the Taoist heart is damaged, the path of cultivation will be interrupted. Pan Shao, is your oath trustworthy? Monk Yin Gao asked calmly. His question made the great monk Pan Shao startled. And then he came to his senses. The hidden sun sect is a demon sect. And the great monk Pan Shao is a demon cultivator. The demon cultivator is one of the few monks who does not pay so much attention to the Taoist heart. Fellow Daoist Yin, please wait for a moment. I need some time to investigate the matter of the Lighting Protection Jade Order. At this time, the great monk Baron said, The most nervous person at this time is Moon Jing who is at a mountain gate formation node. He knew where the Lighting Protection Jade Order came from. He personally gave it to Zwishun, but he did not dare to tell the truth looking at the miserable situation of the Hidden Sun sect. Although not many monks died, the losses suffered by the Mountain Gate Array and the loss of the Hidden Sun sect's reputation were extremely serious. In particular, the reputation of the Hidden Sun sect was lost, and the Mountain Gate was almost broken down. This was a huge blow to Hidden Sun sect. The prestige that Hidden Sun sect had established over more than 10,000 years was destroyed, and it would take who knows how many years to make up for it in the future. Mu Jing thought of the sect's methods and the cruel methods of the demon sect in torturing traitors. Just thinking about it made him feel numb. He wanted to hide it. But he had let the news out in order to be able to sell the Lighting Protection Jade Order at a high price. The Great Monk Baring gave the order. And the Yuanin monks in his sect were all here. So the matter was quickly investigated. The Lighting Protection Jade Order was obtained from Mu Jing. Not from the Great Monk Pan Shao who gave it to Zwishun. The corners of Brother Baron's mouth twitched. He almost hated Mu Jing to the extreme. He waved his hand. And Mu Jing, who was in the formation node, was grabbed by his consciousness. Mu Jing panicked and wanted to struggle. But how could he struggle in the face of the aura suppression of the great monk Baron? Fellow Daoist Yin, the Lightning Protection Jade Order. An Zwishan was obtained from Mu Jing. If you want to know about the 
Lighting Protection Jade Order. Just ask Mu Jing. Great Monk Baron resisted the urge to crush Mu Jing to death. Move, and said to the Great Monkey and Gao. Is the Hidden Sun set going to use a cripple to take the blame? Senior Monkey and Gao glanced at Mu Jing and said calmly. Although Mu Jing sold the Lighting Protection Jade Order. Due to the short time, he only exchanged the resources for some fourth grade elixirs and had not yet invited the alchemy master to refine the elixir for him. Therefore, Mu Jing is still missing his left leg, so he is not a disabled person. Fellow Daoist Yin, I will hand Mu Jing over to you, and you can use the soul-searching method to interrogate him to find out whether I lied. Great Monk Baron really didn't want to continue, he said in a deep voice. His words made the Great Monk's present couldn't help but be stunned. Probably only the demon sect could do this handing over the souls of the Yuanying monks of his sect to the monks of other sects. Soul searching is not as simple as checking information from the soul. Soul searching will greatly consume the soul energy of the recipient. After one soul search, the recipient will most likely become a fool, and the remaining results will be even worse. Is a direct death. After Brother Baran finished speaking, he threw Mu Jing to Brother Yin Gao. The great monk Yin Gao did not hesitate. The Baidi sect itself did not regard itself as an orthodox sect and it acted as it pleased. He put his hand on Mu Jing's head and ignored Mu Jing's eyes begging for mercy. Mu Jing, who had been suppressed by the great monk, did not even have the ability to scream, let alone struggle. The only thing he could express his feelings was his eyes. As the monk Yin Gao cast his soul-searching spell, Mu Jing's eyes instantly turned blood red. Mu Jing's eyes were filled with despair at first, and soon he fell into confusion. His memory was being forcibly read by the monk Yin Gao. There was blood flowing out of his ears, nose and mouth, which was extremely terrifying. Mu Jing was both lucky and unfortunate. He survived. After undergoing the soul-searching spell, he did not die on the spot. His eyes lost their luster. His soul was disturbed. And he became a living dead. Indeed, the Lighting Protection Jade Order was obtained by Mu Jing. But it was found outside the gate of the Hidden Sun Sect. We need to enter the Hidden Sun Sect's cave to investigate before we can confirm the relationship between this matter and the Hidden Sun Sect. No contact. After exchanging opinions with Great Monk Wang He, Senior Monk Yin Gao nodded to Senior Monk Baran. Senior Monk Baran's face was gloomy. He glanced at the Senior Monks of the other three major sects and found that these Senior Monks had no intention of intervening. The Great Monks from the three major sects came here to solve the problem. As long as they ensure that the Hidden Sun Sect is not destroyed it will be considered as completing the original contract. As for allowing the great monks Yen Gao and Wang He to enter the cave of the Hidden Sun sect to explore, which was an extreme slap in the face of Hidden Sun sect, they did not express their opinions. What they need to see is a solution to the problem, and they don't want to overthink the solution to the problem. Anyway, it's not a slap in the face of their three major sections. The Hidden Sect has been a bit too noisy in recent years. Being slapped in the face can make the Hidden Sect quiet for a few years. Okay, but please keep what you saw a secret. Senior Monk Baran also discussed with the senior monks of our sect, and finally said helplessly, with the testimony of the three major sects, there is no need to worry about the great monks Yin Gao and Wang Yi taking advantage of the opportunity to enter the sect to kill the Hidden Sun sect. Senior Monk Baran took senior monks Yin Gao and Wang Yi into the mountain gate of Ziri sect, and brought them out not long after. The faces of the great monks Yin Gao and Wang Yi were not good looking. They use secret techniques and sense the magical inheritance of Invisible Yuan Magnetic and the breath of Chishao Thunder Bead, respectively. In their speculation, these two treasures would only be blocked in the cave. They had explored the caves of the Hidden Sun sect, but they had not sensed any aura. This terminates their clues, which is also their most promising clue to find out the truth. The Hidden Sun sect needs to cooperate with our investigation. The Lighting Protection Jade Order actually appeared outside the Sun Hidden Sect's Mountain Gate, which is also the Hidden Sun Sect's sphere of influence. Senior Monkey and Gao finally said, even if the great monks of the Hidden Sun Sect felt embarrassed, someone knocked on their door, and even searched their home. They still needed to help each other in the end. But the strength of the other party is too strong. As long as it does not threaten the safety of the sect, the great monks of the Hidden Sun Sect are still ready to cooperate. In addition, Although the three major sects came and did not take action, the Hidden Sun sect must remember this favor. A conflict that was very likely to develop into a major incident in the Eastern Chi continent ended in this way. But the influence of this incident did not end. Because of this incident, 
the Hidden Sun sect fell to the bottom of the four major local sects and lost opportunities in the competition for many resources. The Hidden Sun sect needs a long time to silently lick their wounds. They can't even take revenge. Neither the Yuching sect nor the Baiti sect can deal with them alone. Instead, they intensified their investigation and devoted all their efforts to investigate the Lighting Protection Jade Order. They couldn't afford to offend the Yuching sect and Baiti sect, but they could afford to offend the monk who placed the Lighting Protection Jade Order outside the mountain gate of the Hidden Sun sect. It's just a pity that this matter was done by the Phantom Dragon. With the Phantom Dragon's innate ability, because there was no battle, the Phantom Dragon didn't even leave its breath at the scene and acted invisibly throughout the whole process. Li Shiming stayed quietly in the 10,000 Beast sect. He secretly felt regretful in his heart. It would be a happy thing if the mountain gate of the Hidden Sun sect was broken down. When Yushan learned that the Lighting Protection Jade Order was actually obtained by Mu Jing, he couldn't help but shake his head at Mu Jing's misfortune. He really didn't want to harm Mu Jing. A random monk from the Hidden Sun sect discovered the Lighting Protection Jade Order and brought it into the Sun Hidden Sect to achieve his goal. Unexpectedly, the person who got the Lighting Protection Jade Order turned out to be his enemy Mu Jing. Since Mu Jing had been hiding in the Hidden Sun Sect, he had no way to find Mu Jing. So he took this opportunity to avenge his revenge. The last news about Mu Jing was that although Mu Jing became a living dead, the Ziri Sect did not let him go and imprisoned him. It is unknown how he was tortured. As long as you think about the methods of the Demon Sect, I am afraid that they will use all possible means to deal with the monks who hate them to the core. The investigations conducted by monks Yen Gao and Wang He in the Eastern Qi continent became increasingly high profile. Among the four major sects, Lianhua Temple was not spared and was also invited to participate in the investigation. The face of the Yuching sect and the Baidi sect also led some cross-continental forces in the Eastern Qi continent to join the investigation. It's a pity that no matter what kind of investigation, the truth about the appearance of the Lighting Protection Jade Order outside the Gate of Hidden Sun sect was not found. You must know that so many forces were mobilized, especially the full-scale investigation of the Hidden Sun sect. Every monk who appeared outside the Hidden Sun sect that day was traced out. These monks have all gone through interrogation. Although they did not use soul searching, they have also gone through secret method interrogation and were released only after it was proven that they had nothing to do with the Lightning Jade Order. After a year of investigation, Senior Monk Yin Gao and Senior Monk Wang Yi thanked the forces involved in the investigation and silently left the Eastern Qi continent. They can't waste time on the Eastern Qi continent. They have tried their best to investigate, but there has been no progress for such a long time. The further time goes by, the less likely they will be able to achieve results. They could only give up. Of course, this giving up did not mean that they would no longer investigate the deaths of Wang Yuan, Song Yu, and the other seven early Yuanying monks of the Baidi sect. But that there would be other monks coming. We cannot leave these two great monks in the Eastern Qi continent. These two great monks are extremely important monks even in the Yuching sect and the Baidi sect. Li Shiming breathed a sigh of relief when he received the news that Monk Yin Gao and Monk Wang He had left. Especially that Monk Wang He had left the Eastern Qi continent. During this year, he stayed in retreat in the Cave of Ten Thousand Beasts sect. Even the collection of elixirs and elixirs was done by ghosts controlling the living dead. And with the Purple Thunder Serum, the ultimate treasure of Lei Xiao's cultivation, lying nearby. He had been coveting it and not using it. He was eager in his heart. You must know that his cultivation progress is extremely slow. At this speed, it will probably take decades to reach the peak of the early stage of nascent soul. This is because his fourth grade cultivation auxiliary elixirs are constantly in use. And their quality is at the level of advanced fourth grade pills. Li Shiming's cultivation speed is slow because of his own opinion. His cultivation speed is already unimaginable by other early Yuanying monks. In addition, he did not even look at the cultivation experience left by Wang Yuan. He was almost as careful as possible. You can't blame him for being too cautious. But the troubles he faced this time were far greater than before. The more he learned about the Yuching sect and the Baidi sect, the more cautious he became. These two superpowers had great power. In fact, what Li Shiming is even more coveted is the magical power of invisible magnetism. The magical power of invisible magnetism is so overbearing that it is almost the nemesis of sword cultivators and makes most of the monks' magic weapons useless. The inheritance of the magical power of invisible Yuan magnetic is in his hands, and he is waiting for the right opportunity to accept the inheritance of the magical power of 
invisible Yuan magnetic. After waiting for more than a year, after the two great monks of Yuching sect and Baidi sect left, he felt that the time had come. He did not take out the stone ring from the machine room space. The earthly thunder nascent soul flew out from above his head and was then sent into the machine room space by him. Two lay nascent soul held the stone ring in his hand and his consciousness entered the stone ring. Although the consciousness of earth thunder nascent soul entered the stone circle, in order to deal with unexpected situations, he mobilized almost all his free brain to prepare for unexpected events at any time. The reason why I chose the earth thunder nascent soul is because the magical power of invisible yuan magnetic is an earth type magical power which matches the attributes of the earth thunder nascent soul his consciousness entered the stone circle and immediately perceived countless lines which were changing regularly these lines are intended to be tested by the magical power of invisible magnetism only by finding out the rules of the lines can they be able to accept new tests when a normal monk encounters this test what he needs to do is to memorize one line at a time then follow the trajectory of each line and summarize the moving route in his mind. After all the line movement routes are completely recorded in the mind, the movement rules of the lines can be obtained. This test may seem simple, but it is actually a test of the monk's spirit. Without an extremely strong spirit and without ultimate control over the spirit, it is impossible to use the spirit to record huge data and analyze and study it. Even if the spirit is strong enough and other conditions are met, it will take an extremely long time to pass this test. The fastest monk from the Baidi sect passed the first test in 30 years. And the slowest one among the other monks who passed the first test took hundreds of years. But this test is extremely easy for Li Shiming. The magic weapon Z15 not only recorded and analyzed the movement of the lines, but also found the formula for the movement of the lines. This was deeper than summarizing the rules. And it only took 135 hours. Chapter 612 Magical Powers Li Shiming mastered the changing laws of countless lines in the stone circle and his consciousness followed the changing lines. The countless changing lines separated, and his consciousness entered a deeper level. There was an endless expanse of dark brown ground that looked empty. The next test is to perceive the special features of this area and summarize its rules. This is the second test of the stone circle. The consciousness of other monks entered here. Facing the empty land, they really had no way to start. Only monks with extremely strong spiritual power can sense the existence of the force field from the earth but it is not that easy to analyze and summarize the rules of this force field. The most difficult thing is actually that after the consciousness enters the stone circle, it will be affected by the environment of supernatural power inheritance, thus forgetting some memories about the stone circle test that it has heard before. Therefore, no matter how the monks summarize the assessment experience of their predecessors, it will not be of any help when entering the assessment of magical power inheritance. Of course, even with the assessment experience summarized by previous people, it will not be of much help in the assessment. The force field of the magical power inheritance assessment has different rules every time it enters. Li Shiming's spirit is definitely the best among his peers, which allows him to easily sense the existence of force fields. The difference between the second test and the first test is that the first test is a visible line, while the second test is an invisible force field, which is many times more difficult. If you are not extremely sensitive to force fields and have corresponding talents, you will simply not be able to perceive the details of the force fields. Li Shiming didn't encounter any trouble. He sensed the existence of the force field. And at the same time, he also sensed every invisible line of the force field inside the force field. With the experience of the previous test, the calculation speed of the natal magic weapon Z-15 is obviously much faster. 120 hours later, he found out the laws of the Earth's force field here. Just when he figured out the pattern of the Earth's force field, the brown earth cracked open, revealing a crystal with colorful light at its core. His consciousness wanted to touch the seven-colored light crystal, but it was blocked by the seven-colored light. This seven-colored light is the last test. Each color of the seven-colored light is a manifestation of a force field. The seven colors are intertwined to form a more complex force field. It can be said that the seven-color light force field is at least ten times more difficult than the previous test. If you don't master the relationship between the seven-color force fields, and the seven color interweaving force fields. You may not be able to break through this seven color light force field. It's possible. Li Shiming didn't know how the monks of the Baidi sect did it. The method he used was to rely on the computing power of the natal magic weapon Z15. This time Z15 spent a full 300 hours of calculations before summarizing the rules of the colorful light force field and successfully cracking it. He didn't expect that it would take more than 20 days just to pass the invisible yuan magnetic test. 
he thought this time was very long. But if he knew the time it took for the monks of the Bidi sect to pass the invisible yuan magnetic magical power test, he would understand how fast he passed. The Bidi sect has its own method of selecting monks with the magical talent of invisible magnetism from among the entry-level monks, and then training these monks to strengthen their spiritual cultivation and computing abilities. This is the experience accumulated by Bidi sect for thousands of years which is why Bidi Sek will produce a monk who has passed the test of Invisible Yuan Magnetic Magical Power every few hundred years. Every time you participate in the Invisible Magnetism Magical Power Test, you will spend several to ten years in a dedicated training room to test your magical power. The vast majority of monks do not waste on calculations. As long as they have enough time, they can continue to calculate and sum up the rules. They all focus on mental consumption. Even if there is a dedicated training room, that can continuously replenish the spirit consumed by the monks in the test of magical powers. This kind of spiritual replenishment cannot keep up with the consumption. No matter how strong the spirit is, more than 10 years will be enough to exhaust it to the point where it cannot be maintained. If the Bidi sect knew that Li Shiming passed the test of the invisible magnetism in just 20 days, their jaws would definitely be dropped. This would break the Bidi sect's record. Li Shiming's consciousness passed through the colorful light and touched the crystal inside. In an instant, countless information flowed into his brain from the crystal. At the same time, an invisible magnetism, magical rune flew out of the crystal and fell into the body of Tu Lei Yuanying. Another ten days passed before he slowly opened his eyes. This invisible Yuan magnetic magical power is the most complex magical power and requires a lot of knowledge. Of course, the core of the invisible magnetism, magical power is still the invisible magnetism, magical power rune in the body of two lay nascent soul. As long as this magical power rune is present, you can try to activate the invisible magnetism, magical power. As for the huge knowledge, it is how to drive the invisible magnetism to achieve different effects. Although the knowledge of the invisible magnetism, magical power is huge, with Z15 to help organize the memory and quickly retrieve it at any time, it does not take long for him to be able to freely use the invisible magnetism, magical power. He recalled the Earth Thunder nascent soul from the computer room space. After the Earth Thunder soul soul returned to its true form, his mind moved slightly, and a force field appeared centered on his body. This force field was only about one meter away from his body at first, but it soon continued to spread outward. He finally understood why the invisible Yuan magnetic magical power of the early Yuaning monk from the Bidi sect would only freeze the fourth grade top cone-shaped magic weapon when it approached. That's because every time the invisible magnetism spreads by one meter, a lot of calculations are required, and the force field of the invisible magnetism is controlled by itself at all times. Li Shiming's invisible magnetism expanded from one meter to 100 meters, then to 300 meters, and then he stopped expanding. It's not that it has reached the limit, but it has reached the limit of computing power of AZ-15 CPU. He can continue to expand the invisible magnetism and then more CPUs will need to be mobilized. At present, it is not necessary. Invisible Yuan Magnet can only exert its effect on metal properties in the nascent soul stage. In addition, it can also achieve a certain confinement effect on the monk's body. 300 meters is enough. This distance is enough for the invisible magnetism to be effective. Li Shiming's Earth Thunder Yuanian consciousness is connected to his clone Li Yuanba, who is far away in Zhongzhou Continent's Sword Intent Chongxiao Pavilion. The invisible Yuan magnetic magical rune in Earth Thunder Yuan Ying's body emits a faint light. A new rune appeared on the rune dagger in Li Yuanba's body, which was the invisible Yuan magnetic magical power rune. Li Shiming and Li Yuanba are originally one body. The main body shares its own magical runes with the clone. This can be done through the inexplicable connection between the main body and the clone. It's a pity that Li Yuanba is not an Earth monk. So even if he masters the magical rune of invisible magnetism, he can only form a 5 meter invisible magnetism around him. This has nothing to do with Li Yuanba's spirit and computing power. But the power that the 5 meter invisible magnetism can exert by the invisible magnetism magical rune itself. If it exceeds 5 meters, Earth's spiritual power is needed to enhance its power. In fact, in order to pass the invisible magnetism magical power inheritance test, the prerequisite is that the monk must be of the Earth type. It is estimated that no one has thought that there will be a metallic swordsman who has mastered the invisible magnetism through this method. 
supernatural powers. Li Shiming also knew another function of the stone ring, which was the inheritance of the invisible magnetism. The core crystal was made by solidifying the invisible magnetism with great power. If you want to enhance the power of invisible magnetism, you can call upon the invisible magnetism energy in the core crystal of the stone ring. Coupled with the 12 jade tokens he obtained on the battlefield, he can lay down the invisible magnetism magical power restriction. There are differences and similarities between magical power restrictions and formations. The magical power restriction is somewhat like a formation, but the formation uses formation flags or other formation bases to form nodes. And the formation is laid out in a manner that conforms to the rules of the formation. While the magical power restriction uses the magical power as a node to enhance the power of the supernatural power and reach a certain level. Roll? Li Shiming was helpless. Although he had mastered the arrangement method of the invisible magnetism, magical power restriction, he did not dare to take out the stone ring or the twelve invisible magnetism jade tokens from the computer room space. After dozens of days of retreat, he mastered the magical power of invisible magnetism. At this time, the world of immortal cultivation in the eastern Qi continent had calmed down. The original conflict between the 10,000 beasts sect and the Hiding Sun sect ended with the Hiding Sun sect withdrawing into the sect. Li Shiming had no intention of leaving seclusion. He still accepted the alchemy task from Zhongzhou Trading Company and 10,000 beasts sect. But this did not affect his seclusion. He began to read Wang Yuan's cultivation experience. He did not know Wang Yuan's background. But judging from the cultivation experience recorded by Wang Yuan, the realm of the monks who taught Wang Yuan must be terrifyingly high. Li Shiming's situation is somewhat special. He majored in the Five Rhymes Chi training technique and also practiced the Yu Qing Thunder Code. He also inexplicably practiced the Sword Intention Chong Shao technique. For a normal monk, any one of the three techniques would require a lot of time to improve. So it would be better to specialize in one of them. But he is different. He has the Five Elements Receiving Chi Array in his body that he accidentally created. The five nascent souls in his body no matter which nascent soul practices which skill, will gain spiritual power through the five elements receiving qi. The formation automatically balances the spiritual power in each yuaning body. In other words, the thunder spiritual power improved by the Mu Lei nascent soul's practice of Jade Clear Thunder Code will be automatically converted into the five elements of thunder spiritual power and distributed equally among the five nascent souls. Of course, this also has a fatal flaw. That is, the cultivation resources that were originally enough for a monk can only be regarded as one-fifth of the cultivation resources for him. The amount of purple thunder plasma obtained by Li Shiming is enough for an early Yuanning Lei Xiao to continue to use it for a long time after being promoted to the middle Yuanning stage. Therefore, even if his training needs increase five times, the purple thunder plasma in his hand will be enough for him to reach the middle stage of nascent soul. However, he did not use purple thunder plasma immediately, but reconsolidated his Jade Clear Thunder Code. Speaking of the Yu Qing Thunder Cannon, he practiced this inherited skill of the Yu Qing sect. Although there are some cultivation experiences in the skill, these training experiences were not passed down from the Yu Qing sect, but obtained the Yu Qing Thunder Code. It was summed up by the monks of the classics. This is very different from the orthodox inheritance of Yu Qing sect, and there are errors in many places. After watching Wang Yuan's practice experience, Li Shiming found that the problems he encountered in his past practice were all solved with his own understanding and Z15 analysis. His and Z15's knowledge base of Lei Xiao Kung Fu was too poor, making their understanding and analysis inaccurate. After obtaining the cultivation experience of the orthodox inheritance of Yuqing Set, his Yuqing Lei Canon is constantly laying a solid foundation. He knew that if he used the Purple Thunder Plasma, now, it would be a lot of waste than using the Purple Thunder Plasma. After fully understanding Wang Yuan's training experience, there are no years of cultivation, and he has spent rare and peaceful years. He spent a year to reconsolidate the foundation of his Jade Pure Thunder Code, Thunder Body. On this day, Li Shiming stood in the training room and shouted softly. What he used this time was the deepest secret method of Thunder Body in the Yu Qing Thunder Code. Even in the Yu Qing sect, there were not many monks who really mastered the Thunder Body. Secret Method Thunder Body is already regarded as the core inherited secret method of Yuching Sect. And Wang Yuan's cultivation experience contains relevant knowledge. 
Li Shiming felt that Mu Lei Yuanying's body suddenly increased in size. The same size as the main body. And merged with the main body. The thunder and lightning runes in Mu Lei Yuanying's body are distributed throughout the body in a special way. And these thunder and lightning runes are connected together. Under the action of the thunder and lightning runes. The body is transformed into thunder and lightning energy. This feeling is very strange. The physical body turns into energy. This energy state can be immune to most physical attacks and weaken the power of energy attacks. After mastering the thunder body, Li Shiming can truly cultivate the Jade Purity Thunder Code to a level consistent with his realm. His power as a thunder cultivator before was mainly derived from the fact that he had survived the heavenly tribulations again and again and gained the power of the thunder from the heavenly tribulations. Now, in addition to the blessing of Sky Thunder, his power of Thunder Cultivator also includes the methods of Orthodox Thunder Cultivator. He is no longer limited to direct attacks with Sky Thunder and Lightning. On this day, he officially took out the Purple Thunder Plasma. He also announced to the outside world that he would officially start retreating. Unlike the previous retreats, he would no longer take on alchemy matters during this retreat. Neither the 10,000 Beasts sect nor the Zhongzhou Trading Company had any objections to his seclusion. The 10,000 Beasts sect has no mandatory requirements for his alchemy matters. And his usual amount of alchemy far exceeds that of any alchemy master in the sect. Zhongzhou Commercial Bank will not say anything. He is just a guest of Zhongzhou Commercial Bank. It is enough to complete the alchemy task of a great monk once a year. And he has already exceeded his quota and has completed the task for many years. He is extremely qualified as a guest minister. The reason why he needs to stop refining alchemy is because his body needs to use. Purple Thunder Plasma, which will make his body free from other things. Chapter 613 Mission Li Yuanbao lived a very comfortable life in Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion. After joining the Jian family lineage, his status in Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion has been significantly improved. He is already the core monk of Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion. The core monks of Sword Intent Chongxiao Pavilion have their own cave in the Sword Cave. He sat cross-legged in the Sword Room of the cave, with a little nascent soul sitting on top of his head out of body and the four characters sword fell into nascent soul's hands. The 10,000 swords peak was placed in front of him. At this time, the 10,000 flying swords in it were suspended throughout the sword room. Theoretically, the size of the sword room cannot accommodate 10,000 flying swords. However, the flying swords in 10,000 swords peak are all energy-based flying swords, and the size of the flying swords can be controlled. The flying swords suspended in the sword room have all shrunk to the size of an embroidery needle. The reason why he summoned the 10,000 flying swords was because he wanted to use the environment in the sword cave to enhance the sword intent in the 10,000 flying swords. The sword cave has the effect of enhancing the sword intent. He only tried it at first. But he did not expect that it could really enhance the sword intent of the flying swords in 10,000 swords peak. This discovery made him summon all the 10,000 flying swords in 10,000 swords peak when he was practicing. Although he sent the 4th grade flying sword containing nascent soul sword intent into 10,000 swords peak to replace the original low level flying sword and sword intention through energy. This did not affect his understanding of the sword intention in 10,000 swords peak. Overall improvement. The replacement of the 4th grade flying sword is an extremely long process. And a comprehensive replacement cannot be achieved in a short time. Even if Li Shiming continues to harvest 4th grade weapon refining materials to refine 4th grade flying swords and cultivate sword intent. And Li Yuanba is also refining alchemy in exchange for 4th grade flying swords containing sword intent. But he wants to obtain 10,000 4th grade flying swords. It may take a thousand years to complete the Feijian. Although the entire sword room was densely covered with thousands of flying swords. There was no flying sword within 5 meters of his body except for the 4 character sword in Yuanying's hand. The invisible and qualityless. Invisible elemental magnetism repels the approach of the flying sword. Of course, if he actively controls it, his flying sword can still come in and out freely. However, he is practicing and will not waste his energy on controlling the invisible magnetism. He is not the real bodily shimming. He has Z15 available and 191 brains. He can separate his brains at will to handle separate affairs. Li Yuanba opened his eyes and took out the jade plate of identity from the mustard ring. It was a message from Yun Shao. Yun Shao had not summoned a team to do tasks for a while. It seemed that another mission was coming. Li Yuanba waved his hand. All the flying swords returned to 10,000 swords peak, and nascent soul entered the body. He flew out of the cave and out of the sword cave. 
The entrance to the Sword Cave was at the top of Sword Peak, where only core sword cultivators could approach. He arrived at the agreed place, where Yin Xiao was waiting. Yin Qian was the only one who came, and no other sword cultivators arrived. Let's see how this mission goes. It's a little troublesome. Yun Xiao saw Li Yuanba and shared the mission with him, and said with a smile. After many times of cooperation, the team has a tacit understanding. Li Yuanba's Wan Jianfeng plays an extremely important role in the team, which has improved his status in the team. Although Yun Xiao has the right to take over the task, she will also discuss it with Li Yuanba and obtain Li Yuanba's consent. This was because Yun Xiao didn't know that Li Yuanba had joined the Jian family and became the core monk of Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion. Yun Xiao had only seen Li Yuanba summon five swords containing the great monk level. Breaking sword intent from 10,000 swords peak. Although these five great monks, breaking void sword intent, only had the power of one blow in battle. But it can definitely determine the outcome of a battle at a critical moment. Li Yuanba checked the mission information. This mission was an ambush mission. And the mission target was a long distance spacecraft of Sanqiong Trading Company. When did we have a conflict with Sanqiong Trading Company? Li Yuanba asked slightly surprised. The strength of Sanqiong Trading Company is not weak, and it is not comparable to that of small forces. Each of their long-distance ships has at least one mid-stage nascent soul monk on board. The batch of sword cultivator seeds we were preparing to send back to the sect from Xi'an Continent was attacked by Sanqiong Trading Company in the sea. All the sword cultivator seeds were snatched away. We lost one nascent soul sword cultivator and another nascent soul sword cultivator. It's time to repair the body and rebuild it. Yun Xiao replied in a deep voice. This mission is not the only mission targeting Sanqiong Trading Company. The sect has assigned 10 teams to carry out the mission of attacking 10 Sanqiong Trading Company's voyage ships. Yun Qian on the side continued. They all spoke with indignation. What Sanqiong Trading Company did had definitely aroused the anger of all the sword cultivators in Sword Intent Chongxiao Pavilion. The source of sword cultivation in Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion is not only the search for sword cultivation seeds from the Zhongzhou continent, but also specialized sword cultivators who search for sword cultivation seeds in various continents and bring them back to Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion for cultivation. Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion has a separate system, which maintains the task of finding the seeds of sword cultivation. Although Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion does not occupy a mortal area and selects sword cultivation seeds from among mortals, it has been able to ensure the prosperity of Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion through its own methods. It is not strange for Sanqiong Trading Company to engage in robbery on the ocean. The ocean does not belong to any force and is not protected by any means. It is difficult to survive, especially if you are injured and escape. This makes many nascent soul monks who think they are powerful will rob relatively weak parties on the ocean. Just silencing the person who is robbed can make what happened unnoticed. It's a pity that Sanqiong Trading Company miscalculated this time. When their mid-stage nascent soul monks attack two early-stage nascent soul sword cultivators. One of the early-stage nascent soul sword cultivators used his life to resist the mid-stage nascent soul monks and gave it to the other. In the early stage of Yuanying, sword cultivators have the time to use Yuanying to escape. Yuanying, who was a sword cultivator in the early stage of Yuanying, was lucky enough to return to Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion and let Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion know about this matter. Li Yuanba didn't know about this because he had been closed to practice before. After hearing what Yin Xiao and Yin Qian said, Li Yuanba shared the same hatred. As a member of Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion, he had long been branded with the imprint of Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion. Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion is his home, and he is naturally willing to make his own contribution to this home. It will be difficult for our team to deal with a mid-stage nascent soul monk. If two mid-nascent soul monks appear, I'm afraid it will be very troublesome. Li Yuanba said while looking at the mission information. The mission information is not complete. It can be seen that this mission seems a bit rushed and not much intelligence has been collected. Thinking about it, collecting intelligence on the 10 voyage spaceships of Sanqiong Trading Company at the same time, and also needing to launch attacks on 10 voyage spaceships at the same time within a period of time, requires mobilizing too many intelligence resources. But they have to do this. Once Sanqiong Trading Company discovers the purpose of Sword Intent Chongxiao Pavilion, they will definitely take countermeasures. Then it will not be easy to hit Sanqiong Trading Company all at once. If there are two mid-stage nascent soul monks, Yuanba will need to use all his strength. Yun Xiao looked at Li Yuanba and said with a smile, He has more confidence in Li Yuanba than Li Yuanba himself. That is the great monk level. Du Xiao Sword Intention. And it is still five ways. If used properly, 
it is not difficult to kill the monks in the middle stage of nascent soul. Of course, there are great risks in this. The great monks, breaking void sword intent, is indeed a powerful weapon. But the problem is that Li Yuanba is a sword cultivator in the early stage of Yuanying, and he himself cannot withstand a blow from a monk in the middle stage of Yuanying. This requires planning in advance to avoid this situation. At this time, the rest of the nascent soul sword cultivators also arrived. The mission is shared with everyone. This mission is a bit dangerous, and the journey is a bit long. But it must be completed, Yun Shao said in a deep voice while looking at the team members. He took out a flying boat, and all the team members entered the flying boat. The flying boat left the range of Jinny Cho Shao Pavilion and flew on the ocean. In the flying boat, the nascent soul sword cultivators were agitated. Sanqiong Trading Company attacked the flying boat transporting the sword cultivating seeds. This behavior was unforgivable. Everyone! This time the pavilion has issued 10 ambush missions. It is also said that the mid-stage nascent soul sword cultivators in the pavilion also have assassination missions. Even the great monks will dispatch two of them. We can't be embarrassed if the ambush target is left alive, which makes the layout of the pavilion defective, Yun Xiao said. Li Yuanba was secretly shocked. Sword Intention Changshao Pavilion had no intention of giving Sanqiong Trading Company a chance to turn around and completely destroyed it in one fell swoop. It seemed that the mission to attack the long-distance ship was just a side dish. And the main dish was still the Great Monk. It will never be embarrassing, Du Lei responded loudly. His sword intent rose up. And if it weren't for the fact that he was in the cabin of the flying boat, his sword intent would probably rise dozens of meters with anger. The ones we need to deal with this time are the monks in the middle stage of nascent soul. I did not apply for reinforcements from the pavilion. I believe in everyone's ability. Yun Xiao continued. It's not like we haven't killed mid-nascent soul monks before. Most of the mid-nascent soul monks from Sanqiong Trading Company are incompetent mid-nascent soul monks. They don't have much combat power. Du Lei said with a nonchalant smile. Du Lei is not just saying nonsense. It is not a good task to be in charge of escorting a long-distance ship. A truly ambitious monk will not be in charge of a long-distance ship. Sitting on the voyage ship. One will be on the voyage ship almost all year round. For the safety of the voyage ship. There is not much free time. And one must be careful of being attacked at any time. Therefore, the monks who are stationed in the voyage ship have very little time to practice. And the benefits of being in the voyage ship are not high. It is extremely difficult to obtain sufficient training resources by virtue of being in the voyage ship. For example, monks in the mid-nascent soul stage of Sanqiong Trading Company have the right to distribute the profits of Sanqiong Trading Company. So they can barely support their cultivation. A truly powerful mid-stage nascent soul monk will not choose to sit on a long-distance ship. The higher the strength, the more ways to earn resources. Li Yuanba also finally understood why a small team of sword cultivators in the early stage of Yuanying dared to ambush a long-distance flying boat stationed by monks in the middle stage of Yuanying. It turns out that this is not the first time that the team has fought against mid-nascent soul monks. The look on Du Lei's face shows that he has killed mid-nascent soul monks before. Li Yuanba smiled. From what Yun Xiao said before, he really thought that Yun Xiao was planning to rely on his own. 10,000 Swords Peak After more than 10 days of sailing, the flying boat finally arrived at the mission location, which was located in the ocean between Zhongzhou Continent and Xi'an Continent. Yun Xiao took out a formation disc, threw it, and turned it into a formation that could be hidden. The team entered the formation and waited for the arrival of Sanqiong Trading Company's voyage ship. The team members were chatting and laughing, and were not nervous because they were going to fight against the mid-nascent soul monks. It's almost time. Prepare to fight. It wasn't until Yun Xiao gave the order that the team members stopped smiling and entered combat mode. All nascent soul sword cultivators activated the nascent soul dharma. They added their own sword intent to the natal flying sword, and used secret techniques to accumulate energy, waiting for a fatal attack at the right time. Li Yuanba did not use the four characters and one sword. He knew his situation well. If we really talk about combat, it is very difficult to break through the defense of a monk in the middle stage of nascent soul by relying on the four characters and one sword. Although his four characters and one sword has reached the top quality of the fourth rank, the four characters and one sword is only a semi-finished product and its power is not at its strongest. The most crucial thing is that his strongest blow is not the sword of the four characters, but the 10,000 flying swords that mobilize the 10,000 swords peak. It's still the same as in previous battles. I'll launch a group attack first. And everyone will clear it out. Li Yuanba said without being polite. 
This is one of their team's various combat plans. And it was specially developed for Li Yuanba's combat characteristics. No problem. But you have to attack with all your strength. Don't attack in batches like before. You can't leave the mid-stage nascent soul monks too much time to react. Yun Xiao nodded in agreement. Li Yuanba took out the 10,000 sword peak that had survived the fourth grade weapon calamity. When he held the 10,000 sword peak in his hand, the other nascent soul sword cultivators couldn't help but look at the 10,000 sword peak. The fact that Wan Jianfeng survived the fourth grade weapon calamity is not a secret in sword intent Chong Shao Pavilion. Many sword cultivators have seen that scene. Although sword cultivators focus on their natal flying swords. Even the sword cultivators who focus on their natal flying swords are a little tempted by the fact that 10,000 Swords Peak is a growable magic weapon that is very suitable for sword cultivators and is a fourth grade weapon calamity magic weapon. Li Yuanba tapped his finger lightly and the shadows of countless flying swords were faintly visible in 10,000 Swords Peak. These flying swords were ready to strike in 10,000 Swords Peak. By doing this, he was also accumulating strength, waiting for a full blow. This time, he divided all the flying swords into five, led by five top-grade fourth-grade tribulation flying swords carrying the breaking void sword intent, and twenty-fourth-grade flying swords containing the nascent soul sword intent, and nearly two thousand flying swords of various grades. Even among these two thousand flying swords of various grades, after being cultivated for such a long time, their sword intent has also gained a hint of the power of the Yuanying level sword intent, although it is far from the power of the real nascent soul level sword intent. But with the addition of the number of 2,000 flying swords, it also has extremely terrifying power. Chapter 6 14 Trap Thousands of swords fired together! Li Yuanba shouted softly, and the 10,000 flying swords were divided into five branches and swarmed out from the 10,000 swords peak. Thousands of flying swords penetrated the concealment formation and could no longer hide their own aura. However, at this time, Sanqiong Trading Company's long-distance airship arrived right next to the concealment formation. After flying out of the concealment formation, the 10,000 flying swords directly hit the long-distance airship. The outer SH. L of the Voyage spacecraft always has a layer of energy shield. Because it needs to sail in the ocean, it can be attacked by spiritual beasts in the sea at any time. Although there are mid-stage nascent soul monks on duty, there is a possibility that the mid-stage nascent soul monks will not be able to react in time. This requires the self-defense of the voyage ship to be enough to withstand several attacks from fourth-grade spiritual beasts. Under normal circumstances, it would be difficult for a monk in the early stage of nascent soul to break through the energy shield of a long-distance ship with a full blow. The cost of building a long-distance flying boat is extremely high. With so many fourth-grade materials piled up and the formations arranged, its defense is naturally stronger. However, the energy shield of the voyage ship has its nemesis. Although the Yuanying early stage sword cultivator in Sword Intent Chong Shao Pavilion is also an early stage Yuanying cultivator, his own attack power far exceeds that of Yuanying cultivators of the same level. With accumulated sword intent, it can be completely destroyed with one sword. Not to mention that the 10,000 flying swords issued by Li Yuanba's 10,000 swords peak were spearheaded by five fourth grade top level tribulation flying swords with the Breaking Void Sword Intent of the Great Monk. Although the Great Monk's Breaking Void Sword Intent, which is a top-level weapon of five fourth-grade weapons, can only send out one blow. It did not even use the Great Monk's Breaking Void Sword Intent to break the energy shield of the voyage ship. One-tenth of the power of fourth-grade top-level weapon, the Tribulation Flying Sword, emitted the Great Monk's Void Breaking Sword Intent to break through the energy shield of the voyage spaceship. This flying sword group entered the interior of the voyage spaceship, and the other four flying sword groups followed this the gap that enters the voyage ship. Enemy attack! The moment he was attacked, the mid-stage nascent soul monk from Sanqiong Trading Company shouted loudly. His voice echoed throughout the voyage ship, and he did this to prepare the other monks on the voyage ship for battle. There were a group of passengers on the voyage ship this time, including two mid-stage nascent soul monks and five early-stage nascent soul monks. Although they were not monks from Sanqiong Trading Company, they were still an extremely powerful fighting force when gathered together. The mid-stage nascent soul monks of Sanqiong Trading Company knew very well that the monks who could attack Sanqiong Trading Company's voyage ship must have the strength to deal with him. A middle-stage Yuanying monk. It is no secret that Sanqiong Trading Company has a middle-stage nascent soul monk on board each long-distance voyage ship. 
Sanchong Trading Company relies on this to not only transport the goods within the company, but also help transport people who want to cross the continent. Monk. Therefore, after the mid-stage nascent Seoul monks of Sanchong Trading Company were attacked, they immediately thought of support and thought of the nascent Seoul monks among the passengers. After Li Yuanba's fourth grade flying sword broke through the defensive shield of the voyage ship, the fourth grade flying sword controlled by the sword cultivator was like a part of the sword cultivator's body, allowing him to sense the auras of the three mid-stage nascent soul monks. He was suddenly shocked. He did not expect that the information from Jianni Cho Shao Pavilion was so unreliable this time. Sword Intent is in charge of the affairs of the Sky Pavilion. Unrelated monks should not interfere. His heart moved slightly, and he used the flying sword of 10,000 Swords Peak to transmit his words into the Voyage spacecraft. After feeling that the Voyage ship was under attack and hearing the warning from the monks in the middle stage of nascent soul, the nascent soul monks among the passengers did have plans to take action. But after hearing the name of Sword Intent Chong Shao Pavilion, they stopped moving. Even the two mid-stage nascent soul passengers had no intention of taking action. Although they had some connections with San Chiong Trading Company, they were not good enough to offend Sword Intent Chong Shao Pavilion for San Chiong Trading Company. Thousands of flying swords locked onto the monk in the middle stage of Yuanying. And the five flying sword groups were like five long dragons flying towards the monk in the middle stage of Yuanying. The monk in the middle stage of nascent soul launched the defense of the voyage ship with all his strength but found that the five flying sword groups were unable to stop it, and penetrated all the defenses of the voyage ship in a moment. Without any hesitation, he was about to leave the voyage spaceship in a flash. How could the five flying swords let him go? The entire interior of the voyage ship was cut into pieces by the flying swords. The monk who was sitting in the middle stage of nascent soul waved his hand, and a fourth grade mid-level defensive magic weapon stood in front of him. With a click, the fourth grade mid-level defensive magic weapon that had just been erected was directly broken open, and the fourth grade top level weapon tribulation flying sword led by the great monk, breaking void sword intent, lost another fifth. He was so frightened that he never thought that his defensive magic weapon could not stop him for even a moment. Help! He yelled and backed away. Li Yuanba was still wondering who the middle stage nascent soul cultivator was calling. The two middle stage nascent soul monks, and five early stage nascent soul cultivators among the passengers moved far away after the battle started, for fear of getting into trouble. Suddenly, he sensed the auras of three mid stage nascent soul monks coming from the voyage ship, and three fourth grade magic weapons were coming towards him, in preparation to encircle Wei and rescue Zhao. If three fourth grade magic weapons were allowed to break through the concealment formation, Yun Xiao and the others would be exposed to the three mid stage nascent soul monks. He displayed, South close to the end of the world. And after taking one step, he appeared on the other side. At the same time, the sword intent on his body rose, absorbing the attention of all the monks in the middle stage of nascent soul. Yun Xiao, you retreat first. This is a trap set by San Chiong Trading Company. Li Yuanba did not forget to send a message to Yun Xiao. There were actually six mid-stage nascent soul monks on board a long-distance voyage. Apart from the two passengers, there were also four mid-stage nascent soul monks. Moreover, three of the middle-stage nascent soul monks used concealment formations on the voyage spacecraft to hide themselves on the voyage spacecraft. San Chiong Trading Company considered the eventuality after the Yuanying Sword Cultivator from Sword Intent Chong Shao Pavilion escaped. If the Yuanying of Jianni Chong Shao Pavilion passes the news back to Jianni Chong Shao Pavilion, with Jianni Chong Shao Pavilion's acting style, he will definitely launch revenge. The cargo transported by this long-distance spaceship is the most expensive. In addition, there are two passengers in the middle stage of Yuanying and five passengers in the early stage of Yuanying. With the way Jianni Chongxiao Pavilion has done things in the past, it is very likely that they will choose this ship. Voyage ship for revenge. When they thought about it, the Yuanying Sword Cultivator who came to Sword Intention Chongxiao Pavilion should be a mid-stage Yuanying Sword Cultivator. With the four mid-stage Yuanying monks working together, especially if they calculated mentally and unintentionally. They would definitely be able to the sword cultivator in the middle stage of nascent soul was severely damaged. But Songqing Commercial Bank never expected that Jianni Chongxiao Pavilion's revenge this time was completely different from the past. Jianni Chongxiao Pavilion did not conduct detailed intelligence collection at all, but carried out comprehensive revenge. Unfortunately, Yun Zhao's team chose this long-distance ship that was used as a trap. A team composed of six early-stage nascent soul sword cultivators had to face four mid-stage nascent soul cultivators. Moreover, 
There were two mid-stage nascent sole passengers who were watching with unclear attitudes, which put them at an absolute disadvantage. Li Yuanba reacted immediately and chose to face it alone instead of putting the entire team in danger. In fact, when the voyage ship was attacked, the monks in the middle stage of Yuanning discovered that only an early stage swordsman of Yuanning took action and did not let other middle stage Yuanning monks come forward. But Li Yuanba's attack was too fierce. If he didn't ask for support, he might be killed on the spot. Although the three mid-stage nascent soul monks came to help, the mid-stage nascent soul monk who was in charge did not escape the full blow of 10,000 swords peak. This is the first time that Li Yuanba used 10,000 swords to fight after surviving the fourth grade weapon calamity in 10,000 swords peak. Although he had judged the power of the great monks, breaking void sword intent, it was only during the battle that he discovered the horror of the great monks, breaking void sword intent. This was just a casual help from Jin Lao. But for Li Yuanba, it was an absolute killer move. He did not escape immediately. After using South Close to the end of the world to dodge aside, it did not affect his ability to control thousands of flying swords. Thousands of flying swords caught up with the monk who was in the middle stage of Yuanying. The fourth grade top level weapon tribulation flying sword, which was headed by him, fired the broken void sword intention of the great monk who still had most of its power. It cut through the monk who was in the middle stage of Yuanying with one sword. Defensive spells. The monk in the middle stage of nascent soul has been doing business for a long time. Although he does not have the top level 4th grade magic weapon in his hand, he still has some life-saving things. When he was in the most danger, the three life-saving things on his body were activated continuously, and three lines of defense were deployed around his body. All he needs is one breath. If he can take a breath and get rid of the continuous attacks, he can join the other three mid-stage Yuanying monks. Or one breath is enough for the three mid-stage Yuanying monks to rush to him. Aside, but how could Li Yuanba give him a moment to breathe? Li Yuanba didn't even escape immediately. The reason was that he had great confidence that he could achieve victory and then leave calmly. Another fourth grade top weapon, the Tribulation Flying Sword, sent out a great monks. Two breaking sword intent. The three defense levels of the three life-saving objects were not high. But this great monks, breaking void sword intent. But all three defenses were broken. The rest of the flying swords penetrated the body of the monk who was in the middle stage of Yuanying. He was penetrated by countless flying swords before he could even use the Yuanying Dharma. Or even when the Yuanying came out of the body. All kinds of sword intent were raging in his body. Especially the other three great monks. Poor void sword intent. Who were the Raal killers who destroyed the Yuanying monk who was in the middle stage of nascent soul. A middle stage nascent soul monk was strangled by countless sword rays. Li Yuanba saw that he had killed the middle stage nascent soul monk. And he didn't stop any longer. He used South Close to the end of the world to escape into the distance. The two mid stage nascent soul passengers and the five early stage nascent soul passengers stared blankly at the battlefield. They were all thankful that they were not involved in the battle. Although this early stage nascent soul sword cultivator from Sword Intent Chongxiao Pavilion was of low level. His combat power was too powerful. He could instantly kill a mid-stage nascent soul monk in front of three other mid-stage nascent soul monks from Sanchiong Trading Company. Noodle. Junior. Don't run away. The three mid-stage nascent soul monks from Sanchiong Trading Company shouted. They had completely lost their face this time. Their first attack appeared in another place due to the Yuan boss. South close to the end. And they used their magic weapons to pursue them. But before their magic weapon could attack the Yuan boss. Li Yuanba killed their companion, a middle stage Yuanying monk. When their magic weapon was about to attack Li Yuanba again, Li Yuanba once again used South Close to the end of the world and left. What annoys them the most is that the location where Li Yuanba used South Close to the end was just outside the range of their realm's pressure. Li Yuanba activated the spiritual eye during the battle and also borrowed the main body's natal magic weapon Z15 to help analyze the situation on the battlefield especially when three mid-stage nascent soul monks suddenly appeared. The natal magic weapon Z-15 provided a timely battle plan. For the monks in the middle stage of nascent soul, what he is most worried about is the pressure of the realm. The real body Li Shiming doesn't care much about the realm pressure of the monks in the middle stage of Yuanying. That's because the body Li Shiming has 191 brains, which can share the pressure of the realm of the monks in the middle stage of Yuanying. But he is different. If he is within the pressure of the monks in the middle stage of nascent soul, he will be affected in some ways. These effects include limited reaction, slowed down physical speed, 
suppress mind, and even the casting of spells will become sluggish. If he is affected by the coercion of a monk in the middle stage of nascent soul, even if he has the magical power of South close to the end of the world, he may be left behind because he cannot use South close to the end of the world in time. Even though the battle just now was very simple, it only lasted less than a breath. But behind the battle was Z15's precise calculation and analysis. As long as Li Yuanba stays away from the mid nascent soul cultivators and uses South close to the end, he doesn't have to worry about being caught up by the mid nascent soul cultivators. This is the confidence he has to face the mid nascent soul cultivators alone. The three mid stage nascent soul monks from Sancheong Trading Company were unable to care about the broken voyage ship and chased after Li Yuanba. After they left, Yun Xiao and the others came out of the hiding formation. They looked into the distance with worried expressions. They did not choose to fight because they trusted Li Yuanba. Since Li Yuanba proposed to lure away the mid stage nascent soul monks, they would not let down Li Yuanba's efforts. Yun Xiao and the other five early Yuanying sword cultivators glanced hatefully at the two mid Yuanying monks and the five early Yuanying monks next to them. Although these passengers far surpassed Yun Xiao and the others in terms of overall strength, these passengers it was because he was frightened by Li Yuanba. This one Yuanying early stage sword cultivator from the sword intent Chongxiao Pavilion has such a terrifying surprise attack capability. How can they not be horrified when five more Yuanying early stage sword cultivators from the sword intent Chongxiao Pavilion appear? To be honest, the mid nascent soul monks who can borrow the Sancheong Trading Company's long distance ship to travel far away are not mid nascent soul monks with strong backgrounds and strengths. Bring the loot back to Yuan Ba! Yun Xiao ordered in a deep voice. Some of the five early stage nascent soul sword cultivators went to collect the bodies of the mid stage nascent soul monks, while others went to plunder Sancheong Trading Company's long distance ship. The corpse of the monk in the middle stage of nascent soul was proof of the completion of the mission. And the spiritual objects on the corpse and the cargo on the voyage ship were what they planned to compensate Li Yuanba. Chapter 615 Return Because Li Yuanba's Close to the end, speed was too fast. Behind him, thousands of flying swords wanted to return to 10,000 swords peak, but they were unable to catch up with his speed, forming a swarm of flying swords behind him. Behind the group of flying swords were the figures of three mid-stage nascent soul monks. After chasing for a while, they realized that their hope of catching up with Li Yuanba was extremely slim. If it weren't for the guidance of 10,000 flying swords, who wanted to return to 10,000 swords peak, they might have lost Li Yuanba's figure. Li Yuanba did not expect that this would happen when he used 10,000 swords peak. Although his speed was very fast, the thousands of flying swords could not keep up. As long as he was unwilling to give up 10,000 swords peak, then the thousands of flying swords would not be able to keep up. We'll always follow him. This is like a road sign to prevent the three mid-stage nascent soul monks from getting lost. But this was nothing serious. He was about to make a big turn in the ocean and fly towards the location of Sword Intent Chongxiao Pavilion. He did not believe that the three mid-stage nascent soul monks dared to chase all the way to Sword Intent Chongxiao Pavilion. Of course, this place is still far away from the Sword Intent Chongxiao Pavilion. And there are many dangers along the way. This is probably the reason why the three mid-stage nascent soul monks kept chasing him. They thought that if the fourth-level spiritual beast in the ocean hindered him, the three mid-stage nascent soul monks would have a chance. Li Yuanba had no intention of turning back and fighting. He could sense that among the thousands of flying swords in 10,000 swords peak, all the five great monks, breaking void sword intent, had been consumed. Now even 10,000 flying swords cannot be recovered. Not to mention that even if five top-grade fourth-grade weapons are recovered, it will take some time to restore the energy of the great monks. Chattering sword intent. Three of you, hurry up and catch up. I'll wait for you in front, Li Yuanba said loudly, using his spiritual power. His voice spread very far through spiritual power and was heard by three mid-stage nascent soul monks. The three mid-stage nascent soul monks heard Li Yuanba's aggressive intentions and hesitated. They had seen Li Yuanba's ability to instantly kill a monk in the middle stage of nascent soul, which showed that the sword cultivators of sword intention Chongxiao Pavilion were more powerful than the rumor said. They extremely suspected that Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion had set up an ambush in front, and Li Yuanba deliberately lured them there. In fact, after discovering that Li Yuanba had mastered the divine foot power, the three mid-stage nascent soul monks had the idea of retreating. But they couldn't say it to each other first, having an excuse at this time. They looked at each other and then stopped. 
They stopped and lost the shadow of thousands of flying swords in a few breaths. They completely lost the chance to pursue Li Yuanba. A bunch of guys who are as timid as mice. Li Yuanba had divine vision. And his visual distance could clearly see the figures of the three mid-stage nascent soul monks. He couldn't help but sneered. He stopped in place for a moment. Waiting for the arrival of the 10,000 flying swords. And took them back to the 10,000 swords peak. He looked at the direction. Then changed the direction and used. South close to the world. About a stick of incense later. He saw the familiar flying boat. Which was Yun Zhao's flying boat. He couldn't help but smile. Yun Xiao and the others did not leave. They were still waiting for him. Yuan Ba. Welcome back alive. Yuan Xiao looked at Li Yuan Ba who entered the flying boat. Stepped forward with a smile and gave him a light hammer with his fist. This action is rarely used among monks. Unless they are extremely close friends. They may regard this action as an attack. Yan Qian. Du Lei. Guiping and Zhu Xian all stepped forward one by one and either hammered or slapped Li Yuanba. They regard Li Yuanba as a teammate they can trust and can leave their back to Li Yuanba. This kind of trust is extremely rare. And many monks who have cooperated for hundreds of years cannot achieve this level of trust. Li Yuanba used his actual actions to gain the trust of his teammates. This is your trophy. The three mid-stage nascent soul monks chased it too fast and didn't take it away. Yun Xiao said with a smile and handed the two mustard rings to Li Yuanba. One mustard seed ring belongs to the monk who is in the middle stage of nascent soul. And the other mustard seed ring is the cargo collected from the voyage ship. There is a lot of cargo on the voyage spacecraft. And many of them are packed in space boxes specially used for business. The mustard ring contains only a part of it. And it is also the most valuable part. If it weren't for the fact that the voyage ship was severely damaged by the Yuan Bus flying sword and unable to shrink, they would have all prepared to put the voyage ship into the mustard ring. Actually, you don't have to do this. I'm confident to escape. Li Yuanba felt the enthusiasm of his teammates and couldn't help but smile. Shen Tong is indeed the number one in speed. Yun Xiao nodded and said with a smile. Although Li Yuanba said this, the nascent soul sword cultivators present all knew that under the circumstances at that time, even if they had mastered the divine foot power, they were still dancing on the tip of the sword. You must know that Li Yuanba is facing a monk in the middle stage of Yuanying. If the monks in the early stage of Yuanying want to attack the monks in the middle stage of Yuanying, it is impossible to fight head-on except by surprise. In the unexpected attack, the monks in the middle stage of Yuanying had no time to exert their realm pressure and could only resist the attack of the monks in the early stage of Yuanying. As for frontal combat, under the pressure of the realm, the combat power of the early Yuanying monks will be greatly suppressed, and they will not be able to even escape let alone fight. No matter how Li Yuanba explained it, he took great risks to lure away three mid-stage nascent soul monks and rescue the other nascent soul sword cultivators in the team. Needless to say, the result of the battle between the five early-stage nascent soul sword cultivators and the three mid-stage nascent soul cultivators was a disastrous defeat for their side. Their so-called experience of attacking and killing the monks in the middle stage of nascent soul was just a sneak attack. Not such a frontal battle. Yun Xiao controlled the flying boat to return home. At the same time, he borrowed the communication device on the flying boat to get in touch with Dord Intention Chong Xiao Pavilion and reported the status of the mission here. Only the communication device on the flying boat can communicate over long distances. Their identity needs to be within the coverage of the communication array to communicate. The communication device on the flying boat can only conduct long distance communication within a certain range. Currently, they are within the communication range from the Jinni Chongxiao Pavilion. It seems we are unlucky. According to the news from the pavilion, seven of the ten missions to attack the Voyage spacecraft have been completed. Only we have encountered a trap here. Yun Xiao turned off the contact device and said with a wry smile to his teammates. All the teammates shook their heads helplessly. They were indeed unlucky. But they were also lucky because they had Li Yuanba in their team. Yuanba! Do you need me to introduce you to the team of mid-stage nascent soul sword cultivators? After a while, Yun Xiao suddenly asked the Yuan Ba. Yun Xiao, are you planning to let Yuan Ba leave the team? Du Lei heard Yun Xiao's words and asked the Yuan Ba without waiting for his answer. You have also seen Yuan Ba's combat power. Is it appropriate for him to do the mission with us? Yun Xiao looked at several teammates and asked. Du Lei was speechless, and the rest of his teammates had the same reaction. Yes. They also saw how strongly Yuanba's combat power was. He instantly killed a mid-stage nascent soul monk and easily escaped 
from the pursuit of three mid-stage nascent soul monks. Although the monks in the middle stage of the instant nascent soul are sharp with magic weapons, the monks' magic weapons have always been part of the monks' strength. After this battle, they saw Li Yuanba's true combat power. At least when Li Yuanba used 10,000 swords peak to perform 10,000 swords salvo, Li Yuanba's combat power could be considered extremely strong even in the middle stage of nascent soul. With Li Yuanba's combat power, if they were to do missions with their team, they were actually taking advantage of Li Yuanba. At the same time, Li Yuanba's combat prowess will also deprive the nascent soul sword cultivators in the team of opportunities to practice. Sword cultivators do tasks not only for rewards, but also to hone their swordsmanship. If there is no pressure in the battle of the mission, how can their swordsmanship be sharpened? Various reasons combined made it no longer suitable for Li Yuanba to do missions with them. Yun Xiao analyzed calmly. But deep down in her heart, she was extremely reluctant to leave Li Yuanba. It is not easy to find a teammate you can trust. You need to go through the test of life and death. Maybe you can build trust in one or two missions. Or maybe you can't achieve true trust after working together for many years. Yun Xiao, look at my situation. Can I really participate in the mission of the mid-stage nascent soul? Li Yuanba spread his hands and asked. The breaking void sword intent of the five great monks of 10,000 swords peak only has the power of one blow. And although it is said to be a great monk level, breaking void sword intent, it is actually far from the real great monks. Breaking void sword intent, there is still a huge gap in power. And the void breaking sword intent, he has mastered is only to a far off level. And he cannot even apply it in actual combat. You and Ba, you have divine foot power and a magic weapon. 10,000 sword peaks. In addition to defense, you have an advantage when facing the mid-stage Yuanying monks. As long as you find a mid-stage Yuanying sword cultivator who is willing to take you. No matter it is the mission rewards and the training gained in battle are much better than following us. Yun Xiao explained for him. Yun Xiao was not only thinking about themselves, but also thinking about Li Yuanba. If there hadn't been an accident in this mission, and Li Yuanba had joined them, it would have been easy to kill a weak mid-stage nascent soul monk in a surprise attack. This mission is the highest level among the missions they have taken on. And mid-nascent soul monks will not appear in normal missions. From this point of view, Li Yuanba, who can instantly kill the monks in the middle stage of Yuanying, still does the task of fighting the monks in the early stage of Yuanying. It is a waste of time and will receive very little training. Without pressure, there would be no training. Li Yuanba leaving the team is a good thing for his teammates and himself. I'll find the team for mid-stage nascent soul sword cultivators myself. Li Yuanba nodded and agreed with Yun Zhao's statement. He didn't need Yun Zhao's introduction. Don't be polite to me. I know quite a few middle-stage nascent soul sword cultivators in the pavilion. Yun Xiao thought Li Yuanba was worried about troublesome him and said with a smile. I joined the Jin sect. I will ask within the Jin sect first. If there is no other way, I will ask Yun Xiao for help. Li Yuanba said truthfully. You join the Jin clan? Yun Xiao and the other nascent soul sword cultivators explained in unison. Considering how much Jian Lao pays attention to you, it makes sense to join the Jin clan. Yun Xiao reacted after exclaiming and said with a smile. He had seen how much Master Jian valued Li Yuanba. And he personally protected Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba could feel the sincerity of all his teammates. And none of his teammates were jealous of him joining the Jian Shi. This made him very happy. At least, he didn't get to know these teammates in vain. After more than 10 days of sailing, they finally returned to Sword Intent Chongxiao Pavilion. As soon as they came back, they received more news. Songqiong Trading Company was finished. All 10 voyage ships were destroyed. One great monk was killed. And one great monk escaped with his nascent soul. Li Yuanba returned to the Cave of Sword Cave. He did not immediately ask the Jian clan's mid-stage nascent soul monks, but went into seclusion. Although in this battle, he used 10,000 swords peak, but the 10,000 flying swords controlled by 10,000 swords peak were almost equivalent to his own flying sword, and there was not much difference in feeling. The battle ended in less than a breath, but his void-breaking sword intent had been greatly improved. In particular, controlling the great monks. Breaking sword intention in battle is fundamentally different from controlling the great monks. Breaking sword intent in ordinary times. In the short battle with the monks in the middle stage of nascent soul, he obtained a lot of breaking sword intent. Enlightenment. He stretched out his finger and broken void sword intent rose from his finger. 
The breaking void sword intent extended out, forming a pocket dagger only the size of a finger. He summoned the four-character sword of his natal flying sword, and the pocket-sized broken void sword intention was integrated with the four-character sword. The broken void sword intention could only occupy the tip of the four-character sword, but he felt at the fourth level, the power of the sword has increased a lot. He smiled. If he had mastered this level of void-breaking sword intent before the mission, he would be able to rely on the four characters and one sword to try to raid the mid-nascent soul monks. In terms of sword intent, he has been able to catch up with Yun Xiao and the others. The sword intent of Yun Xiao and the others was far beyond that of him. A new nascent soul sword cultivator. Broken void sword intention is equivalent to allowing him to overtake in corners, greatly improving the power of his sword intention. Of course, his strength and application of sword intent are still not as good as Yun Xiao's. But the power of Broken Void Sword Intent itself makes up for the gap in this aspect. Li Yuanba thought of Yun Xiao's words. Indeed, what he needed were enemies in the middle stage of Yuaning to sharpen his sword intention. Monks in the early stage of Yuaning might not have much effect on sharpening their sword intention. He really needs to consider finding a mid-stage nascent soul sword cultivator to do the mission with him. But this team of mid-stage nascent soul sword cultivator is not easy to find. As far as he knew, most of the sword cultivators in the middle stage of nascent soul would not form a team, and would only consider forming a team for some important tasks. It was probably not easy to find a ready-made team of mid-nascent soul sword cultivators, but he did not consider asking Yun Xiao to introduce them. He trusts Yun Xiao, but that doesn't mean he trusts the mid-nascent soul sword cultivators that Yun Xiao knows. In this regard, he trusts the mid-nascent soul sword cultivators from the Jian clan more. Chapter 616 recognizing the master. In the training room, Li Shiming's whole body was shrouded in electric light. This was the first time for him to take purple thunder plasma. A drop of purple thunder serum entered his abdomen, and every part of his body was filled with thunder and lightning. That is to say, he has successfully practiced the secret method thunder body of jade purple thunder code, and is familiar with the state of energy of thunder and lightning throughout his body. So he did not panic when faced with the situation after. Purple Thunder Serum entered his abdomen. No wonder it is said that Purple Thunder Serum is Lei Xiao's cultivation treasure. Just this drop of Purple Thunder Serum when Mu Lei nascent soul continues to practice. Jade Clear Thunder Code. There will be a steady stream of extremely pure thunder and lightning spiritual power. Enter. The effect of a drop of Purple Thunder Plasma is almost equivalent to the effect of several years of practice. The thunder and lightning spiritual power in Mu Lei Yuanying's body is increasing at a speed visible to the naked eye. If he only has one Yuanying, it won't take long to reach the middle stage of Yuanying. After the increased thunder and lightning spiritual power in Mu Lei's nascent soul exceeded that of the other four nascent souls, the five elements nascent chi formation, composed of five nascent souls, began to automatically balance the spiritual power in the five nascent souls. Moreover, the spiritual power in the five nascent souls was automatically converted into the five-element spiritual power of the thunder system. Even the Mulei nascent soul body was no longer the pure spiritual power of the Jade Clear Thunder Code before. Of course, this does not mean that the thunder spiritual power in Mu Lei Yuanying's body is weak. This kind of mixed spiritual power of the Jade Clear Thunder Code and the Five Rhymes Chi Training Technique with spiritual power, though with spiritual power the power will also enhance the power of thunder spiritual power. This is the bonus of complementary attributes. And it is also the reason why he chose Mulei Nascent Soul to major in. Jade Clear Thunder Code. It took him a day to completely digest the energy of a drop of. Purple Thunder Plasma. This is the reason why the Thunder Spiritual Power transformed by. Purple Thunder Plasma. Can be directly absorbed by Mulei Nascent Soul. Li Shiming felt that his cultivation was on the high road again. Just like it was in the Golden Elixir stage. Even if he uses. Purple Thunder Serum to practice. Jade Clear Thunder Code. It is only one-fifth of the efficiency of other thunder cultivators who use Purple Thunder Serum. But he has enough. Purple Thunder Serum. In the computer room space, one of his brains was constantly driving the Broken Void Sword intent to attack the spiritual mark in the Chishou Thunder Bead. Because the clone Li Yuanba's Broken Void Sword intent has made a breakthrough. Li Shiming's Breaking Void Sword intent has also been strengthened a lot. At this time, he used Broken Void Sword Intent to attack the spiritual imprint in Chishou Thunder Bead. 
the effect is greatly improved. It has been a long time since he last obtained the Chishou Thunder Bead, and he has never stopped spending time on the spiritual mark in the Chishou Thunder Bead. Previously, he estimated that the time it would take to completely remove the spiritual imprint from the Chishou Thunder Bead has been shortened a lot due to the enhancement of Breaking Void Sword Intent. He is expected to be able to remove the spiritual imprint within the next month. He had also judged in his mind the realm of the owner of the spiritual mark in the Chishou Thunder Bead, but his vision was too low. He could only guess that his realm should exceed that of a great monk. If he hadn't mastered the Sword Intention Chung Shao Pavilion, Secret Sword Intention of the Sword Family and Broken Void Sword Intent, he would have been able to just stare at it even if he got the Chishou Thunder Bead. Li Shiming consumed the Purple Thunder Plasma at a rate of one drop per day. On this day, when he consumed 20 drops of the Purple Thunder Plasma. Only a trace of the spiritual mark remained in the Chishou Thunder Bead. It should only take one final blow to completely drive away this spiritual imprint. He murmured to himself. Nowadays, his void-breaking sword intent is constantly improving with continuous application. But it still took so long to get rid of a spiritual imprint. The small sword formed by Broken Void Sword Intent stabbed the spiritual imprint that had extremely thin spiritual energy. The spiritual imprint shook a bit, and Li Shiming faintly sensed an unwilling roar coming from the spiritual imprint. This is a faint consciousness left in the spiritual mark by the master of the spiritual mark. If the Chishou Thunder Bead were not in the computer room space, the master of the spiritual mark in the distance could use this weak consciousness to transfer part of the power. Fortunately, Li Shiming was cautious enough. After he obtained the Chishou Thunder Bead, he immediately put it into the computer room space. The computer room space is equivalent to an independent small world. A space that has no connection with this world. Under normal circumstances, even the caves opened by powerful powers will be more or less inextricably linked to the main world. The powerful might be able to use this little connection and the weak consciousness in the spiritual mark to remotely launch attacks on the monks near the spiritual mark. With a crisp shattering sound, the spiritual imprint in the Chishou Thunder Bead dissipated in the Yuching sect of Xi'an continent Liu Yuan suddenly opened his eyes wide. The spiritual imprint I left in the Shishao Thunder Bead has been broken, he said slowly. Yin Gao of the Bai sect, and I launched an all-out investigation from the four major local sects in the eastern Qi continent. But we didn't find any clues. I'm sorry. It's just my incompetence, said the great monk Wang He, bowing his hands. After he returned to the sect, he compiled the most comprehensive investigation report on the eastern Qi continent and handed it over to Liu Yuan. The Chishou Thunder Bead was not recovered, and his mission was not completed. The second batch of investigative monks will go ahead and lead the charge. In addition, we are preparing to expand the sect's power to the eastern Qi continent. We cannot rely on the local sects. Liu Yuanqiang suppressed the anger in his heart and ordered in a deep voice. Great monk Wang Yi couldn't help but be shocked. He certainly understood what Liu Yuan meant. This is the plan to expand the Yuching sect's sphere of influence to the eastern Qi continent. This is a big event, and the impact will be huge. Although the Yuching sect is a superpower, it does not have no enemies in the Xi'an continent. Not to mention that there are superpowers from other continents to contain each other. In Dong Qi continent, it seems that the local sects are all big sects. But these big sects all have some relationship with superpowers. Otherwise, how could they have occupied Dong Qi continent for such a long time? Don't look at the two top monks. Brother Wang He and Brother Yin Gao who almost broke down the Hidden Sun sect of the four major local sects in the eastern Qi continent. But that was without the slightest preparation from the Hidden Sun sect. If the Hidden Sun sect is really prepared and invites help from superpowers, it will not be so easy. Yes, I will start preparing now. Great Monk Wang He did not dare to disobey Luo Yuan's order. He bowed and responded. After the Great Monk Wang He retreated, Luo Yuan finally couldn't suppress the anger in his heart. And he punched the void. The void in front of him collapsed. And the items in the hall were attracted by a strong suction to the void collapse he punched out. Liu Yuan frowned slightly and waved his hand to erase the void collapse. Except for some messy items in the hall. It seemed like nothing happened. Li Shiming didn't know the impact that his exorcism of the spiritual mark in the Chishou Thunder Bead would have on the eastern Qi continent. Even if he knew it, he probably wouldn't give up the opportunity to recognize the master of Chishou Thunder Bead. He cast a master recognition formula against the Chishou Thunder Bead. This master recognition formula was inspired by the thunder spiritual power 
just cultivated in the Yuching Thunder Code. He put 1% of his spirit into it, integrated into the method of recognizing the master. The master recognition technique entered the computer room space and entered the Chishao Thunder Bead under his control. At the original spiritual mark, Li Shiming's spiritual mark appeared. This is not the kind of secondary recognition that Wang Yuan had before. Li Shiming's recognition of the Chishao Thunder Bead this time is to completely become the master of the Chishao Thunder Bead. Just after he recognized the Chishao Thunder Bead, he felt that he had some inexplicable connection with the small world of thunder and lightning in the Chishao Thunder Bead. Since the computer room space is Li Shiming's private space, and Chin Shao Lei Zhu is in the computer room space, his connection with Chin Shao Lei Zhu is not affected by the space. Li Shiming has a feeling that he is the god of the small thunder and lightning world in the Chishao Thunder Bead. He can control that small thunder and lightning world and can mobilize the thunder and lightning energy there for his own use at will. Of course, this transfer is not without any restrictions. His body and his nascent soul are too weak compared to the small thunder and lightning world in a Chishao Thunder Bead. Therefore, all he can mobilize is the lightning energy that his body and nascent soul can withstand. Even so, he felt that his Lei Shio combat power had been greatly enhanced. He stretched out a finger and a thunderbolt appeared on his finger. When this thunder and lightning appeared in the void, the entire practice room was filled with the influence of thunder and lightning, especially on the surfaces of conductive spiritual objects such as metal and spiritual water in the practice room. There were tiny flashes of lightning. Li Shiming carefully restrained the power of thunder and lightning on his fingers, and a smile appeared on his face. Based on his recent practice, his realm is almost close to the peak of the early nascent soul. But the power of thunder and lightning on his fingers has exceeded that of the early nascent soul and has reached the power of thunder and lightning used by thunder cultivators in the middle nascent soul. This is a huge span. No magic weapon or spiritual object he has encountered before has such an effect. And he only mobilized the insignificant amount of lightning energy in the Chishao Thunder Bead. It was difficult for him to imagine what level of treasure this Chishao Thunder Bead was. But he knew one thing very clearly. That is, if he met a mid-stage Yuanying monk again, the Lei Xiao's strength alone would be enough to give him a fight with a mid-stage Yuanying monk. You must know that the Chishao Thunder Bead has comprehensively improved his Thunder Cultivator's strength. He is almost equal to that of the mid-nascent soul Thunder Cultivator, except that his body is still too fragile compared to the mid-nascent soul. However, through the improvement of Lei Xiao through the Chishao Thunder Bead, the lighting defense spells he casts were also at the mid-nascent soul level. Therefore, the fragility of his body is not very important to his combat power. If the defense is really broken and attacked, the body's own defense level will not be worth mentioning in the face of powerful attacks. Li Shiming exhaled heavily. He finally understood the preciousness of the Chishao Thunder Bead. No wonder the superpower Baiti sect sent Yuanying monks to fight for it. But for the matter of Chishao Thunder Bead, the two superpowers sent two top monks to the eastern Qi continent. He was not too excited by the effect of Chishao Thunder Beads. After he became familiar with the use of Chishao Thunder Beads, he started to use Purple Thunder Lightning Serum to practice Jade Clear Thunder Code. Again, the Chishao Thunder Bead is indeed a treasure. But the monk's own realm is the most important. If Li Shiming can be promoted to the middle stage of Yuanying, then with the blessing of Chishao Thunder Bead, he may be able to challenge the top beings among the monks in the middle stage of Yuanying. If he reaches the peak of the middle stage of nascent soul, he can even try to fight against the great monk. In the sword intention Chong Shao Pavilion Sword Cave Heaven, Li Yuanba sent a message to Jian Lao in the cave. He originally wanted to directly contact the Midyuanying monks from the Jin clan, but he only knew Wu Qi Jianxiu from the Midyuanying lineage. The rest of the mid nascent soul monks are not familiar with each other. Unfortunately, Wu Qi Jianxiu went out and would not be back in a short time. When Li Yuanba was waiting for Jian Lao's reply, he once again condensed the Broken Void Sword Intent. His Void Breaking Sword Intent has been strengthened a lot compared to the last time. The reason why his Void Breaking Sword Intention can grow so fast is because he is not practicing Breaking Void Sword Intent alone. The main body Li Shiming used Breaking Void Sword Intent to break the spiritual mark of a powerful existence. In the process, Breaking Void Sword Intent improved a lot, coupled with the improvement in his to breaking sword intent that he had honed through fighting with mid-nascent soul monks. His breaking void sword intent 
can already cover less than half of the sword body. Jian Lao's figure appeared beside him. And when he appeared, he casually pulled away the flying sword that was blocking him. In the small sword room, there are energetic flying swords suspended everywhere. Various sword intentions in the flying swords absorb the special energy in the sword cave, strengthening their own sword intentions. Jian Lao did not expect that there would be so many flying swords occupying the sword room. His reaction was fast enough. But he did not destroy the energy flying swords. Li Yuanbao guessed that Jian Lao might suddenly appear. So he turned off the magical power of Invisible Yuan Magnetic. This magical power of Invisible Magnetism is his last resort to save his life. If a metal magic weapon such as a flying sword really comes close, the 5 meter Invisible Magnetism is enough to slow down most of the metal magic weapon. With this time, he would have enough time to use the South close to the end of the world to escape or use the 4th grade sword base to severely damage the metal magic weapon that slowed down the speed. You know how to make use of the resources in the cave! Jian Lao looked at the thousands of energy flying swords suspended in the air and couldn't help but smile and shake his head. He saw the broken void sword intent blessed only Yuanba's four characters sword again and there was admiration in his eyes. The growth rate of the Yuanba's broken void sword intent exceeded his expectations. Your suit-breaking sword intention has reached this level. No wonder you asked to participate in the mission of sword cultivation in the middle stage of nascent soul. Jin Lao said with a smile. He came here to visit this time because of Li Yuanba's request to join him in the mission of sword cultivation in the middle stage of nascent soul. Li Yuanba was the sword cultivator of the Jian clan that he planned to train and protect the next generation of sword master Jin Wuwei. How could he not pay great attention to Li Yuanba? Chapter 6 17 Follow Li Yuanba used South close to the end of the world and followed behind Tang Xiuening. Tang Xiuening could not get rid of him no matter how fast she accelerated. Tang Xiuening is the middle stage nascent soul sword cultivator that Mr. Jian found for him. This is a cold female sword cultivator, let alone communicating with her. Even looking at her feels like she is being stabbed. She is not as weak as a female cultivator. She is a pure sword cultivator. This was the first time she took Li Yuanba to complete a mission. She didn't want to take Li Yuanba, who was a scumbag. Missions for sword cultivation in the middle stage of nascent soul were extremely dangerous. What would happen if she took a sword cultivator in the early stage of nascent soul? But she had to accept it. Who could tell it was old Jian's order? In addition, Li Yuanba's identity also makes Tang Xiuening helpless. Li Yuanba is a formal member of the Jian family. But Tang Xiuening is a preliminary member of the Jian family. She has not passed the test and has not condensed the breaking void sword intent. This is not to say that Tang Xiuening's talent in swordsmanship is poor, but that her sword intention does not fit well with the breaking void sword intent, which makes it many times more difficult for her to comprehend. Breaking void sword intent. After leaving sword intent Chongxiao Pavilion, Tang Xiuening used sword escape, hoping to embarrass Li Yuanba in terms of speed and let Li Yuanba know the gap between him and Yuanying mid-stage swordsmanship. Who would have known that when Tang Xiuening used sword escape, Li Yuanba first used sword escape and was unable to keep up, and then used divine foot power. Let me formally meet you. My name is Tang Xiuening. You can call me Uncle Tang. Tang Xiuening stopped her sword escape. She looked at Li Yuanba and said coldly. Li Yuanba didn't care about Tang Xiuening's cold attitude. He could sense that Tang Xiuening had this kind of personality. My name is Li Yuanba. Uncle Tang can just call me by my name. Li Yuanba also introduced himself. Jian Lao had not introduced him in detail before. But Tang Xiuening took the initiative to introduce himself at this time. Indicating that Tang Xiuening recognized Li Yuanba at least in terms of speed. Tang Xiuening also knew that to be able to join the Jin family, he must have mastered the Breaking Void Sword Intent. The Breaking Void Sword Intent alone can give Li Yuanba a combat power that exceeds that of ordinary Yuan Ying's early stage sword cultivators. She also understood what Jian Lao meant. He was preparing to train Li Yuanba to possess the Void Breaking Sword Intent and make Li Yuanba the top being in the early stage of Yuan Ying. It is extremely difficult to find the existence that puts pressure on Li Yuanba among the early Yuanying monks. Such early Yuanying monks are all genius monks among superpowers. Therefore, if you want Li Yuanba to grow quickly, the best way is to find him an opponent in the middle stage of nascent soul, so as to better sharpen him. Let me share the mission with you. This time, the mission is to kill the three murderers of the Ping family. This is the information about the three murderers of the Ping family. Take a look first. Tang Xiuening shared the mission with Li Yuanba and said, although her attitude was cold, 
she did not mean to make things difficult. And she also showed some attentiveness. This is also the reason why the sword master chose Tang Xuing. With Tang Xuing, a female sword cultivator, Li Yuanba can spend the initial running in stage more easily. Li Yuanba checked the information about the three evil spirits of the Ping family. They were the three evil men in the middle nascent soul stage in the immortal cultivation world of Zhengzhou continent. The three villains of the Ping family are triplets, born with the talent of connecting minds and hearts. And their cultivation talents are excellent. I don't know which force they have joined. But their combat power is no less than that of ordinary mid-level nascent soul monks from super forces. In addition, they usually advance and retreat together as three people and never separate. So it is extremely difficult to deal with them. The reason why the three villains of the Ping family were targeted by Jinny Chong Shao Pavilion was because they massacred a village where the mortal family of Jinny Chong Shao Pavilion sword cultivators lived and were listed as must kill by Jinny Chong Shao Pavilion. Probably only a sword cultivator sect like Jinny Chong Shao Pavilion would leave the task of killing the three murderers of the Ping family to a middle stage nascent soul sword cultivator. The addition of Li Yuanba added an early Yuanying sword cultivator to this mission. Intelligence shows that the three villains of the Ping clan are settling in Heading Mountain, where their latest temporary cave is located. Our goal is to kill the three villains of the Ping clan in Mount Heading. The specific action plan will be formulated on site. But you can't take action rashly. All actions need to be approved by me. Tang Xuanning demanded, staring at Li Yuanba. Uncle Tang, I understand. Li Yuanba nodded and said, There is land ahead. We need to hide our whereabouts. Tang Xuanning pointed to the front and said, Previously, the two of them were flying over the ocean, and in front of them was the land of Zhongzhou continent. The aura on Tang Xuanning's body converged, and the aura of the sword cultivator in the middle stage of nascent soul was suppressed to an extremely obscure level. If you didn't pay special attention, it would be easy to ignore her presence. Li Yuanba blessed himself with a secret method to restrain his breath, which he got from his real body Li Shiming. The auras of the two nascent soul sword cultivators have become restrained. As long as there is no fight or close encounter by the nascent soul sword cultivators, it will be difficult to discover their strength. As she restrained her aura, Tang Xuanning took out a third grade flying boat. There was also a sec mark on this third grade flying boat that Li Yuanba could not recognize. This is the trophy from before. The speed of this third grade flying boat is not bad. Let's use this to hurry up. Tang Xuanning entered the third grade flying boat first and said. Li Yuanba also followed and entered the third grade flying boat. This third grade flying boat can be regarded as the top of the third grade flying boats. It can hide its identity while ensuring a certain speed. After calming down their auras, the two sword cultivators would still draw attention if they use sword escape to fly. Li Yuanba didn't know Tang Xuanning's action plan, so he could only follow Tang Xuanning's command. Tang Xuanning stopped talking. The third grade flying boat flew automatically. While she sat with her eyes closed, Li Yuanba had no way to communicate. So he had to focus on thinking about the sword mark inheritance of the Jian clan, which is what he has been doing recently. Although Z15 helps organize and analyze the inheritance of the Jian clan sword marks, it still requires swordsmen who practice the sword intention Chong Shao technique to understand it. Li Shiming sighed. Jin Lei Yuanying has been comprehending the inheritance of Jian sword marks. Li Yuanba had nothing to do at this time. So he also joined in the comprehension. The quiet third grade flying boat was flying in the air. It seemed that some kind of sec mark on the third grade flying boat had an effect. Or maybe the third grade flying boat did not attract the attention of other monks. And the third grade flying boat was not blocked during its voyage. Tang Xiuening chose the third grade flying boat out of consideration. The third grade flying boat is the flying boat used by Jin Den monks daily and nascent soul monks are rarely interested in Jin Den monks. Among the monks under nascent soul, the Golden Core monks are the strongest. In addition, the number of Golden Core monks is extremely large, and the possibility of being attacked is the lowest. Heading Mountain is right ahead. We need to sneak closer to check. Although Tang Xuang's voice was cold, it was very attentive. After the two people put away the third grade flying boat, they landed on the ground and headed towards Heading Mountain. Heading Mountain is a relatively famous mountain in the nearby area. It did not originally belong to the three villains of the Ping Clan, but was robbed by the three villains of the Ping Clan. The whereabouts of the three evil men of the Ping family are unpredictable. It is strange that they have settled down in one place. Tang Xuanning used a secret method to enhance her eyesight. She lightly swept her eyes with her fingers, and golden light flashed in her eyes. Without the nascent soul fluctuation, 
The three evil spirits of the Ping family are not in the cave in Heading Mountain. Tang Xuanning sent a message to Li Yuanba. She was extremely careful along the way, just not wanting to alert the three evil men of the Ping family. The information of the three murderers of the Ping family shows that they have experienced many encirclements and suppressions, but they escaped calmly every time. According to Tang Xuanning's analysis, these three murderers of the Ping family should have unknown intelligence support in Zhongzhou continent. As long as there is an action against the three murderers of the Ping family, they will be discovered in advance. Tang Xuanning was very sure that this action was not discovered by the three murderers of the Ping family. So there were only two possibilities. First, the three villains of the Ping family left the temporary cave in Heading Mountain for some reason. And they will be back in a while. The second is that the three villains of the Ping clan gave up the temporary cave in Heading Mountain. In that case, their visit this time would have been in vain. I have some research on formations. Why don't you let me break through the formations of the cave and enter the cave to check it out? Li Yuanba put forward his own opinion. Li Yuanba. Are you sure? Tang Xuanning asked in surprise. It shouldn't be a problem. Although there was a distance, Li Yuanba observed through his spiritual eyes and discovered that Heating Shan's formation was actually arranged using formation plates. This is not difficult to understand. If there is not much research on the formation of the three evils of the Ping family, Using formation plates to arrange the formation is the best choice. If this was the long-term cave of the three fierce men of the Ping clan, they would naturally invest a lot of energy and materials and invite formation masters to help strengthen the cave's formations. But Heading Mountain is just a temporary cave for the three fierce men of the Ping clan. There are many enemies of the three fierce men of the Ping clan. They cannot stay here for a long time. So the cave will not invest too much. The array is easy to move and the layout is simple. It is indeed first choice. Then let's go there together and wait for the three villains of the Ping family in the cave. Tang Xuanning trusted Li Yuanba's ability. But at the same time, she was worried about Li Yuanba's safety. So she proposed to enter together. Li Yuanba didn't care. It wouldn't be a problem to bring someone in. In the process of approaching the cave, he casually unlocked three warning formations, which were also arranged by the formation disc for a formation master. The formations laid out on the formation board are rigid and very easy to break. Li Yuanba shared the knowledge of formations from his original body, Li Shiming. Apart from not having the formation star overseas, he was completely the top formation master. The formation star Light C is the basis for the formation master to quickly analyze the formation. Although Li Yuanba does not have the formation star Light C, he can contact Z15. So how can he use the ability of Z15 to replace the formation star Light C? Tang Xuanning followed Li Yuanba and saw that Li Yuanba easily broke through the three warning formations, which strengthened her confidence in Li Yuanba a lot. The fourth grade high level formation disc. Do the three fierce men of the Ping family think that the higher the quality of the formation disc, the stronger the formation? Li Yuanba came to the temporary cave and observed the formation in the cave and couldn't help complaining in his heart. The fourth grade high level formation disc is definitely of high quality among the formation discs. But that is only the quality of the formation materials, not the level of the formation master. Of course, the formation arranged on the fourth grade high level formation plate in front of them has also reached the fourth grade high level level. But its effect is not even as good as the fourth grade basic formation arranged with formation flags. Li Yuanba's consciousness moved the spiritual power lines of the formation from time to time. And in this way, he forcibly opened a passage at the entrance of the temporary cave. Like the owner of the cave, he walked into the cave from the entrance. It seems that the three villains of the Ping family have not given up here. As soon as he entered the cave hall, Li Yuanba smiled and said to Tang Xuanning, On the table in the hall, there is a set of four grade tea sets. If you give up this cave, how can you leave this set of four grade tea sets here? Going further inside, he found three fourth grade pulse locking discs in the training room, all of which contain mid nascent soul spiritual veins, which further confirmed his judgment. I know why the three villains of the Ping family are staying here, Tang Xuanning said, pointing to the room next to the training room. That room was the weapon refining room, and there was an underground fire in Heading Mountain. Originally, the owner of this room was a well-known weapon refining master. At this time, the earth fire was introduced into the refining room, and the earth fire was extremely strong. It required special means and a lot of resources to make the earth fire reach this level. This ground fire is enough to smelt 4th grade top grade materials. There are several storage bags next to it. And some fire supporting spiritual objects are placed outside the storage bags. 
the layout of this refining room should be for refining. And most likely for refining a top-level fourth-grade magic weapon. Everything can be explained. The three villains of the Ping family forcibly occupied this cave in Heading Mountain in order to refine the fourth-grade top magic weapon. As for why the three villains of the Ping clan are not in the cave, this has to do with the way the three villains of the Ping clan behave. The three middle-stage nascent soul monks are never separated. It seemed like they needed to buy some spiritual items. The three evil spirits of the Ping family had great trust in their evil reputation and the cave's fourth-grade high-level array. So leaving the cave for a short time was not a big deal to them. Li Yu and Ba. We are ready at the entrance of the training room. Once the three villains of the Ping family enter the cave hall, we will use our swords with all our strength. Tang Xuanning revealed her plan. Li Yu and Ba looked at the environment. The entrance to the training room was facing the hall. The entrance to the hall was not spacious. After the three villains of the Ping family came in, they would surely put down their guard because they had returned to the safety of the cave. The environment at the entrance of the hall is not suitable for Yuanying monks to perform. The Yuanying Dharma will definitely not be activated. And even the use of magic weapons will be affected to some extent. From the information, it is known that the three murderers of the Ping family are among the very few monks who use the spiritual bound magic weapon. And they have been affected the most in the cave. In this environment, the sword cultivator's flying sword is the most suitable. The three villains of the Ping family don't even have room to dodge so they can only directly receive the flying sword's attack. Of course, these are the most ideal plans. The premise is that the three villains of the Ping clan cannot discover the hidden Tang Xuanning and Li Yuanba. Otherwise, the two people in a small space such as the cave will be surrounded by the three villains of the Ping clan. Loss of flexible dodge space. It is not difficult for Li Yuanba to hide himself. From this cave, it can be seen that the three evil spirits of the Ping family lack knowledge of formations. Li Yuanba set up a concealment formation with the 4th grade formation flag in the training room. Chapter 618 Ambush The three villains of the Ping clan were flying side by side in the air. And they were extremely arrogant. We can't blame them for their arrogance. Based on their own mid-nascent soul realm, any one of them can be considered extremely strong in the world of cultivating immortals. That is to say, if they are in Zhongzhou continent, if they are in some relatively remote continents, in the middle nascent soul stage, they can all run wild. Coupled with a tacit understanding of the three of them. When the three of them join forces. Even three nascent soul monks of the same realm cannot be their enemies. This time I have refined the fourth grade top level magic weapon for the boss to use. Then give it to me. My strength is only weaker than the boss. The third child of the three evils of the Ping clan thought of the weapon, refining matter, and put forward his own opinion. They were lucky enough to accidentally obtain a fourth grade top grade weapon refining material during the robbery. And this 4th grade top grade weapon refining material suited them extremely well. So they came to Heading Mountain and occupied the Earth Fire Cave here in order to refine the 4th grade top magic weapon. Third brother, what are you talking about? I am the second child. And I should be the one after the boss. The second child of the Ping family's three villains refused and retorted with a glare in his eyes. Second brother, you just came out for a cup of tea earlier than me. The world of immortality is based on strength. I propose to reorganize the rankings based on strength. The third child was not afraid of the second child at all. And he replied loudly. The eldest brother has long been accustomed to the disputes between the two younger brothers. He is too lazy to pay attention to the two younger brothers. Anyway, the biggest benefit is his. Now that they have left the sect and are considered casual cultivators, they are lucky to be able to unexpectedly get a fourth grade top level weapon refining material that suits them. They also want to get a second copy. Fearing that the two brothers' brains are a little unclear. The combined combat power of the three of them is indeed good. But the top-level fourth-grade weapon refining materials are generally only available in the hands of great monks from major sects and above. There is no way they can offend the great monks. The boss flew through the three warning formations and found nothing unusual. Most of the people in this area were deputy monks. And they didn't have any decent influence. So he wasn't worried about being found. The most important thing is that their year-round sales channel is a very powerful trading house, which provides them with intelligence support. Over the years, as long as there are forces who want to encircle and suppress them, they will get intelligence in advance. It is precisely the year-round security that makes the three villains of the Ping family less vigilant. Of course, even if they were more vigilant, with their level of formations, they would not be able to detect the hidden formations among the many formations let alone Tang Xuanning and Li Yuanba inside the hidden formations. Tang Xuanning and Li Yuanba both suspended the natal flying sword in front of him. 
The sword intention and spiritual power were continuously input into the natal flying sword. And they forcibly suppressed the natal flying sword. This is the secret method of accumulating power in the sword intention climb to the sky technique. The sword intention and spiritual power are accumulated and prepared for a long time to achieve the power of a blow far beyond the normal level. Li Yuanba did not use 10,000 swords peak. He knew very well that he was just a fool in this mission. You must know that this task was originally taken by Tang Xuaning alone. Tang Xuaning was naturally absolutely sure of dealing with the three evil men of the Ping family. Now he has the opportunity to use the four-character sword of his natal flying sword to deliver a full frontal blow to the mid-nascent soul monk and test the gap between himself and the mid-nascent soul monk. This opportunity is rare. Tang Xuaning's eyes fell on the Yuanba's four characters and one sword. She was not attracted by the top qualities of the fourth class of four characters and one sword. Although the 4th grade top quality natal flying sword is extremely rare. There are also many swordsmen in sword intent Cheng Shao Pavilion who possess the 4th grade top quality natal flying sword. The sword cultivator only has one magic weapon in his life. And that is his natal flying sword. The sword cultivators of sword intent Cheng Shao Pavilion will invest all the resources obtained from missions or other methods into their natal flying swords to continuously improve the quality and power of their natal flying swords. Therefore, as long as the sword cultivator practices for a long enough time. The quality of the natal flying sword will be improved to the top level of the fourth grade sooner or later. Tang Xueting paid attention to the Breaking Void Sword Intent on the front half of the four principal sword. As a mid-stage nascent soul sword cultivator, she still could not comprehend the Breaking Void Sword Intent. After seeing Li Yuanba's Broken Void Sword Intent, a rare look of envy appeared in his eyes. The Sword Intent Chongxiao Pavilion Sword Clan lineage belongs to the core monks of the Sword Intent Chongxiao Pavilion. If you want to join the Sword Intent Chongxiao Pavilion's lineage, you need to understand the Breaking Void Sword Intent. Tang Xuaning withdrew her gaze, and her attention returned to her natal flying sword. Li Yuanba was able to sense the location of the three villains of the Ping family through the formation of the cave. When the three villains of the Ping family opened the entrance formation of the cave and were about to enter the cave, he sent a signal to Tang Xuaning. The third of the three villains of the Ping family walked into the cave first, followed by the second, and finally the eldest. Just when they all entered the cave, and the third child was about to walk from the entrance passage to the hall, Tang Xuaning and Li Yuanba launched attacks at the same time. Tang Xuaning separated a line of spiritual power to protect Li Yuanba. This was to protect Li Yuanba from being suppressed by the Ping family's three evil spirits in the middle stage of nascent soul. With the distance between the two of them, and the three evil men of the Ping family. Once one of the three evil men of the Ping family activates realm suppression, Li Yuanba's combat power will be greatly reduced at such a close distance. Under the secret method of accumulating power, when Tang Xuaning's natal flying sword flew out, its power soared into the sky. All the spiritual objects in the hall were turned into powder under the influence of this power. Even the four grade T sets were not exempted. Tang Xuaning's natal flying sword target is the third of the three evil men of the Ping family. Whoever asks him to walk in the front is naturally the best target to attack. Under the turbulent momentum of Tang Xuaning's natal flying sword, Li Yuanba's four qualities seem to be overshadowed by the sword. The target of the four characters, and one sword is the second of the Ping clan's three villains. Li Yuanba's realm is lower than Tang Xuaning's. Even with the same secret method of charging, the speed of the flying sword is not as fast as Tang Xuaning. Of course, from the distance from the training room to the entrance of the hall, the natal flying sword exploded by the charged secret method can be fully stimulated. The third of the three villains of the Ping family found out too late that he had been attacked. The only thing he could do was to give up his physical body and escape with his nascent soul. Tang Xueting's natal flying sword broke through all the defenses of the third of the Ping family's three villains. Those life-saving objects were broken open like a torrent under the terrifying sword intent of Tang Xueting. A mid-stage nascent soul sword cultivator. The natal flying sword hit the physical body of the third child of the Ping family. The third child's reaction was also very fast. The nascent soul immediately left the body, but stopped halfway. It wasn't that he didn't want the nascent soul to leave his body. But Tang Xuaning's terrifying sword intent was an icy sword intent that froze everything about him when it hit his physical body, including his body and nascent soul. With a click sound, the body of the third most vicious member of the Ping family turned into ice slag and fell to the ground. Tang Xueting's natal flying sword killed the third of the three villains of the Ping family. After this delay, his natal flying sword was surpassed by the four-character sword. 
the fourth character's sword hit the defensive spell shield of the second most evil person of the Ping family. Because everything happened so fast, even the second most evil person of the Ping family did not have time to do more. Defense. He just activated a defensive spell on the rope, which was his way to save his life. The fourth character's sword came into contact with the magic shield. The breaking void sword intention on the sword tip took effect, and a crack was cut on the magic shield by the breaking void sword intent. This crack was big enough for four characters to pass through with his sword. Just when the second of the three villains of the Ping clan thought that his defensive spells had withstood the sudden flying sword attack, four characters hit his body with his sword. The Breaking Void Sword Intent is almost omnipotent. Originally, it was extremely difficult to break through the defense of a monk in the middle stage of Yuanying at the early stage of Yuanying. Even if Li Yuanba has the top level 4th level natal flying sword Xing Yijian, it is different. But the top level 4th level flying sword Xing Yijian plus Broken Void Sword Intent is different. Can exert the strongest effect. The four characters sword penetrated the physical body of the second of the three evil men of the Ping clan with a poor void sword intent in front and the Jiang sword intent in the back, destroying the vitality of the second's physical body. The second child's nascent soul flew out from above his head, and he wisely gave up his physical body. Li Yuanba felt helpless, which reflected the gap between him and Tang Xuanning. Even if Tang Xuanning's sword intention is not as good as his void-breaking sword intent, given Tang Xuanning's realm, a mid-stage nascent soul sword cultivator can completely kill the physical body of a monk of the same level while simultaneously killing the ones inside. Nascent soul. Although Li Yuanba also killed the physical body of the monk in the middle stage of Yuanying, he could not kill the Yuanying of the monk in the middle stage of Yuanying at the same time. Fortunately, Tang Xuanying's natal flying sword arrived in time and instantly froze the nascent soul, the second of the Ping clan's three villains, the eldest of the three evil men of the Ping family, with two younger brothers standing in front of him finally had a chance to breathe. A talisman in his hand turned into a spiritual light. In a flash of spiritual light, his body was wrapped into a beam of light and escaped outside the cave. Tang Xuanning and Li Yuanba's natal flying swords were one step late and struck in the air. Chase, Tang Xuanning said in a deep voice. Her body turned into a sword light, and she chased after the boss of the three villains of the Ping clan. While chasing him out, she also put away the trophies of the second and third villains of the three villains of the Ping clan. It can be seen that she is definitely a veteran at cleaning up the battlefield, and collecting the trophies does not affect the speed of sword escape. Li Yuanba activated, south close to the end of the world, and exited the cave in a flash. But he did not intend to pursue the boss of the three evil men of the Ping family alone. He was only in the early stage of Yuanying, and there was no problem in ambush. If he really wanted to fight head-on, no one would help him block the suppression of the middle stage of Yuanying. It would be difficult for him to suppress him in the middle stage of Yuanying. In the mid-infancy period, he was able to fight freely in front of the monks. In a battle of this level, even the slightest sluggishness could be the difference between life and death. Huh? A cold snort sounded in the bright light. Following the cold snort, came a ray of light with an almost invisible speed, which shot toward Li Yuanba. As soon as Li Yuanba emerged from the space movement of So far, so far, he saw light shining in front of him. Tang Xuanying was shocked. She felt something was going to happen. The strongest point among the three evil spirits of the Ping family was long-range bow and arrow attacks. This attack method was extremely rare in the world of immortality. But it was also one of the sharpest. Judging by the attack power of a magic weapon level bow and arrow, it is no worse than the power of a sword cultivator's natal flying sword. The arrows fired from the bow are at the expense of flexibility and can only attack in a straight line. However, they gather the energy of the magic weapon level bow and match the arrows. The attack method is somewhat similar to the secret method of charging. Place. Li Yuanba felt the murderous intention approaching, and the attack of the boss of the three evil men of the Ping family was far beyond the range of a normal monk. A normal monk's attack range is the range of his own spiritual consciousness. Just like Li Yuanba's natal flying sword, which can only attack under the control of his spiritual consciousness. However, the attack distance of the magic weapon level bow can achieve true long-range attacks and it can still maintain extremely strong attack power beyond the range of spiritual consciousness. Of course, this attack distance is also limited. On the one hand, the power of the magic bow itself is limited. On the other hand, if the distance is too far, the monks can easily dodge with this straight-line attack method, and the value of the attack is lost. 
At this time, it was too late for Li Yuanba to use his second. South close to the end. Dodge. This attack from the boss of the three evils of the Ping family was intentional. The boss of the three evils of the Ping clan was unable to deal with Tang Xuing, a mid-stage nascent soul sword cultivator. But he was able to accurately attack Li Yuanba, who was in the early stage of the nascent soul. It was already too late for Tang Xuanning to save Li Yuanba. The speed at which her flying sword reached Li Yuanba was far less than the speed of the arrow. Li Yuanba watched the arrow fly in front of him. But it entered within five meters of him. His. Invisible Yuan Magnetic. Magical power has always been maintained. This silent. Invisible and immaterial magical power. After its range is reduced to five meters. Is almost integrated with his own spiritual power shield. Let alone let other monks find out. The arrow flew into a 5-meter range and entered the invisible magnetism. The arrow seemed to be entangled with countless invisible threads. The kinetic energy of the arrow is extremely strong. But it also slows down suddenly in this invisible element magnet. Since the range of the invisible magnetism is only 5 meters, the arrow's deceleration seems to be blocked by Li Yuanba's body-protecting spiritual power. Li Yuanba's eyes had always maintained his clairvoyance. At this critical moment, his clairvoyance allowed him to see every part of the arrow clearly. A fourth grade sword base appeared in his right hand, and a sword light struck the arrow. This is because he used the power of sword body to act on the fourth grade sword base, and bless the breaking void sword intent, and Jiang sword intent, the broken void sword intent, cut away the arrow, and the Jiang sword intent, then launched a second attack, and the arrow was held in two by his consciousness. Tang Xuanning's eyes narrowed slightly. She was a little confused as to how Li Yuanba received this attack. Even she couldn't do better than Li Yuanba. But this was not the time to think about this. She once again focused her attention on the three evil bosses of the Ping family who had escaped. When the leader of the three villains of the Ping family used the life-saving talisman to escape, he used a long-range magic bow to attack and kill Li Yuanba. But this also interrupted the effect of the life-saving talisman. This type of life-saving talisman uses the escape method and you cannot launch an attack when using the escape method. The attack will break the escape method and interrupt the escape method. Chapter 6 19 Chase and Escape Chapter 6 19 Chase and Escape Originally, the boss of the three evil men of the Ping family wanted to take Li Yuanba by surprise and shoot him, taking the opportunity to avenge the murder of his two younger brothers. He knew very well that with Tang Xuanning's strength, he didn't have to think about revenge. In addition, killing Li Yuanba would also distract Tang Xuanning. Even if he lacked the escape method of the life-saving talisman, he could escape safely. But he never expected that an attack launched at the middle stage of Yuanying would not be able to kill Li Yuanba, who was in the early stage of Yuanying. Li Yuanba. Be careful and don't rush in. Tang Xuanying didn't forget to remind Li Yuanba when chasing. Li Yuanba was also shocked. If the arrow shot by the boss of the three evil men of the Ping family were not made of metal, then he would probably be really hard to resist. While summing up his mistakes, he observed the situation. Although the boss of the three villains of the Ping family does not have the ability to escape from the life-saving talisman, his speed is not slow. At least it is not much different from Tang Xuanning. He uses a bow and arrow. And what he needs is to keep a distance from the enemy. So he pays special attention to the secret method of flying. The boss of the three evil men of the Ping family whom Tang Xuanning was chasing had already flown dozens of miles between chases and escapes. Li Yuanba no longer hesitated and used. South close to the end. Again. This time he did not directly pursue the boss of the three evil men of the Ping family. But chose to turn a corner and go around to the front. This shows how terrifying the magical foot power is. Under the influence of. South close to the end of the world. His speed far exceeds that of the three evil bosses of the Ping family and Tang Xuanning. His figure appeared and disappeared in the void. When the three evil bosses of the Ping clan and Tang Xuanning chased them for 400 miles. He had already arrived at the front of both sides' routes. 10,000 swords release. Li Yuanba took out. 10,000 swords peak. And shouted softly. 10,000 energy flying swords flew out from the. 10,000 swords peak. This time he let go of his mind. And his body from afar. Li Shiming. Took over. Li Shiming mobilized 108 brains. To control 108 fourth grade energy based flying swords. Among which were 5 top grade 4 grade weapon powered flying swords that contain the breaking void sword intent of the great monk. 108 fourth grade energy flying swords, each with nearly a hundred flying swords behind them, covered the entire airspace and formed a formation. 
108 fourth grade energy base flying swords serve as the base of the formation, and the remaining energy base flying swords cooperate. Although Li Shiming could only mobilize 108 fourth grade energetic flying swords at the same time at a distance of tens of millions of miles, he followed the other 108 fourth grade energetic flying swords. Automation is part of the formation base. This formation was researched by Li Shiming and is called the Tiangang Earth Demon Killing Immortal Sword Formation. It is completely based on the energy base flying swords in 10,000 Swords Peak. The first thing he researched was the Tiangang Immortal Sword Formation. At that time, there were less than 44th grade energy flying swords in 10,000 Swords Peak. This Tiangang Immortal Killing Sword Formation requires 36 4th grade energy flying swords to be arranged as the base of the formation. Later, when the number of 4th grade energy transformed flying swords in 10,000 swords peak exceeded 70, he evolved the Tian Gang Immortal Slaying Sword Formation into the Earth Fiend Slayer Immortal Slaying Sword Formation. The required 4th grade energetic flying swords were also increased to 72 handles. Finally, after the number of 4th grade energy flying swords in 10,000 swords peak exceeded 100, he finally finalized the Tian Gang Earth Demon Slaying Immortal Sword Formation. After the Tian Gang Earth Demon Killing Immortal Sword Formation was set up, it was automatically hidden. There was no longer any aura from the 108 fourth grade energy base flying swords. At the same time, the aura from the other nearly 10,000 energy base flying swords was also covered up. After Li Shiming set up the Tian Gang Earth Evil Killing Immortal Sword Formation, he returned control of his body to his clone Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba no longer bothered with the Tian Gang Earth Evil Killing Immortal Sword Formation. Once this formation was formed, it could operate autonomously until he lifted it. He used close to the end of the world and left here towards the distance. Even with the existence of Tian Gang Earth Demon Killing Immortal Sword Formation, he did not dare to take too seriously the boss of the three evils of the family. The boss of the three evils of the Ping family can almost be said to be the nemesis of monks like him who have super attack power but extremely weak defense power. Although he has the magical power of invisible magnetism that can slow down the speed of arrows, he will be in danger if the boss of the three evils of the Ping family uses a long-range attack method that is separated from metal. He didn't want to take any more risks. And all he needed to do was block the boss of the three evil men of the Ping family for a moment. And then the rest of the battle would be left to Tang Xuanning. The boss of the three evil men of the Ping family was escaping while observing Tang Xuanning behind him. He recognized Tang Xuanning's identity. The sword cultivator of sword intent Cheng Shao Pavilion. The three villains of the Ping family had done too many evil things. And he didn't know how he offended Jianyi Cheng Shao Pavilion. The only thing he thought about at this time was to escape and hide for at least a hundred years until Jianyi Cheng Shao Pavilion lost interest in him. The sword intent Cheng Shao Pavilion was a force that he could not face. Not to mention the sword cultivator sent by the opponent. Even the sword cultivators at the same level as him were not something he could fight against. Looking at it before. Although it was said that the sword cultivator of sword intent Cheng Shao Pavilion ambushed the three murderers of the Ping family. They only relied on the attacks of a mid-stage Yuanying sword cultivator and an early Yuanying sword cultivator to kill the Ping family. Two of the three villains. The boss of the three villains of the Ping family has no intention of revenge at all now. He even regrets why he thought of shooting Li Yuanba first. Li Yuanba was not shot dead by him, but instead lost his best chance to escape. Over the years, the three brothers have experienced life and death many times outside, and the life-saving talismans have long been exhausted, leaving only one. The boss of the three villains of the Ping family saw Li Yuanba in the distance, who was using South close to the end of the world to close the distance. He was not worried about Li Yuanba. Li Yuanba's natal flying sword is indeed powerful and he killed the second of the three evil men of the Ping family in the middle stage of Yuanying with one sword. However, Li Yuanba's realm is here, and he dare not approach him within a certain range. Not to mention realm suppression. Even if he is the shooting from the magic bow can also be unbearable for Li Yuanba. Although Li Yuanba was lucky enough to survive under his arrow before, he had absolute confidence in his archery skills. He was sure to kill Li Yuanba in the next attack, just when the boss of the three evil men of the Ping family was thinking about it. He suddenly felt something was wrong. The scenery around him changed, and he was in a forest of swords. There are big trees all around. The branches and leaves of the big trees are not ordinary branches and leaves. They are all made of flying swords. 
each flying sword carries sword intent. These sword intents may be strong or weak. The weak ones only have a trace of the sword intent in the early stage of Yuaning. The real power is probably only able to kill Jin Den monks. The strong ones are the real Yuaning sword intent. In the early stage of Ying sword, one sword can severely damage the monks in the early stage of nascent soul. I entered the formation. The boss of the three evils of the Ping clan quickly reacted. He knew not to fall into the formation. Tang Xiuening chasing after him was really terrifying. He stood in the void, with a fourth grade high level magic bow appearing in his hand. And an arrow automatically appeared on the magic bow. The stream of light flashed on the fourth grade upper grade magic weapon bow. And the energy flowed from his body into the fourth grade upper grade magic weapon bow. And then entered the arrow through the transformation of the fourth grade upper grade magic weapon bow. The aura on the arrow became stronger and stronger. And just when the aura reached its peak, he let go of his hand, and the arrow flew out. The arrow shot towards the sword forest. Based on the judgment of the leader of the three evils of the Ping clan, his full blow would definitely be able to create a passage in the sword forest. But when the arrow shot into the forest of swords, they had no destructive power. The forest of swords was like an illusion. He frowned and reached a sword tree in a flash. The sword tree suddenly sent out dozens of sword intentions. And countless sword intentions flew towards him from the sword trees in all directions. With a wave of his hand, he laid a magic shield around him. The sword intention hit the magic shield and made a crisp sound. He knew that these sword intentions were real. He judged that among these sword intentions, even the strongest one could not cause any harm to him. He walked through the sword forest with confidence, trying to find a way out of the sword forest. But no matter how he traveled, he couldn't find the exit. This is a formation that Li Shiming carefully researched. Although Li Shiming's formation level cannot be said to be the best in the world of immortality, he is definitely the top existence in formation research. Not to mention monks like the boss of the three evils of the Ping clan who are not proficient in battle formation. Even if the formation master is trapped in the Tian Gang Earth Evil Sword Sword Formation, it will not be possible to break through it in a short time. At this time, Tang Xuening had already caught up with her, but she did not rush into the Tian Gang Earth Evil Killing Immortal Sword Formation. She saw the weirdness of the Tian Gang Earthly Evil Killing Immortal Sword Formation. At this time, the Tian Gang Earthly Evil Killing Immortal Sword Formation had been activated, and the boss of the three evil men of the Ping family was running around in the formation, looking from outside the formation. It was clear that the three evil bosses of the Ping clan were only a few meters away from walking out of the formation. But the three evil bosses of the Ping clan were pulled in another direction by the formation. But what was blocking the three evil bosses of the Ping family was just an inconspicuous flying sword. Li Yuanbai used. South close to the end of the world. To come to Tang Xuanning's side. It was with Tang Xuanning beside him that he felt extra safe. He should really pay attention to this kind of battle with the monks in the middle stage of nascent soul in the future. Is this the formation you set up? Tang Xuanning asked in surprise. Whether it was the thousands of flying swords or such a complicated formation. She was extremely shocked. It is not easy to control thousands of flying swords, let alone set up such a large formation in a short period of time. A large formation that can trap a monk in the middle stage of nascent soul is extremely difficult. Setting up such a large formation requires a lot of preparation in advance. But how long did it take from the time when the leader of the three evil men of the Ping family was hunted down to the time when the leader of the three evil men of the Ping family fell into the formation? Even though she understood that it could not be the formation arranged by other monks, she still asked the doubts in her heart in disbelief. This is the Tian Gang Earth Demon Killing Immortal Sword Formation. It is a formation developed for one of my magic weapons. Li Yuanba replied with a smile. To be honest, naming this formation the Immortal Slaying Sword Formation is too big a name. But he is ambitious. With the increasingly advanced knowledge of formations that he is constantly exposed to. Coupled with the continuous improvement of the flying swords in 10,000 swords peak. One day this immortal slaying sword formation can become a real immortal slaying sword. Array. Your immortal slaying sword formation. Let alone immortal slaying. Can't even kill the three evil men of the Ping family. Tang Xuanning pointed at the boss of the three evil men of the Ping family in the Tian Gang Earth Evil Immortal Slaying Sword Formation and shook his head. The immortal slaying sword formation is the legendary top sword formation in the world of immortality. She also felt that Li Yuanba was exaggerating about the Tian Gang Earth Demon Slaying Immortal Sword Formation. Li Yuanba smiled faintly, and his eyes fell on the boss of the three evils of the Ping family in the Tian Gang Earthly Evil Killing Immortal Sword Formation. 
if the three evil bosses of the Pink Clan didn't run wild in the formation. Perhaps the Tian Gang Earth Evil Killing Immortal Sword formation would really be helpless against the three evil bosses of the Pink Clan. The real killing move of the Tian Gang Earthly Evil Killing Immortal Sword formation is the Five Elements Killing Formation at the core. However, since this Five Elements Killing Formation cannot reveal its own aura, it is hidden in the Tian Gang Earthly Evil Killing Immortal Sword Formation. We can only wait for the three evil bosses of the Ping family to enter the Five Elements Killing Formation. Otherwise, the Five Elements Killing Formation will not be effective. The Tian Gang Earthly Evil Immortal Killing Sword Formation has a time limit. It only takes one stick of incense at most, and its internal energy will be exhausted. If the boss of the three evils of the Ping Clan insists on attacking, this duration will be even shorter. Li Yuanba's hope for the Tian Gang Earth Evil Killing Immortal Sword Formation was not to kill the three evil bosses of the Ping family, but to stop the three evil bosses of the Ping family and let Tang Xuanin kill him. But the boss of the three evils of the Ping family did not study the battle method at all. He only knew how to rush around inside and only launched an actual attack once. He stopped when he saw no effect. Li Yuanba saw the leader of the three evil men of the Ping family wandering near the Five Elements Killing Formation and the smile on his face became even thicker. Uncle Tang, it seems that you don't need to take action anymore. He pointed at the boss of the three evil men of the Ping family and said. Tang Xiuening was slightly startled. No matter how trapped the boss of the three villains of the Ping family was, his strength was still among the strongest among those in the middle stage of nascent soul. As soon as Li Yuanba finished speaking, the boss of the three evil men of the Ping family walked into the Five Elements Killing Formation. The Five Elements Killing Formation is based on the Five Elements Formation that Li Shiming is best at. Through various changes in the Five Elements, it confuses the monks and cooperates with the Breaking Void Sword Intent of the Great Monk to achieve the goal of a killing blow. The boss of the three evil men of the Ping family entered the Five Elements Killing Formation and found that the sword forest around him had disappeared. He was about to be happy, thinking he had broken through the formation, but found that although the sword forest disappeared, he was still trapped in the formation. But there was no sword forest here. He found a direction and wanted to get out of this formation. Suddenly, the world where he was was turned upside down, and the five element energy in the void was in chaos. He even felt that the spiritual shield maintained outside his body had a slight impact on his five element attributes. After the heaven and earth reversed, they reversed again. The continuous inversion of heaven and earth made even him. A monk in the middle stage of nascent soul dizzy and confused by this change. At this moment, the decisive blow of the Five Elements Killing Formation appeared, and the five great monks, breaking void sword intent, slashed at him from the void through the continuous reversal of the heaven and earth. In fact, there is no need for the five great monks to feel the void sword intent. One, phantom sword intent, cut through his defense. The second, feel the void sword intent, wiped out his body. And the third, Heal the Void Sword Intent. Destroyed his body. Sword Intention. Killed his nascent soul. And the remaining two. Two Breaking Sword Intent. Circled around for a while, and then retreated. Chapter 620 Inventory. Tang Shiwening was horrified. She sensed the familiar. Breaking Void Sword Intent. And it was also the. Breaking Void Sword Intent. Of a great monk. Even if she was hit by this level of. Void Breaking Sword Intent. It would be difficult to withstand it. The reason why she thought she still had a chance to survive in the face of such sword intent was because the Breaking Void Sword Intention was not issued by a great monk, but only reached the high monk level in quality. If the great swordsman cultivator had really sent out the Breaking Void Sword Intent, she would have been dead. As Li Yuanba's mind moved slightly, 10,000 swords peak was held in his palms. The 10,000 flying swords that formed the Tian Gang Earth Demon Slayer Immortal Sword Formation flew back to 10,000 swords peak, like birds returning to their nests. Tang Xiuening glanced at 10,000 swords peak, and understood that this should be a life-saving thing prepared by the Jian family for Li Yuanba. With her knowledge, she also knew that 10,000 swords peak must have some special function. But it was difficult for her to inquire about the details of other sword cultivators' magic weapons. She came to the body of the three evil bosses of the Ping family, and put away the body of the three evil bosses of the Ping family, with a wave of her hand. You alone killed the third most vicious boss of the Ping family. His body and all the spiritual objects belong to you. 
All the spiritual objects I killed for the third son belong to me. If you destroy the second son's physical body, I will destroy him. If you kill his nascent soul, we will kill him together. And the spiritual objects will be distributed evenly. Tang Xueng said, throwing the body of the three evil bosses of the Ping family to Liu Yuanba. She then took out the mustard seed ring belonging to the second of the Ping family's three villains. After entering it with her spiritual consciousness and taking out several spiritual objects, she also threw the mustard seed ring to Liu Yuanba. She regarded Liu Yuanba as a real teammate, not a dragster she brought along. Li Yuanba used his fighting power to show her his worth. Whether it is Li Yuanba's formation ability, Li Yuanba's void breaking sword intent, or 10,000 sword peaks, they are all enough to help him fight against the mid stage nascent soul monks. The main reason why this mission could be completed so easily was that Li Yuanba invaded the cave of the three evil men of the Ping family and set up an ambush in the cave. The monks are most relaxed when they return to the cave. It was at the most relaxed moment that the chance of launching a full-strength attack was the greatest. And this was indeed the case. Tang Xueng and Li Yuanba's surprise attack directly killed two of the three murderers of the Ping family. If Tang Xueng was allowed to complete the task, she would find an opportunity to kill one person in a surprise attack, and then follow them, looking for opportunities to continuously attack and kill them. Then this task will take a long time, and there is no guarantee that all three murderers of the Ping family will be killed. Are you returning to the sect with me? Tang Xueng looked at Li Yuanba and asked, Let's return to the sect together. Li Yuanba nodded. Li Yuanba has no intention of staying in Zhongzhou continent longer. All he needs to do now, besides sharpening his sword, is practice. His own level is still too low. Even if he has the ability to fight against the monks in the middle stage of nascent soul, his total spiritual power allows him to only make short-term raids. He has enough cultivation resources. And all he needs to do is practice hard. He will wait until the next mission before leaving the sect to do the mission. So that the mission and training will not be delayed. Tang Xueng and Li Yuanba returned to the sect this time and did not hide their figures anymore. They turned into two sword lights and used sword escape to fly around the Zhongzhou continent. Li Yuanba looked at his trophies. He didn't have much expectations for the trophies. You can't blame him for this. Who knows that he has the identity of an alchemy master. And he is also a very good alchemy master. The amount of resources he has is unimaginable. From his perspective, even 4th grade high grade materials are not considered by him. Unless these 4th grade high grade materials have special functions. He found the mustard seed ring of the three evil bosses of the Ping clan from the body of the three evil bosses of the Ping clan. It should be said to be the soul crystal ring. He was a little surprised. The soul crystal ring was not a rare spiritual object. But it should not appear on a casual cultivator like the boss of the three evils of the Ping family. Even the core monks of large sects rarely have soul crystal rings. Li Yuanba doesn't have his own soul crystal ring yet. Which doesn't mean he can't get it. Li Shiming, his real body, has several more. All of which were obtained from Yuching sects Yuanying monks and Baidi sects. If Li Shiming wanted to give the soul crystal ring to Li Yuanba, he still had to go through Zhongzhou Trading Company. However, the soul crystal ring was not a necessity. So Li Shiming did not do so. Now that Li Yuanba has his own soul crystal ring, he is interested in his harvest. He also discovered that among the three brothers of the Ping family, only the eldest had a soul crystal ring, while the other two brothers had normal mustard rings. The biggest advantage of the soul crystal ring is that it can be turned into energy for the Yuanning to carry in the body. This is safer, especially when danger occurs. In addition to taking away the life magic weapon, the soul crystal ring can also be carried with it. Take away. He cast a spell to identify the owner of the soul crystal ring. And his spiritual consciousness entered the soul crystal ring. He first saw a semi-finished magic weapon. Which was a semi-finished 4th grade top level bow shaped magic weapon. He was shocked and a little helpless. I was surprised that the boss of the three villains of the Ping clan could actually obtain the 4th grade top material to refine the magic weapon. Looking at the semi-finished bow shaped magic weapon. Combined with the three villains of the Ping clan. They suddenly stopped at Heading Mountain and found a cave with earth fire. The reason why he settled down should be for this 4th grade top level bow type magic weapon. It's a pity that this top level 4th grade bow shaped magic weapon only has an outer shape. And no runes are drawn on the inside. This bow shaped magic weapon is only made of extremely high quality materials. To the Yuanba's helplessness. These top grade 4th grade materials were wasted. If these top level 4th level materials were given to him. He could refine a 4th level weapon for calamity. 
and it would be the most suitable for him. Bow-shaped magic weapons are a niche variety among magic weapons. Even in the inheritance of the Hundred Chain Sect, which the main body Li Shiming received, there is no refining method that matches this semi-finished bow-shaped magic weapon. In other words, if he couldn't get the corresponding weapon refining method, these top four bow-type magic weapons would just be useless. Li Yuanbao put the semi-finished bow-shaped magic weapon aside and looked through the soul crystal ring with his spiritual consciousness. He found a golden jade slip. This kind of golden jade slip is generally a jade slip that stores important inheritance. Sun shooting technique. In the golden jade slip is a bow and arrow inheritance, which is a rarer branch than sword cultivation. He discovered how to use and refine the bow-shaped magic weapon from the sun shooting technique, which was an unexpected surprise. This allowed him to continue refining the semi-finished bow-shaped magic weapon he had just obtained and turn it into a complete magic weapon. Moreover, if combined with the shooting sun technique, it can fully exert the long-range strike ability like the boss of the three evils of the Ping family. Even because the quality of the semi-finished bow-shaped magic weapon has reached the top level of the fourth level. If the semi-finished bow-type magic weapon is given to the main body, Li Shiming for refining, it may be possible to refine it into a top-level fourth-level weapon calamity magic weapon, which can be combined with the shooting sun technique. The power can even surpass the three evil bosses of the Ping family. It's just that Li Yuanba is a sword cultivator, so it's impossible for him to learn the shooting sun technique. Evenly shimming. The real body has already practiced multiple techniques. At least in the short term. He won't have the energy to practice the shooting sun technique. No. This shooting sun technique is a bit weird. Li Yuanba only took a rough look at shooting sun technique. But through his contact with Z15, he backed up all the contents of shooting sun technique to Z15. Z15 the feedback given stunned him. The sun shooting technique is not just a secret technique for using bows and arrows as he imagined, but a special top-level technique. Yes, shooting sun technique is on the same level as sword intention climbing into the sky technique. In terms of skill level, the most special thing is that the shooting sun technique can use the nascent soul to increase its power, or it can only be performed using the physical body. The power will be a little weaker, but not much weaker. He considered that if the shooting sun technique was performed by a body refining monk. It would be possible to continuously launch long range attacks with minimal consumption. The other spiritual objects in the soul crystal ring did not make him shine. If anything, it was a fourth grade mid level flying boat that was of some value. Li Shiming was interested in the semi finished fourth grade top grade bow shaped magic weapon. He used his identity as a guest to send a request to Zhongzhou Commercial Bank. Shortly after Li Yuanba returned to Jinny Chongshao Pavilion, a long-distance flying boat from Zhongzhou Trading Company passed by Jianyi Chengshao Pavilion and took away the semi-finished fourth-grade top-level bow-shaped magic weapon. More than half a year passed, and Li Yuanba's reputation was completely established in Zhongzhou Continent. He is listed as one of the most talented early nascent soul monks in Zhongzhou Continent. The reason why his reputation is so great is mainly because his achievements have been spread. It's not that he wants to be famous, but the battle between him and Tang Xuanning against the three murderers of the Ping family in Heading Mountain, was watched by monks from a distance. This is inevitable, as it is close to the gathering place of monks. In addition, Tang Shiwening did not want to blame the achievements that did not belong to her on herself. So she took the initiative to attribute the killing achievements of the eldest and second eldest of the three evil men of the Ping family to Li Yuanbao. Although the second of the three evil men of the Ping family was killed by two people together, Li Yuanbao's blow directly killed his physical body. Even if Yuan Ying was able to escape, he could only seize his body and rebuild it. It's really hard to say what happened next. Although the monks who seized the body and rebuild it have the experience of cultivation in the previous life and have the support of reserved resources, there will still be various problems after the nascent soul seizes the body, especially regarding safety issues. Monks who have taken possession of their bodies and rebuilt themselves are like children standing in a busy city holding gold in their hands before they have the ability to protect themselves. As long as they show a slight flaw, countless monks will pounce on them. The reason why Li Yuanba is listed as one of the most talented early Yuanning monks in Zhongzhou continent is very simple. That is, he has single-handedly killed middle-stage Yuanning monks at the early stage of Yuanning. The mid-nascent soul monks mentioned here are not those casual cultivating mid-nascent soul monks, but mid-nascent soul monks who are at least from major sects and above. Li Yuanba has not participated in the mission since the last mission to kill the three murderers of the Ping family. 
It is not that he does not want to participate, but that Tang Xiuening did not accept the mission. It can be seen that Tang Xiuening gained a lot from killing the three murderers of the Ping family. Li Yuanba didn't like many of the trophies, but for Tang Xiuening, they were just right. The three murderers of the Ping family were monks in the middle stage of nascent soul, and due to their special birth and unscrupulous behavior, the resources of the three murderers of the Ping family were not considered. Few. Sword cultivation is like this. After harvesting resources, you need to convert the resources into cultivation so that you can exert stronger combat power in the next battle. Fighting to support fighting is the way sword cultivators grow. Li Yuanba's strength has also improved a lot. The most obvious of which is the Broken Void Sword Intent. The Broken Void Sword Intent has experienced a head-on battle with a mid-stage nascent soul monk and has been greatly tempered. His Void Breaking Sword Intent is in its initial growth stage, so its improvement is even more obvious. The Broken Void Sword Intent has been able to wrap most of the sword's body with the four-character sword from wrapping the tip of the sword. This improvement allows the Void Breaking Sword Intent to be used in actual combat in addition to piercing. Even flying sword sweeps can also exert the effect of the Void Breaking Sword Intent in the Eastern Chi Continent. Li Shiming received a semi-finished 4th grade top-level Bao Magic Weapon from Xian Jingyun. The semi-finished 4th grade top-level Bao-shaped magic weapon is a rough magic weapon. In the past half year, the natal magic weapon Z15 has been redesigned based on the Bao-shaped magic weapon refining method in the Shooting Sun Art. The changes are mainly to cooperate with Li Shiming's 5 nanometer control of the computer room space and draw runes with a precision of 5 nanometers. The number of runes that can be drawn will be increased by 10 million times. Using the weapon refining method in Shooting the Sun, the bow-shaped magic weapon can be opened in two ways. One is to input a large amount of spiritual power and activate a special rune array so that the bow-shaped magic weapon can be opened. This makes the bow the magic weapon can be used by Yuaning Dharma. The second is to use huge force to forcefully open the bow. And with the help of the rune array on the bow, the energy of the bow is gathered and stored on the arrow. And a super powerful arrow is fired. Li Shiming only chose the second way to pull away. He had his own plan. In addition to the necessary runes for the bow-shaped magic weapon, he only plans to keep two kinds of runes on the bow. One is the power rune, and the other is the charging rune. The power rune will absorb all the power used on the bow and then convert the power into energy through the charging rune, and store it. Li Shiming spent a hundred days to complete 30 million power charging formations on the rough blank of the 4th grade top level bow type magic weapon. Each charging formation is composed of 9 power runes plus 1 charging rune, almost filling the blank space of the entire 4th grade top level bow shaped magic weapon. Of course, he still left the last bit unfinished. Did he know that once completed, it would immediately lead to a weapon disaster? He did not intend to let any monks know about this bow-shaped magic weapon. Even his master, Brother Hu, was not prepared to tell him. He had other ideas about this bow-shaped magic weapon. Once it was successful, it would greatly enhance his actual combat power. This gave him a certain ability to protect himself in the world of immortality. Chapter 621 Thunder Li Shiming came to a remote place, and he completed the last step of the bow-shaped magic weapon he named Thunder Mysterious Bow in the computer room space. When he moved the Thunder Mysterious Bow from the machine room space to the main world, he felt thunderclouds gathering in the sky. It is estimated that there is no weapon refining master in the entire world of immortality who understands weapon tribulations better than him. There is no weapon refining master who has experienced hundreds of weapon tribulations. He looked at the thunderclouds in the sky and couldn't help but shook his head. He found that the Thunder Mysterious Bow might have two single function and the weapon tribulation this time was not too strong. Of course, even if it is a weak weapon, it is not something that the Thundering Mysterious Bow can handle. There are no strong runes drawn on the Thunder Mysterious Bow, and its body defense relies entirely on the strength of the 4th grade top material itself. The reason why the Thundering Mysterious Bow did not trigger too strong thunder is because the Thundering Mysterious Bow only has the effect of converting power into attacks and does not have the effect of converting spiritual power into attacks. This makes the Thunder Mysterious Bow even less powerful than the 4th grade lower level magic weapon without the blessing of huge power. Li Shiming blocked 3 thunderbolts without any effort, and 5 Dao Rhymes appeared on the Thunder Mysterious Bow, which can only be regarded as ordinary among the 4th grade weapon calamity magic weapons he refined. If other monks saw the 
thundering mysterious bow. They would just scold him for wasting top grade fourth grade materials. The thunder mysterious bow that has survived the weapon calamity has a heavy feeling in hand. As its refiner, Lee Shiming can use it directly without identifying the owner. He tried to pull the thunder mysterious bow with all his strength. Even though he had practiced the body refining technique and reached the peak of the early stage of nascent soul, he still felt extremely strenuous. He could only pull out one third of the thundering mysterious bow and then stopped helplessly. He knew that there were too many power runes drawn so that the thundering mysterious bow needed to be fully opened. The power has reached a terrifying level. This was blessed by nearly 300 million power runes. In fact, the number of runes he drew on the thunder mysterious bow exceeded all the magic weapons he had refined before. Li Shiming pulled out one-third of the bowstring. He couldn't let go like this. If he let go like this after accumulating strength, all the accumulated power would be released on the bow, which would cause damage to the bow. He activated the exclusive rune formation of Thunder Mysterious Bow, and an energy-charged arrow was condensed. This is the special secret technique of Sun Shooting Technique. It uses the exclusive rune formation on the bow-shaped magic weapon to form energy-enhanced arrows according to a certain ratio with the help of stored energy. The stronger the stored energy, the higher the quality of the energy-condensed arrow. As soon as he loosened his hand, the bow string applied all the stored energy to the energy-formed arrow, and the arrow turned into a stream of light and shot out. With his clairvoyance, he could clearly see the flight path of the arrow, and he judged the speed of the arrow. The speed of the arrow is also related to the power stored. Even if he only pulled out a third of the bow string, the speed of the arrow reached the speed of the arrow. Speed. The effective attack distance of arrows reaches 50,000 meters. This does not mean that there is no lethality beyond 50,000 meters. But within 50,000 meters, the speed of arrows maintains the fastest speed. Exceeding 50,000 meters, the speed has entered a period of decline. In the state of speed decline, the probability that the arrow can hit the target is too low. So it is not calculated into the effective attack distance. Of course, the Thunder Mysterious Bow was not prepared for Lee Shimming. He almost wasted the 4th grade top level weapon refining materials. How could he do this if he didn't have a conspiracy? The Thunder Mysterious Bow was prepared for the living dead Xiao Qi Feng. After obtaining the Sun Shooting Technique, Li Shiming discovered the refining method of accumulating power in the bow-shaped magic weapon of the Sun Shooting Technique. He was born for the living dead Xiao Qi Feng. The living dead Xiao Qi Feng is a great monk, but he is missing the nascent soul and the ghosts control the body of the living dead Xiao Qi Feng on his behalf. Although there is no Yuanying, the body of the great monk is the body of the great monk. Its power far exceeds that of the monks in the middle stage of Yuanying. Reaching an incredible level, the body of a great monk does not need to practice any physical training techniques at all. The defense and strength of his body, if he does not have special attack capabilities, cannot be hurt by a mid-stage nascent soul monk even if he stands there. Its power is even capable of destroying the body of a monk in the middle stage of Yuanying with one punch. In terms of physical body alone, the physical body of a great monk is not at the same level as that of a monk in the middle stage of Yuanying. Li Shiming summoned the living dead Xiao Qi Feng, who was controlled by the ghost. Although the aura of the great monk on the living dead Xiao Qi Feng was very weak due to the lack of nascent soul, the aura of the great monk could still affect the early and middle nascent soul monks within a certain range. Fortunately, the living dead Xiao Qi Feng was controlled by the Heavenly Ghost. And the Heavenly Ghost was his contract. Which weakened this influence to the extreme. He threw the Thundering Mysterious Bow to the living dead Xiao Qi Feng. And the living dead Xiao Qi Feng took the Thundering Mysterious Bow. Under Li Shiming's order, Tian Gui controlled the living dead Xiao Qi Feng to open the Thunder Mysterious Bow. Li Shiming, who was standing on the side, retreated for a hundred meters far away from the living dead Xiao Qi Feng. The main reason was that the accumulated energy condensed on the Thunder Mysterious Bow was so terrifying that he felt that it would destroy everything when it exploded. A feeling of he could only draw a third of the Thunder Mysterious Bow, but in the hands of the living dead Xiao Qi Feng, it was easily pulled open and the bow was fully drawn. After the living dead Xiao Qi Feng fully drew the bow, he maintained the posture of drawing the bow. At this time, the 30 million power storage formation of Thunder Mysterious Bao crazily converted the power into energy. And as the living dead Xiao Qi Feng maintained, a steady stream of power continues to be input into the Bao body and is converted into energy. 
Li Shiming judged that it only takes 10 breaths to fully charge the 30 million energy storage formations in the thundering mysterious bow. He shook his head. If he were allowed to charge it by himself, he might not be able to fully charge the 30 million power charging formation for a whole day. This does not store energy according to the proportion of drawing the bow, but to store energy according to the strength. There is an insurmountable gap between his power and the living dead Xiao Qi Feng. After the living dead Xiao Qi Feng opened the thunder mysterious bow for more than 10 breaths, he could no longer increase the power stored in the thunder mysterious bow. Li Shiming deliberately kept the living dead Xiao Qi Feng for another 100 breaths and found that the living dead Xiao Qi Feng had not reached the limit at all and he could not even detect the limit of the living dead Xiao Qi Feng's power. The energy arrows condensed on the thunder mysterious bow have reached the upper level of the fourth grade, which is also the design limit of the Thunder Mysterious Bow. The terrifying power of the living dead Xiao Qi Feng made the Thunder Mysterious Bow fully reach the design authority in his hands. Let go! Li Shiming gave the order to Tian Gui. The living dead Xiao Qi Feng let go of his bowstring, and with a bow that shook the space, an arrow was shot out that could barely be seen, even with his clairvoyance. Li Shiming previously thought that there was no method in the world of immortality that could match the rate of fire of the electromagnetic gun when it fired the fourth grade top cone shaped magic weapon. But he found that he was wrong. The arrows fired by the thunder mysterious bow of the living dead master Zhao Qi Feng after 10 breaths of energy reached a rate of fire similar to that of the electromagnetic cannon. The arrows shot by the thundering mysterious bow began to decline in speed only after they had flown a full 200 miles. Although the thunder black bow is still incomparable to the electromagnetic cannon in terms of attack distance. It leaves the electromagnetic cannon far behind in terms of power. The arrow flew out, leaving a faint mark of space rupture in the space of 200 miles. When Li Shiming felt the power of the arrow, his scalp was numb. Faced with this attack, he was afraid that he could not even dodge and was shot dead on the spot. It is unimaginable that the great monk Xiao Qi Feng, the living dead, and the fourth grade top calamity weapon, Thunder Mysterious Bow, could achieve such power. He didn't know whether the power of the Thunder Mysterious Bow could threaten the Great Monk, because he couldn't give an accurate judgment on the Great Monk's combat power. But he was certain that if the enemy was the living dead Xiao Qi Feng, his strength was similar. The Great Monk's physical defense alone is absolutely unable to withstand the arrows shot by the Thundering Mysterious Bow. Li Shiming was very happy. He had another way to improve his combat power. It was not just a slight improvement, but an extreme improvement. He can be 100% sure that among the monks in the middle stage of Yuanying, there is probably no middle stage Yuanying monk who can withstand an arrow shot by the living dead Xiao Qi Feng using the Thundering Mysterious Bow. Although the Thunder Mysterious Bow he designed was derived from the Juying Sun Art, the design of the weapon exceeded the expected power of the weapon refining bow type magic weapon recorded in Juying the Sun Art. The Thunder Black Bow converts the power of the living dead Xiao Qi Feng into a long range attack. It even converts 100% of the power of the living dead Xiao Qi Feng into a long-range attack. In other words, the full blow of the Thunder Mysterious Bow is equivalent to the effect of a full blow from the living dead Xiao Qi Feng at close range. No, it should be the full force blow of the living dead Xiao Qi Feng using his natal magic weapon. Qian Ai's Divine Whip. Hit Effect. These are Li Shiming's estimates. The main reason is that the current power of the Thundering Mysterious Bow is beyond the scope of his level of ability to accurately judge. He put away the living dead Xiao Qi Feng. Now the living dead Xiao Qi Feng has two magic weapons. One is the Thunder Mysterious Bow, and the other is the Xi Bing Divine Whip. One is far, and the other is near. Li Shiming activated the invisibility effect of the color-changing cloak, and used close to the end to return to the sect. After traveling a certain distance, he sensed the auras of the four Lei Xiao and couldn't help but be surprised. He restrained his breath, and was not noticed by the four Lei Xiao. The main four Lei Xiao did not hide their auras at all, so he could sense them from a distance. Li Shiming observed the four Lei cultivators through his spiritual eyes. From the breath alone, he found that all four Lei cultivators were Lei cultivators who practiced the Jade Pure Thunder Code. From the observation of Shenmu, it was discovered that the magic weapons on the four Lei Xiao all had the mark of Jade Qing Sect. It's strange. How come there are so many Lei Xiao of Yuching Sect? He had some inexplicable questions. You must know that the Yuching Sect is far away in the Xi'an continent. In the past, 
Lei Xiu of the Yuqing sect was rarely seen in the Eastern Qi continent. The last time he saw Lei Xiu of the Yuqing sect come to the Eastern Qi continent, Wang Yuan of the Yuqing sect was besieged by the monks of the Baidi sect. Later, two great monks from the Yuqing sect and the Baidi sect came to investigate the matter. After more than a year of investigation, the two monks left without any results. Later, the Yuqing sect also sent a middle stage nascent soul Lei Xiu to the Eastern Qi continent. Li Shiming knew about this through the sect's intelligence. Li Shiming has been paying attention to the news about Yuqing sect and Baidi sect. The intelligence system of Wancho sect has not discovered that Yuqing sect's nascent soul monks have come to the East Qi continent. He frowned slightly, feeling that trouble was coming. He knew how precious the Chishao Thunder Bead was, and it was a treasure that could enhance the power of a small realm. Even he, a monk in the early stage of nascent soul, was unable to exert the 101 power of the Chishao Thunder Bead. Li Shiming even suspected that the Chishao Thunder Bead might have the same effect on improving the powers of the Mahayana period. If that were the case, it would not be strange for Yuqing sect to send a large number of Lei Xiao to the Eastern Qi continent. But the Yuqing sect's investigation method needs to be discussed. If the four nascent soul Lei Xiao he saw were all, it can be said that the Yuqing sect has stepped up its investigation work. If the four nascent soul Lei Xiao were only part of it, then the combat power mobilized by the Yuqing sect was not just for investigation. Li Shiming thought in his mind, and through his natal magic weapon Z15, he issued an order to the drone satellite system to monitor the four nascent soul Lei Xiao, and pay attention to the whereabouts of these four nascent soul Lei Xiao at all times. He did not alert the four nascent soul Lei Xiao, but left quietly. In addition, he took out the identity jade plate and reported the findings here to his master, Brother Hu. If the Yuqing sect really makes any moves, it would be better to let the 10,000 B sect know in advance. Shurjin, are you out? Brother Hu sent a reply asking. Yes, master, I am returning to the sect. He replied through his identity. Don't stay outside. The four Yuqing sect nascent soul Lei Xiao you just reported are just part of the Yuqing sect's nascent soul Lei Xiao sent to the eastern Qi continent. According to the information coming from everywhere, the Yuqing sect has at least 30 nascent soul Lei Xiao, who is above the rank, arrived in the eastern Qi continent. The 10,000 beast sect and the other three major local sects are already in negotiation. The sects have ways to deal with it. It is too easy for you to be found practicing the Jade Clear Thunder Cannon. Outside, don't leave the sect again after you come back. In the future, I'm afraid there will be chaos in the Eastern Qi continent. Brother Hu reminded. As expected, Li Shiming thought with a sigh in his heart. 30 Yuqing sect nascent soul Lei Xiao were discovered. So how many were not discovered? Yuqing sect sent so many nascent soul Lei Xiao. It is impossible to investigate the matter of Shishao Thunder Bead. It is more likely to seize the territory. If it really occupied the Eastern Qi continent, then they want to investigate. Shishao Thunder Bead. The matter of Thunder Beads is even more convenient. Chapter 622 Invasion The White Sun Gate in the Eastern Qi continent occupies the most ore rich place in the Dayua Mountains, which is related to the White Sun Gate's own strength. The White Sun Sect is the top existence among the medium sized forces in the Eastern Qi continent. There are nearly a dozen monks in the middle stage of nascent soul alone. If there had been no great monks, it might have become a major sect long ago. On this day, the grand formation of the White Sun sect was fully opened, and the auras of mid-stage nascent soul monks and early-stage nascent soul monks were all over the formation. The leader of the Berry sect was sitting in the main hall of the sect with an ugly expression. The Berry sect's intelligence system received a message that the Yuqing sect had found out that the Berry sect was involved in the attack on the core monks of the Yuqing sect. The sect leader cursed the Yuqing sect for being shameless in his heart. This was clearly the Yuqing sect's excuse to deal with the Berry sect. A core monk of the Yuqing sect, Lei Xiao in the early stage of Yuanying. Even if the Berry sect devotes all its combat power, it will be difficult to keep him. That is the core monk of the Yuqing sect, and may not be able to compete with the Berry sects many the monks in the middle stage of nascent soul fought a battle. But it was easy to escape. Which core monk of a superpower does not have a life-saving trump card? Unless he encounters a great monk. A mid-stage Yuanying monk alone cannot keep the core monks from an early stage Yuanying. What shocked the sect leader the most was the attitude of other sects. The Yuqing sect is preparing to deal with the Berry sect in the name of revenge, which gives other sects the best excuse to avoid enmity with the superpower. The sect leader sighed. He secretly hated these short-sighted sections. Since the Yuqing sect could use this excuse against the Berry sect, 
he could use the same excuse against those sects in the future. Has there been any reply to the message sent to the Taichu sect? The sect leader thought of something and asked another mid-stage nascent soul monk on the side. The Taichu sect replied, saying that it cannot interfere in such private feuds between sects. The mid-stage nascent soul monk shook his head bitterly. The Taichu sect is planning to give up on us, the sect leader said in a deep voice. He was very unwilling to do so. The Berry sect paid a large amount of resources to the Taichu sect every year. Unexpectedly, the Taichu sect did not help if something happened. In fact, he had also guessed this result. When the two great monks of the Yuching sect and the Baidi sect almost broke open the mountain gate of the Hidden Sun sect, which is as famous as the Taichu sect, you can know the strength gap between the superpower and the big power. It is normal for the Taichu sect not to offend the Yuching sect. The Berry sect is just doing its best to send out rescues and obey fate. Are the sect's inheritance and seeds safe? The sect leader asked the mid-nascent soul monk who is responsible for this matter. The White Sun sect has developed to this extent. And no monk in the sect wants to give up. But in order to continue the inheritance of the White Sun sect, they still made preparations. That is to send away the sect's inheritance and the most talented young disciples in the sect. So that at least the Berry sect's inheritance can continue. It's very safe. It's a secret channel. The monk in the middle stage of nascent soul replied with certainty. That's good. Let's try to have a chance encounter with the Yuching sect. If things don't work out, we'll agree to give up this mountain gate. The sect leader gritted his teeth and thought for a while before speaking. Even if he didn't give it a try, he still wouldn't give up. As a monk, he didn't even see any kind of monk sent by the Yuching sect. So he was so scared that he even gave up the mountain gate and they no longer had to hang out in the world of immortality. While discussing here, continuous warnings came from the sect's formation. Here, let's go out and take a look, the door owner said in a deep voice. The nine mid-stage nascent soul monks rose to the sky above the mountain gate, looking into the distance in the sect's formation. At this sight, they all took a deep breath. From the information coming from the sect's formation and what they saw with their own eyes, they knew what kind of combat power the Yuching sect had sent. The person who came to the Yuching sect was a great monk. This great monk was very famous in the eastern Qi continent because it was this great monk who, together with another great monk of the Baidi sect, almost destroyed the Hidden Sun sect. The great monk Wang He alone is enough to break through the mountain gate of Berryman. But the people coming from the Yuching sect were far from being the great monk Wang He. Around the White Sun sect, there were 30 lay cultivators in the early stage of nascent soul and 5 lay Xiao in the middle nascent soul surrounding the entire Bai Sun sect tightly. The Yuching sect is preparing to destroy the family, the sect leader murmured. If it was only for a mountain gate, and great monk Wang he appeared outside Berryman Mountain Gate, he would be qualified to ask Berryman to simply give up the mountain gate. But it was obvious that the Yuching sect wanted more than that. With so many Lei Xiao, not to mention dealing with a Berry sect, even any one of the four major local sects could destroy it. Senior Wang, our Berry gate is willing to surrender and everything in the Berry Gate will be left to your sect. Even though he had guessed the outcome, the sect leader still wanted to struggle. And he said loudly, at this time, he no longer had the pride he had before, and wanted to have a chance with Yu Ching Zong, because he was not qualified to do so. He was an egg and Yu Ching Zong was steel. Kill! He was answered by the cold voice of the great monk Wang He. At the beginning, the power of the alliance between the great monk Wang He and the great monk Yin Gao was extremely terrifying but they were not from the same sect, and they could not really achieve a perfect fit in terms of cooperation. The Lei Xiao who surrounded Berryman this time were all Lei Xiao from the Jade Qin sect. After the great monk Wang Yi issued the order, five mid-stage nascent soul lay cultivators and thirty early-stage nascent soul lay cultivators, including the great monk Wang Yi, used the super-level thunder method together. The thunder method was performed by one great monk. Five mid-stage nascent souls and 30 early-stage nascent soul lay cultivators. Just looking at this lineup is enough to frighten people. Not to mention, the thunder method they performed was the Yuching Purple Thunder Method of Yuching Sect. This was not a thunder method that a single nascent soul stage monk could perform. If the Yuching Purple Thunder Method is set to a standard, it should be regarded as a thunder method that can only be performed by powerful people in the Mahayana stage. But it is completed by a large number of nascent soul thunder cultivators. Although it cannot reach the power of the great powers in the Mahayana stage, it also exceeds the power of the thunder method in the nascent soul stage. Terrifying thunderclouds gathered in the sky, and every lay cultivator of Yuching sect 
was constantly hitting the thunderclouds in the sky one by one. Although the leader of the White Sun sect knew that this thunder method was terrifying, he did not dare to go out of the mountain gate formation. Without the mountain gate formation, monks like them would die faster if they faced so many thunder cultivators. The only hope now is that the mountain gate formation can resist for a while and see if things turn around. A purple sky thunder fell from the thunder cloud and it destroyed the Berry Gate Mountain Gate formation in just one stroke. Unimaginable power enveloped Berryman Mountain Gate and all the monks below the nascent soul stage were shocked to the point where their souls collapsed. No! The sect master let out a cry of grief. After countless years of hard work and countless generations of monks' efforts, the White Sun sect was destroyed in his hands. The great monk Wang He did not speak. All his energy was spent on controlling the Jade Purple Thunder Method. He did not want to completely destroy the Berry Gate. This mountain gate was still of some use to the Yuching sect. The geographical environment here was very convenient. It was located in the west of the Dongchi continent, with the ocean thousands of miles away. Yu Zone wanted to have a base in the eastern Qi continent, and this was the base he chose. As for making enemies, Bai Ryman doesn't have the qualifications to do so. He controlled Zilei, without too many attacks, and every attack would kill a nascent soul cultivator. Purple thunder and lightning fell one after another, and none of the nascent soul cultivators in the Berry sect were able to escape, and they were all killed by the Jade Purple Thunder Method. In just a few breaths, Great Monk Wang Yi smiled coldly and looked into the distance. He knew that there were monks from other sects in the Eastern Qi continent observing him. This was exactly what he wanted. Only by intimidating the local forces with strong strength can he facilitate his layout. The reason why one of the four major sects was not destroyed was because once one of them was touched, it would be equivalent to becoming an enemy of all the forces in the Eastern Qi continent. After having a place to stay, Establishing a base here will allow Lei Xiao from the Yuching sect to continue coming. At the same time, it can also put pressure on the Eastern Qi continent and win over and divide a group of forces. The mountain gate of Berry Gate is well preserved. And the great monk Wang Yi dispersed the thunder clouds of Jade Purple Thunder Method in the sky. With a wave of his hand, all Lei Xiao flew into Berryman Mountain Gate, which was occupied by Yuching sect. The destruction of the Berry clan by the Yuching sect was like a thunder in the entire eastern Qi continent, shocking all the forces. The four major local sects reacted immediately. They strongly condemned Yuching sect's actions and at the same time contacted the forces they had made friends with. Li Shiming stayed in the 10,000 Beasts sect. Apart from refining elixirs, he was practicing almost all of them. He also knew about the major events happening in the eastern Qi continent, and he was even more frightened about the Yuching sect. Whether it was the Yuching Thunder Cannon, he practiced or the Chishao Thunder Bead and other treasures. He was frightened. He is on the opposite side of Yuqingzong. The good thing is that he is in the dark while Yuqingzong is in the Ming Dynasty. And Yuqingzong doesn't know of his existence yet. Shurjin, come here. I need your help with something. Monk who sent a rare message, asking Li Shiming to go to the cave in Xixiang Cave. Li Shiming always kept a nascent soul idol. So after hearing the message from Brother Hu, he immediately responded, while flying towards the four elephant cave heaven, he stopped the cultivation state of the other four Yuanyings. Even when facing his master, Master Hu, he was unwilling to expose his five nascent souls. Entering Monk Hu's cave, he felt the breath of another big monk. This was the breath of a strange big monk and did not belong to any big monk in the sect. Although he had not seen all the great monks of the sect, the aura of this great monk was so special that he understood that he did not belong to the great monk of the 10,000 beast sect. The aura of this great monk is extremely powerful, much stronger than that of great monk Hu. As far as Li Shiming knew, although there were five great monks in the 10,000 B sect, the strength of the five great monks was not much different. This is related to the resources of the great monks. At least the resources of the great monks that the 10,000 beasts sect can obtain can only enable the great monks to maintain their own cultivation. If you want to rely on the resources of the great monks to improve your own cultivation, the resources of the great monks required are not those of the 10,000 beasts. Zone can provide. Li Shiming met a strange senior monk. This was a graceful female monk. She was wearing palace clothes embroidered with colorful phoenixes and a phoenix hairpin on her head. She was not a normal monk's robe. Shurjin, come and see Uncle Li. Brother who waved and said with a smile when he saw Li Shiming arriving. Li Shiming didn't know what the uncle was talking about. But he still honestly stepped forward and bowed. This is your little disciple. You have found a good talent. Brother Li smiled softly, waved his hand to help Li Shiming up, 
and said to Brother Hu. Li Shiming only felt a gentle force lifting his body. Although this force was gentle, it was irresistible. This made the pride he originally had for having the thunder mysterious bow in his hand be shattered into pieces in an instant. Just by relying on the tip of the iceberg that Brotherly casually exposed, he could tell that even if the living dead Xiao Qi Feng used the thunder mysterious bow to attack Brotherly, he would not be able to harm her at all. I heard that you contracted a red gold phoenix. Please summon it and let me see it. Brotherly said to Li Shiming with a smile. Her words were very soft, but with an unquestionable majesty. Brother who on the side signaled to Li Shiming, asking Li Shiming to listen to Brother Li's words. Li Shiming waved his hand to summon Xiao Feng. Xiao Feng, who was already in the fourth grade, was still like a child. As soon as he appeared, he surrounded him and asked for food. However, Xiao Feng stopped after taking a breath of joy. It sensed the existence of the two great monks, especially the great monk Li. The aura of Brotherly made Xiao Feng particularly friendly. Xiao Feng turned to look at Brotherly with curious eyes. You have done a good job in training. Brotherly nodded and said to Li Shiming. She turned to look at Xiao Feng. And when she stretched out her hand, an extra spiritual pill came out and was sent to Xiao Feng. Xiao Feng seemed to be attracted by the elixir. After thinking about it, she looked back at Li Shiming. As if waiting for Li Shiming's consent. Li Shiming sensed that it was a spiritual elixir that contained a strong phoenix aura. He did not know what kind of raw materials it was refined from. In his eyes, its refining level could only be regarded as average. But this elixir was indeed extremely beneficial to Xiao Feng. Beneficial. Thank you, Uncle Li. Li Shiming bowed and thanked, and nodded to Xiao Feng. Xiao Feng stepped forward and took the elixir from Brother Li's hand, then raised his head and drank the elixir. It chirped softly, and Li Shiming connected with it and understood its meaning. It needed some time to absorb the energy in the elixir. Li Shiming waved his hand and put Xiao Feng away again. Look at this red gold phoenix. If it weren't for the fact that you are a male cultivator, I would have taken you away. Brotherly said with a smile. Li Shiming is very young. A monk of this age, who is close to the peak of the early stage of Yuanying is an extremely rare genius even among superpowers. Xiao Feng, the red golden phoenix, is even younger. Li Shiming alone and Xiao Feng's strength are enough to occupy a place among the younger generation of monks. Chapter 623 Secret Senior Sisterly It's a good thing that Wanfeng Palace only accepts female cultivators. Otherwise, I wouldn't even have the youngest disciple. Brother who said with a smile to Brother Li. When Li Shiming heard the name, Luanfeng Palace, he couldn't help but be curious. This is definitely not a force in the Eastern Qi continent. He has never heard of Luanfeng Palace and doesn't know what kind of force it is. But judging from the realm of Monkly, Luanfeng Palace is at least stronger than the 10,000 Beasts sect. Even if there is only one great monk, Brother Li, in Luanfeng Palace, Brother Li's strength is enough to suppress the 10,000 Beasts sect. Shurjin, I asked you to come here firstly to meet Uncle Li, and secondly to make you a pot of spiritual tea. Brother who then said to Li Shiming. Li Shiming could see that brother who attached great importance to Brother Li. Although brother who was Li Shiming's master, he had never asked him to come over to make spiritual tea to entertain guests. In addition, even if they are close friends, as long as they are not monks of the sect, brother who will not lead people to the cave in Sishion Cave, there is a place within the sect specifically for receiving guests. And that is where the guests are prepared. Yes! Li Shiming responded. He took out the fourth grade spiritual tea that he had fried by himself. And then took out the fourth grade Tai Chi Bouting. This was his best fourth grade alchemy furnace. He mobilized his red yang spiritual fire. Took the fourth grade spiritual spring. Stimulated all the spirituality in the fourth grade spiritual tea in the Tai Chi Bouting. And brewed a pot of spiritual tea. Even the knowledgeable monthly was watching his movements quietly. Smelling the scent of the fourth grade spiritual tea emanating from the Tai Chi tripod. With a surprised smile on her face. Uncle Li. Master. Please. Li Shiming placed a pot of brewed fourth grade spiritual tea in front of the two great monks and said. Senior sisterly. Come and taste the top notch fourth grade spiritual tea. If my disciple is second in frying and making tea. No monk dares to be first. Brother who poured the wine for Brother Li he drank a cup of spiritual tea and said proudly. In front of Brother Li. Brother who was a head shorter. Being able to show some sense of superiority in front of Brotherly put him in a great mood. Although Brotherly was a little impatient. Her good cultivation allowed her to lift the teacup gracefully. Put it to her mouth and took a sip. Junior brother who? Just for this spiritual tea. I want to take your disciple back to Luanfeng Palace. 
after a long time. Brotherly put down the teacup and said with a chuckle. Her words were half true and half false. But they made brother whose smile fade. He didn't know what to say for a moment. Ha ha. I won't take away people's love. But I want to take some of this spiritual tea back. Seeing the expression on brother whose face, brotherly couldn't help but chuckled and waved his hand. That's no problem. I'll prepare it for you when you leave. Brother who quickly replied with a smile. Lee Shimming stood aside with his hands tied. He had never seen brother who so frustrated. He was afraid to listen more. Fearing that brother, who would cause trouble for him later. Senior sisterly, your cave is ready. And a new mountain will be moved next to my cave. Brother who continued. Lee Shimming was really shocked. Brother Lee was not only a guest, but also stayed here for a long time. This was something that had never happened before. Even though he had not been in the 10,000 Beasts sect for a long time. He had read many sect books. And he still knew what had happened in the sect before. In the cave, at the center of the Four Elephant Cave, only the great monks of the sect are qualified to live there. Who is this great monkly? How could the 10,000 Beasts sect specifically move a mountain to the center of the Four Elephant Cave? The news I got is that the Yuching sect is planning to intervene in the Eastern Chi continent this time. If the Yuching sect wants to break the balance of power, they don't dare to chip their teeth. Brotherly didn't pay much attention to the matter in the cave, said with a smile. The Berry sect was destroyed, and the Yuching sect occupied the Dayua Mountains. Fortunately, the senior sister came in time. Otherwise, the Yuching sect might one day attack the 10,000 Bees sect. Think about that day when the Sunrise sect's mountain gate was attacked. I don't want the 10,000 Beasts sect to suffer such a result. Brother, who was full of helplessness when he mentioned the Yuching sect. As a fellow great monk, he saw with his own eyes the terror of great monk Wang He. And great monk Wang He was only one of the many great monks of the Yuching sect. And there were even stronger beings above great monk Wang He. Of course, if the Yuching sect wanted to intervene in the Eastern Chi continent, it would be impossible to send more than a great monk. If the existence of more than the great monks is dispatched, it will really break the balance of forces and lead to the existence of more than the great monks of various super forces. The consequence of that will be chaos in the entire world of immortality. Unless it is absolutely necessary. The great monk is the strongest combat power that a super force can use. Once it is deployed beyond the existence of the great monk, its influence will lead to dangerous consequences. Li Shiming stood aside, listening to the two great monks talking about secret matters. The two great monks had no intention of hiding anything from Li Shiming. As the direct disciple of the great monk who, he was qualified to know some secrets. It's just that no one would take the initiative to talk about these secrets. Now that he encountered them, they wouldn't stop him from understanding them. Li Shiming finally understood the relationship between Wanfeng Palace and the 10,000 Beasts sect. The 10,000 Beasts sect was a sect separated from Wanfeng Palace. Wanfeng Palace had its own special features, and only admitted female cultivators. Initially, the 10,000 B sect was a peripheral force of Wanfeng Palace. There was no distinction between male and female cultivators to join the 10,000 B sect. The 10,000 B sect came to the Eastern Chi continent by chance more than 10,000 years ago and became the largest sect in the Eastern Chi continent, occupying a large area of the Eastern Chi continent. This was not without the support of Wanfeng Palace. Although the 10,000 Bees sect is no longer a peripheral force of Wanfeng Palace, the relationship between the two parties is still very close. Both sides come from the same source. The 10,000 Bees sect still needs the care of Wanfeng Palace from time to time. And Wanfeng Palace also needs 10,000 Beasts. Zong recruited extremely talented female cultivators for the palace in the Eastern Chi continent. As a disciple of you, with the aura of Jade Purity Thunder Code, I'm afraid it will be difficult for you to go out in the future. Brotherly changed the topic and returned to Li Shiming. When Li Shiming came, he didn't know that his master, brother who, had guests here. So what he revealed was Lei Xiao's aura. This is also his normal aura. Instead, it is the toward intention climbing into the sky technique. A technique that even his master, brother who, does not know. Shurjin had some luck of his own. He received the inheritance of the Yuqing Lei Canon and practiced it before joining my sect. The Yuqing sect rarely acted in the Eastern Qi continent before. But nothing happened. I have already warned him. Let him stay in the sect from now on. Brother who explained with a smile. As a master, you don't help your disciples think of a solution. Brother Li shook her head and said. She took out a jade talisman and handed it to Li Shiming and said. This is the hidden phoenix jade talisman. You, you can hide your specific aura by carrying it with you. 
Thank you. Masterly. Lee Shiming did not expect that this great monthly would be so generous. He had already given a meeting gift before. Although the meeting gift was given to Xiao Feng. Xiao Feng was his spiritual pet. So it was equivalent to giving it to him. Now Brother Lee took out the Hidden Phoenix J Talisman. Again. And this was really given to him. The Hidden Phoenix J Talisman. Is carved from top grade 4th grade Jade. Lee Shiming cannot judge its technique. It should be made using some secret method. This can almost be regarded as a top-level 4th grade spiritual object. Although it is not a magic weapon, it still has unique effects. Senior Sisterly, it seems that you need to ask Churjin to prepare more 4th grade spiritual tea for you. Brother who glanced at the Hidden Phoenix J Talisman and said with a smile, I like this kid Churjin. Brotherly said with a chuckle, Since Monthly lives in Sishong Cave, which is the most secretive place in the 10,000 Beasts sect. Most of the monks in the sect don't know that there is an additional great cultivator in the 10,000 Beasts sect. Although Li Shiming had the Hidden Phoenix Jade Talisman, he did not leave the sect. Speaking of the Hidden Phoenix Jade Talisman, its effect of hiding the breath is very powerful. Not only can it hide the breath, but it can also hide anyone or several designated breaths on his body. This allows him to use five nascent souls at the same time without worrying about exposing too much aura for other monks to notice the existence of the five nascent souls. His peaceful days did not last long. And the four major sects finally came into conflict with the Yuching sect. The source of the conflict is that the Yuching sect expanded outward from the Dayuan Mountains and violated the interests of the four major sects. You must know that after more than 10,000 years of development, the resource allocation of the Eastern Qi continent has long been fixed even if there are some controversial resources. It is a matter between the four major sects. The four major sects use the disputed resources to send monks to fight against each other, so as to sharpen their disciples. The Yuching sect's seizure of disputed resources touched the core interests of the four major sects. The four major sects worked together and fought battles with the Yuching sect everywhere. The 10,000 Beast sect has also issued mandatory combat missions to all nascent soul monks. And no nascent soul monk is an exception. This is a battle for survival, not an ordinary conflict. Li Shiming, a master of alchemy, also received a mandatory combat mission. His mandatory combat mission should be based on his status as an alchemy master. All he needs to do is go to a resource point and station there. He checked the location of the resource point and found it was very far away from the Dai Viet Mountains. He thought it would not be easy to get there during the battle. After saying goodbye to his master, Brother Hu, he flew to the mission target. When leaving the mountain gate, he could feel the tense atmosphere at the mountain gate. The sect formation was fully activated. And the monks inside the mountain gate seemed to be in a hurry. The Xuanxi Mountains are a resource point for the 10,000 B sect to cultivate 3rd and 4th grade resources. Not only does this place have multiple nascent soul level spiritual veins, but it also has a unique natural environment and a large amount of natural spiritual soil. When Li Shiming came here, he took out his identity jade disc and open the formation to enter the resource point. Masterly, I have been waiting for you for a long time. A fat monk in the early stage of Yuaning welcomed him with a smile. Senior Brother Khan, excuse me. Li Shiming also said with a smile. He had never dealt with this Senior Brother Kong Yuan before. Mainly because this Senior Brother Kong Yuan had been stationed in the Xuanxi Mountains for a long time and rarely returned to the sect. In addition, the time he joined the 10,000 Beasts sect was a bit short. For nascent soul monks, who often keep track of years. The time he joined the sect was just a period of retreat. It's not surprising that Kong Yuan knows Li Shiming. Although Li Shiming has only joined the 10,000 Beasts sect for a short time. Li Shiming's reputation is so great that he is known as the number one alchemy master in the eastern Qi continent. This title is enough to make any nascent soul cultivator pay attention to him. Kong Yuan had been waiting when he heard that Li Shiming, the master of alchemy, was coming. He knew very well the benefits of becoming friends with Li Shiming, the master of alchemy. In the past, he had no choice but to make friends. This time, Li Shiming was stationed with him. With this opportunity, he would be a fool if he didn't seize it. Master Li, please don't call me Senior Brother Kong. Just call me by my name Kong Yuan. You deserve to be called Senior Brother. Kong Yuan waved his hand and said, when he heard Li Shiming calling him Senior Brother, judging from the time he joined the sect, Kong Yuan is naturally his senior brother, but in the world of immortality, seniority is calculated based on the time of joining the sect. In the world of immortality, strength has always been respected. Kong Yuan has been practicing for hundreds of years. 
but he is only about half of the early Yuanning stage. While Li Shiming state is close to the peak of the early Yuanning stage, which makes him unable to withstand it. Then I'm not welcome. Don't call me master. Just call me Shirjin. Li Shiming replied with a smile. We are performing a mission together, and we don't know how long we will be together. So we really don't need to be too polite to each other. Ha ha. Then I'll call you Shirjin. Kong Yuan agreed with a smile. Are you the only one stationed here? Li Shiming asked curiously, not sensing the aura of other monks. According to the information given by the sect, the Xuanxi Mountain Range is a resource point for cultivating third and fourth grade resources. Why is it that only Kong Yuan is stationed in such an important place? It's not that he looks down on Kong Yuan, but Kong Yuan is just an early Yuanying monk. Normally, such resource points require mid-stage Yuanying monks to garrison them. Even if there are no middle-stage nascent soul monks here, there should be several early-stage nascent soul monks stationed together. The resources produced at this resource point will only mature every hundreds of years, and they don't need much care. In addition, it is close to the other two resource points. The monk stationed at those two resource points can come to support at any time. So there is only one person here, Kong Yuan explained with a smile. He welcomed Li Shiming into the formation. And Li Shiming also saw that the cultivated elixirs were indeed elixirs that had been cultivated for a long time. In addition, the natural environment here was special and did not require special care. Kong Yuan took Li Shiming to the garrison cave. Li Shiming found that the garrison cave was located at the center of multiple Yuanying level spiritual veins and mobilized the spiritual energy of multiple Yuanying level spiritual veins through formations. Making the garrison cave the aura is very strong. Of course, the richness of spiritual energy is a relative term. Compared with the nascent soul cave in the 10,000 beast sect, it is still inferior. But the cave in the wild is extremely good. Chapter 624 Signal In the Xuanxi Mountains, Li Shiming was checking the formations at the resource points here. The formations here were also written by the formation master. But in his eyes, he found many problems. He did not touch the original formation, but added the fourth grade formation flag he brought to the formation. Strengthening the formation at the resource point here, he doesn't care about anything else. He only does this to ensure his own safety. When he leaves, he will take away the fourth grade formation flag and restore the formation to its original state. Kong Yuan had no objection to what Li Shiming did. Kong Yuan knew deeply that Li Shiming's status in the 10,000 Beasts sect was far higher than his own. And he would not oppose Li Shiming on such matters. Besides, this is a good thing. With Li Shiming's wealth, strengthening the formation at this time is also ensuring his own safety. Shurjin, this is the spiritual fruit I planted. And I give it to you to try. On the second day after Li Shiming moved into the garrison cave, Kong Yuan brought the spiritual fruit and came to see Li Shiming. Kong Yuan, come in quickly. I just happen to have good tea here. Li Shiming smiled and invited Kong Yuan into the cave hall. Kong Yuan was very good. There were originally four garrison caves, but he gave the best one to Li Shiming, which is the garrison cave where Li Shiming lives now. Li Shiming discovered this after moving in, and Li Shiming naturally wanted to take advantage of it. Kong Yuan placed the spiritual fruit on the table. The spiritual fruit was a fourth grade spiritual fruit he planted here, although it was not very precious. It was the best treat he could offer. He produced spiritual fruit, and Li Shiming produced spiritual tea, which was roasted by Li Shiming himself. Kong Yuan had heard about this spiritual tea for a long time, but unfortunately, spiritual tea of this quality was not within his reach. He smelled the spirit tea and felt that he seemed a little unable to handle the fourth grade spirit fruit. His original plan was unable to be expressed because of the fourth grade spiritual tea in his hand. Kong Yuan, we will be together for a while. If you have anything to say, just tell me. Li Shiming noticed his hesitation and said with a smile, I have also saved some elixirs over the years, and I would like to ask you to help me refine the elixir. I understand the rules, and I have prepared the reward. Kong Yuan said as he took out several fourth grade lower level weapon refining materials all of which were refined. Materials for making fourth grade flying swords. Li Shiming smiled and did not tell Kong Yuan that he got the news too late. His current reward for alchemy was no longer the fourth grade weapon refining material. The clone Li Yuanba can independently add a fourth grade flying sword to Wanjin Peak. Li Yuanba uses alchemy to exchange the fourth grade flying sword with the sword cultivator of Sword Intention Chengshao Pavilion. The sword intention contained in the fourth grade flying sword has various types. Sex is more suitable for 10,000 swords peak. You have prepared the elixir. 
I have no plans to retreat these days. I will start refining the elixir when I have nothing to do. Li Shiming said with a smile. It's been prepared a long time ago. This is the elixir, and this is the reward. Kong Yuan smiled broadly. He took out two storage bags and handed them over and said. Li Shiming took the storage bag, scanned the spiritual objects inside with his consciousness, and put the storage bag aside. Kong Yuan's elixir was almost enough to open 20 furnaces. It was obvious that Kong Yuan had been saving it for a long time. It is not easy for a garrison monk who is stationed here to obtain 4th grade elixir. He could only exchange it with the reward of the garrison mission. In the days that followed, the resource point here was extremely peaceful. In the outside world, the domineering behavior of Lei Xiao of Yuching sect was increasingly revealed. The Yuching sect also had a plan long ago. After occupying the Dayuan Mountains, it relied on the Dayuan Mountains to expand to the surrounding areas. The surrounding small and medium-sized forces all obeyed the Yuching sect's orders obediently. This was also the deterrent brought about by the Yuching sect's extermination of the Berry sect. No force is willing to become the second Berry sect. You must know that the Berry sect is the strongest sect in this area. Even in the eastern Qi continent, the White Sun sect is the sect closest to the major sects among the four major sects. Even if the four major local sects came forward, they could not resist the trend of surrender of various forces. In fact, the Hidden Sun sect among the four major local sects was almost wiped out by two great monks. The influence of this incident has not dissipated, and it has been widely spread with the invasion of the Yuching sect. There is a shadow of the Yuching sect in this, and the Yuching sect uses various means to suppress the influence of the four major local sects. As the purpose of the Yuching sect became more and more obvious, the four major local sects also began to fight back. Throughout the eastern Qi continent, battles between nascent soul cultivators occurred from time to time, and nascent soul Lei Xiao was involved in almost every battle. Some of these battles were initiated by the Yuching sect, but more often they were counterattacks by the four major local sect organizations. They used the advantages of intelligence, environment, numbers of people, and geographical advantages to kill Yuching sect Lei Xiao in a planned manner. Li Shiming has been living a very comfortable life recently. Kong Yuan's 20 furnaces of elixirs did not take him long. In fact, with his alchemy ability, only 7 furnaces of 20 furnaces of elixirs are enough. And the rest of the elixirs are put away by him. In addition, he can refine 2 furnaces of 4th grade elixirs at the same time. The entire elixir refining process is it was over in just a few days. After that, he entered his own cave and practiced in the Tao of Heaven and Humanity. Hall, leaving only the golden corpse Naming stationed in the cave. There is a golden corpse named Naming stationed in the cave. If anything happens, he can know it immediately. He used to be at the mountain gate of the 10,000 beast sect, where he did not dare to open his cave. You must know that the mountain gate of the 10,000 beast sect is protected by a certain cave. He does not know much about the cave and cannot tell that he is in the cave. If you open the cave, will you be discovered? He didn't dare to try this kind of thing. The value of a cave was so great that even the 10,000 B sect couldn't let it go. With his status in the 10,000 B sect, even a disciple of monk who cannot hold a cave. But it was different at the resource point in the Xuanchi Mountains. Here he could freely enter and exit the cave without being discovered by anyone. The spiritual energy in the Tao of Heaven Hall is sufficient, which greatly improves the effect of his cultivation. After consuming most of the Purple Thunder Plasma. On the fourth month after he arrived at the resource point in the Xuanchi Mountains, he successfully raised his level to the peak of the early nascent soul. He no longer consumed the Purple Thunder Serum and put away the remaining Purple Thunder Serum, currently at the peak of the early stage of Yuanying. He does not need special resources to improve his strength, but needs to find an opportunity for promotion. As long as the opportunity comes, he can be promoted to the middle stage of Yuanying. In normal practice, you don't even need the 4th level training auxiliary elixir. You just need to practice normally in a place with sufficient spiritual energy. When Li Shiming came out of the cave, he felt the bottleneck in the middle stage of nascent soul. The barrier was right in front of him. He seemed to be able to touch it, but he was a little bit shy. His understanding of the 5 elements was actually sufficient. Even his understanding of the Yu Qing Lei Canon was made up for by the cultivation experience of Yu Qing Sek Wang Yuan. His understanding of the Yu Qing Thunder Code is equivalent to the level of the core monks of the Jie Qing sect. Or even higher. After all, not every core monk of the Yu Qing sect was guided by a Lei Xiao who transcended the level of a great monk. 
The training experience Li Shiming received was the guidance recorded by Wang Yuan, who transcended the level of a great monk. In addition, he also has a very deep understanding of the Sword Intention Chong Shao technique. The foundation of Li Shiming's cultivation is on the Five Rhymes Qi training technique. The other Yu Qing Thunder Code and Sword Intention Chong Shao technique are both practiced concurrently. It is enough to have considerable attainments in both the techniques, and there is no need to reach the level of breaking through the middle stage of nascent soul, as long as his understanding of the Five Rhymes Qi training technique reaches the middle stage of Yuanying. Then theoretically he has the basis to advance to the middle stage of Yuanying. The rest depends on his luck, because the opportunity for promotion has no rules at all. Perhaps seeing a battle, experiencing an event, or just drinking a cup of spiritual tea, he may get the opportunity for promotion. When Li Shiming thought about the opportunity for promotion, he felt helpless. He is currently on a mission to garrison a resource point in the Shuanchi Mountains. According to the sect's mission instructions, he will stay here for at least three years. As for three years later, it will depend on how the war situation is decided. The best way to find opportunities for advancement is to travel. Only by traveling can you be exposed to more things and have more chances to find your own promotion opportunities. Forget it. Just take a break. Li Shiming shook his head and said to himself, His cultivation speed is fast enough. Even if he wastes some time, there is no problem. Of course, there is nothing wasteful about taking a break. Combining work and rest is the way to practice. And blindly practicing hard is not the best choice. He walked out of the cave he had not left for several months and inspected various resource points. He has not done this work since he came to the resource point here. Kong Yuan did it all for him. Kong Yuan had no objection to this. Li Shiming was asked to refine a fourth grade elixir for him. And the quality made Kong Yuan satisfied. Kong Yuan could repay Li Shiming in this way. And it was too late for him to be happy. Shurjin, you are leaving seclusion. Kong Yuan, who since Li Shiming's release, came to Li Shiming's side and said with a smile, Kong Yuan stopped mid-sentence and stared blankly at Li Shiming's figure. He sensed the aura of Li Shiming's peak nascent soul stage, which made him a little stunned and a little confused. Li Shiming is very famous in the 10,000 Beasts sect, which also makes some of Li Shiming's past well known to the monks. It is not a secret when Li Shiming was promoted to the nascent soul stage. Looking at the time from Li Shiming's promotion to the nascent soul stage to the peak of the early Yuanying stage, and then thinking about his own cultivation time, Kong Yuan has the guts to live as long as a dog. A feeling of. He couldn't help but ask himself. Is this the difference between geniuses and ordinary monks? It took him hundreds of years, and almost half of his lifespan to reach the peak of the early Yuanying. However, it only took Li Shiming a few decades to reach the peak of the early Yuanying. I gained some insights in seclusion. And my realm has improved a little. Li Shiming couldn't possibly say anything about the. Purple Thunder Plasma. He also knew Kong Yuan's surprise. So he explained with a smile. Shurjin, it seems that it won't be long before I see you and call you senior. Kong Yuan shook his head and said with a wry smile. He felt deeply powerless. And even his rock-solid Taoist heart was a little shaken. When Li Shiming was about to say something, his and Kong Yuan's identity shook at the same time. He took out the identity jade disc and found that it was a request for help from one of the two nearby resource points. The request for help said that there were three Yuanying early stage Lei Xiao attacking the formation of the resource point. Although there are three early Yuanying monks stationed at that resource point, the enemies are Lei cultivators of the same level. Lei Xiao is extremely rare. And the attack power of the same Lei Xiao is one of the most powerful among the same level. And is as famous as Sword Xiao. Not to mention one on one. Even two on one or three on one. The Yuanning early stage monks of 10,000 beasts sect were not confident in dealing with Lei Xiao of Yuqing sect. This is still the case where the early Yuanning monks of the 10,000 beasts sect almost all have a fourth grade lower level spiritual pet. If it were the early Yuanning monks of the other three major sects, the situation would be even worse. Shurjin, how do you ask for help? Kong Yuan asked Li Shiming without any hesitation. He knew that his status was far inferior to Li Shiming's, both in terms of strength and sect status so he could only obey Li Shiming's orders. Kong Yuan, you stay here. Activate all the formations. And I will go over to rescue you. If there is an attack here, send me a message immediately. Li Shiming thought for a while, and said in a deep voice. Although he had never seen Kong Yuan fight, he could sense from Kong Yuan's aura that Kong Yuan's strength was very ordinary. Even adding a powerful spiritual pet would not change much. 
Besides, Li Shiming has just been promoted to the peak of the early stage of nascent soul. And he needs to try to find opportunities for promotion through fighting. Be more careful. Kong Yuan nodded. He also knew that it was impossible for Li Shiming to let him go to the rescue. If he really let him go, he would just want him to die. Only Li Shiming here has such strength and can deal with the three early stage nascent soul Li Xiao. Li Shiming did not take back the fourth level formation flag. He flew out of the formation of the resource point and looked at the direction. His aura was vague. This was because he used the hidden Phoenix Jade Talisman and activated the invisibility ability of the color changing cloak. The combination of the hidden Phoenix Jade Talisman and the color changing cloak made it extremely difficult for him to detect his presence even if he encountered the nascent soul cultivator at close range. The hidden Phoenix Jade Talisman is so powerful that it can hide all his aura without leaking a breath. And it can also selectively hide the aura. He used close to the end of the world, to head towards the resource point. And at the same time, through his natal magic weapon Z-15, he called the drone satellite system to view the monitoring screen of the resource point. Judging from the picture, the resource point has not been broken yet. Although the three early stage nascent soul monks from the 10,000 beasts sect are far inferior to the three early stage nascent soul lay cultivators from the Jade Qin sect in terms of combat power. With the support of the formation, it is not a problem to resist for some time. Of course, the premise is that there are no core monks among the three Yuching sects early stage Lei Xiao. Otherwise Lei Xiao's combat power cannot be judged based on common sense. Chapter 625 Rescue Three nascent soul early stage Lei Xiao stood in the air. They used the Thunder Cloud technique. Calmly, the formation at this resource point was only struggling to hold up. Under the continuous destruction of the Thunder Cloud technique, the formation collapsed. It is only a matter of time before the law collapses. Give up. The little 10,000 beast sect dares to be the enemy of the Yuching sect. If you cultivate yourself, we won't kill you. A Lei Xiao in the early stage of nascent soul shouted with a smile. As super powerful monks, they originally looked down on the 10,000 beast sect, which was just a major sect, and the other three major sects. As more and more intelligence was collected in the eastern Qi continent, the Yuching sect snatching of resource points from the four major sects officially began. Contrary to the judgment of the four major sects, the Yuching sect did not choose to start snatching the resource points near the Daiyue Mountains, but randomly attacked various resource points. The purpose of Yuching sect is not to snatch resource points. At least that is not the case with the recent attack targets. Their idea is to kill as much as possible the living forces of the four major sects, especially the nascent soul monks. Chewing! After a while, the formation will be broken, you use the life-saving talisman and leave immediately. Brother gone and I will resist for a while. In the resource point, Song Qing looked at Juing, the only female cultivator among the three, and said in a deep voice, Gan Ji nodded aside, determination flashing in his eyes. Juing is their junior sister, and the two of them are thinking about how to give Juing a chance of survival. As for them, they knew very well that the three Yuching sects early nascent soul Lei Xiao would not let them go. Since the Yuching sect sent three early stage nascent soul Lei Xiao to attack the resource points so far away, they were definitely not preparing to occupy the resource points. Because even if the three Yuching sects early nascent soul Lei Xiao occupy this resource point, they will not be able to defend the resource point here. It is too far away from the Daiyue Mountains. Once they are counterattacked, the Yuching sect on the other side of the Daiyue Mountains will Lei Xiao was too late to provide support. Then it is self-evident that Yuching Sect's purpose of attacking this resource point is to kill the Yuanying monks stationed there. At this point, the 10,000 Bees Sect is also doing this, concentrating its superior combat power to besiege Lei Xiao of the Yuching Sect, who is alone. The purpose is the same. Song Qing, although I am a female cultivator, I am also a cultivator of the 10,000 Bees Sect. The Sect's mission is to be stationed here. Even if I die, I will die here. Zhu Ying's beautiful eyes widened and he said with an explosion of aura all over his body. If the two senior brothers didn't fight for a glimmer of life for her, there might be a chance to survive. But fighting for that glimmer of life for her would mean death. Chewing! Be obedient. Master, we still need you to help us fulfill our filial piety. Song Qing tried his best to persuade. Chewing was about to retort, but saw Ganji interrupting them with a wave of his hand. Rescue is coming! Ganji said with joy on his face. What's the use of rescue? The two closest resource points nearby 
even if there are only three nascent soul monks combined, are still early nascent soul monks. They will have to make more sacrifices. Song Qing shook his head bitterly. It is precisely because these three resource points are far away from the Daoyuan Mountains that the original mid-nascent soul monks here have been transferred to places where they are more needed. No matter what, we are ready to cooperate inside and outside and fight together. Zhu Ying didn't want to leave at first. But he said at this time, Okay, get ready to fight. Fight! The three early Yuanying monks focused their attention on the formation. As soon as a Yuanying monk from their sect appeared outside, they would immediately rush out to help. Li Shimming's clairvoyance allowed him to see the battle scene clearly from a long distance. He is very aware of the warning method of the Jade Clear Thunder Code. When the Jade Clear Thunder Code is activated to form thunder and lightning energy on the body, tiny electric lights will be formed within the scope of his spiritual consciousness. These electric lights will become Lei Xiao's sensory organs. When the monk enters this range, no matter what stealth method he uses, he will be sensed. Even though the three early nascent soul Lei Xiao from Yuching sect were standing in midair without any defense. In fact, they had enough means to detect their enemies. And as monks of superpower, they all practiced spiritual techniques, which made their spiritual consciousness range beyond that of other monks of the same level from medium and large powers. However, these three Yuching sect nascent soul early stage Lei Xiao did not expect to encounter the special existence of Li Shiming. Not only was Li Shiming spiritually far superior to the three Yuching sect Yuanying early stage Lei Xiao, but he also surpassed them in the scope of his spiritual consciousness. He first blessed himself with a lightning resistant secret method, which was a secret method in the Jade Clear Thunder Code, with the blessing of the Chishao Thunder Bead in the computer room space. The effect of this lightning resistant secret method was improved to the same level as that of the Yuan Dynasty. Effects in mid infancy. He displayed close to the end of the world, and his figure suddenly appeared next to Lei Xiao of the Yuqing sect. This naturally triggered the thunder and lightning next to Yuqing Zong Lei Xiao, making Yuqing Zong Lei Xiao aware of the enemy's appearance. But at this time, Li Shiming was two meters away from the Yuqing Zong Lei Xiao. The fourth grade sword base appeared in his hand, and a sword swept across the Yuqing Zong Lei Xiao's body. This sword contains the Breaking Void Sword Intent, which allows this sword to break through all the defenses and bodies of the Yuqing sect Lei Xiao without any hindrance. And when cutting open his physical body, there is still power left to imprison him. Nascent soul. Li Shiming was at the peak of the early stage of Yuanying, and his enemies had not reached the peak of the early stage of Yuanying. He had rarely had this opportunity to fight against weak enemies before. He felt relieved now. The insignificance of an enemy weaker than himself in front of him gave him a sense of control over his life and death. Breaking void sword intent can only be 100% effective when dealing with monks of the same level. When the Broken Void Sword Intent attacks the monks in the middle stage of nascent soul, it cannot attack the physical body and the nascent soul at the same time. However, when it attacks the Yuching sect's early Yuanying lay cultivator in front of them, it attacks both the physical body and the nascent soul together with just one sword. The vitality of this lay Xiao in the early stage of the Yuching sect's nascent soul was wiped out. His nascent soul was also unable to struggle and was also killed. On the other side, the Traceless Illusion Sword attacked another Yuching sect Lei Xiao at the same time. The effect of the fourth grade sword based attack is the same as that of the Traceless Illusion Sword, which contains the Void Breaking Sword intent. When attacking the early Yuanying monks, the power it exerts is simply not something that the Yuching sect Lei Xiao in front of him can withstand. The Sword of Traceless Illusion Sword killed Yuking Zong Lei Xiao's body in Yuanying, and also shocked the last Yuking Zong Lei Xiao. Yuking Zong Lei Xiao never expected that in just a moment, he would be the only one left on the battlefield. Lei Xiao of the Yuching sect was about to escape, but a bolt of lightning from Li Shiming's hand struck him. An ordinary, lightning technique. But with the blessing of Chi Xiao Thunder Bead, it has reached the power of the mid-nascent soul thunder cultivation. Yuking Zong Lei Xiao's defense was broken in an instant, and he was invaded by lightning. The lighting stronger than his body destroyed everything about him, including his physical body and nascent soul. Li Shiming casually withdrew the Traceless Phantom Sword. What he exposed was only a flying sword that could become invisible. Due to the short attack time, the Traceless Phantom Sword only appeared for a moment when it hit the enemy. He took it back. As for the Breaking Void Sword intention, that should not be exposed the most. It was blessed by him in the Traceless Illusion Sword and the 4th grade sword base, 
unless you bear it personally or perceive it at close range. You cannot detect the breaking void sword intent, the presence. The three Jade Qing sect Lei Xiao, who could sense the broken void sword intent, all died on the spot. Li Shiming's consciousness swept over the three corpses, and he collected the corpses and the spiritual objects on them. This is a super powerful monk, and he may have some good things. Anyway, he is definitely richer than the monks in the eastern Qi continent. Song Qing, Zhu Ying and Gan Ji inside the resource point were preparing to rush out of the formation to support the fellow monks. But before they could take action, the battle was over. They stared blankly at Li Shiming standing in the air, never expecting that such a terrifying existence would appear in the sect. The battle between Li Shiming and the three Yuching sect Lei Xiao seemed extremely relaxed. Just like chopping melons and vegetables. And he defeated the enemy without any effort. But the enemy is the Lei Xiao of the Yuching sect. Whether it is the profession of Lei Xiao or the superpower of the Yuching sect, it can show how terrifying the combat power of the three Lei Xiao is. But these three enemies were instantly killed by Li Shiming. The three of them looked at each other and then flew out of the formation. Thank you, senior brother, for coming to the rescue. I wonder which senior brother is in person. Song Qing came to Li Shiming bowed and said a big salute and asked. He had been stationed at the resource point for a long time and had not seen Li Shiming. It's Master Li. Thank you Master Li for saving your life. Zhu Ying recognized Li Shiming and spoke before Li Shiming could answer Song Qing's words. Master Li? Song Qing was stunned at first, but soon realized who Zhu Ying was talking about. Master Li. Li Shirjin has met three of them. Li Shiming said with a smile and gave Song Qing a virtual support. He nodded to Zhu Ying and continued. My fellow sex should have been watching and helping each other. I am stationed at the resource point in the Xuanchi Mountains and came to rescue me. That's what I should do. Master Li, please come in and rest. Gone, she invited. I won't stay any longer. Only Kong Yuan is there in the Xuanchi Mountains. I need to go back and garrison. Li Shiming refused with a smile. After Li Shiming left, the three Yuanying monks were silent for a long time. They have not yet woken up from the shock. Li Shiming is stronger than they imagined. Moreover, they discovered that Li Shiming's realm had reached the peak of the early stage of Yuanying. This was nothing to other monks. But for a Yuanying monk who had been promoted for less than a hundred years, it was extremely exaggerated. Li Shiming didn't know what they were thinking. He was thinking about the previous battle while returning to the Xuanchi Mountains. After experiencing this battle, he truly felt his own combat power although he was suspected of sneak attack. In the battle with one against three, the three Yuching sect Lei Xiao could not even fight back. And he was solved instantly. He even discovered that under the powerful means, the defense of the early Yuanying monks was not worth mentioning. Especially the effect of Chishao Thunderbead. In fact, if he doesn't make a sneak attack, he can completely achieve the same effect by using the thunder method from the front. Even if the three Jade Qing sect Lei Xiao attacked Li Shiming with thunder spells, they would not be able to have much effect on Li Shiming, who had been blessed with the secret method of resisting thunder in the middle stage of Yuanning. The side of Yu Qingzong Lei Xiao is death. His consciousness began to look through the trophies of the three Yuqing sect Lei Xiao. The three ordinary mustard rings showed that the three Yuqing sect Lei Xiao's status in the Yuqing sect was only ordinary. Three pieces of the fourth grade upper level, Heavenly Strike Thunder Hammer, can be used in the early stage of nascent soul. After all, they are super powerful. And even ordinary monks have such wealth. But think about Jianyi Chong Shao Pavilion. There are many similarities between the Lei Xiao of Yuching sect and the sword cultivator of Jianyi Chong Shao Pavilion. Many of the thunder cultivators of the Jade Qing sect only have one natal magic weapon, which is the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer. They invest all their resources in improving the Sky Strike Thunder Hammer and do not need to consider other magic weapons. For Lei Xiao, the strongest attack is always more important than defense. Lei Xiao originally has the extremely fast movement of Thunder Escape, which gives him an advantage in flight speed. With the strongest attack power, Lei Xiao can attack enemy. It is difficult for the enemy to attack Lei Xiao. The spiritual objects in the three mustard seed rings also reflect this. Apart from a few magic weapons that are obviously trophies, there are no other Lei Xiao magic weapons in the mustard seed rings. Obviously, these three Yuching sect Lei Xiao are ready to fight so there are not many other spiritual objects in the mustard seed ring. Only some spiritual pills. Li Shiming was very disappointed. He didn't find any useful spiritual objects. Not even some cultivation experience. He shook his head, knowing that he was overthinking. Although there were not many spiritual objects in the mustard seed ring, 
they were of good value. If he wanted to find the spiritual objects that moved his heart, these ordinary lay shio might not be able to satisfy him. Returning to the Xuanxi Mountain's resource point, there was nothing abnormal about the resource point. When Kong Yuan saw that Li Shiming had returned safely, a happy smile appeared on his face. Kong Yuan, report what happened here to the sect. The Yuching sect is not here to snatch resources. They are here to kill the sect's fighting force. Li Shiming said when he saw Kong Yuan, he will also send a message to his master, Brother Hu, to inform him of what happened. But Kong Yuan's channels are different from his. And this is Kong Yuan's job. Is it solved? Kong Yuan couldn't help but ask. After asking this question, he felt that he had asked a bit silly. Li Shiming is back. And the trouble over there is naturally solved. The Yuching sect sent three ordinary thunder cultivators. But I sent them away. Li Shiming said calmly. Kong Yuan felt a toothache when she heard his answer. The ordinary lay cultivators of the Yuching sect, except for the core monks of any sect, are not ordinary monks. Just like the 10,000 Bees sect, monks like Kong Yuan are ordinary monks. Monks like Li Shiming who are either accepted as direct disciples by the great monks or who become the core of the sect due to other reasons cannot be regarded as ordinary monks. But this kind of extraordinary ordinary monks are very few in any sect. Chapter 626 Arrow Killing The message Li Shiming sent to his master, Brother Hu, did not receive an immediate reply. He also understood that Brother Hu is probably extremely busy right now. So he didn't rush to send messages many times. In order to prevent Yukingzong's surprise attack, he once again launched several drones and built more drone satellite systems over 10,000 meters above this area. And among the drone satellites here, automatic blurred image alarm systems have been added. Based on the current optical surveillance equipment he made with 5 nanometer precision, the only ones who can affect the surveillance system are Yuanying stage monks. The Yuanying stage monks are blurry in the surveillance screen, with a 24-hour uninterrupted monitoring by drones and satellites. He didn't have to worry about nascent soul monks approaching the three resource points in this area without knowing it. In fact, he didn't have to wait long. On the fifth day after adding the drone satellite, the drone satellite system sent him a warning through the magic weapon Z-15. He looked at a shadow with a relatively large blurred area. According to his judgment, it was a mid-stage nascent soul monk. This mid-stage nascent soul monk is flying towards the resource point that he has supported before at an extremely fast speed and will arrive at about one stick of incense time. Li Shiming did not notify Kan Yuan. He just stepped out of the cave, activated, south close to the end, and his figure disappeared into the cave. He took over the formation at this resource point. The formation here had no restrictions on him. So he could freely use his magical powers in the formation. The Hidden Phoenix Jade Talisman and Color Changing Cloak were activated simultaneously, making him silent. And the Divine Foot Power allowed him to move towards him faster than the mid-stage nascent soul monk. Not long after, under the influence of Divine Vision, he saw the monk in the middle stage of nascent soul. Just by looking at the way the monk in the middle stage of Yuaning rushes on his way. You can be sure that he is a thunder cultivator in the middle stage of Yuaning. Needless to say, the Lei Xiao who appeared here at this time was the Lei Xiao of Yuching sect. This should come because of the previous three Yuching sect Yuaning early stage Lei Xiao who was killed. Li Shiming frowned slightly. It seems that he had dismissed them earlier. Otherwise the fellow sects at that resource point would not have been able to resist Yuaning. Lei Xiao's attack in the midterm. Li Shiming did not dare to underestimate the Yuching sect's mid-nascent soul Lei Xiao. The mid-nascent soul Lei Xiao, who came alone when he knew that three Yuching sects early nascent soul Lei Xiao had been killed here would definitely treat him badly. Extremely confident in his strength. Although he has a record of killing middle-stage Yuaning monks many times, there is also a gap between middle-stage Yuaning monks. How could Li Shiming dare to take a super-powerful Lei Xiao in the middle-nascent soul stage? and most likely the top being in the Yuching sect in the middle nascent soul stage? He thought for a while, but still used his strongest fighting power. It's time to try out the power of the Thundering Mysterious Bow. The Thundering Mysterious Bow has not experienced actual combat yet. Li Shiming did whatever he wanted. He turned around and made a big circle, heading towards the path that Lei Xiu must pass in the middle stage of the Yuching sect's Yuaning. He first set up a concealment formation, and then summoned the living dead Xiao Qi Feng. Although the aura of the great monk on the living dead Xiao Qi Feng is not very strong. The aura of the great monk is the aura of the great monk. If there is no protection, the aura of the great monk will be spread far away if summoned. 
Even the formations at the three resource points could detect the aura of the great monk, causing the 10,000 beast sect to misjudge, which was not what he wanted. If there is a misjudgment at this time, transferring the sect's great monks will most likely cause problems in other battle situations. Of course, if the midnascent soul Leishio of Yuching sect is sensitive, he can also sense the presence of the great monk from a long distance and be frightened away directly. The living dead Xiao Qi Feng opened the thundering mysterious bow and terrifying energy flowed in the thundering mysterious bow. The unrivaled power of the great monk was continuously converted into energy, which was stored in the arrows generated by the thundering mysterious bow. It lasted for ten breaths, allowing the arrows of the thundering mysterious bow to be charged to the extreme. At this time, the Jade Qin Sex Menacen Soul Lei Xiao was close to a distance of 10,000 meters. The theoretical attack distance of the Thunder Mysterious Bow, inspired by the living dead Xiao Qi Feng, was 50,000 meters. This midnascent soul Lei Xiao had already entered. Extremely dangerous distance. Li Shiming calibrated the attack through his contact with Tian Gui. In this regard, he had experience in controlling four fourth level puppets to activate the electromagnetic gun. He issued an attack order to Tian Gui, who controlled the living dead Xiao Qi Feng to loosen the bow string. The energy fluctuations generated by the arrows fired by the Thunder Black Bow were blocked by the concealment formation and did not leak out. Only the arrows fired flew out of the concealment formation. Once the concealment formation is activated, the breath of the arrow can no longer be hidden. Feng Qian was ordered to investigate. He was the core monk of Yuching sect and the monk responsible for mobile response during this operation. Being able to be designated as a mobile support monk by the Yuching sect, it goes without saying that his combat prowess is outstanding. He is a disciple of the great monk Wang He of the Yuching sect. He has received the true inheritance of the great monk Wang He. His strength can be ranked among the top five in the middle Yuanying stage of the Yuching sect. This is already very difficult. There are quite a lot of middle stage nascent soul lay cultivators in Yuching sect. And they are all extremely talented lay cultivators. According to Feng Qian's guess, the three early stage nascent soul lay cultivators sent earlier should have been killed after they encountered the mid stage nascent soul monks from the 10,000 beast sect. And they were still core monks. If the three early stage Yuanying lay cultivators were to encounter ordinary mid stage Yuanying monks, they would not all fall. And they might even be able to defeat the strong with the weak. What he has to do is to find the core monk of the 10,000 beast sect and kill him to avenge the sect's latio. And killing the core monks was also a huge blow to the 10,000 beast sect. In any sect, the number of core monks does not need to be large. Although the disciples of a great monk can directly become core monks. Even if a great monk accepts disciples, they are limited. In the world of cultivating immortals, accepting disciples is a very cautious matter. The relationship between master and disciple is extremely close. Closer than a father and son in the mortal world. Monks attach great importance to inheritance. And disciples are the inheritance of their masters. Calculating if a great monk normally takes on three disciples. Plus those who become core monks in other ways. Then if there are five great monks of the 10,000 beast sect, the number of core monks will not exceed 20. The core monks are the foundation of a sect. And they are the monks on whom the sect spends the most resources. Every time a core monk is lost, it is a huge waste of sect resources. Feng Qian was thinking about the information about the 10,000 beast sect and guessing which core monk had come to that resource point. While flying towards the target direction, he suddenly felt a tremor coming from the depths of his soul. He thought of the experience of narrowly surviving death a long time ago. This was how he felt when facing death. He knew in his heart that he was in extreme danger, but he knew it in his heart. But it was another matter for him to react. The main reason is that the distance of 10,000 meters is too close for the arrows of the Thunder Mysterious Bow. It is so close that it will be in front of the enemy instantly once it is activated. Feng Qian sensed the breath of death but it was of no avail. The arrow hit his body at the same time he sensed the breath of death. The arrow entered the body, and the unparalleled energy in the arrow exploded immediately. Terrifying energy swept through Feng Qian's body, and his nascent soul did not escape the impact of the terrifying energy. Feng Qian didn't know until his death that he had fallen under what means. Li Shiming smiled. He asked Tian Gui to control the arrows fired by the Thunder Mysterious Bow. He chose to release all the energy after hitting the target to cause maximum damage to a single target. Even Yuching Sect's core Lei Xiao in the middle stage of nascent soul is still too fragile in front of arrows formed by the energy converted by great monk level power. This was almost like a full blow from the living dead Xiao Qi Feng. And he was using a fourth grade top-notch weapon. 
the great monk may still be able to withstand the arrows of the thunder mysterious bow. But the monk in the middle stage of nascent soul doesn't have to think about it at all. The instantaneous burst of energy not only kills the physical body, but even the nascent soul is not spared. There is another attack method of thunder black bow. The arrow will not release its own energy after hitting the target. Instead, it will continue to fly, pass through the first target, and go straight for 50,000 meters in one direction. It will slow down after 50,000 meters. All targets on the attack line, as long as they cannot defend themselves against the arrows, will be penetrated and cause an attack power close to that of a great monk. Li Shiming put away the living dead Xiao Qi Feng, lifted the formation, and flew towards the fallen Feng Qian. He came to Feng Qian's body, and when his consciousness lightly touched Feng Qian's body, the body turned into ashes and scattered. The terrifying energy on the arrow exploded, turning Feng Qian's body into powder. A fourth grade top level, Sky Strike Thunder Hammer, and a soul crystal ring were left on the ground. This is all Feng Qian left behind. As for other spiritual objects, such as the robes on Feng Qian's body, they were all turned into powder together with his physical body under this blow. When Li Shiming saw the soul crystal ring, he knew that Feng Qian's identity was probably not simple. He cast a recognition technique on the soul crystal ring, recognizing the soul crystal ring as its owner. And then his spiritual consciousness entered the soul crystal ring. Perhaps Feng Qian believed that he had enough strength to protect himself. So he stored a large number of spiritual objects in his soul crystal ring. There are more than 34th grade elixirs from the mid nascent soul period alone. And a large number of jade slips are also preserved. Li Shiming's spiritual consciousness scanned the jade slips one by one and found that these jade slips were annotations on the Jade Pure Thunder Code. And he saw that these annotations could not be explained by the middle stage of nascent soul. The annotations in these jade slips were recorded by Feng Qian during the long-term teachings of the great monk Wang He. Monk Wang He is an extremely responsible master who gives lectures to his disciples every once in a while. Feng Qian was afraid that he would miss something. So he recorded all the teachings of the great monk Wang He in the jade slips. Compared with Wang Yuan's cultivation experience. Perhaps the great monk Wang He cannot compare with his master. But the explanations given by the great monk Wang He to the mid-stage nascent soul disciples are more profound in depth. Who said that Wang Yuan was only a monk in the early stage of Yuanying. While Feng Qian was a monk in the middle stage of Yuanying. Li Shiming was very satisfied with the jade slips he got this time. Although many of the contents in the jade slips overlapped with Wang Yuan's cultivation experience, there were still many differences, and the jade slips he got this time were richer in content. Hey, these are life-saving jade talismans. He looked in the soul crystal ring again, and this time he found three jade talismans. After discovering the aura on the jade talismans, he determined what the jade talismans were. The life-saving jade talisman can be used as a life-saving object by the monks in the middle stage of Yuanying. In addition, it is the life-saving object of the core monks of Yuching sect. So this life-saving jade talisman is at least refined by the great monks. These three life-saving jade talismans were refined by the great monk Wang He. And they contain the great monk level, Thunder Escape. Great monk Wang He is the topmost being among the great monks. The life-saving jade talisman he refined is naturally equivalent to the Thunder Escape, used by the top great monks. It can be said that as long as Feng Qian takes out a life-saving jade talisman, he can perform the top monk level. Thunder escape. Unfortunately, Feng Qian met Li Shiming and encountered the Thunder Mysterious Bow, inspired by the living dead Xiao Qi Feng, which was a long range attack at the level of a great monk. This attack was so sudden and so powerful that Feng Qian was killed without even having time to activate the life saving jade talisman. Li Shiming put away the life saving jade talisman. He couldn't use it, but his clone Li Yuanba did. Although Li Yuanba has also mastered the South Close to the End of the World of Shenzhou. But without the direct help of the natal magic weapon Z15, he cannot be like him. He can use his brain to reserve a South Close to the End of the World to activate at any time. Moreover, the South Close to the End that Li Yuanba displayed was spaced apart, which greatly affected Li Yuanba's ability to save his life. On the other hand, as long as the life saving jade talisman was used, he could escape thousands of miles away. The reason why Li Shiming attaches so much importance to the three life-preserving jade talismans is because he himself has the life-preserving jade talismans given by Brother Hu. By comparing the two, it can be judged that the three life-preserving jade talismans have a stronger remote escape effect. In the end, what he found in the Soul Crystal Ring was a fourth-grade upper-level flying boat. It was a small flying boat. 
the quality of the fourth grade upper level flying boat, coupled with the fact that its whole body was covered with thunder and lightning runes, made this fourth level upper level flying boat have the same characteristics. J Clear Thunder Code has a stronger fit, different from the fourth grade flying boat he obtained before. This time he can use the fourth grade flying boat. Now that the 10,000 B sect and the four major sects are fighting against the Yuching sect, there will be no trouble in using the Yuching sect spoils. He also liked the 4th grade high level flying boat of the Jade Qin sect very much. He entered a master recognition method. From the information coming from the 4th grade high level flying boat. He knew the name and name of the 4th grade high level flying boat. Function. Lightning flying boat. A flying boat that can inspire thunder escape. Although Lei Xiao can use thunder escape, as long as he has a certain level of understanding of the thunder system technique he majors in. But it is still very expensive to keep using thunder escape when flying long distances. The lightning flying boat can use its own material and the rune formation drawn on the flying boat to turn the entire flying boat into a thunder escape. Chapter 627 Asking for Pills Li Shiming quietly returned to the resource point in the Xuanxi Mountains. When he returned, he still used the hidden phoenix jade talisman and the color-changing cloak. After approaching the resource point, he used close to the end to appear in the garrison cave. During the whole process, he didn't even disturb Kong Yuan. He didn't know how big an impact he would have after killing Feng Qian. The great monk Wang Yi sensed Feng Qian's fall the moment he fell. He invested too much in Feng Qian. Feng Qian is also on track and has a high chance of becoming the new great monk of Yuching sect. The purpose of bringing Feng Qian to the eastern Qi continent this time is to add some qualifications to Feng Qian so that he can obtain resources for Feng Qian to be promoted to a great monk. But he didn't expect that Feng Qian would end up on an insignificant mission. In the end, Feng Qian went to check on the death of three Lei Xiao in the early stage of nascent soul. Monk Wang He only found out about it after the fact. Great Monk Wang He wanted to see it in person. But he couldn't act arbitrarily in the current situation. The Yuching sect is indeed much stronger than the four major local sects in the eastern Qi continent. But the Yuching sect does not have no enemies in the Xi'an continent. The number of monks the Yuching sect can mobilize is limited. This time he personally led the team. At the level of a great monk, he thought it was enough. In his opinion, five middle stage nascent soul Lei Xiao and more than 30 early stage nascent soul Lei Xiao were enough to suppress the four major sects. Anyone named Lei Xiao is a being who can defeat many with one person and has extremely strong combat power. He didn't care too much about the loss of Lei Xiao in the early stage of nascent soul. He had lost a lot of Lei Xiao in the early stage of nascent soul. So he would just transfer some more. The real elites of the nascent soul stage are counted from the middle nascent soul stage. And the middle nascent soul lay cultivators brought by great monk Wang Yi are all extremely powerful lay cultivators. The strongest among them was his disciple Feng Qian. He thought that Feng Qian could at least suppress many mid nascent soul monks for him. Unexpectedly, not long after the invasion of the eastern Qi continent, Feng Qian, the important combat force, fell. The Daiyue mountains need to be suppressed by the great monk Wang Yi. And he cannot leave here. As for the enemy that even Feng Qian could not resist. He suddenly found that there was no one to send. This is simply a shame. The superpower has fallen behind in the competition with the major sex. Great monk Wang Yi thought he was at a disadvantage. But in fact, the four major sex, including the 10,000 beast sect, did not know about Feng Qian's downfall. Great monk Wang Yi sent a message to Yuching sect through a cross-continental contact formation, requesting to send another great monk over and increase the number of Lei Xiao in the middle stage of nascent soul. In order to wait for the arrival of reinforcements, he decided to shrink the defense line and maintain the situation. Suddenly, the Lei cultivators of the Yuching sect who had gone out returned to the Daiyue mountains one after another. Even some of the resource points that had been robbed were abandoned by the Yuching sect. This left the four major sects unaware of what was going on. And they responded by waiting and watching to prevent it from being a conspiracy of the Yuching sect. The war in the eastern Qi continent has strangely stopped. Li Shiming didn't know that these were related to him. He was studying the jade slips obtained from the hidden soul crystal ring. Now, every time he gains more understanding of cultivation, he is one step closer to being promoted to the middle stage of nascent soul. The days became calm again, and time passed day by day. On this day, when Li Shiming once again received a warning from the drone satellite system, another mid-stage nascent soul monk appeared in the warning area he had set. Murderous intent flashed in his eyes. 
and he was very confident in his ability to attack. As long as the big monk didn't come in person, he would be able to kill him. Just like last time, he used close to the end of the world and through the effects of hidden phoenix jade talisman and color-changing cloak. He quietly left the Xuanchi Mountains. He discovered that if it was a straight line, the target of the monks in the middle stage of nascent soul, this time, was actually the Xuanchi Mountains. He didn't pay much attention to this. And once again arranged the concealment formation to release the living dead Xiao Qi Feng. He had calculated the time for the living dead Xiao Qi Feng to accumulate power. After the living dead Xiao Qi Feng opened the thundering mysterious bow, he still needed ten breaths of charging time. At this time, the monk in the middle stage of nascent soul came into attack range and was attacked by the thundering mysterious bow. However, when he saw clearly the face of the monk in the middle stage of nascent soul through his spiritual eyes, he quickly asked the living dead Xiao Qi Feng to stop attacking. He looked at the living dead Xiao Qi Feng with some helplessness and found the shortcoming of the living dead Xiao Qi Feng's use of the thunder mysterious bow. That is, it could not be stopped midway. Terrifying energy is being accumulated inside the thundering mysterious bow. If it is not released, the energy accumulated inside is enough to destroy the thundering mysterious bow. This is not the energy transformed by Li Shiming's little power, but the energy transformed by the power of the living dead Xiao Qi Feng. The great monk, he shook his head and asked Xiao Qi Feng, the living dead, to deflect the arrow and launch the arrow. Xian Jingyun was a little anxious. Li Shiming, the alchemy master of Zhongzhou Commercial Bank, was on duty and she lost contact with Li Shiming. In normal times, Xian Jingyun could contact Li Shiming through the contact card. But this was wartime and the previous contact cards were restricted. This is a way that the four major sects came up with in order to cause trouble for the Yuching sects communication. Although it will affect the long-distance communication of the entire Dong Qi continent, the internals of the four major sects will not be affected, and they can communicate with each other through the identity of the Yuching sect. If the Yuching sect wanted to communicate remotely in the eastern Qi continent, they would need to arrange their own contact formations. This was a big project and was extremely easy to be destroyed. This approach of the four major sects made it difficult for Xian Jingyun of Zhongzhou Commercial Bank to find Li Shiming. This is especially because during the war, the outer sect monks were unable to access the identity jade discs of the four major sects. Xian Jingyun also thought a lot of ways before she determined where Li Shiming was stationed and rushed there in person. In Xian Jingyun's perception, an indescribable terror passed through him. She almost screamed. It was the high monk attacking. She could tell the power. It was obvious that this attack should be aimed at her, but it somehow avoided her. Is this a warning or a mistake? Xi and Jing and quickly calmed down and thought to herself. She was suspended in the air, not daring to move, faced with a warning from a great monk. The best way is to wait for the great monk's disposal and never act rashly and lose your life. Although she is a monk of Zhongzhou Trading Company, which is a superpower, she only has one life. If she is killed, it will be too late for Zhongzhou Trading Company to take revenge on her. Not to mention how likely it is that Zhongzhou Trading Company will conflict with a great monk for a mid-nascent soul monk. The most important thing is that if Xian Jingyun was killed just now, the news would not be able to be sent back. Xian Jingyun saw a figure flying towards her, and she was both nervous and relieved. I was nervous because I was waiting for the other party to deal with her, but I was relieved because since the other party didn't kill her on the spot, it meant there was something to talk about as long as they can negotiate. With her status as a monk from Zhongzhou Commercial Bank, the possibility of survival is still very high. While she was thinking about it, she saw the face of the person coming. Master Li! The boulder in Xian Jingyun's heart suddenly fell, and her whole body felt soft. The shadow of death disappeared after Li Shiming appeared, and Li Shiming had no reason to hurt her. Fellow Daoist Xian, I'm very sorry. I almost hurt you by mistake. Li Shiming bowed slightly and apologized. Xian Jingyun was startled. Li Shiming's words reflected a lot of information. First of all, there is a great monk nearby who is most likely protecting Li Shiming. Secondly, Li Shiming has influence on the great monk and can influence the great monk's decision. Otherwise the shot just now would not have been missed. It was me who came here recklessly. Xian Jingyun bowed and returned the salute. Although this place is somewhat far away from the Daiyue Mountains, it is still a war zone announced by the four major sects. She suddenly appeared in a war zone, and it was normal for her to be attacked. But with her cultivation in the middle stage of nascent soul, she shouldn't be in danger in the eastern Qi continent. 
I'll lead the way. I've been stationed here recently, Li Shiming said with a smile. He didn't ask how Xi and Jingyu knew he was here. Shongzhou Trading Company had too many connections in the eastern Qi continent. This could be seen from the fact that Xi and Jingyu could easily enter the gate of 10,000 B's sect. I am afraid that the monk responsible for distributing tasks leaked his information to Xi and Jingyu. It's really hard to say when this matter is investigated. Although the monk was at fault. It would still involve Zhengzhou Trading Company. Which would make things difficult for the 10,000 B's sect. Sorry. I use some means to find out where Master Li is stationed. There is really no other way. There is an important alchemy commission that requires Master Li to take action. Xi and Jingyun bowed and explained solemnly. She also knew that there was something wrong with her behavior. And she would not do it unless she had to. Let's go to my K first and then talk in detail. Li Shiming looked at the environment and said with a smile. The two flew towards the resource point in the Xuanqi Mountains. As they approached, they were discovered by Kong Yuan through the formation. And they quickly flew out to investigate. Li Shiming did not notify Kong Yuan when he went out. And Kong Yuan did not know. When he came back, he had no invisibility or hidden aura. So he was discovered by Kong Yuan. Kong Yuan, this is fellow Taoist Xian. A monk from Zhongzhou Trading Company. He is here to see me. Li Shiming introduced Kong Yuan, who came to greet him. I've met Senior Xian. Kong Yuan was not Li Shiming. He bowed to Xian Jingyun and said, Okay. The first time a person in the early stage of Yuanying meets a person in the middle stage of Yuanying, they must do so as a junior. The relationship between Zhongzhou Commercial Bank and the 10,000 B sect is very good. So he cannot lose his courtesy. Kong Yuan led the way cautiously and couldn't help but guess when Li Shiming went out. Why didn't he know it all? Arriving at the resource point, Kong Yuan did not participate in the conversation between Li Shiming and Xian Jingyun. He could tell that Xian Jingyun came to see Li Shiming for something. And it would be rude for him to stay aside. This is the elixir for three month level rebirth elixirs for severed limbs. I also asked Master Li to refine a high level elixir. Only one high level elixir is needed. No matter how many elixirs Master Li uses, it will be made by the master. Dispose of it. Besides, this is the reward. Xi and Jingyun pushed the two storage bags in front of Li Shiming and said in a deep voice. Li Shiming was startled and asked for refining a high level elixir, which had never been done before. The alchemy abilities he showed were all of fourth grade intermediate quality. Master Li, please take a look at the reward before making a decision. Seeing that Li Shiming had not checked the storage bag for a long time, Xi and Jingyun quickly pointed to the storage bag containing the reward and said, she looked at Li Shiming's peak aura in the early stage of nascent soul and felt more confident that Li Shiming agreed to make alchemy. It was such a coincidence that I came here this time. This reward was exactly what Li Shiming needed most. Li Shiming hesitated for a moment, then put his consciousness into the storage bag. There was only one jade bottle in the storage bag, and there was only one elixir in the jade bottle. But when he saw the elixir, he couldn't help but feel happy. The fourth level realm breaking elixir in the early stage of Yuanying is an extremely rare elixir. Although the quality of this fourth level realm breaking elixir in the early stage of Yuanying is only intermediate. The effect of this fourth level realm breaking elixir in the early stage of Yuanying is to help the monks in the early stage of nascent soul broke through the realm. Of course, it is not that a fourth grade realm breaking pill in the early stage of Yuanying can directly break through. The fourth grade realm breaking pill can allow the monks in the early stage of Yuanying to peek into the feeling of the middle stage of Yuanying thus increasing the probability of some breakthroughs. A fourth grade realm breaking pill in the early stage of Yuanying is more like opening a gap in the door to the middle stage of Yuanying, making it possible to advance to the middle stage of Yuanying. This is the most important thing. Maybe some monks in the early stage of Yuanying will not be able to peek into the middle stage of Yuanying in their lifetime. But with this fourth level realm breaking pill in the early stage of Yuanying, there is a glimmer of hope. After that, it is a matter of time. Maybe right away. Maybe ten years hundreds of years, through continuous accumulation, we can break through to the middle stage of nascent soul. Can this great monk keep this secret for me? Li Shiming asked slowly. He really didn't want to give up the fourth level realm breaking pill in the early Yuanying stage. He didn't know how long it would take to advance to the middle stage of Yuanying. The fourth level realm breaking pill in the early stage of Yuanying came just in time. Xi and Jingyun felt relieved. She heard that Li Shiming was ready to agree. But he still had concerns. She didn't quite understand why Li Shiming wanted to hide his alchemy skills. Judging from the elixirs refined by Li Shiming, Li Shiming maintained the same quality for all the elixirs he refined. The 4th grade mid-level elixirs were only one step away from the 4th grade high-level elixirs. 
It would be fine if only one or two were like this. But Li Shiming was like this for all the fourth grade elixirs. This may be his special secret method. Or he may be hiding his own alchemy level. Many monks are doubting this. But Li Shiming should not hide his alchemy skills. And he should have mastered some secret method of alchemy. But Zhongzhou Commercial Bank's judgment was that Li Shiming had hidden his alchemy skills. It was based on this that Xi and Jingyun came over. It's a great month from the trading company. He encountered trouble in the ocean. He lost a hand and a foot. Only a senior monk's fourth grade advanced amputated limb rebirth elixir can repair it. Because he is a great monk from the trading company. There is no need to worry about confidentiality. The trading company can issue a contract for this. Xi and Jingyun replied with certainty. Xi and Jingyun looked at Li Shiming with burning eyes. Waiting for Li Shiming's final decision. Okay. A fourth grade high grade amputated limb rebirth elixir. I'll get it in 40 days. Li Shiming said in a deep voice. Chapter 628 Sword Light In Sword Intent Chongxiao Pavilion Li Yuanba and Tang Xuanning completed another mission. This time, they killed four mid-stage nascent soul monks for Sword Intent Chongxiao Pavilion. This solidified Li Yuanba's reputation and improved his ranking among the genius monks in the early stage of nascent soul in Zhongzhou Continent. Yuanba, I have something to ask you. Jian Lao said the sound transmission technique. When Li Yuanba was about to reply, Jian Lao's figure appeared next to him. He sighed helplessly in his heart. This time it was good. He finally said H, low in advance. Although there is no difference between this greeting and no greeting, Jian Lao's attitude is indeed changing. Mr. Jian, what's wrong with you? Li Yuanba bowed and asked. I originally had to wait for another hundred years before I mentioned it to you. But now I'm telling you in advance. Jian Lao looked at Li Yuanba and said with admiration in his eyes. Li Yuanba's growth rate is really too fast. Although Li Yuanba's own realm has not improved much, his mastery of breaking void sword intent has reached an improvement that even Jian Lao was surprised by. Now Li Yuanba's poor void sword intention can be infused into the entire blade of the four character sword, and there is no need to supplement the Jiang sword intent. Of course, this does not mean that the Jiang sword intent is useless in terms of attack power. The Poor Void Sword Intent is far more powerful than other swords. But in some special occasions, such as when fighting against evil existences, Jiang Sword Intent is more suitable. Jiang Sword Intent is the nemesis of all evil. Li Yuanba didn't know what Elder Jian was going to say, so he stood respectfully with his hands tied, waiting for Elder Jian's explanation. The Cave of Swords is the inheritance cave of the Jian clan. This is not the only space we live in. You are now qualified to enter the trial space to challenge. And you can get special rewards in the trial space. Jian Lao smiled. Said. Originally. Considering the time when Li Yuanba joined Sword Intent Chong Shao Pavilion and his level. He was not qualified enough to enter the trial space. But after he killed many mid-stage nascent soul monks. He entered the Zhongzhou Continent's early stage nascent soul genius list. And also made him eligible to enter the trial space. Trial space? What rewards can I get? Li Yuanba's eyes lit up, and he asked curiously. There are spiritual objects in the trial space that can improve your cultivation. And there are also materials for refining flying swords. There are even magical inheritances. It depends on how you perform in the trial space. Jian La replied with a smile. Li Yuanba was moved. Even though he now had enough auxiliary elixirs for the fourth stage of Yuanying cultivation. The cultivation speed of the early stage of Yuanying was really too slow without some genius treasure level spiritual objects to increase his cultivation level. It would be unrealistic for him to improve his realm in a short time. Even if the fourth level cultivation auxiliary elixirs are fully consumed in the early stage of Yuanying, and they are all fourth level advanced elixirs, it will take at least a hundred years to reach the peak of the early stage of Yuanying. The reason why the main body Li Shiming was able to advance to the peak of the early stage of nascent soul in such a short distance was because he did so at the expense of consuming genius treasures. Thank you, Mr. Jian. Li Yuanba understood that Mr. Jian must have helped. Otherwise he, a swordsman with no foundation in Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion, would never have such an opportunity. You only have one chance to enter the trial space. If you want to enter again, you need to make great achievements for the Lord to have the chance. So you must seize this opportunity. Once you die in the trial space, you will be kicked out of the trial space. Remember to survive no matter what. The longer you live, the richer the rewards you will get. Jian Lao explained aloud. Li Yuanba nodded heavily. He understood how precious this opportunity was. 
I'll send you into the trial space. Jian Lao said everything he needed to explain when he saw it. With a wave of his hand, Li Yuanba's figure disappeared. Li Yuanba's eyes flashed. And when he appeared again, he appeared in a dark void. He released his consciousness. But there was nothing within the scope of his consciousness. The place where he was was nothingness. Just when he was imagining what the trial was, a sword light shot out from the void and shot towards his body. Li Yuanba was well prepared. His four characters sword struck forward and chopped the sword light into pieces with one strike. He breathed a long sigh of relief. It could be seen that the sword light was not very strong. It was probably at the intermediate level of the early nascent soul. Although the intermediate level of nascent soul in the early stage is still a little behind for him in terms of realm. His fourth level sword is a top level fourth level natal flying sword. In addition to the cultivation of the previous sword cultivator. It is full of four qualities. For more than a hundred years. Its power has long surpassed the natal flying sword of the early Yuanying sword cultivators. There are still very few swordsmen who can really upgrade their natal flying sword to the top quality of the fourth level in the early stage of Yuanying. If you want to upgrade your natal flying sword to the top quality of the fourth level, it will probably take you to the middle stage of Yuanying or even later. At the monk level, he didn't even use the broken void sword intent, but only used the Jiang sword intent to smash the sword light. Before he could relax, two rays of sword light flew out from two voids, targeting him as well. Li Yuanba's mind moved, and the four characters' sword split into two sword lights. And he met two sword lights respectively. Among them, the sword light formed by the sword of the four characters was cut into pieces with one sword as before. The other energy formed sword light only slowed down the speed of the sword light on the opposite side. With this slowdown, the sword light formed by the four characters' sword body has time to smash the first sword light and then fly to the second sword light to chop it into pieces. Will there be three sword rays after that? Li Yuanba guessed in his mind and made preparations. The sword intent on the four characters' sword became stronger, different from what he guessed. This time there were four sword lights. This shocked him. If the sword light was doubled before each appearance, then after a few times, the sword light would be an extremely terrifying amount. He didn't know how many rounds other sword cultivators could withstand. So he was very energetic. This time, he still divided the sword light, dividing the four characters' sword into four sword lights, respectively resisting the four trial sword lights. He also understands that the more sword rays the four characters and one sword can produce, the power of the other sword rays will decrease proportionally, except for the four characters and one sword itself. This is also the reason why sword cultivators rarely use differentiated sword light. They will only use differentiated sword light to increase attack efficiency when facing weak enemies. Due to the enhanced infusion of sword intent into the four character sword, when it is divided into four sword lights, the three energy enhanced sword lights still have the power to withstand the trial sword light. The main effect of this is the Jiang sword intent. Although the Jiang sword intent is not as powerful as the Paksu sword intent, the Jiang sword intent is also a very strong sword intent. The fourth character of the main body chopped off the first sword light with one sword and then chopped off the other three trial sword lights one by one. As Li Yuanba's mind moved slightly, the sword intent on the four characters' sword was replaced by Broken Void Sword Intent. He even turned on the Shin eyes. The visual range of Shin eyes is only the range of his eyes, but the Shin eyes allows him to see the sword light in front of him clearly, allowing him to make judgments more clearly. Divide! Li Yuanba shouted softly, and the four characters and one sword divided into eight sword lights and the Chattering Void Sword Intent contained in it was also divided into eight parts. At this time, eight sword lights appeared in the void and flew towards him. This time he was slightly shocked because the eight sword lights actually flew in the form of an eight-way formation. This was much more difficult to deal with than the ordinary eight sword lights. What made him most helpless was that the eight sword lights did not have the slightest impact on the power of the sword light because they were more differentiated. The power of this sword light is still at the intermediate level of the early Yuanying stage. It seems that dividing the sword light will not damage the power of the sword light. He even suspected that the sword light power of this mid-level nascent soul was determined by the trial's judgment of his realm. These eight sword lights are almost equivalent to eight intermediate level sword cultivators in the early stage of nascent soul shooting at him at the same time. Moreover, these eight intermediate level sword cultivators in the early stage of nascent soul are all proficient in formations and still maintain attack formations during the battle. Kill! A sharp light flashed in Li Yuanba's eyes, 
and the eight sword lights, he controlled turned into an anti bafong formation and rushed into the bafong formation. He used the method of breaking the formation to deal with the eight-way formation composed of eight trial sword lights. Of course, the final formation break still required his sword light to crush the trial sword light. But if there is no way to break the formation, even if he wants to use his own flying sword to meet the trial sword light, he will not be able to make contact with it. The eight trial sword lights intersected with the eight broken void sword intent. Sword lights. The broken void sword intent cut through the eight trial sword lights. And the eight trial sword lights turned into broken light spots and dissipated. Li Yuanba slowly exhaled and took out 10,000 sword peaks. There is no way. He can no longer continue to fight like this. Even if he can continue to divide his sword light. After these differentiated sword lights are divided into 16 rays, they will definitely not be able to compete with the intermediate power of the sword light in the early stage of nascent soul. Spell. He didn't know how other sword cultivators did it. But he chose to use 10,000 swords peak. As his mind moved slightly, 48 energy flying swords flew out of the 10,000 swords peak. Among them, there were no 4th grade flying swords, but all 2nd and 3rd grade energy flying swords. Although it is a 2nd and 3rd grade energy flying sword, the sword intention contained in it has a hint of the sword intention of the early Yuanying stage. In terms of power, it can barely be considered to be close to the early stage of the Yuanying stage. At this time, 16 rays of sword light appeared in the void of the trial space. This time flying towards him in two octagonal formations. He waved his hand. And 48 energy flying swords. Under the control of his divine consciousness. Attacked with two anti-octagonal formations. Each trial sword light is blocked by three energy based flying swords. And the three energy based flying swords respond to the enemy in a three talent formation. With his spirit. Without having to consider other enemies or other attacks. He can divide his spirit into up to a hundred channels, with all his strength, to control a hundred energy flying swords. This kind of dividing the spirit into a hundred ways, is absolutely undesirable, in a battle at the nascent soul level. Because the spirit is divided into a hundred ways. And the spirit contained in each energy flying sword is too little. In the battle with the monk. If the opponent has spiritual skills, he can use spiritual attacks to disperse Li Yuanba's spirit in the energy flying sword at once. But this was a trial and there was no need to consider this aspect. So Li Yuanba calmly and boldly divided his spirit. 48 energy flying swords were used against a trial sword light in a three talent formation, but they were still unable to truly resist the trial sword light. They could only delay one breath of time at the cost of being scattered. One breath of time was enough for Li Yuanba to use the four qualities of his sword to chop all 16 trial sword lights into pieces. 32 trial sword lights. Li Yuanba spoke slowly. He was reminding himself. He once again summoned 96 energy-based flying swords from the 10,000 swords peak, which was still within the range of 100 energy-based flying swords. He could also accurately control their formation with his mind. And through the three talents the formation is three against one. And his four-character sword was divided into eight sword lights. All of which were blessed with breaking void sword intent. The 32 trial sword lights passed with great ease under his full exertion. But his expression became more serious. And he knew that the next trial was the beginning of trouble. 64 trial sword lights. He said slowly. 64 energy enhanced 4th grade flying swords flew out of the. 10,000 swords peak. Each of these energetic 4th grade flying swords. Had the true power of the early nascent soul. Even the trial sword light cannot repel the 4th level energy based flying sword in a short time. This is already the 2nd level energy based flying sword in. 10,000 swords peak. 64 trial sword lights flew out of the void also flying in the form of formations. The fourth character's sword was the fastest, striking at a node of the 64 trial sword lights first, breaking the formation formed by the trial sword lights. At this time, the 64 energized fourth grade flying swords each found a trial sword light, and the sky became lively. A fourth grade energized flying sword and a trial sword light fought each other. Obviously, the 64 energetic fourth grade flying swords are much weaker in comparison. But the 4th grade sword can kill everyone. With the blockage of the 64 energetic 4th grade flying swords. It is enough 4 characters cleared away 64 trial sword lights with one sword. Li Yuanba sensed the situation of the 64 energy form 4th grade flying swords. And they all consumed about one third of their energy. It seemed that they would not be able to sustain them for at most one or two times. 10,000 swords peak. Is not a magic weapon for long term battles. At least for now. The most terrifying thing about. 
10,000 swords peak, is that the instantaneous volley of 10,000 swords attacks the enemy with numbers, coupled with the strongest monks. Breaking void sword intent. It forms an extremely terrifying burst of destructive power in an instant. But if you want 10,000 swords peak to be able to fight for a long time, you need a longer period of training. The energy formed fourth grade flying sword in 10,000 swords peak entered 10,000 swords peak for too short a time and there was not enough time to cultivate its charm. 128 sword rays, Li Yuanba said slowly. Chapter 629 Trial In the void of the trial space, 128 sword lights carried the mid-level power of the early nascent soul. Each sword light was not enough to pose a threat to Li Yuanba, but the total of 128 sword lights combined. The power made his scalp feel numb. This was equivalent to facing the attack of 128 Yuaning early stage sword cultivators. But these early Yuaning sword cultivators spared their hands and only attacked him in one way. All the remaining energetic flying swords from 10,000 swords peak flew out. And even the five top grade fourth grade tribulation flying swords that contained the great monks, breaking void sword intent, were not retained. At this moment, all the power of 10,000 swords peak was released and it actively faced the 120 trial sword lights. In the sky, bright rays of light kept flashing. It was the light caused by the collision between the trial sword light and an energy flying sword. Under the simultaneous firing of thousands of swords, 120 trial sword lights dissipated one after another. Li Yuanba was not very happy. As the energy flying sword of Wang Jianfeng was less than half. The main reason is that there is no skill at all in the salvo of 10,000 swords. It is just using numbers to fight the 128 trial sword lights. While the 128 trial sword lights are based on formations. Form of attack. In fact, Li Yuanba can choose to arrange 10,000 energy flying swords into the Tian Gang Earth Evil Immortal Killing Sword Formation. But the Tian Gang Earth Evil Immortal Killing Sword Formation may be effective for monks. But the effect on the trial sword light is much worse. The trial sword light will not be affected by the illusion of the formation but consumes more energy from the 10,000 sword peak as energy converted flying swords. 256 trial sword lights, Li Yuanba said slowly. There are still most of the energy flying swords beside him. And all the energy flying swords are in a state of preparation. 256 trial sword lights appeared in the void. Thousands of energy containing flying swords flew out. And bright lights appeared in the sky again. Cut! Saiping Sing chopped the last few remaining trial sword lights into pieces with one sword. Li Yuanba shook his head helplessly. Thousands of energy flying swords collided with the 256 trial sword lights. All the energy flying swords were consumed. But the 256 trial swords were still not destroyed. All the sword lights were wiped out. He moved the sword body. And a fourth grade sword base appeared in his right hand. He didn't know if he could still hold on. All he had to do was deal with it with all his strength. 512 trial sword lights. He gritted his teeth and said, as soon as the 512 trial sword lights appeared, the hair on his body stood up. Even though he knew that death was impossible in the trial space, the feeling of facing death still gave him a creepy feeling. Facing death caused his heart to increase blood supply. His brain became clear, and his spirit was extremely excited. He had already contacted Li Shiming's natal magic weapon Z15, and with the help of his divine eye observation, he instantly found a way to crack the formation of the 512 trial sword lights. Saiping Sing's sword accurately hit the nodes of the formation, destroying it. Although the formation was broken, the 512 trial sword lights did not stop and flew towards Li Shiming. Li Yuanba's eyes flashed with divine light, and within five meters of his body, the invisible and qualityless, invisible Yuan magnetic, magical power was activated. 50 of the 512 trial sword lights were the first batch to enter Li Yuanba's close quarters. When the 50 trial sword lights entered the 5 meter range around him, they were immediately affected by the invisible magnetism. The trial sword light is essentially a flying sword attack simulated in the trial space. The energy used is metallic energy, and only metallic energy can simulate a real flying sword attack. Under the influence of invisible magnetism, the speed of the 50 trial sword lights was greatly reduced. Although it had not slowed down to a stop, this deceleration was enough for Li Yuanba. As his figure turned, the fourth grade sword base in his hand swept around his body along with his turning figure. The base of the fourth grade sword is blessed with a void-breaking sword intention. 
and coupled with the powerful power of the sword body. Its attack power even exceeds the power of a 4th grade sword. 50 rays of trial sword light were struck by the 4th grade sword base in the state of deceleration. The breaking void sword intent and the powerful force caused the trial sword light that came into contact to instantly break into light points. The second batch of more than 50 trial sword lights also arrived. They were also slowed down. Li Yuanba's rotation did not stop. The fourth grade sword base that was driven was like a meat grinder, entering within five meters of his body. The sword light of the trial was smashed into pieces by him. After two breaths, Li Yuanba felt a lightness in his hand. And then he realized that all 512 trial sword lights had been chopped into pieces by him. 1024 trial sword lights. Li Yuanba muttered to himself while adjusting his breath. In a short burst, his consumption was not light. Every close attack with the sword light requires his full output to be able to cut through instantly. As long as there is a little obstacle during this period, the consequences will be different. That is to say, there is the blessing of breaking the void sword intent. Otherwise, even if there is the magical power of invisible Yuan magnetic to slow down, the distance of 5 meters is still too short. It can only slow down the trial sword light to a certain speed, but cannot slow down the trial sword light. The sword light stopped attacking. In the void, 1,024 trial sword lights appeared, and the entire trial space seemed to be shaking. Li Yuanba's figure moved slightly, and he used Lotus every step. He rarely used Lotus every step, but this does not mean that Lotus every step is not practical. The consumption of building Lotus step by step is very small, but the instantaneous movement distance is a bit short. A white lotus appears in a trial sword light. At the same time, this is also the node where 1024 trial sword lights form the formation. As soon as Bai Lian appeared, Li Yuanba's figure appeared at the same time. Because he used step by step to grow lotus, the trial sword light lost its attack target. The trial sword light maintained its attack speed, but was preparing to start a cruising flight. He appeared within the 1024 trial sword lights. And with a casual slash, he smashed five trial sword lights. And at the same time, he also broke the trap set by the 1024 trial sword lights. Formation. When the 1024 trial sword lights turned to attack, he once again used step by step to live lotus and appeared in another place to smash several trial sword lights again. The trial sword light is like a big net. And Li Yuanba is like a small fish in the net. A fish smaller than the mesh of the mesh. He kept using. Lotus growing every step. And could always escape before being hit by the trial sword light. The number of trial flying swords gradually decreased. And the consumption of spiritual power in his body also increased. He had slashed through 512 trial sword lights before. Which consumed him a lot. Now he kept slashing with all his strength. Reducing the spiritual power in his nascent soul. To a dangerous level. Trial sword light is not very smart and his reaction is a beat slower than him. This allows him to cast. Building Lotus step by step. One step faster than Trial Sword Light every time. Thereby dodging the attack of Trial Sword Light. In the end, all 1024 Trial Sword Lights were chopped into pieces by him. He was sweating profusely, and the 4th grade sword base in his hand was trembling slightly. A sword cultivator couldn't even hold his own sword steady. So you can imagine how exhausted he was. 2048 trial sword lights. When he said these words, his voice was weak. In his current state, there is absolutely no way he can pass this level. His body suddenly changed. His skin turned golden. And his aura changed from the aura of sword intent to the sky to the aura of a golden corpse. He used the characteristics of the Tai Chi body to transform from the human state into the state of corpse refining. In the golden corpse state, Li Yuanba did not have many abilities that he could use. Among the abilities of the sword cultivator, the only one he can use is the two breaking sword intent. The Jiang sword intent is incompatible with the properties of the corpse refining, so it cannot be used. The fourth grade sword base in his hand had not been taken back before. It was held in his hand by his golden corpse state, and the broken void sword intent was blessed on the fourth grade sword base. His invisible magnetism, magical power, regardless of his state, still formed a 5 meter, invisible magnetism, force field around his body. In the golden corp state, his strength, speed and physical strength have been greatly improved. The attack of the golden corpse hardly uses the cold energy in the body. And it can compete with monks of the same level just by relying on the power of the golden corpse. 
2048 trial sword lights appeared from the void, forming a formation and flying towards Li Yuanba. The golden corpse transformed by Li Yuanba counterattacked with a fourth grade sword base. When he collided with the 2048 trial sword lights, the fourth grade sword base in his hand swung out a sword intention and cut through the formation arranged by the 2048 trial sword lights. He could only swing out a sword intention and was surrounded by the light of the trial sword. He kept turning his body and the fourth grade sword intention rotated around his body, smashing the trial sword light slowed down by the invisible elemental magnet force field one by one. After cutting through more than a thousand trial sword lights, the broken void sword intent had already become extremely weak. Although close combat consumes very little of the void breaking sword intent, in this case where every attack is a full strength attack, thousands of attacks still consume almost all of the void breaking sword intent. There was no thought in his brain. The Shanai cooperated with the body of the golden corpse, and fighting became the instinct of this body. When the breaking void sword intent was about to be exhausted. He also gained more insights into the breaking void sword intent under the full force of his killings again and again. Just when the sword light of a trial was chopped into pieces, the breaking void sword intent completely dissipated on the fourth grade sword base. But when the fourth grade sword base was chopped on the next trial sword light, another one appeared on the fourth grade sword base. A new breaking void sword intent appeared. The void breaking sword intent that appeared this time was more powerful. And the void breaking sword intent slashed out left traces of space cutting in the void. Li Yuanba's breaking void sword intent was promoted to another level under the continuous use of breaking void sword intent. Originally, it would take at least hundreds of years of accumulation for his void breaking sword intent to reach its current level. But the battle in the trial space greatly shortened this process for him. Put it outside. Where can you find enemies of the same level that can be attacked continuously with breaking void sword intent? The effect of killing the trial sword light is the same as killing an enemy of the same level has the same effect on breaking void sword intent. If he really wants to reach the current level of breaking the void sword intent, he must either kill thousands of nascent souls as early stage sword cultivators or focus on breaking the void sword intent for hundreds of years with extremely strong talent may be able to reach the current level of breaking void sword intent as the void breaking sword intent increased in level the space cutting traces left by the fourth grade sword base within five meters around him formed a protective barrier around him this space protection barrier composed of space cutting traces when the trial sword light hits the space cutting traces will be resisted by the space energy contained in the space cutting traces and both sides are consuming their own energy among the consumption of both parties the space energy of the space cutting traces is more powerful. And it takes many trial sword lights to erase the space cutting traces. But Li Yuanba did not stop the rotating attack of the fourth grade sword base in his hand. The old space cutting marks had not disappeared. And new space cutting marks appeared again. After the trial sword light was slowed down. Some were chopped into pieces by the fourth grade sword base. And some hit the space cutting marks and turned into light spots. Although the consumption of the golden corpse was much smaller. Under the continuous all-out battle, more than 2,000 full-power attacks made the Golden Corpse tired. The newly promoted void-breaking sword intent was once again consumed to the point where it was difficult to mobilize. But he also chopped up all the sword light in this round of trial. Li Yuanba stood in the air, and he returned to his human state. At this time, his corpse refining state was not much different from his human state. They were both in a weak state and had very little combat power. He did not report the next round of Trial Sword Light. Because he knew very well that the next round of Trial Sword Light would be unstoppable. And he had already tried his best. For thousand and ninety-six Trial Sword Lights appeared. And Li Yuanba felt his body stiffen. He was so weak that he could not resist the terrifying aura of more than four thousand Yuan Ying early and middle levels. You must know that the four thousand and ninety-six Trial Sword Lights appear in the form of formations. The formations integrate the 4096 mid-level auras of the early nascent soul. Li Yuanba opened his arms and looked at the countless trial sword lights flying towards him with a smile. Since you know you can't escape, it's better to greet him with a smile and face life and death with a smile. Just when the trial sword light hit his body, his eyes blurred and he appeared in a room. Congratulations to the trialer. You have passed the test of 2048 trial sword lights. And you have received the following trial rewards. One, one portion of gold earring spiritual crystal. Two, 
a pot of sword turned spiritual liquid. 3. The magical power of Samadhi Divine Wind is inherited once. The voice had no emotion at all and came from all directions, making it impossible for Li Yuanba to detect the direction from which the voice came. However, he knew that this should be the weapon spirit of Dong Tian. The weapon spirit controls the operation rules of the trial space and rewards the trialists who achieve corresponding results according to the operation rules. He didn't know what the reward rules were. But seeing that there were three kinds of rewards, it showed that his results should be very good. Chapter 630 Divine Power Gold-hating spiritual crystal is a fourth-grade special weapon refining material. The specialness means that it is not an ordinary weapon refining material, but a weapon refining material with special properties. The special thing about the gold-hating spirit crystal is that, after adding a portion of the gold-hating spirit crystal, the metal of the metal magic weapon can be made invisible, and the metal sharpness and attack power can still be exerted. Li Yuanba was very suspicious that this was a reward given by the trial space for his invisible magnetism, magical power. Because if a gold-hating spirit crystal is added to the natal flying sword, the natal flying sword can ignore the force field of the invisible magnetism, magical power. If a monk really used the invisible yuan magnetic magical force field as a defense and added the gold-hating spirit crystal flying sword, he would definitely regret it to death because the flying sword with the gold-hating spirit crystal would no longer have a metallic appearance. Li Yuanba considered whether to add the gold-hating spiritual crystal to his four-character sword or whether to hand over the gold-hating spiritual crystal to the real body Li Shiming. Li Shiming is the one who mainly needs to be strengthened and all the efforts of the clone Li Yuanba need to serve the main body. Li Yuanba put away the gold-hating spiritual crystal and would consider how to distribute it when he met the real person Li Shiming. The second reward was a pot of sword-forming spiritual liquid. He did not recognize the sword-forming spiritual liquid. But when his consciousness came into contact with the spiritual pot containing sword-forming spiritual liquid, he received information about sword-forming spiritual liquid from the spiritual pot. Information about the ectoplasm. Sword spiritual liquid is a kind of spiritual liquid naturally produced by the sword cave that is specific to the sword intention climbing to the sky technique. Taking the sword turn spiritual liquid can greatly speed up the improvement of the sword intention climb to the sky technique. The sword turn spiritual liquid in the spirit pot is exactly the amount that will allow him to rise from his current state to the peak of the early stage of nascent soul. Needless to say, this is a trial space specially prepared for his realm. The final inheritance of the magical power of Tamadhi Divine Wind requires Li Yuanba to enter another room to receive the inheritance. Of course, whether he can accept the inheritance depends on whether he can pass the test of the inheritance of the magical power of Samadhi Kamikaze. Samadhi Divine Wind is a metal magical power, and wind belongs to gold. Samadhi Divine Wind itself exists in the form of metal. I accept the inheritance of the magical power of Samadhi Divine Wind. Li Yuanba said in a deep voice. As soon as he finished saying this, he felt space fluctuations. And then, he was teleported to another room. Countless golden sands were flying in the room. He stretched out his hand and felt it. These flying golden sands were real. But they seemed to be energized. They were solid when he touched them. However, when he wanted to grab a handful of golden sands, they passed through his body. Palm. Li Yuanba didn't know what the test of Samadhi Kamikaze was. He had already contacted Z15 to face the test with the strongest attitude. In fact, he prefers that the main body is here, whether it is the previous trial or the current test of magical power inheritance. He believes that the main body can do it better than him. In the previous trial, the force field range expanded by the invisible magnetism of the main body Li Shiming, no matter how much trial sword light there was, would be stagnated by the invisible magnetism. In addition, the control of the flying sword by the original Li Shiming is not comparable to that of the clone Li Yuanba. When Li Yuanba was thinking about it, light flashed in front of his eyes. And then he found himself in a desert. He stepped on the sand with his feet. And he could feel through his feet that the sand was the golden sand from before, which was a kind of metallic golden sand. He faintly heard a strange sound. And when he looked up into the distance, he found that his shenai's could still be used. He saw the sky-blocking sand and dust rushing towards this side. This was no ordinary sandstorm. There were countless metallic golden sands flying around. And each grain of golden sand was like a small sword. He seemed to suddenly see more than 4,000 trial sword lights in the previous trial. This time, 
The number of trial sword lights increased tens of millions of times. The horror in it almost made him lose his mind. Fortunately, he was in contact with Z-15, and the data sent by Z-15 woke him up. Without thinking, he used South close to the end of the world to escape in the opposite direction. Theoretically speaking, the speed of South close to the end of the world is definitely faster than the sandstorm behind him. But no matter how he uses South close to the end of the world, the sandstorm behind him is constantly approaching. How can you pass this test? He cursed in his mind. The sandstorm behind him gave him the feeling that if he was caught up, he would be crushed into a pulp. In front of his eyes, a large amount of data was being refreshed. This was Z-15 analyzing the sandstorm behind him. There must be some kind of solution to the seemingly chaotic sandstorm. Even if it is a test of supernatural power, there is a way to solve it. It is impossible to give an unsolvable test. In that case, who can pass such a test? Just when he was about to be overtaken by the sandstorm behind him, the data in front of him changed. An extremely complex formation model appeared in front of his eyes. Based on his observations and divine perception, Z-15 analyzed the ultra-complex formation composed of countless golden sands in the sandstorm. This formation is extremely difficult to discover, because in addition to the sandstorm golden sand that makes up the formation, there are also some golden sands surrounding the golden sand that make up the formation, affecting the monk's judgment of the formation. Paksu! Li Yuanba turned around and shouted. The fourth grade sword base appeared in his right hand, and the fourth grade sword base was filled with breaking void sword intent. He fired a sword towards the sandstorm behind him. This sword contained his strongest void breaking sword intention. The fourth grade sword base struck at a special place in sandstorm, which was the formation node of sandstorm. Li Yuanba didn't know what the consequences of this attack would be, but this was the best option he could consider at this time. The fourth grade sword base let out a soft cry and struck the flying golden sand. A strange thing happened. Before the breaking void sword intent could destroy the sandstorm, just the fourth grade sword base hit the sandstorm, causing the sandstorm to suddenly stop. It didn't stop for a breath, and all the golden sand fixed in the air fell downwards at the same time. Subsequently, a large amount of Samadhi Kamikaze magical information was transmitted to his brain, and was also accepted by the real body Li Shiming. A magical rune of Samadhi Divine Wind appeared in the rune dagger of Li Yuan by Yuanying, and also appeared in the rune dagger of Li Shiming Jin Lei Yuanying. Li Yuanba knew that he successfully passed the inheritance test of Tamadhi Divine Wind and obtained the inheritance of Tamadhi Divine Wind, but he didn't know how he passed it. He didn't even know what the inheritance test of Samadhi Kamikaze was. In fact, the inheritance test of the magical power of Tamadhi Divine Wind is to test the monk's subtle perception of the metal element, the countless golden sands in the sandstorm. Each grain of golden sand has a very strong power, and together, they have unimaginable destructive power. This kind of powerful sandstorm is not something that Yuanning monks can fight against. Even during the test, the sandstorm is blessed by the rules of the sword cave. It was the blessing of this rule that made it possible for Li Yuanba to use South close to the end to be unable to distance himself from the sandstorm. Instead, he was quickly overtaken. This sandstorm is not to be resisted by force, but to find the weak points in the sandstorm. This weak point requires the monks to have extraordinary perception of metal energy. This extraordinary ability to perceive metal energy is rare even among sword cultivators. And this kind of instinct is instinctive and cannot be replicated. Therefore, the magical power of Tamadhi Divine Wind is the most difficult magical power to be passed down. At least no sword cultivator in the Sword Intention Chengshao Pavilion has received the inheritance of Tamadhi Divine Wind magical power. It was also Li Yuanba who performed so well and passed the trial so well that the trial space gave him the strongest gold inheritance. While Li Yuanba was still comprehending the magical power of Tamadhi Divine Wind, he was directly moved out of the trial space by the trial weapon spirit. Before he could land, Jian Lao used another method to move him back to his own cave. Yuanba, it seems that the harvest is not small. Jian Lao looked at Li Yuanba with a strange expression and said, Silks of golden flying sand were flying out of Li Yuanba's body hovering around his body. But because the number was too small, it was impossible to see the kind of sandstorm-like flying sand he encountered when accepting the Samadhi Kamikaze inheritance test. Jian Lao recognized what it was, and that was why he was so surprised. The magical power of Samadhi Divine Wind is a powerful and terrifying attack magical power. 
The most terrifying thing about the magical power of Tamadhi Divine Wind is that it does not only target the body, but also attacks the soul and spirit. If the spiritual consciousness is swept away by the Tamadhi Divine Wind, the spiritual consciousness will be wiped out. Attack type magical powers are the most terrifying among magical powers. Just like the magical power of Nanming Lihua. That is, Li Shiming has not practiced any fire based skills. So he cannot fully exert the power of Nanming Lihuo. With the power of Nanming Lihua's magical power, even if the enemy's strength is a little higher than Li Shiming's, he will be in trouble if he is approached by Nanming Lihua. Of course, the magical power of Nanming Lihua is definitely a hidden secret for Li Shiming. He has stronger attack methods than the magical power of Nanming Lihuo. So the magical power of Nanming Lihuo has become a flame for refining weapons and elixirs. Li Yuanba has obtained the magical power of Tamadhi Divine Wind, which has little impact on his own strength in a short period of time. However, as Tamadhi Divine Wind becomes stronger and stronger, his attack methods will become more abundant. I have acquired the magical power of Samadhi Divine Wind, but I haven't mastered it yet. Li Yuanba never concealed anything from Jian Lao. The magical power of Samadhi Divine Wind is somewhat similar to your 10,000 swords peak. If you try to use the two together, you can increase the power a lot, Jian Lao said with a smile. Li Yuanba suddenly realized that this magical power of Samadhi Divine Wind was deliberately chosen by the trial weapon spirit because he used the 10,000 swords peak magic weapon at that time. Only an existence at the level of Jian Lao can clearly see that there is a certain connection between Samadhi Divine Wind and 10,000 Swords Peak. Thank you, Mr. Jian, for your advice. Li Yuanba bowed gratefully and replied. Jian Lao's guidance saved him a lot of detours. Practice hard. Your current state is somewhat inconsistent with your reputation. Jian Lao waved him off and explained. After Jian Lao finished speaking, his figure disappeared, leaving Li Yuanba's cave. Li Yuanba shook his head and returned to his sword room. He took out 10,000 Swords Peak and let 10,000 swords peak. Absorb the energy of the sword cave to recover faster. This time, he had consumed all the 10,000 energy flying swords of 10,000 swords peak. And 10,000 swords peak. Needed to condense the energy flying swords again. Li Yuanba did not realize the magical power of Tamadhi Divine Wind. So this matter was left to the main body Li Shiming. For Li Shiming. Realizing the magical power of Tamadhi Divine Wind. Is just to give his brain something to do and it will not affect Li Shiming's other things. On the other hand, if Li Yuanba realizes the magical power of Tamadhi Divine Wind on his own, he may not be able to do anything else. The most important thing for Li Yuanba right now is not to realize the magical power of Tamadhi Divine Wind, but to improve his own cultivation. After obtaining a cultivation treasure such as Door Transformation Spiritual Liquid, all he needs to do is practice in seclusion. He gave Tang Xuaning a message tactic telling him that he would be in seclusion for a period of time. Tang Xuaning is his teammate. The two have done several missions together. And the cooperation is very successful. If Tang Xuaning was not told about his seclusion, if Tang Xuaning took on some dangerous mission and he was unable to come out to help, wouldn't it be a harm to Tang Xuaning? Tang Xuaning said, I understand, without asking too many questions. Li Yuanba opened the spirit pot. And an extremely pure breath of sword intent rose out of the spirit pot. This breath also contained spiritual energy fluctuations. He was afraid that if he opened the spiritual pot for too long, the spirit of the sword turned spiritual liquid inside would be lost. So he poured a drop of sword spiritual liquid from the spirit pot into his mouth and then sealed the spirit pot again. A drop of sword spirit liquid entered his body and he felt as if a flying sword entered his body. This flying sword does not hurt anyone. It is extremely gentle. He practiced the Sword Intention Chong Shao Ju. As the Sword Intent Chong Shao Ju was running, the flying sword transformed by the drop of Sword Transformation Spiritual Liquid was continuously absorbed and transformed by the Sword Intent Chong Shao Ju. It became the qualifications for the Sword Intention Chong Shao technique. With the help of a drop of Sword Transformation Spiritual Liquid, the cultivation level of Sword Intention climbing into the sky has improved rapidly. When he digested this drop of Sword Transformation Spiritual Liquid. His cultivation level increased by three years. But he actually only spent three days absorbing and digesting it. The Sword Spiritual Liquid. 
cannot be taken immediately, no matter how gentle the sword spiritual liquid is. It is the spiritual liquid transformed by the sword cave heaven through sword intention. Taking it too many times will cause damage to the body. Therefore, after taking a drop of sword transformation spiritual liquid, you need to rest for seven days before taking it. Although there are such limitations, with the help of sword transformation spirit liquid, his cultivation level is improving like a rocket. He finally understood that in addition to hard work, there were many kinds of special resources that could quickly improve his cultivation. The original body Li Shiming had taken it. And now the clone Li Yuanba also got this opportunity. Chapter 631 Reinforcements Brother Duan, I've finally waited for you. Senior Monk Wang Yi looked at the senior monk in front of him. With a long lost smile on his face. The tragic loss of his disciple made him feel very bad these past few months. If it weren't for the important events of Yuqing sect, he would have wanted to go to the four major sects for a fight. Now that support from the Yuqing sect has finally arrived. He can finally avenge his disciple Feng Qian. Brother Wang, I heard that Feng Qian was killed. Please express your condolences. Senior Brother Duan Zhang could sense the sad aura on Senior Monk Wang He. And he persuaded softly. I have trained Feng Qian for thousands of years. And how much effort I have put in. The smile on the face of the great monk Wang He disappeared. And he gritted his teeth and said. During this time, he had no one to communicate with on an equal footing. Which left him with no one to talk to. The great monk Duan Zhang in front of him can understand his feelings and is also the best person to talk to. Have you found out who did it? Senior brother Duan Zhang asked in a deep voice. Even though the Yuqing sect had a sworn enemy in Xi'an continent, he still acted extremely domineeringly. In Dongxi continent, where the level of immortal cultivation was even lower, with the combat power of two great monks, Lei Xiu, he didn't need to have any more scruples. Judging from the purchased information, there is only one core monk of the 10,000 beasts sect in the early stage of nascent soul. He is an alchemy master named Li Shurjin. It is said that he is very powerful in combat and is also a thunder cultivator. Great monk Wang Yi answered. Road. While waiting for Yu Qing's own support, he didn't do anything. Through some connections, he entrusted cross-continental forces with business in the eastern Xi continent to conduct a detailed investigation of the 10,000 beast sect. During the time when Feng Qian and the three Yuan Yings died of Lei Xiu in the early stage. That area, the situation of the monks, is the focus of investigation. From the information he received, he discovered that during that period, the only core monk of the 10,000 B sect who appeared in that area was Li Shurjin. Although Li Shurjin is only in the early stage of Yuan Ying, as a great monk of Yuqing sect, he will not underestimate any core monk. Perhaps one of the core monks has a talisman given by the great monk, which can deliver the power of the great monk. Of course, this possibility is very small. The talisman that can truly contain the power of a great monk strike, not to mention how precious its material is, cannot be given away casually. It means that the great monk gives a part of his own energy to give it to the talisman. Great monks rarely do this. Now that you know, let's kill him, regardless of whether he did it or not. Kill him first, and then check his mustard ring. And you can find out the evidence. Senior brother Duan Zhang waved his hand. Who do you think we should send there? Great monk Wang He nodded in agreement. And then asked. Originally there were four mid-stage nascent soul monks here. But the strength of these four mid-nascent soul monks was far lower than the fallen Feng Qian. So he never sent them out. The people who came with senior monk Duan Zhang this time were all mid-nascent soul cultivators under senior monk Duan Zhang. He couldn't easily transfer them at will. So he asked this question. I brought Zisong here. So let Zisong bring two mid-stage nascent soul thunder cultivators over. Brother Duan Zhang thought for a while and said, Wu Zisong is the strongest among the mid nascent soul monks brought by the great monk Duan Zhang this time. And he is also the eldest disciple of the great monk Duan Zhang. His status was as if Feng Qian was a disciple of the great monk Wang He. There was no way that the great monk Duan Zhang could send Wu Zisong intentionally. Feng Qian was killed. And even the other mid nascent soul Lei Xiao sent out was not sure. And only Wu Zisong was sure to kill Li Shiming. For the sake of insurance, the great monk Duan Zhang asked Wu Zisong to bring two middle stage nascent soul Lei Xiao with him. Then thank you for your hard work. Zisong. I will thank him alone when Zisong comes back. Great monk Wang He nodded and said. I would like to thank you on behalf of Zisong. Senior brother Duan Zhang said with a smile. Monk Wang He's gratitude is not light. And monk Duan Zhang is happy for his disciple Wu Zisong. Master Duan Zhang sent out a sound transmission formula. And Wu Zisong. 
who was resting in a place. Receive the sound transmission formula. You too. Follow me. Wu Zifsong ordered the two mid-stage nascent soul Lei Xiao who came with him. All the nascent soul monks, who came this time were from the lineage of senior monk Duan Zhang. As the eldest disciple of senior monk Duan Zhang, Wu Zifsong had the power to act on behalf of his master. So he spoke in a commanding tone. Yes. The two mid-stage nascent soul Lei Xiao were not unhappy. They all bowed in response. Three rays of lightning flew out from the Dayue Mountains, flying towards the distance without any concealment. Wu Zizan looked down upon the fallen Feng Qian, who actually fell in the eastern Qi continent. He also saw the information about Li Shurzhen. His mission this time was to go over and kill Li Shurzhen, and find out from the mustard ring on Li Shurzhen whether it was Li Shurzhen who killed Feng Qian. As for if the relics left by Feng Qian were not found in Li Shurzhen's mustard ring, then it can only mean that Feng Qian was not killed by Li Shurzhen. And he found the wrong person. The world of cultivating immortals is so cruel. For two hostile parties, it is extremely normal to kill a cultivator of the other party. Wu Zisong was not worried about exposing his whereabouts. Three middle-stage nascent soul lay cultivators, including him, a top being in the middle-stage nascent soul, went to kill an early-stage nascent soul monk. Even the core monks of the 10,000 beasts sect could easily catch him. This mission would not take long. Even if the 10,000 beasts sect knew the target of his operation, he would have completed the mission and returned by then. The three mid-stage nascent soul monks are all thunder cultivators. They use thunder escape to fly. In terms of speed, there are very few monks who can be faster than them. Li Shiming sat cross-legged in the training room and took the fourth grade realm breaking pill in the early stage of Yuanying. After the fourth grade realm breaking elixir in the early stage of Yuanying entered his belly. He sensed the changes in Yuanying. His nascent soul grew rapidly, doubling in size, and he was able to sense the increase in energy within the nascent soul. This is what it feels like to be in the middle stage of nascent soul, he murmured to himself. The fourth grade realm breaking pill in the early stage of Yuanying allowed him to feel the realm in the middle stage of Yuanying in advance, making the bottleneck in front of him clearer, giving him the illusion that he would be able to break the bottleneck soon. The nascent soul's strength only lasted for ten breaths before it returned to its original form. He breathed a long sigh of relief, and the powerful feeling of the middle nascent soul was engraved in his brain. He was more aware of his bottleneck than before. Even if he doesn't find an opportunity for promotion, he believes that as long as he is given a few years, he can forcefully break through the bottleneck through his experience of the middle nascent soul stage and his clear understanding of the bottleneck. At this time, he had almost half-stepped into the middle stage of nascent soul. All he needed was an opportunity for promotion. Or maybe a few years. For Li Shiming, a monk in the early stage of nascent soul, he still has at least 900 years of life left. And a few years is really insignificant. He opened his eyes. He spent more than 40 days refining the 4th grade high-level severed limb rebirth elixir for the great monk. It was still cost-effective. Not only did he gain the favor of a great monk from Zhongzhou Trading Company, but he also gained this insight, which allowed him to 100% advance to the middle stage of nascent soul. After getting the 4th grade realm-breaking pill in the early stage of Yuanying, he did not take it immediately. Instead, he practiced for several months to consolidate the peak state of the early stage of Yuanying. Sure enough, after the peak state of the early Yuanying was extremely solid, I took the fourth level realm breaking pill of the early Yuanying, and the effect was the best. As a master of alchemy, he has a better understanding of taking elixirs than other monks. He knows how to make the most of the elixirs. When Li Shiming was happy, he frowned, and the drone satellite system sent him a warning through the magic weapon Z15. He issued a command to Z15 and brought up the real-time monitoring screen of the drone satellite system. When he saw three blurry figures, he couldn't help but be shocked. The three mid-stage nascent soul monks, considering that the 10,000 beasts sect has not given any notice in this regard. If they really mobilize the three mid-stage nascent soul monks, they will definitely send a message in advance to inform them. Besides, with the current situation of 10,000 beasts sect, it is unrealistic to mobilize three mid-stage nascent soul monks here at once. The Zhongzhou Trading Company has also regained contact. If anything happens, there is no need for the monks from the Zhongzhou Trading Company to come over. So it cannot be the monks from the Zhongzhou Trading Company. There is only one possibility. It is Yu Qingzong who came to take revenge. The middle stage nascent soul Lei Xiao he killed before had such a strong aura that he should be a Lei Xiao with a very high status in the Yu Qing sect. He had already suspected that Yuqing sect sent Lei Xiao to take revenge. Kan Yuan, 
Call all the monks stationed at the three resource points to evacuate immediately. Li Shiming left the garrison cave and ordered Kong Yuan who was patrolling. Give up resource points? Kong Yuan couldn't believe her ears. In the name of the core monks, I order you to execute it immediately, Li Shiming said in a deep voice. He didn't have time to explain at this time. Even if he used the living dead Xiao Qi Feng to activate the Thunder Mysterious Bow, he could only kill one of the mid-stage nascent soul lake cultivators. The power of the Thundering Mysterious Bow is huge, but it takes a long time to prepare. Ten breaths of time is enough for Lei Xiao in the middle stage of nascent soul to react and choose to escape. He didn't want Lei Xiao from the Jade Qing sect to know the secret of the Thunder Mysterious Bow. It was not a good thing for an early Yuaning monk to have an attack power close to that of a great monk and he didn't have the confidence to deal with three mid-stage nascent soul Lei Xiao at the same time. The three middle-stage Yuanying Thunder Cultivators are all middle-stage Yuanying Thunder Cultivators from the Yuching sect. The super-powerful mid-stage Yuanying Thunder Cultivators have stronger combat power than ordinary mid-stage Yuanying monks. Even any one of the mid-nascent soul Lei Cultivators has the power to deal with other mid-nascent soul cultivators with one-to-many combat power. Yes, I will execute it immediately, Kong Yuan responded loudly. He thought of Li Shiming's identity, a direct disciple of Brother Hu, not to mention them. His status was extremely high even within the 10,000 Beasts sect. Li Shiming had the absolute right to issue orders to the station monks. Although this order was somewhat inconsistent with the sect's rules, accountability would be a matter for the future. Now he could only obey Li Shiming's orders. Kong Yuan took out the identity jade disc and sent orders to the monks stationed at the other two resource points. At the same time, he noted that the order was from the core monthly shimming. Even if the monks stationed at the other two resource points were reluctant, they still obeyed the order. Li Shiming saw from the drone satellite system that the Yuanying monks stationed there began to evacuate the resource points. And he couldn't help but feel relieved. He also sent a message to his master, Brother Hu, telling the three Yuching sect Yuanying mid-stage Lei Xiao to approach here. Shurzhen, take the garrison monks to withdraw from the resource point immediately. So what if the resource point is given to the Yuching sect? They can't hold it at all. Brother Hu's reply came. As Li Shiming expected. Brother Hu's order it is consistent with Li Shiming's order issued in advance. Li Shiming did not leave with Kong Yuan. Kong Yuan would meet up with the monks stationed at the other two resource points. And then hide in a relatively private place. He will monitor the three mid-stage nascent soul Lei Xiao from a distance to see what they want to do. Wu Song brought two mid-stage nascent soul Lei Xiao with a very clear goal which was to head towards the Xuanxi Mountains. According to the information they obtained, Li Shiming was in this resource point. Wu Zisong thought that he was fast enough to arrive at the resource point in the Xuanxi Mountains before Li Shiming discovered them, blocking Li Shiming in the resource point with no way to escape. But he never expected that Li Shiming had a drone satellite system that was monitoring this area all the time. Any monk who entered this area would be known to Li Shiming immediately. Before Wu Zisong arrived, all the monks stationed at the three resource points evacuated. Separately occupy three directions and don't let the monks in the resource point escape. Especially Li Shurjin. He is a master of alchemy and must have a lot of life-saving items in his hands. Wu Song came to the resource point in the Xuanxi Mountains and asked the two Lei Xiao, who was in the middle stage of nascent soul. Reminded, the three mid-stage nascent soul Lei Xiao opened up their posture and surrounded the resource points. The alchemy master inside is probably scared out of his wits. A mid-stage nascent soul Lei Xiao couldn't help but laugh when he saw that there was no reaction inside. Wu Song couldn't laugh. He always felt something was wrong. Even if Li Shurjin didn't react. There was another nascent soul cultivator at the resource point here, who would at least strengthen the formation here. However, it was as if there were no monks stationed at the resource point in front of him. And the formation had not been strengthened by any monks. Break it! Wu Zisong shouted softly. His figure transformed into the form of nascent soul. He held a thunder hammer in his hand and fired a lightning technique at the formation at the resource point. Thunder and lightning fell on the formation. And the formation was broken open instantly, revealing the protected spiritual field and the garrison cave. When Li Shiming left, he took away the fourth grade formation flag and restored the formation at the resource point here to its original state. The fourth grade formation flag was very precious and could not be wasted. Did Li Shurjin get the news in advance and escape? Wu Song didn't even need to break the formation guarding the cave to be 100% sure that there was no nascent soul cultivator here. Chapter 632 Opportunity Wu Song did not destroy the resource points in the Xuanxi Mountains. 
There are some rules in the world of immortality that need to be observed together. The big forces fighting each other cannot destroy the resource points. It is extremely difficult to establish any resource point. Not only does it require a large amount of resources to be invested, but the resource point itself has a special environment. If this environment is destroyed, then the resource points here will be completely lost. Once both sides begin to destroy each other's resource points with all their strength, the battle will be meaningless. Even if the winning side is defeated, without the acquisition of resources, it will be in vain. Therefore, there are unspoken rules in the world of immortality. The battle between big forces cannot destroy the resource points of both sides. Of course, there are still some resource points that are accidentally damaged during the battle. And there is no way to do this. However, with the resource points in the Shuanxi Mountains without the monks stationed there, if Wu Zisong dares to destroy the resource points, then the news comes out. And in Xi'an, the hostile forces of the mainland Yuching sect also dared to do this. Even if the hostile forces of the Yuching sect and Xi'an continent destroy the resource points of the Yuching sect afterwards, they will not be condemned by the world of immortality. Instead, it will be regarded as an act of protecting the rules of the world of immortality. Wu Zisong was angry. He came here with enthusiasm. Not to mention completing the task. He didn't even see Li Shiming's shadow. Go and check out the other two resource points. He ordered the other two mid-stage nascent soul Lei Xiao in a deep voice. The two mid-nascent soul Lei Xiao nodded and flew towards the other two resource points. Wu Zisong was not worried about anything going wrong. The three resource points of the 10,000 B sect here were not far apart. And they could be reached in about one stick of incense. Even if one of the mid-nascent soul Lei Xiao is attacked, he can rush to the rescue in time if he wants to. Of course, he didn't think such a thing would happen. No matter who leaked the news about their operation, Judging from Li Shiming's performance, Li Shiming was afraid. Li Shiming, who had all fled, could not do anything. But what he didn't know was that at an altitude of 10,000 meters, drones and satellites were monitoring every move he made and the two mid-stage nascent soul Lei Xiao. Li Shiming was about to give up attacking the three mid-stage nascent soul Lei Xiao, just to see their next follow-up actions. But he saw that the three mid-nascent soul Lei Xiao were actually separated, which made him readjust his plan. He ignored the mid-nascent soul Lei Xiao who stayed in the Xuanxi Mountains, putting himself in their shoes. The status of a monk who stayed in place and two monks who went to the other two resource points must be that of the monks who stayed in place. Hi! He was not sure that he could kill the monk who stayed in the same place at once. And besides, his location was closer to the target resource point of Lei Xiao in the middle stage of nascent soul. Who was flying? He used close to the end of the world to find the best attack position and determine the position and speed of Lei Xiao in the middle stage of nascent soul through the drone satellite system. A concealment formation was arranged on the ground, and four fourth-level puppets and the living dead Xiao Qi Feng were released by him. The four fourth-grade puppets prepared their energy together, and four top-grade fourth-grade cone-shaped magic weapons appeared in the electromagnetic gun. The living dead Xiao Qi Feng was holding the thunder mysterious bow, but did not draw the bow. Li Shiming's golden thunder nascent soul emerged from the body, and the light flashed in the hands of the small nascent soul, blessing four fourth-grade top-level cone-shaped magic weapons with void-breaking sword intent. His cultivation has reached the peak of the early stage of nascent soul, and his clone Li Yuanba's Tu Xiao sword intent has been greatly improved, and his original body has received the same benefits. His void-breaking sword intention has been able to bless other magic weapons and maintain it for a period of time. Lei Xiao in the middle stage of nascent soul does not have any thunder escape. His mission is to search. Not just to search for target resource points, but also to see if there are any traces left by monks along the way. His spiritual consciousness was released, and he followed his flight to explore all the way. He is still very vigilant, and is always on guard against possible attacks. He had heard about Feng Qian's death. Feng Qian was also a middle stage nascent soul lay cultivator. But in terms of identity and cultivation, Feng Qian was much stronger than him. Feng Qian had already fallen. How could he dare to take it lightly? When he was with Wu Zisong before, he felt more at ease with Wu Zisong around. But he had to be careful when acting alone. Li Shiming placed the attack range at 50 miles. In fact, the electromagnetic gun has an absolute attack range of not to mention 50 miles. Even 500 miles. It's just that he had relatively few fighting methods in the past. So using the fourth level puppet attack from as far away as possible can make himself safer. Now there is no need for it. He has the confidence to protect himself 
when facing the mid-nascent soul monks. He is not afraid of the mid-nascent soul monks. Even when facing Yuching sect's mid-nascent soul ratio, his confidence remained undiminished. As his mind moved slightly, for fourth grade puppets activated the electromagnetic cannon at the same time. At a distance of 50 miles, at the speed activated by the electromagnetic gun, the fourth grade top level cone shaped magic weapon arrived almost immediately. When Lei Xiao in the middle nascent soul stage sensed an attack, the time it took him from sensing the danger to his body reacting was much longer than the time it took for a fourth grade top cone shaped magic weapon to fly across the range of perception. So before he could even react, for fourth grade cone shaped magic weapons hit his body. It is not that he is defenseless. He is always on guard against possible attacks. And he always maintains a fourth level defensive spell. Thunder Shield. The defensive effect of the Thunder Shield spell is only average. But with the mid stage nascent soul cultivation level, the Thunder Shield can at least defend against an attack from a monk of the same level, allowing him to respond in time. But what he faced was the electromagnetic gun. This electromagnetic gun was driven by the energy core of the fourth grade puppet. This was a combination of puppet mechanics and technology. Not to mention that the fourth grade cone shaped magic weapon alone is extremely powerful. And coupled with the terrifying impact of the electromagnetic cannon, even the defensive spells of mid stage nascent soul monks cannot resist it. Li Shiming was rich in means. In order to prevent Lei Xiao from the mid stage nascent soul from having any special means, he launched four top level cone shaped magic weapons of the fourth grade at once. The fourth grade top cone shaped magic weapon launched this time is also blessed with void breaking sword intent. This power can be said to exceed the defense limit of a monk in the middle stage of nascent soul. The first fourth grade top level cone shaped magic weapon hit Lei Xiao's body in the middle stage of nascent soul. The defensive spell Thunder Shield was directly broken open by breaking void sword intent. The Thunder Shield even consumed the fourth grade top level cone shaped magic weapon. Some of the punches didn't make it. After the Broken Void Sword Intent broke through the Z Lei Shield. It did not consume much. And then broke through the body of Lei Xiao in the middle stage of Yuanying. Allowing the 4th grade top cone-shaped magic weapon to sink into the body of Lei Xiao in the middle stage of Yuanying. The power of Breaking Void Sword Intention. And the 4th grade top cone-shaped magic weapon completely exploded inside the body. And the physical body of Lei Xiao in the middle stage of Nascent Soul was instantly wiped out. In the middle stage of the Nascent Soul. Lei Xiao quickly wanted the nascent soul to leave the body. But then, the second fourth grade top level cone shaped magic weapon arrived. This time, due to the physical death of the body, the attack acted on the nascent soul. It's still a bit of a waste. It only takes two shots to get it done. Li Shiming saw the results of the battle clearly through his divine vision and said to himself lightly. He was not very excited about the achievement of killing a middle stage nascent soul Lei Xiao. His body is stronger in combat power than his counterpart Li Yuanba. And now Li Yuanba can kill a mid-stage nascent soul cultivator head-on. He also has a variety of powerful weapons. Killing a mid-nascent soul lay cultivator is a normal performance. After the four top-level cone-shaped magic weapons of the fourth grade completed the attack, they paused for two breaths, then activated the automatic return runes and returned to the barrel of the electromagnetic gun. Li Shiming re the Breaking Void Sword Intent with the blessing of breaking void sword intent. The power of the electromagnetic cannon was greatly enhanced. Although the power of the electromagnetic cannon is still not comparable to the power of the arrows shot by the living dead Xiao Qifeng pulling the thundering black bow. It is not a problem to deal with the monks in the middle stage of nascent soul. The power of the electromagnetic cannon and the breath that the mid-nascent soul Lei Xiao erupted when he died were both felt by Wu Song and another mid-nascent soul Lei Xiao. Something happened! Wu Song wanted to contact the two mid-stage nascent soul Lei Xiao while flying towards the place where the accident happened. He found that he could only contact one mid-nascent soul Lei Xiao. But the other mid-nascent soul Lei Xiao could not be contacted. In order to facilitate contact, they have always kept in touch. After such a long time, Yu Qingzong re-established communication channels through various relationships in the eastern Qi continent. Using communication cards, they can communicate with each other outside. Even if the four major local sects are very powerful in the eastern Qi continent, it is impossible for all the forces to close the contact formations and deactivate the contact cards for a long time. The four major local sects also understand this. And they have relaxed restrictions in this regard. Get closer over there. Go and take a look first. Wu Zisong was about to rush over. But his heart moved slightly, 
and he issued an order to another mid-stage nascent soul Lei Xiao. Although the middle-stage nascent soul Lei Xiao, who was in trouble, was said to be inferior to him in strength. Even he couldn't instantly kill the middle-stage nascent soul Lei Xiao, who was in trouble. He was thinking deeply, and didn't want to take the risk himself. It would be better to let Lei Xiao, who was alive in the middle stage of nascent soul, go over and investigate. After receiving the order, Lei Xiao, who was in the middle stage of nascent soul, felt helpless. He also knew the danger over there, but who told him to obey the order? He took out a talisman. With a flash of reluctance but determination in his eyes, he activated the talisman, and a defensive magic shield appeared on his body. He then took out a fourth grade high level shield. Lei Xiao rarely used defensive magic weapons, but not all Lei Xiao did not prepare defensive magic weapons for themselves. He was still uneasy and used Thunder Shield for himself. This was the third line of defense. Feeling the defense on his body, he couldn't help but feel relieved. He didn't dare to stay longer and flew towards the place where the accident happened. As he got closer and closer to the place where the accident occurred, the nascent soul in his body came out of the body, and the nascent soul activated the nascent soul Dharma. The nascent soul Dharma, which was more than 10 meters high, took the physical body into the body and flew forward. It can be said that he has used all his abilities to deal with attacks at any time. Li Shiming saw the approach of the mid-nascent soul Lei Xiao through the UAV satellite system. He found that the mid-nascent soul Lei Xiao was obviously closer to the resource point in the Xuanchi Mountains. But it had slowed down. On the other side, Lei Xiao, who was in the middle stage of nascent soul, rushed over quickly. And Li Shiming understood it with a little thought. It seemed that the instant kill on his side made the mid-nascent soul Lei Xiao at the Xuanchi Mountain resource point fearful and asked another mid-nascent soul Lei Xiao to come over and check. This also reflects that Lei Xiao of the mid-stage nascent soul at the resource point in the Xuanchi Mountains is the one with the highest status. He made Zhao Qifeng, the living dead who originally planned to attack, stop drawing his bow. His original plan was to attract two mid-stage nascent soul Lei cultivators. The mid-stage nascent soul monk in the Xuanchi Mountains would be dealt with by the living dead Xiao Qifeng and the other mid-stage nascent soul Lei cultivator would be dealt with by four fourth-grade puppets. Now the mid-stage nascent soul Lei Xiao from the resource point in the Xuanchi Mountains has not come over. He only plans to use four fourth-grade puppets. Judging from the previous results, four fourth-grade puppets are enough to deal with Lei Xiao in the middle stage of nascent soul. This time, Li Shiming's electromagnetic cannon that activated the four fourth-grade puppets was farther away. When the mid-stage nascent soul Lei Xiao came 200 miles away, he activated the electromagnetic cannon. The terrifying power was restrained by the concealment formation. Only after the four top-level cone-shaped magic weapons of the fourth grade were shot out of the concealment formation, the terrifying aura was revealed. It's just that the speed of the fourth grade cone-shaped magic weapon is too fast. Its speed makes it extremely difficult for monks within 500 miles to react. Even if a monk at the nascent soul stage has a stronger means of perception, such as divine consciousness. It still takes a very short time from perception to reaction. However, the speed of the electromagnetic gun makes the monks not even have this time. Because Lei Xiao in the middle stage of nascent soul displayed the nascent soul dharma, his range of perception was much further than normal. When he sensed being attacked, he was about to dodge. But it was too late. He pinned his hopes on three lines of defense. When the 4th grade top grade cone shaped magic weapon hit the 4th grade upper grade shield, his heart was suddenly shocked. He sensed the sword intent on the 4th grade top level cone shaped magic weapon. The Breaking Void Sword Intent is really unique. This is the top sword intent mastered by the core swordsman of the Sword Intent Chongshao Pavilion lineage of swordsmen. He never thought of encountering the Phantom Sword Intent of Sword Intent Chongshao Pavilion in the East Chi Continent let alone in the East Chi Continent. Even if Xi Yan was in Zhongzhou, he had the Phantom Sword Intent. Sword Cultivator they are rarely encountered. He couldn't even imagine what kind of power a 4th grade top quality magic weapon combined with the Void Breaking Sword Intent could unleash. This was just what he was thinking at that moment. And the result was already doomed. The 4th grade upper level shield was shattered by the Void Breaking Sword Intent. On the first 4th grade top level cone-shaped magic weapon, without even holding on for half a breath. Then the second defense was the earth defense spell talisman of a peak monk in the middle stage of nascent soul that he had spent a lot of money to acquire. The earth defense spell inspired by this talisman was said to be the strongest of all defensive spells. 
But in this collision between the strongest and the most powerful, Phantom Sword Intent, Phantom Sword Intent, was completely victorious. Of course, breaking through the defense twice in a row also exhausted the power of Breaking Void Sword Intent. This cannot be blamed on the Breaking Void Sword Intent. Who said that this Breaking Void Sword Intent was blessed on a 4th grade top level cone-shaped magic weapon instead of being blessed on the sword cultivator's own flying sword. It has great power and durability. Far worse. Chapter 633 Beheading The last thunder shield spell shield cast by Lei Xiao in the middle stage of Yuanying had no defensive effect when faced with the 4th grade top level cone-shaped magic weapon that had lost the blessing of Breaking Void Sword Intent even without the power of the Void Breaking Sword Intent The impact of the electromagnetic cannon given to the 4th grade top cone-shaped magic weapon alone is enough to break through the defensive spells of mid-grade 4th grade Lei Xiao. This is only a 4th grade top grade cone-shaped magic weapon. The last remaining power of the first 4th grade top grade cone-shaped magic weapon severely damaged the Yuanying Dharma of Lei Xiao in the middle stage of Yuanying. A huge hole appeared on Lei Xiao's Yuanying Dharma in the middle stage of Yuanying. The 4th grade top cone-shaped magic weapon inside the cave entrance is releasing its power constantly damaging the inside of the nascent soul dharma. In the middle stage of nascent soul, Lei Shou had no time to react. The remaining three fourth grade top cone-shaped magic weapons had already hit the nascent soul dharma. The nascent soul dharma phase began to collapse when it was hit by the second top-level cone-shaped magic weapon of the fourth grade. After the collapse of the nascent soul dharma, its nascent soul was killed by the third, fourth grade, top-level cone-shaped magic weapon. The remaining fourth grade, Top-level cone-shaped magic weapon maintained its complete power and could not be released. From the physical body to the nascent soul, this middle-stage nascent soul Lei Xiao, who was born in the Jade Qing sect, could not escape being shot by the electromagnetic gun, even if he deployed the strongest defense in advance. After Wu Song discovered that Lei Xiao, the second mid-stage nascent soul, had died, his face turned pale and his previous sense of pride disappeared. If the death of the first mid-stage nascent soul Lei Xiao might have been an accident, then the death of the second mid-stage nascent soul Lei Xiao is no longer explainable by accident. No matter how stupid the second nascent soul mid-stage Lei Xiao is, he will increase his defense when he goes to investigate. Even so, the second mid-stage nascent soul Lei Xiao was still killed instantly, which made Wu Zisong lose the courage to fight against an unknown enemy. This was not an enemy that he could deal with at all. He took out the contact card, contacted his master, the great monk Duan Zhang, and left in the other direction. Calling it, leaving, was Wu Zitsan's way of comforting himself. But in fact it was an escape. Li Shiming was still asking the living dead Xiao Qi Feng to prepare. Waiting for Lei Xiao of the mid-stage nascent soul at the resource point in the Xuanqi Mountains to come and die. But the mid-stage nascent soul Lei Xiao actually escaped. With a wave of his hand, he put away the four fourth grade puppets and the concealment formation. He grabbed the living dead Xiao Qi Feng with one hand, used south close to the end, and chased in the direction of Wu Song. During the pursuit, he did not forget to collect the spoils from the two mid-nascent soul Lei Xiao. Li Shiming has the hidden phoenix jade talisman and the color-changing cloak. One hides his own aura, and the other hides his body shape. However, the living dead Xiao Qi Feng he was holding in his hand could not hide the aura of the living dead Xiao Qi Feng. When Li Shiming used close to the end of the world, to get close to Wu Song to a certain extent. Wu Song sensed the aura of the great monk. The aura of the great monk of the living dead Xiao Qi Feng is not strong. It is just the aura of the great monk's physical body. But in Wu Song's view, this was because the great monk didn't bother to activate all the aura. Master, there is a high monk chasing me. Wu Song could only send a distress message to high monk Duan Zhang. He had already reported what happened to the great monk Duan Zhang before. Now that he sent the aura of the great monk, everything could be explained. The 10,000 beast sect actually placed a great monk at the resource point. No wonder that from the first three Lei Xiao in the early stage of nascent soul, to Feng Qian in the middle stage of nascent soul, and then to the two Lei Xiao in the middle stage of nascent soul who came with Wu Song, they all died, facing a sneak attack by a great monk. How could Lei Xiao in the middle nascent soul stage be qualified to fight against him? Take out my jade talisman. I want to see which monk did this. Senior monk Duan Zhang said with anger flashing in his eyes after receiving the news. It is an extremely shameful act for a senior monk to sneak up on a junior. Those who will be despised in the circle of great monks can be bullied by others. 
but they cannot be done by such means. Wu Zizong sensed the great monk chasing after him, and his heart sank. The speed of this great monk made him feel like he had no way to escape. Before, he felt that the great monk was far away from him. But within a short time, he had caught up to an extremely dangerous distance. Li Shiming was mobilizing the natal magic weapon Z-15 at this time. Since both sides were flying at extremely high speeds, it was still difficult for the living dead Xiao Qi Feng to activate the thundering black bow to kill Wu Song. Although the arrows shot by the thunder mysterious bow are powerful, they are not activated spells, which means that the arrows have no tracking ability. Wu Song can only be killed through precise shooting using the arrow's own shooting line. This is not an easy task. Wu Zizong used Thunder Escape. And Li Shiming used South close to the end of the world. Especially close to the end of the world. Every time it moves in space of 3,000 meters. This makes Z15 have to recalculate the shooting route of Thunder Mysterious Bow. Every time he moves in space. Wu Zizong is also very experienced in escaping. During the process of lightning escape, he kept changing directions. However, when Wu Zisong took out the Jade Talisman and activated it, his thunder escape process stabilized for a moment, which gave Li Shiming a chance. As Wu Zisong's flight stabilized the direction, Z15 calculated the attack route, and Li Shiming was connected to Tian Gui through the Soul Contract and controlled Tian Gui. Tian Gui controlled the living dead Xiao Qi Feng to pull him away early, and pointed the Thunder Mysterious Bow at Wu Zisong, which had 10 breaths of charging time. In fact, Wu Zizong's speed can be increased. He has a life-preserving jade talisman, which was given to him by his master, the great monk Duan Zhang. If he activates the life-preserving jade talisman, it is equivalent to the thunder escape performed by the great monk Duan Zhang himself. Maybe he could activate the life-saving jade talisman and save his life. After all, if Li Shiming wanted to kill him, he would need the living dead Xiao Qi Feng to use the thunder mysterious bow to deal a fatal blow to him. If Wu Zizong activates the life-saving Jade Talisman and uses the Great Monk's Thunder Escape to escape, then even if Li Shiming has the speed to catch up with him, because Wu Zizong's escape speed is too fast, the difficulty of Z15's calculation of the attack route will also increase many times. Killing Wu Zizong the difficulty is even greater, but the order given by the Great Monk Duan Zong to Wu Zizong was to activate another kind of Jade Talisman. This kind of jade talisman carries a bit of the spiritual imprint of the great monk Duan Zhang. With this spiritual imprint, the great monk Duan Zhang can use it to condense an incarnation across a long distance. The strength of this incarnation will not be at the level of a great monk, but the incarnation has the aura of the great monk Duan Zhang, which means that the great monk Duan Zhang has arrived in person. There is no great monk in the world of immortality who would not give him face. Even the hostile great monks of the four major sects in the Eastern Qi continent need to consider the consequences of offending him to death. Senior monk Duan Zhang's self-confidence is not without reason. Senior monk Lei Xiao's combat power ranks among the top few even within the circle of senior monks. Wu Zizong obeyed the order of his master, the great monk Duan Zhang, and activated the Jade Talisman. The moment the Jade Talisman broke into pieces, an arrow flew out. At this time, the incarnation of the great monk Duan Zhang condensed, and appeared behind Wu Zizong. Brother Duan Zhang was about to say something, but he felt his body lighten, and an arrow passed through the body of the incarnation. The power of this arrow was extremely terrifying, destroying most of the avatar's energy with one arrow. Since the target of this arrow was not the sudden appearance of the avatar, but Wu Zizong, it was just a coincidence that the arrow hit the avatar, and it did not completely explode in power because it hit the avatar. That's why he was able to let the avatar linger for a moment. Watching the arrow hit Wu Zizong. Wu Zizong wanted to escape. But the arrow carried a great month level attack. This arrow destroyed his physical body and nascent soul. Until his death. He did not understand how he could die. Who are you? Senior brother Duan Zhang roared for the last time. The incarnation could no longer hold on and turned into nothingness. He finally sensed the aura of the living dead Xiao Qi Feng. As well as the aura of the arrow. Especially the aura on the arrow. The incarnation had withstood the attack of the arrow. So he could sense it more clearly. The breath of the great monk is somewhat familiar. It seems that he has sensed it somewhere. But the breath of the arrow is unfamiliar. What kind of attack method is this? In the Duyuan Mountains, the great monk Duan Zhang thought in his heart. He found that the aura of the great monk who appeared was inconsistent with the aura of the great monks of the 10,000 beasts sect and even the other three major local sects. He did not go to save Wu Zizong. It was already too late at this time. 
incarnation saw Wu Zetsong's death with his own eyes. Besides, if he takes action in person, it will immediately trigger a chain reaction. When the great monk like him is dispatched, the great monks from the four major local sects will also be dispatched. The war suddenly escalated to the highest level. A battle between the great monks. Who are you? Senior monk Duan Zhang has never figured out who the familiar aura is. On the one hand, he is only thinking about the senior monks from the eastern Qi continent. On the other hand, he cannot associate Zhao Qifeng with bows and arrows. Zhao Qifeng is best at using spirit insects. Even if there are other means of attack, they cannot be bows and arrows. Bows and arrows are too unpopular and are a very niche attack method in the world of immortality. Is it the Sun Shooting Sect? Senior brother Duan Zhang thought of a sect. And he shook his head vigorously. If it really was the Sun Shooting Sect, he would definitely be able to get the corresponding information. If the Shooting Sun Sect really sends a great monk to the Eastern Qi continent, some news will inevitably leak out. There is no enmity between the Yuching Sect and the Sheri Sect. And the Sheri Sect has no reason to attack and kill Yuching Sect Li Xiao. Li Shiming stepped forward and put away Wu Zitsong's body. And the spiritual objects on his body were returned to the computer room together with the body. He was not too worried about the incarnation of the great monk who appeared before. Because the attack range of the Thunder Mysterious Bow was very far. So far that the incarnation of the great monk could only detect a trace of the living dead Xiao Qingfeng's breath and could not detect him. The presence? He took the living dead Xiao Qingfeng into the computer room. Some monks wanted to find the great monk who took action. Even if they searched the world of immortality, they could not find the great monk who took action. He did not return to the resource point in the Xuanqi Mountains, but flew towards the gate of the 10,000 B sect. Now, due to the emergence of many Yuching sect Midyuan Ying lay cultivators, without enough Midyuan Ying monks, he and several other early Yuan Ying monks stationed at those three resource points will die if they stay in those three resource points. In addition, brother who sent an order to return to the mountain gate. This was the biggest reason for him to leave the mission resource point. After returning to the gate of 10,000 Bs sect, Li Shiming felt at ease. Come to me! As soon as he entered the gate of 10,000 Bs sect, the news from brother who arrived. Li Shiming entered the Sixiang cave and came to the cave of Monk Hu. Brother who and brother Li were both there. After seeing Li Shiming, brother who pointed to the chair at the side and motioned for Li Shiming to sit down and talk. Li Shiming bowed to Brother Li and sat down obediently. You are lucky this time. You discovered the actions of the Yuching sect in advance. It is reported that the intelligence came back to judge that the Lei Xiao of the mid-stage nascent soul who went to your side this time was led by Wu Zitsong. Brother who looked at Li Shiming. Couldn't help but sigh at Li Shiming's luck. He shook his head and said, When Wu Zitsong left the Daiyue Mountains with the two mid-nascent soul Lei Xiao, he did not hide his aura. Such a huge movement could not be concealed so it was naturally reported to the intelligence department. Judging from the time, the three Midnason Soul Lei Xiao, who went to Li Shiming's side, were the two Midnason Soul Lei cultivators brought by Wu Zitsong. Monk who lamented that Li Shiming's aura was not unreasonable. The three Midnason Soul Lei Xiao went to those three resource points. Except for the big monk's action. It was useless even if the Midnason Soul from the four major sects were missing. Not to mention Li Shiming. A monk who is only in the early stage of Yuan Ying. If he is really blocked by three mid-stage Yuanying Thunder cultivators in the resource point formation, there is absolutely no way to survive. What is Wu Zitsong's identity? Li Shiming asked curiously. There was Wu Zitsong's body in his computer room. Knowing Wu Zitsong's identity would be of great help to him in checking Wu Zitsong's mustard ring. After knowing that Wu Zitsong was behind him, he would focus on checking some unnoticed spiritual objects. This time, a great monk named Duan Zhang came from Yuching sect. This Wu Zitsong is the direct disciple of Great Monk Duan Zhang. Brother who replied, Now that the 10,000 Beasts sect is facing off against the Yuching sect, it will increase its intelligence collection work on the Yuching sect. What brother who said was the information compiled by the intelligence department. You may have been targeted by the Great Monk. You have stayed in the sect recently. Great Monk who patted the table and decided. Even if there was only a slight possibility. Brother who did not want Li Shiming to be in danger. It's master. I just happened to have some insights recently, and I want to retreat for a while to see if I can break through. Li Shiming bowed and responded. He knew that brother who did this, but he needed to suppress criticism for him. With the current situation, every nascent soul monk in the 10,000 beasts sect needs to carry out the tasks assigned by the sect. But he was openly hiding in the mountain gate. 
Even if it was an order issued by Brother Hu, the impact would still be there. Chapter 634 Trap Li Shiming thought that Yuking Zong would find him. But a month later, Yuking Zong had no intention of finding him. In terms of intelligence, the indigenous 10,000 beasts sect is very strong. If the Yuching sect really starts to investigate Li Shiming, then the intelligence department of the 10,000 beasts sect will more or less get some wind. Li Shiming didn't know that he used the living dead Xiao Qi Feng to shoot Wu Zisong with a thunder mysterious bow, which was thought by the great monk Duan Zong to be the sun shooting sect. The direction of the investigation was completely reversed. And with the appearance of the great monk, he was clear to the suspicion of killing Feng Qian. Li Shiming spent this month in true seclusion. His cave was blocked by a large formation. And he was completely cut off from the outside world. He sat cross-legged in the training room, mentally comprehending the five elements of the Five Rhymes Chi training technique due to his lack of realm before. Although the five elements he gained when he listened to Taoism in the Tai Chu sect reached a level close to that of a great monk, it was not yet. Transform the unreached insights into your own insights. Now, what he is doing is to constantly understand the five elements and let his understanding of the five elements reach the level of the mid-nascent soul before taking the nascent soul initial level 4 realm breaking pill. All he wanted to do was to constantly look for opportunities for his promotion. Now he no longer thinks about the opportunity for promotion. The main reason is that he has a feud with the Yuching sect. Since he cannot go out, he can only stay in the gate of the 10,000 beast sect. In this case, his chances of getting promoted are too low. Anyway, even if he can't find an opportunity for promotion, after several years of accumulation, he can break through to the middle stage of nascent soul. It would be better to use these few years to polish your own foundation even more solidly. In his body, the five nascent souls are each practicing the five element skills in the five rhymes chi training technique, and they are constantly improving their understanding of the five elements in conjunction with his insights. The conflict between the Yuching sect and the four major local sects continues to intensify. Nascent soul cultivators from the four major local sects continue to die, and Yuching sect has nascent soul Lei Xiao being ambushed and killed from time to time. The conflict between the two sides is becoming more and more intense. In the Huijiang Mountains, the Liuguang Temple on the mountain is a branch of the Lianhua Temple. It is also one of the few resources in the Eastern Qi continent that produces great monk resources. There are three midterm sages stationed at Liuguang Temple on a daily basis. Such a protective force is enough under normal circumstances in the Eastern Qi continent. On this night, 21 electric lights flashed rapidly in the darkness, which looked extremely strange. The 21 electric lights are the 21 nascent soul Lei Xiao from Yuching Sect, among which there are five middle nascent soul Lei Xiao. Ahead is Liu Guang Temple. Pengbin looked at the huge temple on the top of the mountain in the darkness and said to Qin Rui beside him. He and Qin Rui were both mid nascent soul Lei cultivators of the Jade Qing Sect, and they were also the commanders of this mission. The Wanchuan Jade Lotus will mature here tomorrow morning. Do you think the temple protecting formation of Liuguang Temple can last for a stick of incense? Qin Rui said with a smile. The forgotten jade lotus is the resource of the great monks guarded by Liuguang Temple. It matures once every 300 years and produces 12 forgotten jade lotus seeds. The forgotten jade lotus seeds are the main medicine for refining the fourth grade cultivation auxiliary elixir for the great monks. Yu Qing Zong obtained this information through some connections. The Yuching sect deliberately increased the frequency of attacks on resource points far away from Liuguang Temple, but secretly mobilized most of the Lei Xiao that could be mobilized to come to Liuguang Temple. The 12 Wangchuan Jade Lotus Seeds made both Great Monk Wang He and Great Monk Duan Zhang extremely tempted. After reaching the level of a Great Monk, even in a superpower such as Yuching sect, the resources of a Great Monk are extremely precious. There are no Great Monks from the Yuching sect. The main reason is that there are only two great monks from the Yuching sect in the eastern Qi continent. They will be noticed as long as they move. The two great monks can stabilize the attention of the four major local sections. When they think about it, with five mid-stage nascent soul Lei and sixteen early-stage nascent soul Lei it is easy to destroy Liuguang Temple with such combat power. Thing. Uncle Duan and Uncle Wang only said that they want the forgotten jade lotus seeds. Then the forgotten jade lotus body will be ours. We will discuss how to distribute it after we get it. Pengbin seemed to have seen the treasure found in the ruined temple. The result? He said with a smile. Although taking away the Wanchuan Jade Lotus body is equivalent to digging up the roots of this great monk's resources. The Wanchuan Jade Lotus body is also a top grade fourth grade weapon refining material. Even if the Wanchuan Jade Lotus body is taken away, 
it will only Lianhua Temple was more severely offended. There is no need to worry about being judged by the immortal world as destroying resource points. Who is Wan Chuan Yilian? Which is both a resource and a weapon refining material. Obtaining weapon refining materials cannot be regarded as destroying resource points. Whenever the senior brothers want the original body of Wan Chuan Jade Lotus, we will give some compensation to the other senior brothers. If no one wants the original body of Wan Chuan Jade Lotus, we will sell it and share the proceeds equally. Qin Rui also became interested, and both he suggested before he could succeed. Okay. The other three mid-stage Nays and Sol Lei Xiao who followed all agreed with a smile. Although it was Peng Bin and Qin Rui who commanded the mission. The three mid-stage Nays and Sol Lei Xiao who came with them also had the power to share the profits. And Qin Rui's distribution method was exactly what they wanted. Only the 16 early Nays and Sol Lei Xiao were not qualified to participate in the profit distribution. They could only see if they could search for resources from other places in Liuguang Temple after it was destroyed. Act as planned. Pengbin issued the order after the team reached a certain distance from Liuguang Temple. If you get closer to Liuguang Temple, you will be noticed by the formation of Liuguang Temple. They are not afraid of Liuguang Temple. But they are worried that the sages of Liuguang Temple will escape. Once the purpose of Yuching Sect is discovered, the sages of Liuguang Temple will most likely escape from here with Wan Chuan Yulian. Yuching Sect has brought so many Nays and Soul Lei Xiao this time just to prevent any of the sages from escaping and also to break through Liuguang Temple's formation as quickly as possible. They knew very well that once their purpose was discovered by Lianhua Temple and the other three local sects, great sages or monks would immediately come over. The five mid Nays and Soul Lei Xiao were distributed at five equal angles around the Liuguang Temple and the remaining early Nays and Soul Lei Xiao filled the gaps left by the five mid Nays and Soul Lei Xiao. In this way, even if the sages in Liuguang Temple wanted to escape, they would not be able to escape by being surrounded by 21 nascent soul lei Xiao. As the 21 nascent soul lei cultivators of the Yuching sect shrank and surrounded, when they approached a certain range of Liuguang Temple, the formation of Liuguang Temple discovered them. In the Liuguang Temple, the Dharma appearances of the three paths venerables appeared. Amitba! The Dharma image of a mid-term venerable shouted the Buddha's name loudly. The venerable Dharma appearance looked at the Yu Qingzong nascent soul Lei Xiao outside the formation like a glaring betrayal. There was no sadness or joy on his face. And he seemed to have no fear of life or death. Monk! Stop struggling needlessly! You can't hold on! Pengbin said calmly while looking at the images of the three venerables. He seemed to be paying homage first and then attacking. But in fact, he was already preparing to attack. He and other nascent soul Lei cultivators were drawing complex runes of techniques and preparing to perform them. Jade Purple Thunder Technique Although there are no major monks involved, the power of the Yuqing Purple Thunder Technique is greatly reduced. But 21 nascent soul thunder cultivators cast the Yuqing Purple Thunder Technique at the same time against Liuguang Temple and others. There are only three midterm sages. As far as the Guardian Formation is concerned, it is so powerful that it can be easily crushed. In the sky, a thundercloud appeared, and purple thunder and lightning rolled in the cloud. The midterm venerable's dharma appearance looked at Pungbin. Pungbin had a bad feeling. There was a hint of sarcasm in the midterm venerable's dharma appearance's eyes. Just when Pungbin was thinking about where the problem was, a big hand suddenly stretched out from Liuguang Temple. This is a big golden hand. And this big golden hand grasps the thunder clouds in the sky. Thunder! Pungbin shouted in shock. The purple lightning in the thunder cloud struck down on the big golden hand. The big golden hand ignored the purple lightning and allowed the purple lightning to hit the big golden hand. After the golden hand was attacked by purple lightning, it continued to grab Lei Yun without any impact. The second and third streaks in the thunder clouds. More than ten streaks of purple lightning struck at the golden hand, trying to destroy it. The purple lightning flashed on the big golden hand that was chopped off. But this did not affect the golden hand's approach to the thunder cloud. The big golden hand grabbed into the thunder cloud and the terrifying power of thunder and lightning was caught in the palm of the hand, and then crushed into nothingness. With just this move, Lei Yun lost most of his power. Great master! Pengbin didn't know what kind of being had taken action at this time, and he screamed in horror. He never thought that the small Liuguang temple would be guarded by a great venerable. This absolutely shouldn't be the case. According to the information bought by the Yuching sect, the whereabouts of every great monk and great venerable from the four major local sects are known and no great venerable came to Liuguang Temple. Amitba! The same Buddha's name sounded out from the mouth of the great venerable. But the effect was completely different. 
This Buddha's name made all the 16 early nascent soul lay shio among the 21 nascent soul lay shio vomit blood. When they besieged Liuguang Temple, in order to squeeze the space of Liuguang Temple and prevent the inside of Liuguang Temple from entering, the monks stationed at Yuanying escaped and were very close to Liuguang Temple. The nascent soul thunder cultivators were all exposed to the attack range of the great master in Liuguang Temple. The great master severely wounded 16 nascent soul lay cultivators at the sound of the Buddha's name. Even the five mid-stage nascent soul lay shio felt uncomfortable. And they felt dizzy. Get out of here quickly! Pumbin quickly ordered. He knew very well what would happen next. The suppression from the great master's realm would greatly weaken their combat power. Originally, they had no hope against a great lord. If their combat power was greatly weakened, it would almost be like waiting to die. Guanwu, do you want to show mercy? Just when Peng Bin was about to escape, a figure appeared behind Peng Bin and said with a smile to the great sage in Liuguang Temple. Peng Bin only felt that his body went limp. All the energy in his body disappeared. And even the nascent soul in his body was difficult to control. He looked at the figure that appeared with horrified eyes. And he recognized the other person's identity. To be honest, the monk who appeared was not worthy of his attention. Because it was none other than the great monk Pan Shao. The great monk Pan Shao of the Hidden Sun sect. That day, it was because of the discipleship of the great monk Pan Shao that the Hidden Sun sect was almost wiped out. At that time, the performance of the great monk Pan Shao was extremely poor, and he did not have the power that a great monk should have. But today, Peng Bin deeply felt the fear from the great monks, especially the fear from a great demon cultivator. Peng Bin was unable to move because he was poisoned by a poison released by a great demon cultivator. This is definitely killing a chicken with a knife. The poison of the great monk Pan Shao can threaten the great monk. It is simply a waste to use it on the monks in the middle stage of nascent soul. But the great monk Pan Shao hated the Yuching sect very much. And when he got the opportunity this time, he didn't hold back at all. Die! Great monk Pan Shao didn't want to say anything more to these juniors of the Yuching sect. So he waved his hand and said, Long before the 21 nascent soul thunder cultivators surrounded Liuguang Temple, the great monk Pan Shao was ready and waiting for the opportunity to take action. As he spoke, all the nascent soul lay shio present, including the 16 nascent soul lay shio who were seriously injured, had a poisonous attack in their bodies, and soon swallowed up the lives of the nascent soul lay shio. All the nascent souls were destroyed due to the poison. Great monk Pan Shao looked at the dead 21 nascent soul lay shio with a cruel smile on his face. Amitba! I recite a rebirth mantra for them! Great Venerable Guangwu did not come out of Liu Wang Temple. He stood above the formation clasped his hands and said, Guang Wu, why are you so pretentious? Didn't you make this plan? Great Monk Pan Shao couldn't stand the behavior of Great Venerable Guang Wu and said in a deep voice, Although Wang Chuan Yulian has indeed matured in recent years, it will not mature tomorrow morning at all. This news was deliberately released by Lianhua Temple. The Lianhua Temple cooperated with the Hidden Sun sect and Venerable Guang Wu, who had been in seclusion, and the Great Monk Pan Shao who was being held accountable by the sect and went into seclusion. Jointly laid a trap in order to kill the Yuching sect's vitality to the greatest extent possible. Of course, the 10,000 Beasts sect and the Taichu sect were also involved in this plan. Although they did not send any major monks to participate, they actively cooperated in other aspects and even made some sacrifices. The four major local sects, as local snakes, took advantage of some intelligence and deceived the Yuching sect. The cooperation between Lianhua Temple and Hidden Sun Sect is the most unexpected. Who would have thought that Lianhua Temple and Hidden Sun Sect, the two most opposing sects, would cooperate fully? The great sages of the Buddhist sect and the great monks of the demonic sect would usually be hostile even when they met. But in order to fight against the Yuching Sect, they still chose to cooperate. A total of 21 Yuching Sect nascent soul lay shio almost killed half of the Yuching Sect nascent soul lay shio in the eastern Qi continent. Especially the death of the five mid-level nascent soul Lei Xiao was a huge blow to Yu Qing. Qing Zong's arrogance. Pan Xiao, please clean up outside and bring the trophies that should be given to Lianhua Temple. The great venerable Guangwu said after finishing a rebirth mantra. How could he not understand the little moves of the great monk Pan Xiao and use poison to kill these nascent soul Lei Xiao? This is a huge waste. The poison was not only used to poison Lei Xiao of Yu Qing sect, but also to prevent Lianhua Temple from snatching the spoils. Yuanying Leishio, who comes from a superpower, has very attractive spiritual objects. Chapter 635 Plan How dare they! Great monk Wang Yi roared with red eyes. 
on the ground in front of him. A jade cup was rolling. The fourth grade jade cup was thrown heavily to the ground by the great monk. It was not broken. But the spiritual wine in the cup was spilled all over the floor. After he heard the news about the death of the 21 nascent soul Lei Xiao including Peng Bin, Qin Rui and others, his anger could no longer be controlled. Their two monks are guarding Liuguang Temple and are not taking the initiative to attack. We will definitely suffer the loss this time. Senior monk Duan Zhang was also very angry. But he suppressed his anger and said, The great monk took the initiative to kill the opponent's early stage nascent soul monk. Such behavior violated the unspoken rules of the world of immortality. However, this kind of trap setting allows the monks in the early and middle stages of nascent soul to actively enter the trap, which is equivalent to provoking the great monks, and is not affected by the unspoken rules. What should we do? Are they going to die in vain like this? Great monk Wang Yi shouted. Now go to the Lianhua Temple and the Hidden Sun Sect. I'm afraid there are many great monks waiting for us there, who will fight us with the help of formations. Senior monk Duan Zhang shook his head and said, Let's go to the 10,000 Beasts sect and forcefully destroy the gate of the 10,000 Beasts sect. Even if we evacuate the Donchi continent, we can still give the sect an explanation. Great monk Wang Yi's anger turned to murderous intent, and he wanted to kill people right now. So he suggested, You have a good idea. We went to destroy the mountain gate of the 10,000 Beasts sect. The 10,000 Beasts sect would never have thought that we would go to them. Senior brother Duan Zhang did not object but nodded in agreement. He no longer believed in the information he received. On the contrary, the seemingly reckless behavior of Great Monk Yuha was even more surprising. He issued multiple orders to have the remaining nascent soul thunder cultivators withdraw from the Dezhao Mountains and return to the ocean. Once he and the Great Monk Wang Yi break through the mountain gate of the 10,000 Bees sect, what awaits them is the craziest revenge from the four major local sects. Even all the great sages and great monks will be dispatched. Even if he and the great monk Wang Yi are far more powerful than the four great monks of the four major sects in the East Qi continent, if the other great monks really want to dispatch all the great monks, even if they can the victory was also a miserable victory. The most important thing is that if the great monks Duan Zhang and Wang Yi really fight against the great monks of the Eastern Qi continent, both of them will suffer losses. The enemies of the Yuching sect will pounce on them and destroy the great monks Duan Zhang and Wang Yi forever. Stay in the Eastern Qi continent. Senior monk Duan Zhang even suspected that there were senior monks hiding in the dark, waiting for the opportunity, like the Baidi sect, a deadly enemy of the Yuching sect. If he knew that the Baidi sect was fighting with others outside, he would also hide in the dark and look for opportunities to take advantage. The method they chose before was to weaken the influence of the four major local sects and slowly eat away at the living space of the four major local sects. Obviously, the previous method has not been realized. Now they want to cut off one of his fingers and destroy the 10,000 bees sect first. Even if they would draw from the eastern Qi continent first and come back after a while. When the great monks Duan Zhang and Wang Yi were leaving, they each cast a spell. And a figure made of thunder and lightning appeared beside them. These two figures have the same aura as the two great monks. And they also have the aura of the great monks. These are two clones formed by secret techniques. But they stayed in the Dai Viet Mountains instead of them for a short time. Brother Duan Zhang and Brother Wang Yi used another secret technique, and the auras on their bodies gradually disappeared. Without the aura of the great monks, they turned into two rays of lightning, walking through the gaps on the ground. If you weren't paying attention, it would be difficult to find that the two great monks were using thunder escape to rush on their way. In Li Shiming's body, the five element thunder aura of the five nascent souls became more and more pure. He was like a veteran monk who had been stagnant for hundreds of years at the peak of the early nascent soul. Honing the nascent soul at the peak of the early nascent soul to perfection. Degree? This is what he has gained from his recent retreat. He has made considerable progress in understanding the five elements. And has also strengthened the five nascent souls. For him, the middle stage of nascent soul is like a door with a gap open. Waiting for him to accumulate strength to push the door open. The identity jade disc on his body suddenly trembled strongly. His face tightened. And the skills in the five yuanying slowly stopped. There is only one possibility for the identity jade disc to tremble to this extent. That is, the sect has encountered a crisis. And all the monks need to face it together. Under this situation, no matter what the monks of the sect are doing, they need to stop. Even the monks who are in seclusion must come out to jointly resist the crisis. With the help of the natal magic weapon Z-15, Li Shiming carefully made the five nascent souls stop practicing the technique. 
that is to say, he was able to safely stop the practice so quickly. If other nascent soul monks did not stop the practice for an hour or two, they would not be able to end the retreat. Moreover, this kind of unexpected and forcible ending of practice can easily cause the spiritual power in a monk to lose control, which can cause injuries at the least and damage to the foundation at worst. With the help of Z-15, Li Shiming knew how to recover the spiritual power that was wandering in the body during cultivation in the safest way. It took him more than ten breaths to complete his power. He did not hesitate at all and left the cave in a flash. Although he did not see the enemy, through the drone satellite system, he saw the blurry figures of the two great monks staying thousands of miles away from the gate of the 10,000 B sect. All nascent soul monks enter the sect's formation and enter the formation nodes according to the guidance of the identity jade disc. The voice of Brother Ding entered the ears of all the monks in the sect. Li Shiming checked his identity jade plate and found that he was not designated to enter the formation node. Shurjin! Come here immediately! Second senior brother Yushan sent the message. Li Shiming flew towards the position where his second senior brother Yushan came from. And soon he saw Yushan, Lu Hung, and his senior senior brother Zhong Chong, who had been promoted to the late stage of Jin Dan. Li Shiming was not too surprised to see that Zhong Chong had been promoted to the late Jin Dan stage. The reason why Zhong Chong was promoted to the late stage of Jin Dan so quickly was not only due to the fusion of Yuanin with this body when he was reborn, but more importantly, Li Shiming provided a large number of excellent quality spiritual pills for cultivation. Zhong Chong himself has a cave at the middle nascent soul level, and the cultivation environment is extremely luxurious for those at the golden core stage. Under such conditions, if Zhong Chong's cultivation speed is still slow, there is really no need to practice anymore. Is the Yuching sect attacking? Li Shiming asked Yu Shan. This is not a random guess. Only the Yuching sect in the Eastern Qi continent has this ability to threaten the gate of the 10,000 Beast sect. And for this reason, needless to say, there is no need to talk about the ability. Just look at the original Hiding Sun sect, which was almost destroyed by the two great monks of Yuching sect and Baidi sect. There is another reason. He saw two great monks from the surveillance screen of the drone satellite system, combined with the fact that the Yuching sect has two great monks in the Eastern Qi continent. It is easy to judge. Wang He and Duan Zhang of the Yuching sect are attacking the outer cave barrier and will soon reach the mountain gate. Yu Shan explained to Li Shiming through sound transmission. He didn't dare to say it publicly, for fear that other monks would hear it and cause chaos within the mountain gate. When Li Shiming asked anything else, he felt that the space suddenly changed. He could feel that the space was no longer the previous space, but was directly connected to the big world. He knew that the barrier of the cave's sky was broken, and the mountain gate of the 10,000 beasts sect was exposed to the big world. He could even see the situation inside the mountain gate from the monitoring of the drone satellite system. Although it was not comprehensive, many places in the mountain gate were protected by powerful formations, and some formations made it impossible for the drone satellite system to see clearly. Junior brother, the master is giving you an order. Once the sex formation cannot hold up, you must immediately use this to enter the underground passage. Yushan took a jade token and handed it to Li Shiming and said in a deep voice, This is just in case. The 10,000 B sect needs to send away important seeds. Although Li Shiming is already at the early stage of nascent soul, he is still an important seed. Whether it is his red gold phoenix, his own cultivation speed, or his alchemy ability, he has become the key protection target of the 10,000 B sect. If the mountain gate is really broken, then with Li Shiming here, the seeds of the sect can be better taken care of, and it will be easier for the seeds to grow. Li Shiming took the jade token, and he understood what brother who meant, which was to give him a chance to live. Can we hold on? Li Shiming asked Yushan. He is far less familiar with the sect's true combat power than Yushan. Yushan has stayed in the 10,000 Beasts sect for a long time and knows more about the situation. It's difficult. It's better to prepare for the worst, Yushan said with a look of helplessness on his face. Li Shiming's heart sank, but he immediately thought of Brother Li from Wanfeng Palace. Wasn't this Brother Li invited to help guard the gate of Wancho sect? Where's the master? Li Shiming asked again. Master will be here soon. Yushan replied, suppressing the surprise in his heart. In fact, he didn't know. He even suspected that his master, Brother Hu, was preparing to leave. But it was impossible to think about it. Brother Hu was not such a person. Li Shiming wanted to say something else. But a terrifying coercion came from him. Even after the sex formation was weakened, it still made him feel palpitating. He looked outside the mountain gate 
and saw senior monk Wang He and senior monk Duan Zhang taking out the sky strike thunder hammer. It seemed that they were preparing to attack the sex formation with all their strength. There was a phoenix cry, and then Li Shiming saw Brotherly. At this time, Brotherly was sitting on a red gold phoenix. The aura of the red gold phoenix was extremely terrifying. Reaching the upper level of fourth grade, this red gold phoenix has the same combat power as a great monk. Coupled with the red gold phoenix's racial talent, no great monk dares to despise it. Brother Wang He and Brother Duan Zhang, who were about to attack the gate of 10,000 beasts sect and destroy the sect's formation, sensed the terrifying aura and couldn't help but look at the red gold phoenix. As soon as he saw the monk sitting on the red gold phoenix, he couldn't help but condense his eyes, obviously recognizing the monkly. I didn't expect Wanfeng Palace to send fellow Daoist Li. It is rumored that the 10,000 Bees sect is a branch of Wanfeng Palace. It seems to be true. Senior brother Duan Zhang saw Senior Monthly and said in a deep voice, Fellow Daoist Wang, fellow Daoist Duan, let's go up and fight. If you win, I will leave. If you lose, you will leave the 10,000 Bees sect. Brotherly pointed to the sky and said calmly, Friend Daoist Li, today you stood up for the 10,000 Bees sect. Originally we didn't want to fight one against two. But you forced us. Senior brother Duan Zhang said in a deep voice. He didn't think that just because he was Lei Xiao, he could be arrogant. The great monthly on the opposite side is at a similar level to them. And the red gold phoenix is also considered a top mid-nascent soul cultivator. Together, their combat power is beyond that of monks of the same level. Come on! Brotherly patted the red golden phoenix and said. Li Shiming naturally knew where brotherly asked brother Wang He and brother Duan Zhang to go to fight. They were going to fight in the 33rd heaven. Fighting at the gate of the 10,000 beasts sect will more or less have a very bad impact on the gate of the 10,000 beasts sect. The red gold phoenix took brotherly and flew high into the sky. Brother Wang He and brother Duan Zhang looked at each other with helpless expressions in their eyes. The great monks Wang He and Duan Zhang could only keep up. Wanfeng Palace was also a superpower. And it was also the most difficult superpower to deal with. One of the reasons for this is that Wanfeng Palace is a superpower. And there is also the fact that Wanfeng Palace is all female cultivators. The admirers of these female cultivators alone are enough to deter any force that dares to take Wanfeng Palace's idea from making rash moves. With Brotherly here today, Brother Wang He and Brother Duan Zhang will not be able to attack with all their strength. The great monk Wang He wanted to solve the problem early. So he followed closely. After Brotherly entered the 33rd heaven first, he immediately followed. There is an invisible barrier between the 33 heavens and the space below. This barrier not only blocks the strong wind from the 33 heavens from falling below, but also allows the monks below to fight against the 33 heavens. The perception is a bit blurry. Monk Wang He entered the 33rd heaven. Before he could stabilize his figure, he immediately stepped back, and at the same time, a thunder shield magic shield appeared on his body. As soon as Brotherly entered the 33rd heaven, he activated the nascent soul Dharma. At the same time, the red gold phoenix also increased several times in size and was in the strongest fighting form together with Brother Li's nascent soul dharma. As soon as the great monk Wang He entered the 33rd heaven, he met the prepared monk Li and the red gold phoenix. He was hit head-on, and the red gold phoenix spurted out flames. The flames carried an aura that made the monk's heart palpitate. It would definitely not do good to be touched by this flame. In the form of nascent soul, Brother Li carries an aura that is very similar to the red gold phoenix. The whole thing is a human-shaped red gold phoenix. Her movements are gentle and ethereal, as if flying in the air. But the flame she emits also have an aura that makes the great monk Wang He feel palpitated. What shocked monk Wang He the most was that the flames emitted by monk Li's Yuan Ying Fa Xiang merged with the flames of the red gold phoenix during the attack. And their power suddenly increased several times. The power of the flames increased. And the attack speed of the flames was naturally greatly improved. The flames turned into a fire phoenix and rushed towards the great monk Wang He. Chapter 636 Retreat I'm here to help you. Senior Monk Duan Zhang arrived in time and fired a bolt of lightning from his hand towards the fire phoenix. He blocked an attack for the great monk Wang He and another flame emitted by the red gold phoenix. The great monk Wang He blocked it with two thunder shields and then had the chance to dodge to the side. Monk Wang He was dripping with cold sweat. Despite the moment just now, the danger he encountered was extremely terrifying. Seeing that Brotherly failed to seriously injure Brother Wang He, she did not continue the attack. She stood on the back of the red gold phoenix and looked at Brother Duan Zhang and Brother Wang He with a faint smile on her face. What a trick! 
Brother Duan Zhang used lightning four times in a row before he was able to annihilate the fire phoenix. When he used lightning for the second time, he was already in the state of nascent soul. He couldn't help but be horrified by Brother Li's powerful combat power. And now, he didn't dare to take it lightly when facing Brother Li. Monk Wang he also displayed the nascent soul dharma and stood next to the Yuanning dharma of the great monk Duan Zhang. They had no intention of fighting Monk Li alone. In front of them was the female cultivator Luan Feng Palace. Monk Li's spiritual pet, the Red Golden Phoenix, was a fourth-level upper-level warrior. Together with Monk Li, they had the fighting power of the two great monks. If they really want to fight Master Li alone, they will have to face a one-on-two situation. The problem is that the great Monk Li himself is already at the peak of the great monk's strength. Just in terms of cultivation, he is similar to them. Coupled with the Scarlet Gold Phoenix, who is also in the same realm, any one of them will be at a disadvantage. Even if the great monks Duan Zhang and Wang He join forces, they are not sure of victory. The Red Gold Phoenix was an upper level 4th grade Red Gold Phoenix. The existence of the top bloodline of the Phoenix system was a powerful creature that was extremely difficult to deal with. Fellow Daoist Li, there is no need for a life and death battle between us, and we have no mortal enmity with the 10,000 B sect. It is just a conflict between some juniors, senior monk Duan Zhang said with a twinkling look in his eyes. At this time, after truly seeing the power of Brother Li, he did not want to fight against Brother Li. This is not to say that he thinks that if he joins forces with the great monk Wang He, he will definitely be unable to defeat the great monk Li. But this is the East Qi continent. If he is really injured here, then the top monks of the four major sects in the East Qi continent will never let go. Take this opportunity. In addition, there are those high monks from the hostile forces hiding in the dark, who are also waiting for the two of them to make mistakes. As long as the two of them show their weakness, the high monks from the secretly hostile forces will definitely pounce on them like evil wolves. My mission here is to protect the gate of the 10,000 beasts sect. As long as you don't come to the gate of the 10,000 beasts sect, the rest has nothing to do with me, Monthly said calmly. She would not really participate in the conflict between the four major local sects and the Jade Qing sect. If it weren't for the great monk Duan Zhang and the great monk Wang He attacking the mountain gate of the 10,000 beasts sect, she would have been too lazy to show up. Before this, the news that she was in the 10,000 beasts sect had not been leaked out. Just because she did not want to cause trouble. If the other three sects knew that she was here, she was worried that she would be dragged into the conflict with the Yuching sect. At this time, brother who also arrived at the 33rd heaven, seeing that the two sides were not fighting together, he couldn't help but feel a little disappointed. Brother Li's battle against brother Duan Zhang and brother Wang He, no matter whether it was a defeat or a victory, it would be beneficial to the 10,000 beasts sect. Needless to say victory. If Brother Li loses, then Brother Duan Zhang and Brother Wang He will offend Luanfeng Palace. Luanfeng Palace usually seems to be a gathering place for a group of female cultivators. But only when you really provoke Luanfeng Palace do you realize how terrifying it is for female cultivators to get angry. The influence that Luanfeng Palace can mobilize will definitely make it difficult for Yukingzong to deal with it. However, although Brother Hu was disappointed, he did not show any expression. He stood behind Brother Li with his hands tied. Since fellow Daoist Li is here, let's leave now to save fellow Daoist Li's face. Brother Duan Zhang was also a decisive person. After hearing what Brother Li meant, he said without any hesitation, he nodded to the great monk Wang He, and the two great monks immediately turned around and left, turning into two bolts of lightning and fleeing into the distance. The Jade Qin sect is really powerful. Brother Li sighed softly after Brother Duan Zhang and Brother Wang He left. Although the battle just ended with just a slight contact, both she and the two great monks from Yuching Sek used their full strength to cast the nascent soul dharma as a great monk, which naturally mobilized all the combat power they could mobilize. Brother Li was a female cultivator, but she did not have any scruples during the battle, taking advantage of the opportunity to enter the 33rd heaven first. She used the nascent soul technique and the full strength of the red gold phoenix to severely injure Brother Wang He. However, Senior Monk Wang He and Senior Monk Duan Zhang, who arrived just in time, blocked the attacks launched by her and Scarlet Gold Phoenix without paying any price. According to her judgment, if the two sides really want to decide the winner, they will probably have to pay a high price. She came to help, but she didn't want to take on the main battle between the Yuching sect and the four major local sects. Thank you, Senior Sisterly, for your help. Brother who bowed and thanked her. The task assigned to me by Luanfeng Palace has been completed. I will stay for a few more days and then leave. 
brotherly waved his hand and said, Brother who did not persuade her to stay. She appeared at the gate of ten thousand beasts sect and came forward to fight, which already explained the attitude of Wanfeng Palace. If the Yuching sect came to attack the gate of the ten thousand beasts sect again, it would be a disgrace to Wanfeng Palace. At least Yuching sect will not add another Wanfeng Palace to its enemies before it has solved the other three major local sects. Wanfeng Palace is a superpower, and having more enemies, like Wanfeng Palace, will cause huge trouble to Yuching sect. Although Li Shiming did not see the battle in the 33rd heaven, he had seen Monthly and the Red Gold Phoenix before, which shocked him greatly. Just as shocked as him was his spiritual pet Xiaofeng. Xiaofeng was just entering the fourth level for the first time, and it was extremely uncomfortable to be suppressed by the aura of the Red Gold Phoenix that was an upper level fourth level. Xiaofeng was still a little unconvinced. This was probably because newborn calves were not afraid of tigers. Li Shiming gently comforted Xiaofeng. He also saw Xiaofeng's future strength. The aura of the Red Gold Phoenix is not weaker than that of the two great monks of the Yuching sect. These spiritual pets are truly powerful assistants. With a golden sound of clang, all the monks of the Ten Thousand Bees sect could not help but let out a long sigh of relief. This golden sound indicates that the crisis has passed and the attacking enemy has retreated. Li Shiming also felt relieved. He would no longer become a monk without a sect and be hunted down by powerful forces. If the gate of the 10,000 beasts sect is broken down and the 10,000 beasts sect loses its gate, even if some seeds are left behind, the inheritance is still intact and there is almost no possibility of restoring it to one of the four major sects. The huge benefits left behind by the 10,000 beasts sect alone cannot be let go by the other three major sects, let alone foreign enemies. Li Shiming felt a little regretful. Originally, he thought that seeing the battle between the great monks would help him advance to the middle stage of nascent soul but he didn't expect that the battle between the great monks would be moved to the 33rd heaven. With his combat power, he was not qualified to watch the battle. He even saw that even the great monk who deliberately delayed his entry to the 33rd heaven, this delay was to avoid joining the battle. That was a battle for a monk at the peak of the great monk. Although great monk who was also a great monk, he was still far from this level. The monks of the 10,000 bees set began to return to their respective caves in an orderly manner. Many of the monks had been forced out of seclusion and needed to retreat again to recover from the effects of the forced release. Li Shiming and Yu Shan were waiting at the same place. And after a while, they saw Brother Li and Brother Hu returning. It's just that they have no way to talk to Brother Hu. The other great monks of the 10,000 Beasts sect have all gone to thank Brother Li. Let's go back first and wait until the master has time to summon him. Seeing this situation, Yu Shan turned to Li Shiming and said, Okay. Li Shiming nodded in agreement. When Li Shiming returned to the cave, he didn't let him wait long. Half a day later, he received a summons from his master. Brother Hu. When I came to the cave of my master, Brother Hu, I saw Brother Li again. Next to me, Brother Ding and Brother Chai were accompanying me. Li Shiming took a look and realized that he must have been called here to prepare the fourth grade spiritual tea for several great monks. He stepped forward and bowed to the several great monks and saluted. On this occasion, he tried to speak as little as possible, mainly because his status was too low and he could just be his tool. Shurjin, your masterly needs to refine a furnace of fourth grade elixir. Are you free now? Brother who asked with a smile instead of letting him make the elixir tea. I'm free recently. As long as masterly can safely hand over the elixir to me, I can start refining the elixir when I get back. Li Shiming did not refuse. He bowed and said, even if there is no reward, just because Brotherly solved the problem of powerful enemies attacking the gate of 10,000 bees sect, it is worth his effort to refine the elixir. Not to mention that this was proposed by his master, Brother Hu, who would start refining the pill even if he delayed his practice. Shurjin, here are the elixirs and elixirs. I will stay in the 10,000 bees sect and wait for you to complete the elixir. When Brotherly said this, he looked at Brother Hu with a smile. She naturally understood what Brother Hu meant, and he just wanted to keep her for a while. She originally planned to leave in three days, but if she wanted to stay and wait for a furnace of fourth grade elixir to be refined by a great monk, she would have to stay here for at least more than a month. And if Li Shiming's alchemy ability is proven, then maybe she will stay at the gate of 10,000 beasts sect for a longer time. Hey, judging by your aura, are you about to advance to the middle stage of nascent soul? Suddenly, Brother Li looked at Li Shiming in surprise. She didn't pay attention just now, but now when she looked carefully, she found that Li Shiming's aura fluctuations were a little special. As soon as she said her words, 
The other great monks present all observedly shimming. Good boy. You will be promoted to the middle stage of nascent soul so soon, Brother Ding said with a smile. Brother Ding's impression of Li Shiming ranged from bad to good. Initially, there was a conflict between Li Shiming and his juniors, and he originally planned to pursue Li Shiming. However, after Li Shiming showed his astonishing talent in alchemy, especially his talent in refining the fourth grade spiritual elixir of the great monk, the great monk Ding immediately changed his attitude and at the same time prohibited other monks under his sect from conflicting with Li Shiming. Now Brother Ding feels how correct his decision was. Although he did not see a middle stage nascent soul in his eyes, Li Shiming's cultivation talent is worthy of his attention. Of course, there is another very important point. Li Shiming has a red gold phoenix as his spiritual pet. As long as Li Shiming's cultivation reaches the middle stage of nascent soul, relying on the secret method of the 10,000 beasts sect, he can raise the level of the red gold phoenix to the upper level of the fourth level. A fourth grade high grade red gold phoenix has a combat power no less than that of a great monk. Coupled with Li Shiming's age, even if Li Shiming cannot go further and stays at the middle stage of nascent soul forever, it will be enough to protect the 10,000 beasts sect for more than a thousand years. Congratulations to Brother Hu! Brother Chai said to Brother Hu enviously. The problem is that Brother Hu has not invested much in recruiting such a disciple. Li Shiming has only been under Brother Hu for a long time. And he is about to be promoted to the middle stage of nascent soul. Shurjin, your situation is still urgent. You don't have to worry about my elixir, Brother Li said with a smile, not wanting to disturb Li Shiming's practice. It won't have any impact. I feel that it will take another two years before I can really make a breakthrough. Alchemy now is also a process of enlightenment, Li Shiming replied with a smile. Think it over for yourself. I don't have a few days left. Brother Li finally advised. After seeing Li Shiming's insistent attitude, she said no more. Li Shiming did not escape the task of brewing the fourth grade spiritual tea. The main thing is that the fourth grade spiritual tea he brewed by himself is really special. In the 10,000 Bees sect, even if the great monk who was his master, he would not ask him to come over and brew the fourth grade spiritual tea. Not to mention Brother Ding and Brother Chai. Taking advantage of Brother Li's presence here, they would not miss the opportunity to taste the fourth grade spiritual tea brewed by Li Shiming himself. After Li Shiming brewed the fourth grade of spiritual tea, he left the cave of Brother Hu. He returned to his cave and started refining the fourth grade great monk's spiritual pill. He gave up the idea of looking for an opportunity to advance to the middle stage of Yuanying. Since he was sure that he would have enough accumulation to advance to the middle stage of Yuanying in two years. Why bother looking for opportunities again? Even looking for opportunities for promotion may take more than two years. Brother Li's fourth grade elixir and elixir prescriptions were something Li Shiming had never touched before. If they were placed in the hands of other alchemy masters, they would affect the quality of the alchemy and even the success rate. But with the control of five nanometers in the computer room space and the help of the magic weapon Z15, he still completed the alchemy this time. Six fourth grade intermediate elixirs. Just one short step away from being able to break through to high level elixirs are as stable as ever. Two of these need to be given to Brotherly, and the remaining fourth grade elixirs are his own. From this, we can also see how rich the alchemy master is. Even an ordinary alchemy master can leave one fourth grade elixir out of three fourth grade elixirs. Not to mention that Li Shiming used the 101 point pill technique and left four fourth grade elixirs behind. Chapter 637 Calm. Masterly, I really want to take you back to Luanfeng Palace. Brotherly looked at Li Shiming who sent the fourth grade elixir and said with emotion, there was no way she could really take Li Shiming away. Not to mention that the 10,000 beasts sect would not let him go. Even if the 10,000 beasts sect was willing, Luanfeng Palace would not be able to recruit male cultivators to join him. Li Shiming's alchemy skills were introduced as early as when Master Hu asked Li Shiming to make alchemy for her. Brother Hu said that Li Shiming could guarantee that the quality of the fourth level elixir produced by the great monk would be the mid-level fourth level elixir without any mistakes. Although Brother Li knew that Brother Hu would not lie, she still couldn't believe it. You must know that it takes more than 40 days for a great monk to refine the fourth grade elixir. During this period, any abnormal changes in the elixir furnace may cause the quality of the fourth grade elixir to deteriorate. Therefore, when it comes to refining the fourth grade elixir of a great monk, as long as the elixir is full, it is considered very good, let alone ensuring the quality. But when he actually got the fourth grade elixir refined by Li Shiming, Brotherly realized that what Brother who said was quite modest. The fourth grade elixir in his hand has reached a quality close to that of a fourth grade high grade elixir. 
which is almost not much different from a fourth-grade high-grade elixir. Such level of alchemy made Brotherly couldn't help but change his name to Li Shiming. He called Li Shiming, Masterly. This was recognition of Li Shiming's level of alchemy, and respect for Li Shiming. Senior Sisterly, if you really want to make elixirs, you can come over at any time. I can guarantee that Shurjan will not refuse. Brother Hu said quickly. He was afraid that the Great Monthly would really take Li Shiming away. He and the other great monks of the sect relied entirely on Li Shiming for their alchemy refining. Masterly, I still have two materials for you to refine. This is my heartfelt reward for asking you to refine the elixir, Brotherly said, taking out a storage bag and a jade slip. She would not let go of an alchemy master like Li Shiming, even if she came from a superpower like Wanfeng Palace. Her resources, as a great monk, would be limited. Having an extremely high-level alchemy master is equivalent to being able to maximize the use of limited resources. Li Shiming took the two materials and the jade slip, and scanned the jade slip with his spiritual consciousness. In the jade slip is a prescription of elixir called Beifeng Chao Yuan Dan. Beifeng Chao Yuan Pill is a fourth-grade elixir specially prepared for the Red Gold Phoenix, which can improve the Red Gold Phoenix as a whole to the greatest extent. If conditions permit, the Beifeng Chao Yuan Dan can be used as food for the Red Golden Phoenix, which will allow the Red Golden Phoenix to grow faster. This is what Li Shiming needs most. Xiaofeng is now at the lower level of the fourth level. If he takes the third level spiritual beast and Yuan Dan alone, even if Li Shiming refines the third level spiritual beast and Yuan Dan into a top level spiritual elixir, it will not be able to deal with the fourth level spiritual beast. The Xiaofeng has too strong effect. The main material of Beifeng Chao Yuan Dan is Chao Yuan Grass which is a fourth-grade elixir. The output is relatively large, and it is not difficult to obtain. Thank you, Master Li. Li Shiming bowed and thanked. The value of this. Bei Feng Chao Yuan Dan. Prescription far exceeds any fourth-grade material. According to his judgment, this. Bei Feng Chao Yuan Dan. Prescription is definitely the secret of Wanfeng Palace. Apart from the Red Gold Phoenix that the 10,000 Beasts sect can possess. It is Wanfeng Palace and Luanfeng Palace's research on the Scarlet Gold Phoenix is more in-depth than that of the 10,000 Beasts sect. I took advantage. When I return to the sect, I will find a way to compensate you. Brotherly felt that the reward was not enough. So she thought for a while and said, she couldn't let Li Shiming feel at a disadvantage. Otherwise she would be in trouble if she tried to find Li Shiming to make alchemy in the future. Although Brother who promised her that Li Shiming would not refuse to make elixirs for her. With Li Shiming's level of alchemy, there may be a lot of orders for alchemy. If Li Shiming wants to delay, it may take many years to complete the elixir. Senior Sisterly, will you stay for a few more months? Or return to Luanfeng Palace? Brother Hu asked with a smile. Junior Brother Hu, are you trying to drive me away? Brotherly widened his eyes slightly and said with a chuckle. How dare you? It's not too late for me to welcome you. So I won't chase you away. Brother Hu shook his head quickly. Yu Qing Zong has withdrawn from the East Qi continent. But Yu Qing Zong's revenge will never stop. After Yu Qing Zong handles the affairs of the Xi'an continent, he will come to the East Qi continent. Yu Qing Zong has eaten this time, it is impossible to give up after such a huge loss. Brotherly said solemnly. For more than a month, Dong Qi continent has been extremely peaceful. So peaceful that the monks are not used to it. The main reason is that the Yu Qing sect abandoned the Daoyue mountains and withdrew all the monks from the Eastern Qi continent. Of course, the Yuching sect had to evacuate. After losing five middle-stage nascent soul Laishio and sixteen early-stage nascent soul Laishio at once, the strength of the Yuching sect in the eastern Qi continent was severely damaged. In addition, the great monks Wang He and Duan Zhang discovered that Luanfeng Palace was involved in the security affairs of the 10,000 B sect, which made them realize the influence of the four major sects again, since the 10,000 B sect has great monks from Luanfeng Palace. Will the other three major sects also have the same reinforcements? The Yuching sect withdrew from the eastern Qi continent partly because Yuching sect Lei Xiao suffered heavy losses, which made the Yuching sect Lei Xiao's power in the eastern Qi continent too weak. On the other hand, Yuching sect still needs some time to obtain more information, at least to know the true strength of the four major sects. It will never happen again that you knock on the door, only to find out that the great monk from Wanfeng Palace intervened to stop you. The 10,000 B sect is still powerless against the Jade Qin sect and still needs the support of Wanfeng Palace. Brother who also understood the current situation and said helplessly, I'll go back to the sect first and I'll be back in three months. 
I want to apply to the sect for more combat power to come over and reinforce the 10,000 beasts sect on a rotating basis. Brotherly said with a smile. The importance of the 10,000 beasts sect to Luanfeng Palace has once again been enhanced with the emergence of Li Shiming, the master of alchemy. Even if it's not for the 10,000 beasts sect, but for the great monks of Luanfeng Palace to obtain better fourth grade elixirs. I still have to keep the 10,000 beasts sect. Luanfeng Palace is not afraid of the Yuching sect. And protecting a mere 10,000 beasts sect is not a big deal at all. Senior sister Li's great kindness will be remembered by the 10,000 beasts sect in our hearts. Brother who bowed and thanked her. I'm leaving now. I'll see you in three months. I'll find Master Li in time to retrieve the elixir. Brother Li waved his hand to stop brother, who from saluting and said goodbye. Senior sister, this is a box of fourth grade spiritual tea. You can take it back as a favor. Brother who took out a jade box and handed it over and said, In the jade box is the fourth grade spiritual tea fried by Li Shiming himself. Originally, the 10,000 beasts sect had given Brother Li some fourth grade spiritual tea fried by Li Shiming himself. The extra portion given by Brother, who was kept by himself. After hearing that Brother Li was going back to Luanfeng Palace to apply for a rotation of combat power in the 10,000 beasts sect, he couldn't let Brotherly help in vain. No matter what the purpose of Brotherly is, the 10,000 Beasts sect must express it. Other spiritual objects, Brotherly, are not very fond of. And some of the resources of the monks, let alone giving away, are not enough even by Brother Who themselves. They only have the fourth grade spiritual tea roasted by Li Shiming himself, which is both rare and rare, degree, and extremely high quality. The top quality among the four grade spiritual tea this is the evaluation of every monk who has tasted the four-grade spiritual tea roasted by Li Shiming. You take your disciples' things as a favor. Although Brother Li said this, his hands were not slow at all. She has also stayed in the 10,000 Beasts sect for a long time. And she also knows something about this fourth-grade spiritual tea. It is said that the output of this fourth-grade spiritual tea is very small, mainly due to the high failure rate and the fact that Li Shiming has to practice and refine elixirs on weekdays. So the time he can spend on frying the spiritual tea is limited. In the Eastern Qi continent, this kind of fourth grade spiritual tea is the most important implement of the great monks of the 10,000 beasts sect in the circle of great monks. It is extremely difficult for the great monks of other sects to obtain it. Brotherly put away the jade box and left with a smile without leaving any more. Shurjan, thank you for your hard work. The sect delayed your promotion to the middle stage of nascent soul. The sect will compensate you. Brother who said to Li Shiming after seeing Brother Li leave. It's not that he doesn't value his disciples. When Li Shiming needed seclusion and enlightenment the most, he asked Li Shiming to make elixirs for the great monk Li. It takes more than 40 days for a great monk to make alchemy. This time, it took two furnaces, which delayed it for three months. Li Shiming is at the peak of the early stage of nascent soul and is about to break through the important moment of the middle stage of nascent soul. A little delay is likely to have a very negative impact on him. But for the sake of 10,000 bees sect, brother who must consider the overall situation. I'm fine. Alchemy won't affect me much. Li Shiming shook his head and explained. You just place too much emphasis on friendship. Brother who sighed. In the days that followed, Li Shiming began to practice alchemy in seclusion again. What he explained to brother who was the truth. When he was refining elixir for brother Li, he only sent the fire and thunder yuaning into the machine room space and the other four Yuaning still maintained their cultivation state. Even when he was refining alchemy and practicing, it did not affect his understanding of the five elements and constantly strengthening his own foundation. Li Shiming, who was sitting cross-legged in the training room, had a piece of flying sand around his body. This is the magical power of Samadhi Divine Wind that he used after a period of research. Samadhi Divine Wind has been able to be used normally. The metallic Samadhi Kamikaze Magical power possesses extremely powerful power. Don't look at the Tamadhi Divine Wind beside him, which is only flying within a few meters. But when he exerts it with all his strength, it is enough to expand the range to every part of his spiritual consciousness. When he exerts his magical power of Tamadhi Divine Wind with all his strength, he can make an area with a radius of 3,000 meters centered on him covered with flying sand. These flying sand are not ordinary flying sand. But Tamadhi Divine Sand, transformed by the magical power of Tamadhi Divine Wind. Each grain of Tamadhi Sand is equivalent to a flying sword, which not only has the power to cut through the body's defenses, but also has the special effect of attacking the soul. 
Li Shiming was in the training room. He placed the range of the magical power of Tamadhi Divine Wind within a radius of 5 meters. In addition, the range of the magical power of Invisible Yuan Magnetic was also reduced to a radius of 5 meters. The divine power field of Invisible Yuan Magnetic can control metal properties. Each grain of Tamadhi Divine Sand contains strong metallic properties. Under the action of Invisible Yuan Magnetic, the flying speed of Tamadhi Divine Sand can be increased several times faster. The power has naturally been greatly improved. Of course, these data are not very accurate at present. They are only a small-scale test with a radius of 5 meters and simulated data analysis conducted by the magic weapon Z-15. Now he is very busy. He needs to refine elixirs and practice in seclusion. It is also an important period for his promotion to the middle stage of nascent soul. He has no plans to leave the sect to test the magical power of Tamadhi Divine Wind, as well as Tamadhi Divine Wind, and Invisible Yuan Magnetic, a test of the combined power of two magical powers. In the sword cave of the Sword Intent Chongshao Pavilion, in Zhongzhou Continent, Li Yuanba is constantly improving his cultivation at an unimaginable speed. Although he did not deliberately practice the magical power of Tamadhi Divine Wind, the cultivation results of Li Shiming's body are also the results of his cultivation. His mastery of the Tamadhi Divine Wind magical power is constantly improving. The only difference between him and Li Shiming is that his invisible magnetism magical power cannot cooperate with the Tamadhi Divine Wind magical power and cannot increase the power of the Tamadhi Divine Wind magical power. The main reason is that the range of his invisible Yuan magnetic magical force field is too small. Only 5 meters. This is not because Li Shiming deliberately narrowed the range of the invisible Yuan magnetic magical force field in order to prevent damage to the training room. Li Yuanba has no earth spiritual power. His invisible magnetism is shared from his real body Li Shiming and can only be extended to a radius of 5 meters. This range cannot cooperate with the magical power of Tamadhi Divine Wind with the consumption of Thor Transformation Spiritual Liquid. Little by little, his cultivation level increased significantly. After two years of seclusion, his aura stabilized at the peak of the early nascent soul and never improved. He could feel the bottleneck of being promoted to the middle stage of nascent soul. When he encountered the bottleneck this time, he always felt that it was weaker than the bottleneck encountered by Li Shiming. Naturally, this is just his feeling. Li Shiming's bottleneck has been loosened, and it won't take long for him to be promoted to the middle stage of nascent soul. In the past two years, nothing major happened on the side of Jinny Chongxiao Pavilion. Jianyi Chongxiao Pavilion has always been bullying other forces. As for the Eastern Qi Continent, the 10,000 Beasts sect welcomed three great monks led by the Great Monkly, including the Great Monkly and six mid-stage nascent soul monks, all of whom were female cultivators. More than a year ago, the reason why three great monks came all at once was because of Li Shiming. After learning about the alchemy skills of Li Shiming, the alchemy master, the great monks in Luanfeng Palace all wanted to come to the 10,000 Beasts sect. This also made it possible for Senior Brotherly to apply for a rotation. The three senior monks and six mid-stage nascent soul monks, who came this time, were the first batch of Luanfeng Palace female cultivators to come for rotation. When they came to be on duty, in addition to helping the 10,000 Beasts sect, they also had the opportunity to ask Li Shiming to make elixirs. They were able to achieve multiple things with one stone which made them very active. Unfortunately, after they arrived at the 10,000 Beasts sect, they found that Li Shiming was in seclusion. They just gave away two furnaces of fourth grade elixirs belonging to the Great Monkly, but they could no longer contact Li Shiming. Chapter 638 Midterm In Li Shiming's cave of 10,000 Beasts sect, he had not found his breakthrough opportunity for two years, but he no longer needed it. After two years of accumulation, the bottleneck blocking his breakthrough has become as thin as a piece of paper. He feels that he can break it with just a light touch. The five nascent souls in his body are all cultivating. And it is rare for him to devote all his attention to the understanding of the five elements without being distracted from other things. After two years of continuous understanding and research on the five elements, he gained a deeper understanding of the five elements. This is reflected in the five nascent souls. Even though the spiritual power of the five nascent souls has reached its peak in the early stage of the nascent soul. Their spiritual power has improved a bit in terms of purity. Open it! Li Shiming shouted. He was extremely focused. 
and the faces of the five Yuan Inks also had serious expressions. The five Yuan Inks worked together to attack the bottleneck of the middle stage of the Yuan Ying, without any effort. As the five nascent souls impacted on the bottleneck, the bottleneck was instantly opened. The energy that was originally full in the bodies of the five nascent souls became less and less as the nascent souls grew. In fact, it is not that the energy has decreased, but that the nature of the energy has changed. When the Yuan Ying is promoted to the middle stage, not only the Yuan Ying itself increases, but the quality of the energy formed in the Yuan Ying body also increases several times. If one compares the spiritual power at the peak of the early Yuan Ying stage with the spiritual power at the middle stage of the Yuan Ying stage, they are not all seven to one. Only seven peak spiritual powers in the early stage of the nascent soul can be transformed into one spiritual power in the middle stage of the nascent soul. Coupled with the increase in the size of the nascent soul itself, it naturally appears that the energy in the nascent soul has become much less. With the promotion to the middle stage of Yuan Ying, it brings a brand new feeling. It is the feeling of re-examining the five elements from the perspective of the middle stage of Yuan Ying. Different from the previous attempts to speculate on the understanding of the five elements in the early stage of Yuan Ying, now that we have truly advanced to the middle stage of Yuan Ying, our understanding of the five elements is real and clearer. Even after Li Shiming was promoted to the middle stage of nascent soul, his understanding of the Jade Pure Thunder Code also improved a lot. Of course, the understanding of the metallic technique of Sword Intent Climbing into the Sky has been greatly improved due to the understanding of the five elements of metal in the middle stage of Yuan Ying. And it has also reached the middle stage of Yuan Ying. What he didn't expect was that when his understanding of the Sword Intention Chong Shao technique reached the middle stage of nascent soul, the clonely Yuan Ba would benefit greatly. Regarding the understanding of a certain realm, no matter what method is used, it is impossible to completely impart one's own understanding to other monks. Many parts of this understanding are indescribable and are simply an inexplicable feeling. But the clone Li Yuanba and the original body Li Shiming share all perceptions, which allows Li Yuanba to feel every detail of the breakthrough process of the original body Li Shiming. Originally, in Li Shiming's mind, if his side broke through to the middle stage of nascent soul, the clone Li Yuanba could only share some breakthrough experience through his promotion. But he never expected that when his clone Li Yuanba shared Li Shiming's insights into the sword and tank climbing to the sky, Li Yuanba's bottleneck in the middle stage of nascent soul would loosen. Li Yuanba has only reached the peak of the early stage of Yuan Ying for a few days. And he is still consolidating the state of the peak of the early stage of Yuan Ying. His early nascent soul cultivation was all forcibly improved with the Sword Transformation Spiritual Liquid. He thought that it would take at least several years of continuous training before he could try to break through the realm. But he skipped this process directly. He could feel that the bottleneck could be broken at any time. Li Yuanba's mind turned into a flying sword and slashed at the mid-stage nascent soul bottleneck. After the mid-stage nascent soul bottleneck was struck by the flying sword of the mind, it was broken without any resistance. He felt the changes in the nascent soul within his body. The nascent soul became larger, and most of the energy that was finally filled in the body was reduced, leaving only a shallow layer. At the same time, his body was slowly strengthening under the influence of nascent soul, and the skill runes all over his body were sublimated under this influence. Sublimating into mid-level skill runes of the nascent soul. This enhancement process still takes some time. His sword body is constantly improving from the early Yuan Ying level to the middle Yuan Ying level. The successive breakthroughs of the main body and the clone were definitely a surprise for Li Shiming. The clone Li Yuan Ba broke through the bottleneck under his leadership. And it was not without reason. He had never practiced the sword intention Chong Shao Ju that Li Yuanba had practiced before. But in the early stage of Yuan Ying, Li Shiming used some means to force Jin Lei Yuan Ying to practice the Sword Intention Chong Shao Ju. He just had a whimsical idea at the beginning. Even if he mastered the top sword cultivation technique, Sword Intention Chong Shao Ju, he only regarded Sword Intention Chong Shao Ju as a concurrent cultivation technique and did not pay too much attention to it. But who would have thought that as he was promoted to the middle stage of Yuan Ying, his understanding of the Sword Intention Chong Shao technique would be promoted to the middle stage of Yuan Ying. And his clone Li Yuan Ba would also be promoted to the middle stage of Yuan Ying. He had never heard of this phenomenon in the 10,000 Beasts sect or Li Yuan Ba in the Sword Intent Chong Shao Pavilion. It is probably a unique experience in the world of immortality. While Li Shiming was thinking in his mind, the five nascent souls in his body were also changing. The spiritual power of the five nascent souls that has been promoted and entered the middle stage of the nascent soul under the action of the five elements receiving chi formation 
composed of the five nascent souls. The spiritual power in the five nascent souls is continuously transformed, turned into a smaller number of peak spiritual power in the middle stage of nascent soul, although the amount of spiritual power has decreased. Its power has increased to a stronger level. As for his physical body, as his own realm improved, the bottleneck that originally bound the physical body disappeared. His Tai Ching Xian Turtle Art was promoted from the peak of the early Yuanying to the middle level of the Yuanying. His spiritual skill, humanity reincarnation technique, has also been upgraded to the middle stage of nascent soul, and his spirit has become several times stronger. Now Li Shiming really feels the power of the mid-stage nascent soul, just talking about the body of a monk in the middle stage of Yuanying, even if he does not practice physical training techniques. The slow cultivation of the Yuanying in the middle stage of Yuanying is enough to strengthen the body, to the point where it can withstand the attacks of the weaker monks in the early stage of Yuanying. Not to mention that the physical strength of middle stage nascent soul monks, who have practiced body refining techniques is strong enough to withstand the magic weapons of ordinary early stage nascent soul monks. The gap between each small realm in the nascent soul stage is so large that it is almost a leapfrog difference. In terms of spiritual power, Li Shiming can be 100% sure that one spiritual power of a monk in the middle stage of Yuanying is enough to destroy 10 spiritual powers of a monk in the early stage of Yuanying. Not to mention that if the monks in the middle stage of Yuanying want to defeat the monks in the early stage of Yuanying, they don't need to use any strong means at all. Realm suppression alone can prevent the early stage monks from exerting their strength. After Li Shiming broke through the middle stage of nascent soul, he still stayed in seclusion in the cave for three months. During this period, he used the purple thunder plasma to practice, and the spiritual power storage in the five nascent souls reached one-fifth of the level of the mid-nascent soul. And the purple thunder serum was completely consumed. He can be regarded as possessing the combat power of the mid-stage nascent soul. This is really thanks to the thunder repair treasure such as purple thunder plasma. Otherwise, it will take at least several years to form combat power. After possessing the mid-stage nascent soul combat power, he came out of seclusion. There is no other way. There are still many things that he cannot do in the 10,000 Beast sect. The most important thing is that the clone Li Yuanba needs his spiritual elixir support. When he separated from his clone Li Yuanba, he did not expect that Li Yuanba's breakthrough would be so fast. So among the resources prepared for Li Yuanba, there was no fourth level cultivation auxiliary elixir for the middle nascent soul. Now in the Jianyi Chongshao Pavilion, Although Li Yuanba has the bonus effect of the Sword Cave Heaven on the cultivation of Jade Clear Thunder Code, without the support of the Cultivation Spirit Pill, the cultivation speed is too slow for Li Yuanba to bear. Having enjoyed the pleasure of extremely fast cultivation, Li Yuanba's current cultivation speed can be described as a turtle speed. Fortunately, he is only in the middle stage of nascent soul, which is the period when it is easiest to accumulate spiritual power. If the spiritual power in his Yuanying body reaches a certain level, even in a training environment like the Sword Cave, without the help of the fourth level training auxiliary elixir of the middle Yuanying, let alone improving his cultivation, he can barely maintain it. The realm is already pretty good. From here, we can also know the importance of cultivation resources for mid-stage nascent soul monks. Originally, the matter of sending the spiritual elixir to the fourth level cultivation of the mid-stage nascent soul could be done by Zhongzhou Commercial Bank. Li Shiming, as a guest, asked Zhongzhou Commercial Bank to deliver the spiritual objects. The spiritual objects were kept confidential enough. Zhongzhou Commercial Bank did not will check what the spiritual object is. But Li Shiming had other things to do and wanted to meet his clone Li Yuanba. So he thought about going to Zhongzhou Continent. In the past, he was reluctant to go on long voyages because it was very unsafe. But things are different now. He has been promoted to the middle stage of Yuanying. And once he masters some methods, the combat power he can show as a mid-level monk in the middle stage of Yuanying can be regarded as the top combat power in the middle stage of Yuanying. With such strength, he can definitely sail the ocean safely. However, if he wants to leave the 10,000 Beast sect, especially under the current circumstances, he still needs to apply to his master, Brother Hu. Although the war in the eastern Qi continent ended due to the evacuation of Yuqingzong, the subsequent impact did not stop. Li Shiming left the cave, and flew in the air towards the Four Elephants Cave. Is it Masterly? Masterly has been promoted to the middle stage of Yuanying? A Yuanying monk was flying and met Li Shiming head on. He looked at Li Shiming in disbelief. Perhaps Li Shiming didn't know many Yuanying monks in the 10,000 B sect. But there were very few Yuanying monks in the 10,000 B sect 
who didn't know Li Shiming, especially with the arrival of the female cultivator from Wanfeng Palace. Li Shiming's ability to refine the fourth grade elixir of a great monk could no longer be concealed, which further enhanced his status in alchemy. Li Shiming didn't pay attention to the Yuanying monk who passed by. He was not familiar with the Yuanying monk, not even a familiar face. He flew all the way to the four elephant cave heaven, and every monk who saw him looked extremely horrified. The early stage of nascent soul within a hundred years old, and the middle stage of nascent soul within a hundred years old are completely different concepts. Although they are all top-notch geniuses, middle stage nascent souls, who are under a hundred years old, are the geniuses among geniuses. Even in a sect as big as the 10,000 beast sect, it is rare for one to appear in thousands of years. Li Shiming played a message-passing technique and asked to see his master, Brother Hu. Brother Hu opened the formation of the cave and let him enter the cave. You? Brother Hu's spiritual clone was about to speak, but suddenly stopped. Although it was only a spiritual clone, it also had the ability to perceive and discover the changes in Li Shiming's cultivation. I met the master, and the disciple made a breakthrough. Li Shiming bowed and reported with a smile. I was just thinking about when you would break through but I didn't expect you would break through now. Brother who quickly reacted and said, thinking about it, more than two years ago, Li Shiming's aura showed that he was about to break through. Now, it is reasonable for Li Shiming to break through to the middle stage of nascent soul. But even though he said that, this was a breakthrough to the middle stage of nascent soul. When is it reasonable to break through the middle stage of nascent soul within a hundred years? You must know that although Li Shiming is the core monk of the 10,000 beast sect, the resources provided by the 10,000 beasts sect to Li Shiming are extremely limited. As Li Shiming's master, brother who knows how much help he has given Li Shiming, even for an ordinary early Yuanying monk, that help is nothing. How can Li Shiming be promoted to the middle stage of Yuanying? All resources, Li Shiming's own efforts and opportunities allowed Li Shiming to break through to the middle stage of nascent soul so quickly. It's a good thing that we have a breakthrough. Even our realm has stabilized. What are your thoughts on coming here this time? Brother who then asked, I am now in the middle stage of nascent soul, and I want to go out and travel to sharpen myself. Li Shiming explained his purpose. It should be so, but you should stay a little longer. The two great monks from Luanfeng Palace would like to ask you to help me refine the alchemy, and give me some time to prepare a promotion gift for you. Great monk who spread his hands helplessly and said, The great monks of Luanfeng Palace had been waiting for two years. Although they were performing garrison duties during the 10,000 Bs sect, they could not continue to wait for the great monks of Wanfeng Palace after Li Shiming came out of seclusion. In addition, Li Shiming's breakthrough was so sudden that brother, who was not prepared at all, and he did not even consider the gifts that should be prepared for Li Shiming. Being a master is not easy. If a disciple makes a big breakthrough, the master will usually reward him. Then I will stay here for a few more months to complete the alchemy work in Wanfeng Palace before leaving. Li Shiming thought for a while and did not mean to refuse brother who, and nodded. I just took this time to get in touch with Zhongzhou Commercial Bank. During the two years of seclusion, I had no contact with the outside world. Eldest brother Zhong Chong also wanted to take a look before leaving and prepare some elixirs for him, which was what he had agreed to do. Thank you for your hard work. During your retreat, the compensation given to you by the sect has been fixed. And now it seems that the compensation will be changed again. Brother who thought of an important thing and said with a smile. Chapter 639 Meeting the great monk from Wanfeng Palace is here. Great monk who said to Li Shiming as he played the magic spell to open the cave's restrictions. It seemed that the female cultivators from Wanfeng Palace knew about Li Shiming's release from seclusion. They couldn't wait for a moment and chased after Li Shiming when he came here. Li Shiming looked outside and saw three female monks flying into the cave. Great monks are extremely rare. And female great monks are even rarer. At the same time, three female monks appeared together and the probability was extremely low. Li Shiming looked at the three female senior monks. He knew the senior monthly among them. And it was the first time for him to meet the other two female senior monks. At the level of a high monk, the so-called beauty of a female monk is no longer so important. No monk dares to look at female high monks from the perspective of men and women. Of course, this does not mean that female senior monks are not beautiful. On the contrary, Unlike male senior monks who deliberately make themselves appear more mature in order to maintain their majesty, female senior monks pay more attention to their appearance. Each of the three female great monks is beautiful and fragrant. The nascent soul monk can adjust his own appearance. It is not difficult to make his appearance extremely beautiful. 
but the temperament of the three female great monks cannot be achieved through adjustment. This is Master Li. The spiritual tea brewed by Master Li is unparalleled in the world, and his alchemy skills are rare in the world. Brother Li introduced Li Shiming to the two female monks beside him as soon as they met. I've met Senior Sister Li, and I've met two great monks. Li Shiming took the initiative to step forward and salute. Master Li, I've heard about you for a long time. My name is Ding Shui, and I finally meet you. Brother Ding chuckled and bowed slightly in return. Jian Hongya has met Master Li. Brother Jiang also slightly bent his body and said. The two female monks treated Li Shiming with great respect. This respect came from Li Shiming's alchemy ability. They came here to ask for help. Even though they were born in Wanfen Palace and were protective of the 10,000 Beast sect, they still maintained enough respect for Li Shiming. Everyone, sit down. Shurjin, I would also like to trouble you to make a pot of spiritual tea. Master, I really want to drink it too. Brother who greeted with a smile. Li Shiming would not refuse. So he took out the Tai Chu tripod and brewed a pot of fourth grade spiritual tea for the great monk's present. It was the first time for Brother Ding and Brother Jiang to taste the Sipin Ling Cha brewed by Li Shiming. They were no strangers to Li Shiming's Sipin Ling Cha. They had already drank the Sipin Ling Cha fried by Li Shiming himself. The best spiritual tea ever. But after tasting the Sipin Ling Cha brewed by Li Shiming, they understood what the perfect Sipin Ling Cha was. Master Li, I think you know what we are asking for. This is the reward we have prepared. When we came out this time, the fruits of the longevity tree in the palace were ripe. We took two longevity fruits as reward and asked Master Li to let's refine the fifth furnace of spiritual elixir. After getting out of the atmosphere of tasting the fourth grade spiritual tea, Brother Ding said directly. When Brother Ding said, longevity fruit, Li Shiming noticed that his master, Brother Hu, looked slightly excited. There are many spiritual trees in the world of immortality. Li Shiming didn't know much about the Longevity Spirit Fruit. This was the first time he heard the name. But judging from the name, Longevity Fruit, this should be a spiritual fruit that can increase longevity. Every kind of spiritual object that increases longevity is extremely precious. However, given Li Shiming's age, it is still too early to consider the issue of longevity. But this does not affect his interest in the Longevity Fruit. The Five Furnaces of Great Monk Spiritual Pill based on the fact that he opened two furnaces of elixir at the same time. Would take about four months. I'll start refining the elixir when I get back. Li Shiming nodded in agreement. Brother Ding took out the five elixirs needed to refine the monk's elixir, as well as two separate jade boxes. The three great monks met Li Shiming, tasted the fourth grade spiritual tea brewed by Li Shiming himself, and entrusted them with the alchemy matters. They left with satisfaction. Li Shiming intentionally did not leave together but waited for the three great monks to leave first. Master, what is the use of this longevity fruit? Li Shiming took the two jade boxes containing the longevity fruit and asked Brother Hu. I didn't expect that they would use the longevity fruit as reward for making alchemy. They value you very much. Longevity fruit is a life-extending fruit. Each one can extend life by 30 years. What's special about it is that each monk can take up to 10 longevity fruits in his life. Any more will be useless. Brother who deliberately did not focus on the two jade boxes. He explained for Li Shiming. He really wanted to possess the longevity fruit. At his level, every extra bit of lifespan might bring about a completely different future. Lifespan and the resources of the great monks are obstacles that restrict the great monks from going further. More lifespan can also keep the great monks alive longer. Master, I'll give you these two longevity fruits. It's too wasteful at my age. Li Shiming said without any hesitation pushing the two jade boxes in his hand to Brother Hu. Do you know how precious this longevity fruit is? Even if Luanfeng Palace planted the Wanshou Lingmu, it would only yield 30 longevity fruit every 300 years. Outsiders want to get one longevity fruit. It's all extremely difficult. Although you still have a long life now. A little more life will give you more hope. I don't want you to regret it in the future because of your longevity. Brother Hu did not pick up the jade box containing the longevity fruit, but persuaded in a deep voice. Master, I am confident that I will be promoted to a great monk and break through to the realm of a great monk. Li Shiming said seriously. The confidence he showed made brother who slightly distracted. Li Shiming's confidence comes from the fact that he has promoted himself to the middle stage of nascent soul in less than a hundred years. His future is bright. Being a great monk is no longer his goal. His goal is the Mahayana period. I accepted the longevity fruit. I want to thank you on behalf of brother Zhang. The great monk Zhang Danxiong of the sect has been in retreat. 
His lifespan is about to end. With these two longevity fruit, Brother Jean will return it. There is hope, Brother Hu said as he accepted the two jade boxes. Although two longevity fruits can only increase the lifespan of senior monk Jean Danshan by 60 years. With 60 years, senior monk Jean Danshan can protect the sect for at least another 60 years. Li Shiming left Brother Hu's cave. He took out the contact card and sent a message to Xian Jingyun of Zhongzhou Trading Company, informing him of his promotion to the middle stage of nascent soul and ordering a batch of fourth grade Chao Yuan grass from Zhongzhou Trading Company. Two days later, while he was refining elixirs in the cave, he received a message from the great monk Lu Ziyun. It was the great monk Lu Ziyun who came to visit him personally. He hesitated slightly and released the golden corpse Nanning. Nanming, who has reached the golden corpse realm, is almost the same as a normal monk except for the golden color of his skin. Li Shiming put a brain into Jin Ji Naming's body and controlled Jin Ji Naming to leave the cave. Director Lu, I am currently refining elixirs and have no time to entertain distinguished guests. Please forgive me, Jin Shi Naming said. Only the golden corpse realm can speak human words. It is said that when the golden corpse reaches the upper level of the golden corpse, which is equivalent to the level of a great monk, the golden corpse can become indistinguishable from a real person. It's my presumption. Great monk Lu Ziyun didn't mean to be unhappy. Li Shiming was able to divert his mind to control the golden corpse to come to see him while refining the elixir. This was already extremely embarrassing. Who told him to come directly without notifying him in advance? The main reason was that when he heard that Li Shiming had become a monk in the middle stage of nascent soul, he could no longer sit still and immediately rushed to the 10,000 beast sect. He now regards Li Shiming not only for his ability as an alchemy master, but also for Li Shiming's future potential. He knew that Li Shiming had a red gold phoenix spiritual pet. Although the 10,000 beasts sect kept this secret, the Zhongzhou Trading Company had a very deep relationship with the 10,000 beasts sect. As the director of the Eastern Qi Continent of the Zhongzhou Trading Company, it's very easy to get this information. With the red gold phoenix spiritual pet, with the secret method of the 10,000 beasts sect, as long as it reaches the middle stage of nascent soul, the Red Gold Phoenix can be promoted to the upper level of the fourth level. In this way, Li Shiming can be equivalent to a great monk in combat power. This is only about spiritual pets. Li Shiming was promoted to the middle stage of nascent soul within a hundred years old. Judging from his talent in cultivation, it was only a matter of time before he was promoted to the realm of great monk. Li Shiming even has a certain chance of breaking through to become a great monk, which is what Lu Ziyun likes. Even though Li Shiming's chance of breaking through the Great Monk is very low. Compared to other nascent soul cultivators, his chance of breaking through is already very high. Please come in and take a seat. Li Shiming controlled the golden corpse, Naming, to make an invitation gesture. Sitting down in the hall of the cave, Jin Shi Naming fetched the tea set and gave it to the Great Monk Lu Ziyun to brew it himself. Although it is a bit rude to do this. It is better than Li Shiming using Jin Shi Naming to brew spiritual tea. Jin Shi Naming is cold energy. And preparing the spiritual tea will affect the taste of the spiritual tea. Masterly. These are 40 copies of Chao Yuan Grass. Zhongzhou Trading Company will continue to collect Chao Yuan Grass. And will send them later. These 40 copies of Chao Yuan Grass are given to the master by the trading company. Congratulations on your promotion to the middle stage of nascent soul. Great Monk Lu Ziyun took out a storage bag and placed it in front of the Golden Corpse Naming. Li Shiming was shocked by the generosity of Zhongzhou Trading Company and the great monk Lu Ziyun. Chao Yuan Grass is a fourth grade elixir, even if the output is not bad. The combined value of 40 copies of Chao Yuan Grass is not low at all. Zhongzhou Commercial Bank gave it away as promised, which made Li Shiming feel the sincerity of Zhongzhou Commercial Bank. Thank you, Director Lu. Li Shiming controlled the golden corpse Naming to salute and thank him. I would also like to thank Master Lee for refining the mid-stage nascent soul 4th grade high grade amputated limb rebirth elixir. And the great monk who treated him is my best friend. Great monk Lu Ziyun also bowed and said. Okay. Although he didn't know why Li Shiming suppressed his alchemy level. He obviously had the ability to refine 4th grade high level elixirs. But he always kept the quality of the refined elixirs at the intermediate level of 4th grade elixirs. But Li Shiming broke the rules and refined a fourth-grade high-level elixir for the great monks of Zhongzhou Trading Company. Zhongzhou Trading Company owed Li Shiming a favor. I want some information about the Yuching sect. I wonder how much it will cost. Li Shiming thought of something and asked. The Yuching sect has always been a huge trouble. 
since the Yuching sect is the super sect of the Xi'an continent. The intelligence system of the 10,000 beasts sect can only function within the East Qi continent. It will not work if it leaves the East Qi continent. Therefore, if Li Shiming wanted to find out the information about Yukingzong, he had to find a way from Zhongzhou Commercial Bank. Master Li is a guest of the trading company. I will share the information about Yuching sect with Master. Senior monk Lu Ziyun was extremely generous. After hearing Li Shiming's request, he waved his hand with a smile and decided. Although Zhongzhou Commercial Bank cannot intervene in the battle between various forces and needs to remain neutral, for the sake of Li Shiming's safety, they provide Li Shiming with some intelligence support for free, which is not a big deal. Anyway, Zhongzhou Commercial Bank will collect this information whether Li Shiming needs it or not. Director Lu, there is one more thing I would like to ask. If it is inconvenient, there is no need to answer. Li Shiming said hesitantly. Master Li, please speak. I will tell you if I can answer it. Great monk Lu Ziyun was slightly startled. And then said with a smile. He understood that Li Shiming was preparing to ask for some confidential information. So he said this. I would like to ask where there are water and with magical powers that can be passed down. Li Shiming asked aloud. This is an issue that he is extremely concerned about. In the past, when he only had the magical power of Nan Mingli fire, he never thought about the magical powers of water and wood. Now, in addition to the fire-based magical power, Nan Mingli Hua, he also has the earth-based magical power, Invisible Yuan Magnetic, and the metal-based magical power, Tamad He Divine Wind. He is still short of cultivating the magical powers of wood and water. The conditions for cultivating the Art of Heaven and Man are extremely demanding. Not only do you need to have all five elements, but you also need to master five magical powers of the five elements. When he was in the northern Shu continent, he had seen a lot of magical powers and thought that there were a lot of them. However, after arriving in the eastern Qi continent, he realized that in the world of immortality, magical powers were extremely rare. That is to say, he was lucky enough to obtain three types of magical powers from the five elements and five systems, which gave him the possibility to practice the art of heaven and man. Although the five rhymes Qi training technique he is currently practicing is extremely consistent with him. There is still a gap between the Five Rhymes Chi Training Technique and the Heavenly Man Technique. Heavenly Man Technique is the inheritance of Jai Ji's great power. Heavenly Man Technique requires the nascent soul stage as the starting point for cultivation and has great hope of advancing to the Mahayana stage. Before the end of his life, the great master Shai Gu summarized what he had learned during his lifetime of cultivation and put all his ideas into the Art of Heaven and Man. The most important thing is that without practicing the heaven and man art, you can't truly possess Shai Ji's powerful cave. Even for the resources in the cave, he plans to find a way to practice the heaven and man art. Water magical power and with magical power, great monk Luzi and pondered slightly, recalling information about this in his mind. Li Shiming waited expectantly for brother Luzi Yin's reply. If Zhongzhou Commercial Bank couldn't know, then it would be even more difficult to have the last two five elements magical powers. Chapter 640 News As for the magical power of wood, I remember that the Fulia sect has an inheritance of the Innate Moon Magical power The Fulia sect has fallen from the superpower in the past thousand years. I will go back and let the trading bank headquarters think of a way to possibly obtain an opportunity to inherit the magical power of Sientian Emu. Great monk Lu Ziyun thought about it for a while and really thought of a wood magical power. Li Shiming was overjoyed when he heard the news. Since the great monk Luzian can say this, there is a high probability that there is some channel to obtain the inheritance of the Innate Mu. Magical power. Thank you. Director Lu. Li Shiming controlled Nan Ming to bow and thank him. Don't thank me so early. The magical power of Sientian Emu is a healing magical power. The test of inheriting the magical power is extremely difficult. It is said that no monks in Fulia sect have been able to inherit the magical power of Sientian Emu. For thousands of years. Even if you have the opportunity to come into contact with the inheritance of the magical power of Innate Emu. The hope of obtaining the magical power of Innate Emu is extremely slim. Brother Lu Ziyun waved his hand and said, Li Shiming is extremely confident. He has many magical powers in his body. Even in the entire world of immortality. It is extremely rare for a monk to possess so many magical powers. It's not that other monks don't have the opportunity to come into contact with the inheritance of magical powers like some superpowers. They will always have the ability to come into contact with the inheritance of magical powers 
as long as they are willing. However, being exposed to the inheritance of magical powers and obtaining the inheritance of magical powers are two different concepts. The test of inheritance of magical powers is the checkpoint that prevents monks from obtaining magical powers. There are very few monks who can actually pass the checkpoints to obtain the inheritance of magical powers. Not to mention that if a monk wants to obtain multiple magical powers, it is very rare to pass the test of one magical power. As for the inheritance of water magical powers, I haven't thought of any news about this at the moment. If there is any news, I will inform you. Great monk Luzian continued. He attached great importance to Li Shiming, so he was willing to use the resources of the commercial bank to help Li Shiming with all his strength. Even if the Fulia sect falls from the superpower, its foundation is still very strong. If you want to impress the Fulia sect, you can't do it without offering some key benefits. However, Li Shiming's alchemy ability and Li Shiming's future potential made Master Lu Ziyun willing to pay these prices. Director Lu, I have to travel recently, so I'm afraid I won't be able to take on the alchemy mission. Li Shiming said apologetically. The great monk Lu Ziyun worked so hard to help him, but he had to stop refining alchemy for a period of time, which made him feel a little unreasonable. It's okay. Master Li has completed the alchemy task for many years. The company never imposes any requirements on alchemy. However, Master, please bring the contact card. If there is any special alchemy task, you still need to ask the Master for help. As for the location to receive the alchemy mission, no matter whether Master Li is in the Eastern Qi continent or in other continents, most continents have branches of Zhongzhou Commercial Bank, and they can receive the alchemy mission. Brother Lu Ziyun said with a smile, he understood Li Shiming's mood of needing to travel, and he could sense Li Shiming's realm which had stabilized the realm of the mid-nascent soul, and even exceeded the initial level in the mid-nascent soul realm. At this level, what the Yuanning monk needs is to travel to increase his knowledge. Given Li Shiming's age and lack of knowledge in this area, Li Shiming needs to travel to enhance his knowledge. If I have time, I will take on some alchemy tasks in other branches. Li Shiming thought for a while and said, Master Li wants to cross the sea and sail between continents, but he can go with the merchant's voyage ship. In this regard, you can use the guest jade plate to contact him. Brother Lu Ziyun thought that Li Shiming was going to other continents. Suggested, I will borrow it if necessary. Li Shiming did not refuse. Senior monk Lu Ziyun did not stay long. Li Shiming was too busy, and he was embarrassed to interrupt for too long. Li Shiming took out the fourth grade, Chao Yuan Grass. He was already familiar with Wanfeng Palaces, Beifeng Chao Yuan Dan. Formula and had also simulated alchemy in the virtual environment of the natal magic weapon Z-15. This kind of fourth grade, Beifeng Chao Yuan Dan, in the early stage of nascent soul does not need to be refined using a fourth grade pill furnace. Therefore, it will not occupy his two fourth grade elixir furnaces, nor will it affect the fourth grade spiritual elixir of the great monk he is refining. He used a third grade alchemy furnace to refine five furnaces of Beifeng Chao Yuan Dan. At the same time in the computer room space, the main reason was that the space in the computer room was relatively small. There were two fourth grade alchemy furnaces refining elixirs, and the remaining available space was not large. It can only accommodate five third grade alchemy furnaces to refine elixirs together. Otherwise, with his ability, it would not be a problem to refine ten furnaces of Beifeng Chao Yuan Dan. At the same time, after several days of refining, all forty furnaces of Beifeng Chao Yuan Dan were released. He got four fourth grade top level, Beifeng Chao Yuan Dan, and 236 fourth grade high grade, Beifeng Chao Yuan Dan. Dan, Xiao Feng, come here. Li Shiming called to the spiritual pet room. Xiao Feng and Phantom Spirit Dragon were in the spiritual pet room in the sex cave, which was more suitable for the activities of spiritual pets. Since Xiao Feng and Phantom Dragon are very young, Li Shiming will not restrain them in the spiritual pet space for a long time which is not friendly to young spiritual pets. Following his call, Xiao Feng and Phantom Dragon ran over from the spiritual pet room. Xiao Feng and Phantom Dragon both shrunk their bodies. But even if they shrunk their bodies, they could still see their extraordinary qualities. Xiao Feng is covered in brocade-like feathers, with flames flying all over her body, and her long tail feathers make her fly away from the dust. The Phantom Dragon is a smaller five-clawed dragon. Even when walking on the ground, it carries an innate nobility. That is to say, they are young and still retain their childish nature. If they were allowed to grow for hundreds of years, they would not be as childish as they are now. Phantom Dragon. 
What are you doing here? It's none of your business. Li Shiming looked at Phantom Dragon amusedly and said, The Phantom Dragon shrank its body. It didn't want to leave and wanted to see what was going on. This was due to its curiosity. Li Shiming ignored it, took out a fourth grade high grade, Bei Feng Chao Yuan Dan, and handed it to Xiao Feng. Xiao Feng couldn't wait to reach over and took the Bei Feng Chao Yuan Dan in one gulp. Instinctively, it sensed that the Bei Feng Chao Yuan Dan was good for it, and it swallowed the Bei Feng Chao Yuan Dan. Just a few breaths after the fourth grade high level, Bei Feng Chao Yuan Dan entered his abdomen. The demon elixir in Xiao Feng's body began to slowly increase. When a spiritual pet reaches the fourth grade stage, it is not easy to have a visible improvement in cultivation. The level of improvement for a fourth grade Xiao Feng is as difficult as that of a nascent soul cultivator. Just like many great monks of the 10,000 Beasts sect, they have reached the realm of great monks, but their spiritual pets are still in the middle stage of nascent soul. This is why the cultivation of spiritual pets is difficult. There are not enough resources to supply spiritual pets. It is almost impossible for Chong to become an upper level fourth level person. Li Shiming did not give Xiao Feng for top grade fourth grade. Bei Feng Chao Yuan Dan. To eat. He considered using the fourth grade top quality. Bei Feng Chao Yuan Dan. To give it to Xiao Feng at critical moments. What is the critical moment? When Xiao Feng is promoted. It is the critical moment. Even with his alchemy ability. It is extremely troublesome to refine a fourth grade top elixir. That is to say. Zhongzhou Commercial Bank was very wealthy. And provided him with 40 copies of the. Bei Feng Chao Yuan Dan. Elixir. Otherwise, how could he refine four top grade fourth grade elixirs? After about three sticks of incense, most of the medicinal power of the fourth grade high level, Bei Feng Chao Yuan Dan, was absorbed by Xiao Feng, and the rest needed to be absorbed by Xiao Feng slowly. Xiao Feng woke up from the rapidly increasing feeling and made a chirp sound at Li Shiming. It has a soul connection with Li Shiming, and Li Shiming understands what it wants to express. Xiao Feng wanted to get more. Bei Feng Chao Yuan Dan. Bei Feng Chao Yuan Dan. Was very important to it. Allowing it to quickly increase its strength. Xiao Feng. You can only take one. Bei Feng Chao Yuan Dan. Every 10 days. Here are 50. Bei Feng Chao Yuan Dan. Li Shiming took out 50 fourth grade high grade. Bei Feng Chao Yuan Dan. He gave it to Xiao Feng and explained. Xiao Feng put 50 pieces of the fourth grade high level. Bei Feng Chao Yuan Dan into his storage space. And he nodded repeatedly to express his understanding. The phantom dragon looked a little greedy. But the flying phoenix Chao Yuan pill was only a spiritual pill for phoenix spiritual pets. Phantom dragon gently rubbed his body against Li Shiming's body. Obviously wanting the elixir. Phantom spirit dragon. All the spiritual beast Yuan Zeng Dan from now on will be yours. Li Shiming took out 500 spirit beast Zeng Yuan pills and gave them to phantom dragon. The phantom dragon suddenly became happy when he saw so many spirit beast enhancing pills. However, it always felt that something was wrong. It was just that it was so overwhelmed by so many spiritual beasts and UN pills that it could not think too much and just put away the 500 spiritual beasts and UN pills. Li Shiming smiled and sent the two of them to play. And his mind sank into the Gu Wind Bag. In the Gu Wind Bag, 10 Silver Winged Spirit Gu Insects are sleeping quietly. This time he plans to contract two more silver-winged spirit goo insects, which is also the maximum number he can contract in the middle stage of nascent soul, unless he can greatly improve his soul. The next time he contracts the silver-winged spirit goo insect, he will need to be promoted to a great monk. Li Shiming used ten brains on a silver-winged spirit goo, and at the same time drew the contract runes and penetrated them into the body of the silver-winged spirit goo. Due to his previous contract experience, his contract process was very easy this time. Feeling the feedback from this. Silver winged spirit goo insect. It was an extremely crazy emotion that was impossible to communicate with. If you want to control this. Silver winged spirit goo. You need to use your spirit to suppress it. Suppress the silver winged spirit goo. As backlash emotions. And control the. Silver winged spirit goo. To perform specified behaviors. If the spirit of the owner of the. Silver winged spirit goo. Is damaged making him mentally weak and without enough energy to suppress the silver-winged spirit goo. Then the consequence will be that the silver-winged spirit goo will backfire on the owner. Of course, this is the research of silver-winged spirit goo insect by Gu Feng Sect. After Li Shiming's actual operation, 
He used the third grade top level spiritual insect genome pill to be refined after a period of cultivation has been able to successfully establish contact with the silver-winged spirit goo insect just like Lee Shimming's previous silver-winged spirit goo the crazy consciousness and its emotions has long been weakened to the point where even the silver-winged spirit goo can control itself moreover the relationship between the silver-winged spirit goo and Lee Shimming was extremely close he didn't need to forcefully suppress it mentally he could control the silver-winged spirit goo with just a thought. Now the silver-winged spirit goo insect in the new contract, as long as it is cultivated by him, will be like the previous silver-winged spirit goo insect. He has strong confidence in this point. He summoned the contracted silver-winged spirit goo insect from the goo wind bag. And the silver-winged spirit goo insect was suppressed by his spirit and hovered in front of him. He took out a top-level third grade spiritual insect golden yang pill and gave it to the silver winged spiritual goo insect he could clearly feel a slight fluctuation in the crazy mood of the silver winged spirit goo insect he smiled as he guessed this silver winged spirit goo insect would be relaxed by him after a while take control li shimming used 10 more brains to inject contract runes into a silver winged spirit goo insect in the goo wind bag when the contract runes entered the body of the Silver Winged Spirit Goo. He had a spiritual connection with the Silver Winged Spirit Goo. After he sensed the crazy emotions inside the Silver Winged Spirit Goo, he I feel that there is not much available contract space in my soul. He summoned the third Silver Winged Spirit Goo insect into the Goo Wind Bag and also summoned the Silver Winged Spirit Goo insect that had been with him for a long time. There were three Silver Winged Spirit Goo insects in front of him. And the differences between these three Silver winged spirit goo insects could easily be distinguished. The silver winged spirit goo insect he first contracted had a spirituality that the other two silver winged spirit goo insects did not have, which made the first silver winged spirit goo insect just like a normal spirit insect. In the days that followed, he continued to interact with two silver winged spirit goo insects every day. After a third grade top level spiritual insect genong pill was taken by two. Silver winged spirit goo insects to the silver winged spirit goo insect is changing. When he finished refining the great monk's elixir of the great monk of Wanfeng Palace, the two silver winged spirit goo insects were very close to him, and the three silver winged spiritual goo insects were almost indistinguishable. The three silver winged spirit goo insects increased his combat power again. He knew how terrifying the silver winged spirit goo insects were. Even the great monks are unwilling to be approached by the silver winged spirit goo. From this point, we can judge the terror of the silver winged spirit goo with the decline of the goo fong sect. Even if he exposes the silver winged spirit goo insect, there won't be any big problem. He plans to use the silver winged spirit goo insect as his daily fighting method. After Li Shimming came out of seclusion, he immediately handed over the fourth grade great monk spiritual pill to the great monk of Wanfeng Palace and all his affairs in the 10,000 B sect were also arranged.